What is happening, folks? Good to see you. WikiHow is back. Uh, we are waiting uh, for the Owl Man to make an appearance. Sweet Scribs, Molotov, Base Reflux. Thanks for the resubs. Uh, you, Kai. Guys, thank you. Uh, I know it's early. We're waiting for Fred to. Uh, we we started a little a little earlier on account on account of Fred. You shouted out the wrong Fred on Twitter. That was not. No, that. It, that was for Twitch, not Twitter. It's it's fine. Um, let's ignore ignore that. Um. Uh, yeah, I just want to have a moment of silence for my friend Vinny. He will be missed. Get that, get that out of the way. Uh, press uh, F in the chat for Vinny. Uh, existing while angry with uh, 21 months. Thank you so much. And Coleridge with 34 months. Um, okay, so... We want to... Fre Fred's waiting for me to call him, you said? Uh, oh, he is calling me. Oh, jeez. Hello. Oh, hey, there you are, Mike. Hey, what's going on, bud? You ready to look at some hey. mind rot? Dude, I'm I'm so fucking ready. Um, I, I, hold on, D v Vinny's not dead, guys. It's a joke. Holy shit! <laughs> I, I everything, we, we, you, oh, everything shit. is so literal. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Forget it. Zoxy's with ten months. Thank you. Uh, what were you gonna say, buddy? Mm. I was going to say. Um, so I'm I'm letting I'm letting my stream know. Uh, we're probably going to look at art on the next stream. So okay. we can just get we can just get right into it. But first, I'm gonna raid you. Or what we could do is yeah. Um, yeah. we can we can look at art uh, at the end of my stream. Totally up to you. Whatever you want to do. That's a great idea. If totally, you're going to look over uh, my art as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Why not? Let's All do right, it. Perfect. Oh, Fred it's not art anymore. Day. By the way, we we have to we have to um, call it uh, oh, community yeah, uh, united media share. I, I've been calling it community contributions. Community contribute. See, mine spells comes, which is why we're saying, oh, yeah. Okay. That was a, a chat okay. uh, suggestion. <laughs> All right, here you you got you ready to uh, to lose viewers immediately? We're working. Thank you. Fuck you for subbing. <laughs> Fuck you. you. Saw that, huh? <laughs> yes, it's such a good clip. Dude. Amazing. Uh, music is inaudible. Fred clip. is quiet. Okay, okay we're okay. doing some audio balance stuff. Okay, okay. Um, so everyone, here's what we're gonna do. We're going, we're going to check out uh, better guys. The hashtag, the T L art, at the end of Mike's stream. So if you want to see that, go uh, follow the raid and hang out until the end, or just watch the vod. I don't know. I'm not your dad. <laughs> or is he? Or am I? Um. I'm. Is, is you it, can call me. You let me do my Meat Canyon voice, or you can call me Daddy. Oh, you do that good. Oh yeah. Oh, you do that good. Oh, that's oh man. Oh, you stink. <laughs> so good. Real good. <laughs> oh, you do that too good, man. <laughs> Everyone, cool. we're gonna raid Mike real quick. If for some reason you don't you don't get picked up by the raid, just go over. Uh, I'm just gonna shout him out. Now. Fred is too loud now. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, oh, moderators. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for uh, audio input from moderators. Everybody else be silent, please. Is Fred using the right mic? That's what Discord sounds like, guys, yeah. I, I am. Uh, oh, let me check. That's what Discord sounds like, yeah. Hold you on. are. You're using the right mic. You're fine. I am. It's, it's okay. just that's, that's yeah, yeah, Discord, I guys. Um, I, uh, hmm. Yeah. Is there something that I can fix? It, it, that's the Discord quality. There's really not much you can do if, if, yeah, as it, far it as I know. It happen on everyone's Discord, though, and that's the thing that's really frustrating. Let me, let me, let me do something. Well, I, I also, they, do you know what you sound like right now? Because uh, they, they don't, they don't yes. know, they don't, they don't know. They're listening it, on really... like, on like 99 cent earbuds right now. Like they're listening on right, garbage but, headphones but it does, and shit. It does blow out sometimes. I know, I know it does that. Um, let me, let me do something okay you go ahead and try try some stuff i i, I want to try something i know that this is an eternal problem but i i wonder i have an idea i don't know if there's anything i can do uh, to affect your quality coming through my obs okay. or coming so, through my discord here's what i've done i've turned <clears throat> myself down <clears throat> try try is there any way for you to be able to turn me up yeah of course 
Yep. Okay. So yeah, try turning me up. Maybe that'll help. All right. Uh, so he turned himself down slightly, and we're gonna raise. We're gonna raise him a little bit, guys. Oh, Kodaichi. So um, people are saying I sound good. Yeah, it's because it's not going through Discord. It's going through OBS. Wait a minute. You got your what? OBS. Wait, I'm hearing you through OBS right now. No, no, no. You're hearing me through Discord. Just, just Discord. Then what are you talking about? What'd you do? Then what'd you do? I, I just turned my mixing board down. I turned my microphone on the mixing board down. How do I sound to everyone on your stream? Um, I think I I think you actually do sound like less crusty now since you did that. Yeah, yeah. probably. I, I okay, good. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to raid right now so that I'm not quiet. And I'll see you all there. Guy, I see people subbing, resubbing. Guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna wait till the end of the stream to thank all of you because I have a guest. That's how we roll with with guests. Uh, so we don't like we're not like talking over them constantly, you know. But guys, thank you for the support. I'm seeing a scam train, guys. Thank you. Okay, we've got we've got the raid going. I'm, I'm, I'm listening just... on fifteen thousand dollar professional professional studio grade audio equipment Re and, and, and rev. Wow, and Fred sounds <laughs> like poop. He sounds like poop. Ah, oh, he sounds amazing, doesn't he? He sa I think he sounds really good. Thank you for the raid, by the way, and welcome. Um. We are gonna, uh, well, 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 what are we, what are we gonna do today, Fred? Why don't you explain it? Um, let me see, I'm just talking to my stream. Um, we, uh, what we are doing today, we yeah. are going to be looking at WikiHow articles that you have collected and no, 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 uh, you're, learning you're... how to do life. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the stream is learning how to live. Learning how to live, yeah. Learning how to live. Like, you could, looking at WikiHow articles is underselling it. We're going to teach you how to live your life. And you, yeah, a yeah. lot of you are aimless and directionless. We are trying to give you that direction. We're mm -hmm. trying to shape you up. We're trying to get yeah, you... we're experts. Yeah, we're we're life coaches, really. And we've got... We're from the school of WikiHow. But that doesn't mean that these... That this advice is, is you know, uh, low quality. Quite the opposite. Mm. I find WikiHow is the distilled, um, shared and a gener intergenerational knowledge, going back thousands of years, to its its pure knowledge in its purest form. Yes, wisdom, like wisdom. What, is the right. Word. Th this is, this is how, this is how people communicated ideas before rocks existed. <laughs> uh. -huh. Like before rocks, before before there were like I'm not talking arrowheads. I'm talking like rocks. Well, did you? So how how else are you going to share it? Well, that's what WikiHow was for. Did right? you like our, yeah. our ancestors? Like but like th this is before cavemen. Because how are you going to have caves if you don't have any rocks? Cavemen learned about rocks from WikiHow. Right. Exactly. Yeah, they learned they in, they invented rocks from wisdom shared by by WikiHow. Right, right, right. Um, I remember seeing a, recently there was this archaeological or or um, not what's the one with with humans anthropological study um, mm -hmm. from Northern Europe where they were in a cave, and um, I think in like in like the uh, I think like the north of France or like Belgium or something, and they found on the wall um, really badly traced um, WikiHow art. Mm -hmm. Like really badly, like obviously traced from something else, but like cave paintings. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, and it was really enlightening. I think it it, it source WikiHow. <laughs> it illuminated how again how information was shared in the in the um you know in the pre in prehistory basically. Mm. Right. Um. What do we do? Uh, I need to capture your um your fellow. Yes. Your okay, owl so, fellow. I need to. Yeah. yeah so um. You you remember how to do it? Yeah, I'm I'm working on it. Okay, you can just be the host this time. It, uh, it's a, it's the same. You just flip the switch. Um, I see. Okay. And uh, invite me to, in. Ed, set up a password and then send that to me. Okay. Uh, uh, session host. Select a Steam friend to add to the list. And we're looking for um. Um. 
Can, do you want to tell me your Steam name right now? Oh, um, it's just my name. It is, okay. Yeah. I mean, it used to be something different, but you changed it, okay. It did. It's been a few different things. Okay. All right, so you've been invited uh, as far as setting a password. It says password saved, and I can't click. Okay, hold on. Um... Okay, should be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm I'm trying. All right, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the password. See if that works. Okay. See if that works right there. See if that I'm, works. I'm letting my uh, my uh, subscriber Discord know. Sweet. Now joining Mike. The more the merrier. Or... Someone in chat said, fat nuts detected. <laughs> okay, somebody somebody put my put fat nuts Fred over and over on uh like in a text to speech on uh on I was it Leroy's and then uh Wh Whiskey Dingo's stream. I almost called him Wiki Dingo reflexively. And <laughs> the way that it sounded was fat nuts Fred. Fat nuts, Fred. Why does it? Fat nuts, Fred. Just over and over. Is it like a, is it like a sub alert? Like what is it? Oh, uh, it was it was a sub alert or like a bit alert. <laughs> um, are you able to join Fat my shit? Nuts, Fred. Um, the password apparently at least eight characters, one uppercase, lowercase, and number. It does not satisfy those requirements. Hmm, I'm certain it did, but you know what? That sounds like a that sounds like a Mike. It's only seven letters. That sounds or like a Mike moment. Oh, there you go. Yeah, classic, classic Mike moment. <laughs> classic Fat nuts, Fred. Classic moment. Classic. Okay, can you? Try the same thing with a, a two at the end? Yes. There. And then, did you invite me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, hold on. Definitely. I'm looking for you on the list because I'm not seeing an invite, hmm. but... It's okay. I I'm finding you and just adding you in. Okay. And you'll be there able to join are. my my sh my shit. Should be able to. Uh, let's see. Oh. Please and wait. And join. Chat. Please wait. wait for your it. your funny is loading. He who. Please wait. Your he he who ha is loading. We got some banger oh. articles here tonight, dude. I think you're really gonna enjoy what we got on the docket. These I, have been sitting. I'm so excited. They have been sitting in a in a in a uh, word file on my computer for oh. like two years, I think. When was the last time we did? Me and Fred used to do this a lot. When it's was been the last a time long we did this? Time, yeah. yeah. It was before he started working on the Eve Online uh, video, which was like five years ago, six years ago, years ago. Ah, uh, shoot! Hold on. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, and, and a lot of these were, were uh, submitted by viewers. So, are, you're having trouble with the thing, dude? Yeah, I'm trying to join in, and it's being funky. Oh, have you actually started the room? How do you do that? Um, you need to hit host on the bottom there. Okay, there's your there's your problem. I didn't do that. Okay. Yeah. You got it. See? Okay. I've, I've been through this song and dance before, and so I can guide him. I don't see you in here, though. You're not, you're, not you're, yet, your fella because I haven't not, joined. Okay. Where's your fella? Where is working he? Working on it. Working on it. I'm freaking He's out. Working. He's not here. Oh, disconnected. Huh. Womp, womp, Hold womp. On. You, you added me to the guest list, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'm in there. Um, let's see. Are you so, sure okay. you want to open the collab setup stream during a collab? Okay, yes. am I, I, it looks like there's something wrong with my password. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, like, I'm telling, I'm, I'm gathering that. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're gonna try a new password. Hey, um. Are we in caps lock? How can I tell? Oh. Some, like, serious grandpa um, stuff going on here, huh? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, can you try the same password? I'm going to invite you again, I suppose. Yeah, sure. Oh, hold on. Guys, uh, please bear with me. I'm doing, I'm doing something I've never done before. Let's go, boomers. Fuck yeah. We're boomering it. Yeah, I, th this isn't even really that complicated. It's just you have to... <laughs> I, I think you got to experience it, you know, to... Okay, I'm going to invite you again. Okay, okay, try the try the password that I gave you again. It's going to be the okay. same password. What is this password? You don't like it? Well, I, I, it's not that I don't like it. I, I'm neutral on it, but just what is it? Is it not working? Well, it's working. I, I, I'm in? You're, I'm in. You're supposed to be in. I'm in. Okay, I'm clicking host. Wait. Okay. Accept. Wait, disconnected. Wow. M Mike, share your screen with me. Share Dude, your screen with tr me. Just try that password one more time. I think I did something wrong. So just try one more time. Okay. To host that, yeah, to get in there. Okay. There we go. The password is oral cum shot. Um, uh, stop putting the password out there. How, am I really that predictable? It looks like you DC'd. <laughs> so. What? Really? No, oh. there I am. Oh, wow. All there right. we go. All right. Now ready Hold for the on. big reveal. Oop. Okay. Okay. We know, we know about that. We know about that. Okay. Boom. 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 Can you see the stream? Yes, I can. Oh, you know what? I for I forgot to share my screen with you so you can see the articles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gimme, yeah, yeah. gimme, gimme. Yeah, hold on. All right, hold on. You might need to make your, your bird a little bit smaller, though. Okay. I, I can in small in the bird. There is one thing I want to do, however. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Anthro Owl and Low Poly Jester. I'm Low Poly? I'm Low Poly? What do you mean I'm Low Poly? Low Poly. I will eat you from the inside. What do you mean I'm Low Poly? Wait a minute, why did I say that? I'm doing something. Hi there, I'm Pig Haggerty. <laughs> and I'm not stopping, I'm, I am not stopping before we, <laughs> I try pork in every state. I may be a television host, but I've eaten at a lot of restaurants. Fred, the dark water is filling the room. You got to get back here. <laughs> Fred, the, come back to the stream. The dark water is, is is filling up the basement. I love that the dark waters rise is... The dark waters it, it rise. It has become a meme on my channel. Um, That porking across America has has really stayed with me, man. Like that—that that was it really um, gets under your your pig skin, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was profoundly disturbing, <laughs> and you know, po poignant. Like, I mean, it really—you know—it uh, was—it was special. It was. It, thank you for showing that to me. I am glad that I could make your life measurably worse. <laughs> well, it's you know, it, 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 it's kind of a cautionary tale. It's it's not. I wouldn't say measurably worse. I I, I would say I would I would say it's an enrichment. I would. It's an enrichment. I think it's an enrichment. <laughs> it's yeah. it's enrichment in the same way that like when Calvin's dad talks about something building character. Oh, Calvin. What Calvin and Hobbes? Cal Cal or? Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. 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 How do I sound on stream? By the way. Remember that time Calvin's dad um like sleep deprived him and forced him to play chess in a hotel room. <laughs> And I fucking wrote a vignette about it. What'd you ask me? I'm sorry. What? Did, what me? Yeah, you asked me something before I memed. I you was unimportant. Uh his audio. I don't even remember. They said oh, you yeah, sound. Audio. They I'm said you sound twink. Audio. Okay. I, they said I you sound twinktastic. That's how Excellent. we measure audio, like how twi how twinkish it is. Okay, do, do me a favor. I, We're I gonna do a sound that, test. I think that we actually we actually managed to beat the crust. We did. It's beautiful, actually. It's amazing. Yeah. This is the the I, ultimate yeah. sound test, though. For like, okay. Okay. Repeat after me. Okay. Shoop. Shoop. No, you gotta go. Hip. Hip. Hop. Hip. 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 
Oh, because you're trying to right. You got it. Like okay. that. There we go. That, sound, I, I figured yeah. out what you were trying to do. You it took me fantastic. a second to figure out what you wanted. Okay. <laughs> it took me a f like as soon as I like I was like, what the fuck are you trying to get me to do? So uh -huh. I'm like trying to match the tone. I'm like, oh, he's doing that thing. <laughs> are you? Um, it took me a fucking second. Are you playing that game? No, I, I'm. I'm saving it. I'm saving it for after the video's out. Good move. Good move. You're gonna savor it. Really. Mm -hmm. oh, really yeah. give it your, yeah, your yeah, full yeah. attention. It's a it's a meaty mother. This game. Yeah, I've um, heard. I uh, can't talk about it because like, even mentioning anything about it will be a spoiler. Um, it's uh, you're gonna you're, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. I think it's fun. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's very fun. I'm it's so, very fun. It's very. Fun. I believe you. I 100 percent believe you. N I Nintendo kind of wild. Nintendo kind of knocked it out of the park with this with with this. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's it's graphically leaving a little bit to be desired, but you you aren't trust me. You aren't gonna care. Okay. You aren't gonna care. I, I mean, like, they, I am. I am having like, yeah. There's, you're gonna drop frames and stuff. There's, there's, a, there are some performance issues. That, that's a bummer. But like, I, I still think you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, you, you remember the, the woods, right? Like where you find the master sword, the Korok, uh, Korok forest. In Botwa. Oh my god. In Botwa. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's, it's like more of that. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes here. We're going to figure out how to live our lives in a way that offends God. Um, you want to start okay. start us off with some um, some some reading here. You want to you want to dive into this one? Uh, dive into oh, the... this is oh, this is good. This is oh, th this article is for people who are either like terrified of germs, which to be fair, like the valid and super a understandable. Toilet, um. Or people who still believe you can get AIDS from a toilet seat. Wait, you can't? <laughs> what? What are you telling? You tell me it's not possible. Not. To, I don't. I don't think that it has ever happened. One time, I'm sorry. I, I apologize for this anecdote in advance. But one time, I was pooping in a public toilet, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to keep this as as, as not graphic as possible. Okay. Okay. Um, the splash was the splashback okay was such that a i'm, I'm gonna say a, a not negligible amount of water was directed back up like directly into my anus like like right like direct like back it was like a bidet oh, or like God. i was like it was like i got like an, an enema from a public toilet like it just oh, went God. straight up in there and fred i i i know that this was you know i'm a hypochondriac right Right, 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 right. Poseidon's kiss, they call it. Yeah, but it, it typically doesn't go... Poseidon's kiss typically doesn't manage to, like, right. go directly into, right. into yeah, your, no, your no, open this, this, this is, like, Poseidon's, like, Poseidon's makeout. Yeah, <laughs> Poseidon's rim job. So, <laughs> for, like, days afterwards, Fred, I, yeah, yeah. I, I swear to you, I swear to you, I could feel, like, the little fellas, like, like the, like the little like the little oh, aids like the little guys climbing up like the walls of my intestine like trying to get to my heart like they oh. were in there like I, they were in there like just wreaking havoc in there they were little guys i could i swear I, I was like going mad with like you know hypochondria and everything i could swear i felt them in there and they did they they sang a little song and it sounded like this they said aids aids where the aids I'm the big aide who makes all the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> and I just imagine wow. them like rock climbing like the walls of my like ass while they were singing this little like this little ditty, kind of like right, 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 right. And um, mm -hmm. I now will go hours out of my way to avoid a public toilet. I will do pretty much anything to avoid a public toilet because oh, then like I, I, when I. I know you can't. I know you can't get. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know you can't get. I mean, can, okay. Can you get any STDs from a toilet? You think? I don't. I. I. I think the numbers are so infinitesimally small that that like it's never happened. It's like statistically you can, almost but statistically not AIDS. impossible. I. I still think it might be a good idea to have some sanitary wipes to use on the toilet before you use it. Like on the seat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But can you get like water like going up into your like your your downstairs mix up and giving you 
and giving it's you like probably i i don't i i don't know i actually don't like know like you can get yeah, herpes UTI, from UTI, water. uti uti is more likely than anything you're else. just gonna get an infection like yeah. a bacteria yeah, you're just infection. gonna get like yeah, a yeah. generic bacterial mm -hmm. infection mm -hmm. okay yeah. um and yeah. I mean, like, I, I it, it, it's a phobia that's okay. Sometimes I have to conquer it because it is, it is really inconvenient to like, you know, have a phobia like you can't poop anywhere. But right. like, um, I mean, pooping while standing up, though. I mean, that, I am very. That's gonna cause more problems than it solves. I think, right? The immediate question I have about this article is, mm. how are they going to define pooping while standing up? Like yeah. What counts? What counts as pooping while standing? Like is this up? like is a squat? Like does a squat right, count? Yeah. Are, are right. we talking squatting? Like are a we hover talking, poop? Yeah. Like What's going what on? what counts as standing up? Are are they talking about like ramrod stiff legs clenching your ass so that like the shit has to like discover a route out? <laughs> of Here's my theory. What's gonna happen? Okay. 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 They're gonna just have you poop into your hand and drop it into the toilet. Yeah, right. That that's how I think they're gonna approach. Like that that's a strat. I mean that that'll that will work. You know, like the baby Moses. Yeah, like the baby Moses. And just like drop it gently into the toilet, like the baby Moses. Right. On the uh, on the Nile River. Right, right. Um. <laughs> how do you want to read that? You want you want to dive in? Yeah, let's go. Oh, good, we can download it just in case. Sometimes it can be uncomfortable to poop in a public restroom. Maybe it is especially dirty, or you just can't make yourself sit on the toilet seat because it is cold or otherwise uncomfortable. Oh, it's like those 45 degree toilet seats or like those angled toilet seats. Oh, the ones that they put in offices to make sure you're not pooping on yeah. company time? Yeah, Man. yeah, boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I shit on company time. I, I mean, like, if you need any further proof that, like, we're living in, like, the, the worst possible dystopia, I mean, there, there it is. Mm -hmm. Like, like, fucking, that's evil incarnate. We're gonna take yep. this basic bo human bodily function away from you in the name of, like, you know, workplace efficiency and profit. Right. That is fucking bleak, man. <laughs> Remember the prototype air airline seats? That the where standing, you the were standing basically ones? standing, yeah. standing seat. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's the point of having a seat at that point? The, the, like... the, the last time I was on a plane, or actually, no, no, not the, okay. The, 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 when I came back, uh, actually, to and from San Diego last year for TwitchCon, um, hmm. I think actually standing would have been more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, they, the, so? the, the seats are that bad. Like, they're that fucked is it, now. Like, is it just me, or... Or are some airplane seats designed to give you, like, a sore ass as quickly as possible? And, like, scoliosis? Absolutely. Right. Like, I don't, I can't explain it. Just Human why. comfort was the very last consideration in, in designing those airplane seats. Right. Like, and dude, you ever, you ever look at airplane seats from, like, the 70s, the 80s? And, like, you ever, oh, you ever, you ever, you ever see how they changed over time? So th that actually there is a little bit of an explanation. Um, okay. Over time, the market decided um, people wanted. So back in the day, flying mm -hmm. was thought to be like a luxury, right? The, yeah. the idea airlines wanted to go in the direction of flying being a luxury experience. Yeah. Um, and then people realized, hey, wait a minute, getting across the country in a matter of hours is actually really good and lots of people want to do it and they a lot of people tend to that, like it yeah a lot of people tend to like flying mm -hmm. so they like it, it it's not so much a luxury thing as it is a, a transit thing yeah so they made it cheaper and cheaper yeah crammed more people in yeah the um the inevitable uh you know, whatever that is. I don't want to. I don't want to say the c word here. I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to dance around the c word. I already might have gotten myself in hot water today once. So all right, let's stay out of the hot water. Um, yeah. But yeah, fuck, fuck airlines. In every, yeah. I hate them. I just, I just hate them. I hate. They're scum. They're scum <laughs> of the earth. Um, 
It's, you know, it, it, you're reminding me of like what I th I thought soda was supposed to be, but so soda followed the same trajectory. Soda was supposed to be a treat on the Saturday, on a Saturday, like you take your sweetheart to get a fucking right. root, root beer float at the fucking, you know, at, at the at the malt shop. You weren't supposed right, to have two right. liters of Coke with every meal, dude. Yeah, it's. I mean, I. I think that. It was originally supposed to be that way, but that's not how it ended up. Being, yeah, right, right. Right now, now it's like a regular thing. And right. what's awful is that it's they make it so cheap. Like mm -hmm. it's usually I would complain about something being too expensive, but yeah. like it's so cheap. I'm like that's that the it problem. It's a problem. Right. Yeah, crazy how that well, works. I mean, well, I mean, they figure out ways. How can we make it cheaper? How can we sell enough of it so that people can't imagine not drinking it? Like they're. They're figuring they they have designed this product not to be a good product, but how to alter your mind so that you are dependent upon the product. Look out, chat! He's gonna derf! Get down! <laughs> God damn it! Get down! He's gonna derf! No, I mean I brought Here this I up. Come. I I bought this up. I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> All right, so you want to read is, this shit? This is one of the reasons I drink tea. T tag team dooming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm tapping ba, out. Ba, 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 plastic in my blood. Oh, ba, dude, I've been ba, thinking ba, about ba, that ba. nonstop. <laughs> that was incredible. I thought oh, you would I appreciate that Oh, I that loved song. that, dude. Ba, 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 losing my fucking mind. Ba, 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 <laughs> it's, it's so good. Um... All right, so uh, we got multi-track um, multi dooming. <laughs> what? Yes, uh, so I'm so sorry. Um, there are several steps you can take to make this pro. Oh, whatever your reasons, sometimes you would just feel better if you could poop while standing up. There are several steps you can take to make this process easier. <laughs> okay. Part one, choosing the right place. Pick the best stall if you have to poop and find that a public restroom with multiple stalls is your only choice, you can at least pick the stall that will best suit your purposes. First and foremost, make sure the stall you are in has a functioning lock. The last thing you want is to be interrupted midway through defecating. If cleanliness what? is a top priority, choose one of the stalls closest to the door. There is research indicating that these are less, are used less frequently, so they are typically cleaner. Oh, I actually did not know that. Well, so this definitely does smack of someone like speaking to someone else who's new to civilization. Yeah, right. Oh, they, that's that's like most of these, though, right? Like, like I, this I, this is the shit bowl. You shit in it. You gotta have no common sense to not come to these conclusions yourself. Mm. Right. Also, source on that research. You're new to civilization. Oh, this. Oh, crack the, pipe. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> source crack pipe. This is because. I think in a lot of people's minds, when they go into a public restroom to poop, they want to have a little bit of solitude. So they go to the right. furthest from the door um, stall. I mean, it, ma it makes sense. Like, oh, here's a nice one that'll have, you know, I'll have some privacy over here. I won't get, you know, um, I won't hear people, um, you know, coming in and out. But then, actually, I heard, it's funny because I heard some, uh, uh, my, my relatives talking about this recently. Um, and it's like, that's why I always use the first stall. Because it's the cleanest. And then I'm like, wait a minute. You realize that I've heard dozens of people say that. That means that everybody is using the first stall because they believe everybody else is using the last one. So this actually inverted. So, Mike, let's say, hypothetically, for the sake of argument, <laughs> yeah. let's say that this is true. That yeah. even like even this this research is correct, or these anecdotes are correct. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Do you want to know why? Why is that? Because the people who are most calm and collected are the ones who are going to be using the farther stalls. It's the desperate ones who are going to be using the nearest ones. They're a little bit less worried about where it goes, except out. What a fucking so sociological study we, we got going on here. Right? <laughs> The desperatest use the sinks. Yeah, we learned that in Finger Family last night. Or the urinal. Oh, really? Um, or, you know, the, the toilet's too pregnant to poop in. Um, I, yeah, it was, it was a wild night. Last night was wild. Um, I, apparently, what the fuck? I, I, someone in chat said that you actually noped out of a video. 
well, we we noped out of the avocado one, not because it was it, it was like f just freaking everybody out. It's because it was fucking annoying. It wasn't the content of the video. It was like the 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 um like the voice acting was like nee, 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 nee. it was like really high pitched and grating, and I just couldn't do it anymore. It's just too much. It was too right? yeah. It was too. It was it was making me want to die. I I had to yeah. I couldn't I couldn't hear it anymore. Um, but I think getting back to this. It sounds like the middle stall is your safest bet. If you're in, if yeah. you're lucky enough to be in a bathroom with three of them, you go for the middle. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The the middle, like, be the Buddha, take the middle path. Yeah, the middle path. <laughs> the middle path. All right. So uh, here we go. Number two. You want to take this one? Yeah. Gather your supplies. You will need toilet paper. Before starting to relieve yourself, check to make sure that the stall or room has plenty of toilet paper and that you can easily reach it. Like, what? Okay, so far we're just learning how to shit in general. Yeah, this is potty. Stall. This is potty training. Yeah, this is just right. Yeah. Um. Uh. Although I will say, when I go on road trips, okay, you guys, the. There are little things in life that you can do to make your make life a little bit more comfortable. Here's life one hacks of the things with you can do. Yeah, life hack. When you're on a long car trip, bring your own toilet paper. Bring a bring a fresh roll of toilet paper with you, and bring it in with you if you need to use uh, one of the restrooms, one of the rest areas. Yeah, because they're not always gonna have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe their yep. toilet paper is or, bad. Like, yeah, no, they're yeah, they're going to give you paper. the. They're going to give you. They're not, they're not worried about user reviews. They're no. going to give you the cheapest shit. You're getting fucking the kind of toilet paper that like scrapes your ass, the skin off your ass. Right. Like if if they if, if it was cheaper to make you use the three shell method, they would. Yeah. <laughs> One ply sandpaper. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, anyway. Try placing a small amount of toilet paper in the toilet before you poop. Ooh, that's, well. that's a good tip. Ooh. That's a good tip. No, that's a legitimately good tip. That prevents Poseidon's kiss. Man, that, that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Is it actually? Hold on. Wait a minute. No, this is horse shit. How do you figure? No, because it's still going to plop. Um, okay. I, I don't I've, think this works. I've, I've, I've done this. Um... This, this the, works? The, 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 the technique is important. You're going to, you're going to take... You're gonna take some. You're gonna. You're gonna. You, truth be told, you are gonna need a lot of toilet paper. So you take a nice okay. length of toilet paper, and then you kind of layer it onto itself in the toilet, like you're making lasagna. Right. Right. Okay. You're gonna use like three or four strips at least, and mm -hmm. make like a nice TP lasagna in on the surface of the fucking toilet water, like on the surface. Mm -hmm. Like, do not break the surface with this water. Let the toilet paper right, float. Right. 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 A ballistic shield, if you will. You want. You're gonna want to do that. I'm going to say, like, at least, yeah, like, two layers of that. Okay, mm. this is, again, you, you're not going to have to do this all the time. You got to use your judgment when this is when this is necessary. Oh, yeah, yeah. guys, I've, yeah, I've I've done my paces with this, guys. Uh, maybe, like, two layers. Well, some people in chat are saying it works with one layer. Uh, I think it depends on maybe the, to the quality of the toilet paper. The ply could even come into play here. Because, yeah, if it's really cheap, it disintegrates easily. It's not going to prevent the plop. But I mean, right. you aren't necessarily trying to prevent total plop. You're trying to prevent like, you know, cannonball. You're trying to right, prevent the yeah. turd doing like a, you know, first day of summer at the watering hole, you know, at the swimming hole. You know what I mean? Are you ready for mm. the summer type shit? Like you're, you're right, trying to prevent right. that, that the fucking fat kid doing a belly flop and that going up into your asshole. That's what you're trying to prevent. Right. Oh, my God. Did did we watch the onion video of um, what was it of? With with Jim Haggerty hosting, where it's they're interviewing a child who a, a a fat kid who avoids ridicule by wearing a shirt into the swimming pool. Uh, no, but I I but as a fat kid, I did that many many times. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> well, we're going to spray you down outside so you can show us. Yeah, I mean, like it kind of doesn't work. If it it, it it might like draw more attention to you when you do that. Mm -hmm. You know, right. I mean, I don't know. Um, but yeah, point being, it, it 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 can it can work. It can work if done correctly. It can be a it can be a very effective barrier to right, to, to yeah. Poseidon's kiss. Yeah, just yeah. a little land, okay. a little landing okay. pad to soften the blow. So it's break. It's it's hitting the toilet paper. It's not breaking the surface of the water. Right, right, you right. Know? 
So this will help you to avoid having an excess amount of water splash up as you do your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Consider having some hygienic wipes in your pocket or in your purse. You'll find them useful during the cleaning process. Like, wh why is it stepping us through? Whatever. A lot We've of people don't. A lot this. of people don't walk around with the uh, the hygienic wipes. No, a lot of people no, don't no. do that. I actually don't. I wish I. I you know what it is? I, I'd forget them everywhere if I did that. Right. But yeah. I have them at home. I don't. I don't. I don't go mobile with them though. You know. Hmm. -mm. Take some paper towels into the stall with you. They will be more effective than toilet paper in helping to clean up any resulting mess. If you know that you are going to be in a situation where you need to poop standing up, try to make it easier on yourself by choosing your clothing wisely. What? Can we back it up a second? Yeah, what you, why, sure. You're taking paper towels into the stall for what reason? More effective than toilet paper and helping I'm... to clean up. Are you shitting on the... F oh, because... Because you're shitting standing up, right? Shit this changes all. Right, this like, changes are, all the rules. Yeah. Are they expecting you to get swifty? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. What? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe <sighs> we don't. We just don't know yet. I'm. 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 Mike. Yeah. I mean, toilet paper. What are you doing in there at that point, Mike? Right? Do, do, uh, do, do, fucking paper towels. You're speaking as though you don't know what's about to happen, even though you were the one who collected these. Has it just been so oh, long uh, that you don't remember? Oh, I, 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 I fucking remember like like blasting through them very quickly when they were submitted to okay. me. Uh, Matt Mellon sent okay. these. Matt, Matt, oh, okay. you sent these, Bless right? You, like two years ago, dude. Yeah, Bless these are the you, ones Matt. you sent like two years ago. Do you even remember? Thank you, Matt. Um, some of them. Okay. Uh, so you said. If you know you're going to be in a choosing your clothing wisely, yes, yes. So what? Yeah, that is wild, right? It's a lot to t like. I feel like there are implications. There are implications that are not being like. I'm. It's foreshadowing. It's like Chekhov's shit. <laughs> Chekhov's shit hammock. Okay, so I had this this problem. This happened to me exactly once. I, I, okay. And it was during a stream. Chat remembers this. Um, I was I sat on the toilet, but my well, I, I was you know, I did a BRB. I sat on the toilet, but like my my to my t shirt was like in the toilet, like the back of my t shirt okay. was like oh, no. yeah it went into the toilet, and like I narrowly avoided like pooping in 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 the like the shirt down there. Basically, it would have been like and chat called it a poop hammock, and they were all like, oh that's happened to me, that's happened oh, no. to me, yeah yeah, yeah the oh, poop that, hammock like. That like oh mm -hmm. oh I that you sorry, see why I, it's called a hammock right like it's just yes it's just, no, it just I, I see it. I understand yeah it's, yeah it's it's a it's a really unfortunate Cra incident right cradles it lovingly yeah Christ <laughs> it's real it's a, it's real rough right right oh hey hey Mike yeah I have a request for you mm -hmm. rather than sharing your screen could you have OBS make a virtual webcam and then share that with me so i can see like the, how my model is moving fred i don't know what the fuck that what you just said to me never mind what is what is that never what mind is, uh, it's okay that it's not a big deal you're gonna have to walk me through that entire thing i it would, it would take I'll show you it, it it's a really cool function with obs that's really easy right, so basically what is it, the like, start virtual camera yeah just start virtual camera okay and then if you go into Discord and like share your or like turn on camera, one of the cameras you can select should be OBS virtual camera. It's like a basically it turns OBS into a webcam. Like a video. Like um, the, your system interprets it as a webcam. Um, That uh, doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. It, it's not in the list. Of, you don't have to do this, man. It's fine. It's it's, fine. it's not in the list of things that I can okay, capture. Okay, don't, with, don't with worry. Discord. Don't worry about it then. Just just yeah. share just share the screen. It's fine. All right, sorry, man. Don't worry about it. Um, it's just it's not in it, it's not in the list. So. No worries. Don't don't worry about it. I'll show you later though. Yeah, yeah. It could be useful. Yeah, yeah. No, it is very useful. Can't wait. Sadik said, I can't wait to see Mike with no pants on appear. <laughs> it's some, something like that would happen. All right. So uh, you got your, um, did you want to finish reading that third bullet bullet point there? Did you want to? Or do you yeah, want sure. me to? Yeah, sure. Um, no, I got it. If you know that you are going to be in a situation where you need to poop standing up, try to make it easier on yourself by choosing your clothing wisely. Mm -hmm. 
ladies, a skirt would be the easiest for you. Very ladylike simply, behavior. Simply gather it up and hold it around your waist. Gentlemen, avoid wearing your best pair of dress slacks. Because they're going to get shit on them. They're going to get shit on can, them. This, this cannot be the more sanitary option. Like, just even before seeing the method, this can't be the more sanitary option. If you go this route, you're going to have to be okay with a little bit of shit. Right. I, I think like, that's just how it is. Right, like, the bar for shitting standing up should not also be the bar for anal. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, avoid wearing your best pair of dress slacks. This option could potentially be messier than if you choose to sit on the toilet and you don't want to soil your good clothes. It's worth pointing out that in a lot of parts of the world, they have squat toilets. And what a squat toilet right, essentially is, is, is a hole in the ground that you squat over and you shit into. So they're very, they're very common in Japan. Where it's, like, it's, right. it's, it's not a hole in the ground. It's like, a, it's like a toilet that flushes it away, but like it, it's, mm. it is arguably the more hygienic option. Yeah. I mean, um, so why are we like having a moral panic over this over here? I mean, I think it's because it's actually harder to do this on, uh, one of our Western toilets because they are, um, closer to our asses. The squat toilets are closer mm. to the ground. So the, the toilet itself isn't going to get in your way, right? Right. Um, so here you have a, you have a toilet in your way if, that you don't that you don't want to touch. What are you going to do? Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's I think that's the, the real issue at hand. Um, you know, it occurs to me, though, that that women are definitely going to have uh, this. This is going to, I think, be an e a much easier thing to for, for women to adapt to, because a lot of women do just squat. Right. Right. Like a lot. They, they, they will just squat um, to piss. Right, but sure. I think I see. I think peeing is a, you know, that's a different ball game. Like that's a that's a whole different animal. Pee, you know what I mean? Right, like piss. I feel like it, it's it's a it's it's a different level. Yeah, um, but I mean, like, okay, so for for some for for an experienced uh, squat pee squatter, okay. For an okay, Bun Buntime is saying if you squat, you get pee all over yourself. Is that or right? Or all over the place. Is that right? We're going to have to defer to the uh, vagina havers on this one. And I'm going to tell you something else. That is far from the only article where I'm going to have to use that sentence tonight. I, you know. Unfortunately. I'm surprised, but I know that I shouldn't be. Yeah, that, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the refrain of the evening, I think. Actually, okay. So, yes, let's finish this. This option. Okay, yeah. Let's move on to the next step because yeah. I feel like there is so much foreshadowing. To the it's 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 intense. Oh, the, the right? red it's, circle. It's very the, the, every word is so pregnant with possibilities. Dude, there is zero <laughs> chance that I ship myself because I am clenching my ass right now, <laughs> like bracing. <laughs> Um, what's going on down there? Hold on. Do I have to? Yeah, you see that, right? I see that. I see that. I'm going to. Okay, that. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's, that's fine. fine. Uh, <laughs> Gummy Worms is saying if you piss hard into the toilet, then you won't get pee everywhere. You have to go like a. You have to like, you have to e eject the pee with some force to avoid this, the splashing everywhere. Damn, no, no, boy, no, were you no, just no, chicken in there? <laughs> no, no, because look, there are three levels of force with which you can piss. Okay. The first level is where you're like holding it back and it's kind of dribbling out and then you don't have very much control. It just kind of goes everywhere. <laughs> the second level is, is your goal. That is the nice, smooth stream, right? <laughs> Lots of control. The third level is when you're like clenching and pushing it out and that's where it starts to turn into a like a, a spray again yeah like yeah. like, too like much you're force. putting the too much thumb, torque. like you're like when you put your thumb over the, the hose. hose too much psi yeah, yeah. right you got yeah, too much exactly. psi it, it can happen guys if you're wondering um fred um p fred pissed uh competitively in the um in the 2018 um olympics what was it canada watch how hard winter I can olympics piss. the the winter olympics <laughs> <laughs> 
Find some privacy. People become nervous before using a public restroom. If this applies to you, there are some steps you can take to make the experience as private as possible. Try to scope out a restroom that is not near the entrance or lobby of a building. Right, though the Olympics took place in Baltimore. These mm. will likely have less traffic and you will have a better chance of being in the restroom by yourself. Hopefully that'll help ease any tension. Again, common sense shit. Go to a bathroom that, that's away from a high traffic area. Very obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're using this method at a friend's house, you might be concerned that someone will overhear your bathroom activities. This is actually another benefit of the um, of the of the layering of the toilet paper in the toilet. It, I, it muffles poop splash. I, I don't know. It's, I feel it's, like it's, you, you got, it's more true. stealthy. That, it's stealthier. True. It's stealthier too. Less right, splashback and more stealth. Yeah, mm. stealth, the stealth shit. I, I I'm just reminded of the bit uh, in my Wings of Redemption video where mm -hmm. like wings is staying with kyle and he's like pissing with the door open i remember that <laughs> yeah yeah that. and he's like what at least i'm not shitting uh that's it um and then, and then kyle makes the quip i couldn't see the penis nor could he like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, that was a good burn what was oh on, my what God. was the burn? I'm I'm listening to the Behind the Bastard series about about Vince McMahon now. Oh, I've heard that's that's really um compelling shit actually. It is like Behind the Bastards is just generally a, a very good podcast. Hmm. Um, Who but, else have they done profiles on? Oh God, uh, a lot of people. Um, really interesting, like really interesting. But what what's really nice about it is it's not just about the person. They give a lot of background as to the circumstances as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, they talked about. Uh, Jack Welch, who was the person who pioneered just laying people off to inflate quarterly profits. Fuck. Um, they've talked about Andrew Tate a little bit, which is very amusing. Okay. Um, they, they talked about Bikram of Bikram Yoga. Ooh. And his weird sex pesty ways. Mm-hmm. Um, they've heard they of that guy. They talked about the Liver King. Ooh, yeah, he uh, sucks. Yeah, recently, I'm just going back. Um, they, they talked about the Primal Diet. Like the the con, um, Coco Chanel, the Nazi who invested who invented fashion. Is that I never heard uh, that. That's that true. That really they're like that. Yeah. They were like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um. Oh no. Like the the fascinating the fascinating thing, and I I know we're talking about Nazis, which is a no no thing. Yeah, but don't I do swear. That. I swear to God, <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. I swear to God, this is interesting. Don't call they them that. Just call them call them um, flamingos. Flamingo. Okay, they're they're flamingos. What? The most fascinating thing is. Oh, sorry, they didn't Nady, if you're hearing believe... this. <laughs> didn't, didn't mean to. Didn't mean to do that, Nady. Sorry. Um, <laughs> don't know why I went to. I guess because I've been shooting them a lot in, in in Breath of the Wild. Spoilers. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, he who. Um, poor Nady. I, I I fucking love Nady. Um, the flamingos. Apparently, they did. They didn't believe that white people were the master race. They oh, believed God. they needed to breed the master race back into existence. Oh. So this was Coco Chanel, that that like, per, the, the the fashion person, guru. guru. That, that, that was part Founder. of the belief. That was part. The, you you need was to it a cult? Was it a cult type you, thing? Was it like you, a... you need to understand that like all of this all of this eugenics shit comes from like the most ass weird like cult uh, occult practices beliefs they believed in Atlantis and like yeah. Atlanteans they believed that Jews were from space. Like, they, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, dude, it's fucking insane. It's yeah. actually insane. Holy shit! It's like major crack pipe. Yeah, it's like it's, you guys have no idea how like it's like a stupid rabbit hole. So I never heard any of that it's about just, Coco Chanel. I never heard that. That's it, crazy. It's, like basically, yeah, they took the teachings of Madame Blavatsky and just made it. F they just took it to the next level of wild bullshit. I, I feel like a lot of it's people like, idolize the, them too. Mike, idolize that person. You, you know, you know, oh, yeah. spirit science. Like the weird bullshit that he does, it's that. Yeah, with new, new age got the crystals and shit. Yeah, that's what it. Well, that's what was at the core of like Nazi ideology. That's actually going to become relevant later tonight. By the way, you should. Are you, you how? Yeah, there's I don't. You'll see. You'll see. Fucking fucking yeah. how, dude? You'll, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. What I'm do you mean? It, I'm gonna bring it full circle. I'm gonna bring it full circle. What do you fucking mean? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. I'm sorry if I'm blowing out the microphone. You'll I see. Just, you'll see. What? Uh, you will. You you will see in due time. Um, um, no, you're not, okay, it's something anyway, tangential I, to I, what I you hope, just said, basically. I, I, I know, I know that Flamingos. I kind of, like, uh, Mike, I know that, I know that I ride the line sometimes, and I'm glad that you trusted me enough to, like, 
stay shy of it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I know. You're, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you're there. well, you're learning how to do it on your own channel. So I'd say you've gotten, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Um, <laughs> but what the hell was the point? Uh, I appreciate you trusting me. Is is my point? You were trying to tell me about an episode about Vince McMahon. Yeah. Were, yeah. Um. Right. So there was an incredible insult that um. What was it? Uh, Jesse Ventura made. He there was a wedding that happened live in the ring. And he's supposed to come in and crash it. And it's the hillbillies who are getting married. And he said that when they kissed, they looked like two carp who were fighting over a corn kernel. <laughs> the most incredible insult I've oh, ever you were, heard. You, yeah, you were talking about the the uh, the wings insult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All oh, that yeah. is that is. That is it's poetry. So that's that's it poetry. Is, that, it is a fantastic insult. Yeah, the art of the insult is, you know, I, I think it's becoming a lost art because, you know, nobody wants to offend anybody anymore, right? But, you know, I mean, right, like, yeah. you know, I don't know, man. You know what it is? Sometimes I, I, I think, you know, when, when people are punching up, um, you know, like you get, you get, you, you could still see that. But I mean, like, I, I'm not like it used to be. I feel like the art of the right, insult has yeah. definitely died. Um, in recent years, because you have, um, yeah, you just nobody wants to hurt anybody's feelings, you know. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. But yeah, so if, if you're using, uh, try running water in the sink as you use the toilet. Another seen that strategy. This will create a sound barrier, and you might have an increased sense of privacy. Might. Might. Keyword might. It's also a waste of water. Right? Don't try doing it, that it, in it fucking. Is, don't try doing that in Arizona. R right. Yeah. Um, here we go, baby. Like that would be a really bad waste of iron. <laughs> here we go. Hold on. Ha ha ha. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Th I'm glad that you allowed me to take this one. Try squatting. You will actually need to poop squatting, not standing straight up. Oh my god. Good. Septic the shit log. <laughs> the the truest anti anti c word uh <laughs> anti c word yeah, icon yeah this will help you make sure that you are aiming properly and help ensure that you hit the toilet <laughs> squatting will also provide stability so you will be less likely to wobble bend your knees slightly and lean forward a little bit to squat you can also try using your hands to spread your cheeks this might make the process a little faster and easier for you. Um, okay, so I have a great question for you. Why is this article okay. not called How to Poop While Squatting? While well, Squatting, right. Why, why is that, it called yeah, How to Poop While Standing? Because that you the, are now not standing now. Right, this was the point that I was making earlier on. Yeah. Um, like, what do they define as standing? Yeah, well, here I'm it is. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. Dis uh, yeah, me too, me too, yeah. Um... So like you got to stabilize yourself on something though, right? I I mean that uh, this is this this goes back to um your leg strength. The the strength of right. your quads, the strength of your um your glutes, your hamstring mm -hmm. strength. Mm -hmm. Um right. and also easy to overlook this, your fucking core strength. Because your core is what's going to allow you to you know you know how you know what you got to do if you want to get really really good at this? You got to mm. do um chair pose in yoga you ever do chair pose oh yeah no i know what you're talking about the, the point i was going to make is a significant proportion of people reading this article will not have the strength absolutely to do not this. absolutely not you will fucking bust your ass on this toilet like maybe you can hit the pose but you're gonna have to hold it yeah. for long enough to get the shit out yeah yeah now, this is this is not for the faint of heart guys mm-hmm not for the faint of heart or the faint of ass. They make a product called the Squatty Potty? No, you're confused about what the Squatty Potty is. No, the, the squ Squatty Potty yeah. is just like a little stand for your feet. It, it, it elevates your feet to get your, your yeah. uh, anus in a better position for um, yeah. releasing poop. It's that's good. fair. It's a good right? thing. It's good. Um, I remember I, I, I told this story on my stream. you still have to sit on the toilet for it to work. I told this yeah. story. Um, we actually had a, had a conversation about the Squatty Potty. I, I, was, I uh, misunderstood what what it was supposed to be mm -hmm. um um I, I remember my japanese teacher 
um like he was he was an american who moved to japan lived there married someone then came back to america so he was like he would was tell us about school, japanese college? culture uh this was middle uh middle school you had japanese classes in middle school well mm. you know what that means you're on the west coast actually that makes sense that you would have that yeah yeah, have yeah. That in school yeah we don't we, yeah, don't... we, we had spanish and japanese here here it's spanish it's, it's spanish italian and like maybe french there's and french yeah there's french is typical that's it yeah yeah but he um he talked a lot about culture in japan and not not like akihabara i'm he's i'm talking like actually what it's actually like oh that's okay i don't know what the and, fuck and that he, word he means about. anyway so. oh akihabara is like the the nerd central of like nerd center of the world you go there and you can just buy tons of electronics okay um, it's kind of become a tourist trap now. If you're like a weeb, but, that's like a, your, your first stop. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, right. it's a big it's a big part of weeb culture now too. Um, okay. But he he told the story of how sitting toilets were just being introduced into Japan. Oh, right. Okay. Before then, they were just squatting toilets, but now sitting toilets were uh, were being introduced, and he would frequently find footprints on the front edge of the toilet seat because. The older people who didn't know what they were supposed <laughs> they were to do with them were it. like squatting on the toilet. They were standing on it and squat. <laughs> oh, like... that's awesome. <laughs> that's so good. Holy shit. Abs like fucking hey, perching like birds. Dude, that could work for this. It could, that could work for this, could. especially if you like grip like the back of the toilet with your hands so you don't fall. I mean, the slip, right, yeah. the slip potential is high. Yeah, right yeah potential. like you're taking a risk you're yeah, taking definitely a risk. a risk perching is risky yeah um, mm -hmm. oh man maybe Holy maybe shit. maybe you get like feet that clamp onto the edge <laughs> hey, but we'll call we'll call feet. it birding hey feet you have an emote for that now i do someone in chat said this being your thumbnail is going to confuse so many people no it Good. isn't this being the oh. thumbnail is, is, is going to be like, yep, that's a mic stream. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? Confuse yeah. people. Yeah. It's like they, they, they know exactly what they're getting. They're going to be like, yeah, here. that checks out. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking oh, about? Mike, this whole thing reminds me. So yeah. remember how I said I ordered duck shit tea? Yeah. It is coming in next week. Awesome. But I, ha I am coordinating with my viewers. Okay. I am going to name the stream Taste Testing Duck Shit Tea. I am not going to expound upon this, and you're our goal bumped. is we're, we're you, you think it's going to get yeah you're going to get they, get they don't they don't care they don't want you putting expletives in your stream title they don't okay they're not so, gonna so care I, about I, I can I, I can change the name like duck feces tea or something I, I, right? I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this okay mm -hmm. have you ever heard of the streamer Forsen? yes okay for I'm going to say like the past three years wait no I, we've talked about this before but go on oh, uh, but his have. stream title. Yeah, his stream, his stream title. He has not edited his stream title in like four years. It says in in all lowercase letters, games and shit, with no, <laughs> with no punctuation or grammar. Okay, that I it didn't just know. says it just says games and shit, and he's just been getting away with that for years. But he's also one of the biggest streamers on on the, on the, right, on the website. Yeah. And like, let's not pretend that size doesn't matter on this website. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 For sure. Um. I will um, tell you that Joel is also a very a very large streamer, and mm -hmm. he did get in trouble for put yeah for making his no no no, his title wasn't fuck you a uh, siege maker, there was a game category on Twitch apparently that was fuck you, and he made that his game category as like a meme, I mean it was there is no game called fuck you so God knows what that how that even got there what that is, but yeah he got he got bopped for that, yeah he got. I, I'll, I'll probably make it like duck crap tea or something. Yeah, right? you might have to. Yeah, you might have yeah, to. Th that's fine. Oh, um, apparently the fuck you category still exists. <laughs> Good. Someone in chat says, Mike, you have the worst emotes. Uh, I, I feel like my a lot of my emotes are inside jokes, which is unfortunate. I don't recommend you, you do that going forward, Fred. Like try to do that sparingly because like people oh, will see the emotes and they'll be like, I don't want these because I don't know what they are. I'm not subbing, you know. Right. No, I, 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 I am not doing that. Um, you want to do it? I, I always think of a use case. A little bit. Yeah. A little you, bit. A little I bit, think yeah. like th there are some emotes that I will never get rid of because they are a part of the culture. Like Froggy's not going anywhere. Yeah. 
right? Like TL Froggy, but it also is just a fantastic emote in and of itself out of context. Yeah. It's like, I, I've explained this to you before, I think, how it's a reverse troll face. How yeah. a troll face is like, I have, like, I have done something to upset you. He, he, he. Froggy is like, I've done something, but you don't know what yet. <laughs> You're going to find out, right? <laughs> like, you don't understand the implications of what has happened to you yet, but you will. It's oh anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you understand love, the I vibe without having seen the video it's from. Yeah, that's 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 right. Yeah, you just get the vibe. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm, yeah. Anyway, apologies. We keep kind of going on rabbit trail. They know Actually, that's, no, fuck it. That's that, that's what we're here for. The the stream fuck. category is just Actually, chatting. That's true, the, guys. If you came here and you and you wanted to see a stream where we where we sat here and 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 fucking speed read through how to poop while standing up at a toilet without anything else, I I don't. Know, I'm sorry. I don't want to tell you. You're yeah. weird. I, 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 then you're weird. What? what just go Stop. read the article. Yeah, go read the article then just, if you want to. Just go read them. If you really want to find out how to poop while standing up, that's not what we're doing. Go read the you article. You can find it. You can find it. Che like, check back in in an hour and you'll see the next article and then you can read that. Yeah, we we are we are going through at our own pace. This is, a, this, this is again, these articles are a vehicle for conversation. I literally... My Should be obvious. I'm, I'm, I'm like frustrated at how many times that concept... I think it's obvious, but chat doesn't understand that that's not obvious. Right. I, my, gr arguably my greatest streaming moment came from a WikiHow tangent where I was talking about how the, the make your husband into a gnome uh, article was like. I remember that distinctly. Like yeah. I, I, I predicted that it was going to get into the wife complaining about the husband and that literally is exactly where it went. Yeah. <laughs> that that is one of my greatest moments ever. Right. Uh yeah, I remember that was a, that was a wild moment. That was maybe one of the top yeah, like the top 5 WikiHow moments. It, it might it might be my like peak. Like yeah. we've hit peak Fred. Yeah. 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 Um it was, oh, right. it was a peak uh, right. Fred I, I moment, yeah. I didn't. I didn't get done telling you um what 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 my plan is with the with the duck shit tea. Oh yeah. So Duck shit tea is uh, is made from the Dansong varietal, uh, which is delicious, right? Like mm -hmm. Dansong is You've very before, high in yeah. demand, and it's delicious. I fucking love Dansong, dude. Okay. I I'm embarrassed how much I just bought, but <laughs> but not duck shit specifically. Like, so, so this you don't is, know what that's gonna not, taste not, like. Yeah. Oh no, I, I I got plenty of I got plenty of duck shit, but that's yeah, like okay. it's it's Dansong, so I know generally what it's going to taste like. Um, I got a lot of like tasters, like taste testing. Cool. Okay. But I know it's going to be delicious, but people who are coming in from the just chatting tab aren't going to know. Yeah. They're just going to know it's called duck crap tea. Yeah. So I'm getting all of my viewers in on this. Beautiful. We are all going to pretend that this is the most rank, disgusting stuff ever. Like, I am going to brew it. I'm going to, like, smell the leaves and recoil and gag, right? Like, I'm, I'm going to play it up. Like, oh, God. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get choked up smelling it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to stop by and, and, then, and contribute to this. Film. Yeah, <laughs> please. Like, yeah, fucking yeah. please. Be, and then everyone who's coming in from the Just Chatting tab is like, ew, that's gross. And then, like, you know, finally, when, like, partway in after I finish the cup, I'm like, I'm just fucking kid like and just gaslight everyone for an hour or something. I love this idea. You know I'm a big fan <laughs> of unnecessary like of, of needlessly lying to people. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um I, I know. Spectral it, Owl <laughs> monk shit tea. Spectral Owl Owl it says, I'm convinced he'll get trolled by the Chinese and it really is duck shit. <laughs> well, if it's that not, happens I I then... have a Chinese friend who's into tea and knows th she's she's verified this. It, I mean, like, dude, if it's good, who cares? Right? Mm. Like, I mean, like, so what if it's duck shit? Mm. Whatever. So what? If it tastes, I mean, if it's good, oh it's my good. God. If it works, it oh works. Oh my God. Right? What if, what if I take the gaslight to another level and I sip it and I'm like, oh, wow. 
oh, this is actually delicious. You know what? Fuck you. Maybe I do like the taste of duck shit. I'm gonna go find what a duck. What if I do? I'm gonna go find what a duck and suck it straight out of its cloaca, straight to the source. <laughs> go find a duck. I'm going. And yeah. I'm gonna corkscrew my tongue right in there. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. Let me, I, I, need, I need to get this out again. Yeah. Um. I need to get this out again. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, whoop, that is very large. Here. Oh, whoop. You're becoming duck shit? He's, he's tried to mate with, with the other females, but he can't quite no! do it. Uh, his corkscrew penis, he doesn't have the corkscrew penis. He doesn't have the corkscrew penis. Wow, maybe, um, yeah, like, you, you start, you start, like, eating duck shit and becoming obsessed with duck shit, like he does with the pig's blood, and eventually you grow, like, a duck bill. And everything makes everything else taste like glue. Yeah, yeah. You become you become like ducking across America, right? Mm hmm. Somebody in chat saying I'm a bad influence, but he, he no, I'm not. He's like this. Oh no, this is just me. You don't understand. No, he's like this. I this is not this is not me. Stop blaming shit on me. Chat if loves any, blaming shit on me. If anything, I encourage Mike to be worse. He does. I feel like I'm the bad influence. Yeah, he here. is. No, he is. All right. Um. All right, so there, so there you go. I mean, like again, do do a lot of uh, chair pose if you want to get better at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I'm I'm getting a Nia cat in trouble at work, and I'm proud of this. Watching, uh, learning how to poop while standing on company time, best. Yeah. Uh, you want to take this one? Yes. Wipe thoroughly. It is possible that pooping while standing or squatting makes it a little harder to control exactly where your bowel movements go. What are you yeah. fucking swaying like it's a Wii mini game? But it's it's also, I mean, I could see it being harder. I I, I could see it being I could see there being more of a mess. Yeah. Right. For this reason, it is especially important that you make sure to wipe your bottom properly and thoroughly. This is being described, I'm just realizing this is being described like the Wikipedia article for a, um, a WarioWare game. Make sure to always wipe from front to back. Be gentle, like that, that is something they teach you when you're, when you're a kindergartner. Yeah. Be gentle, but firm as you wipe, if possible. <laughs> gentle, but firm. What a, such a buzz phrase, right? I'd like to point out, we got one section on actually how to do the, the hard part. The rest is just, here is how you shit. The, the, I, I know how to shit. Like, the, I, I want to learn to shit with this technique. It's, it's like, you know what this has the energy of? Uh -huh. Like, draw two circles. Like, how to draw an owl. Draw <laughs> yeah, two right. circles. Draw the rest of the fucking owl. Well, it's, it's, it's padding. All right, they're petty. It is, yeah. You know, they want to. They got to get that word count up, or maybe maybe WikiHow won't let you publish this. Right. Right. It's like, did you know that you could shit standing up? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. This this article could have been a tweet. Yeah. You could shit squatting. Try it. Oh, sorry. Try it. Standing up. <laughs> you can shit standing up. Actually, it's squatting. Oh my god. Actually, I think it's the rocks at the beach. Um, the rocks, the beach. Yeah, like this has all the energy of. Oh yeah, you can shit standing up. Actually, I, it's more squatting than than standing. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Like th it's the beach that makes you old. Actually, I think it's the rocks at the beach that make you old. <laughs> and then somebody comes in. It's like some people are too poor to shit while standing. <laughs> Try to think about everybody when you tweet. You know, whatever the fuck. <laughs> like, you Right, that type of shit. <laughs> right, they got chased off of Tumblr. Yeah, I think I think unironically, Tumblr people got sick of their shit, and they migrated to Twitter. Is that what happened? I think so. Yeah, so, the, the, you mean the Tumblr people got sick of their own shit? They they got like like they realized the they created a hell for themselves, and then they didn't want to live in it anymore. Those people are the right. mi minority on Tumblr. Okay. Like the really, really were... irritating, like, like just whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh -huh. like it, for as much stink as people made about them, they were by far the minority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the minority is always the loudest, right? In, in situations like right. that. Right, yeah, yeah. The worst yeah. people are the loudest. Mm hmm 
Sweet Maddie G is saying a good chunk of toxic internet culture came from the Tumblr exodus. Never underestimate the effect that something awful has had on the internet. Bigger than that even, right? People don't realize. Yeah. Bigger, if, way bigger like, than that, yeah. If it's like a gross part of the internet, it probably came from something awful. Yeah. Like, if, if there's something that's just, even is just un an uncomfortable part of the internet, it probably has its roots on something awful. Fuck. Something awful is why the internet is as bad as it is. Ah, uh, Seamus mm. is saying. Yeah, you think so, huh? <laughs> the site was named well, Faria. Yeah. You could was. say it was something awful. Hey. Speaking of something awful, um, consider yeah, carrying sanitary article. wipes with you. Make sure they are not perfumed or they may irritate your genital region. I learned that one the hard way, right, chat? Chat knows all about my, my um, like my anus sagas with like, you know, um, but, uh, baby wipes and stuff and like sanitary wipes. Yeah, they know uh, more yes, than they the probably. Anal saga. They know way more than they, than they want to. Let me put it to you that way. Mm -hmm. Um. Tidy up the area. If you have caused any splashing, use a paper towel. Dude. Okay, you could just check out of the article at this point. Who the fuck is going to start cleaning a public toilet? Okay. Are you going to do that? Are you going to fucking start cleaning somebody else's shit off the toilet and piss off the toilet? I don't. I hate the idea of some of it getting on my hand. No, you're not going to fucking do that. You are not going to do that. Use a paper towel, toilet paper, a sanitary wipe to mop up the mess. You know, I mean, I, I I guess it's nice that, like, you know, this WikiHow article is being socially conscious. Mm -hmm. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a, be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. Um, I'm going to tell you something. That applies like, in your house or in somebody's house. That does not apply in public restrooms. I'm sorry, no. I'm not going to be, right. I'm not going to be wiping up piss off of a fucking public toilet. I'm not, I'll do I'm it. not touching a public toilet any more than I need to No. Sorry. Not happening. Am I shitty for that? Am I a bad person? What do you think? Mm. If it's just yours, then, then you do it, I think. They pay a guy to clean the toilets. Chat, before you go into a feral fucking rage about low, low, uh, uh, low wage employees. Okay. Cause I know you're, I know you're itching to fucking do that right now. I can smell it. I'm not talking about dumping fucking popcorn on the floor in a movie theater. I'm talking about, like, d d piss and shit on a toilet. Okay? Mm. That's different. That's Sorry, different. I was taking care of something. I, I, was, I was a little distracted for a second there. I was about to madge. I know you're about to madge, but you're fucking, you, you're, you're not, you're not thinking. Think before you madge, guys. People pissed on the seat and walls. All right, I'm not but, but Okay, Mike, I'm not pissing I'm and shitting on the, on the walls. I'm putting it on the toilet, in and around the toilet, generally. In and around the toilet where it belongs. You're angry on the internet? No, you're, uh, don't be angry on, I, I got a little angry on the, on the internet on my stream. What? Today, and I regret it. Um, I regret a janitor it. has tools to clean things. You, as someone pissing, do not. Yeah, thank you, Seamus. He's got the, he's got the, you know, the, the, the sprays and the wipes and the, and the, the, the you know, all the tools, etc. He's equipped for the job. I'm just the guy trying to pee. I didn't come in with all that stuff. Yeah, I, I came in with a dick and an asshole. Um, Fred, I'm sorry. That's, that's my part of that's the it. equation. That, that, those are, those are my, those are my tools of the trade. Did you want to talk about you wanna... what you were, did you, were you trying to bring something up? I feel like I interrupted you about. Oh, no, no, not okay. really. Okay. No, Again, I, I, I was just saying, I'm sorry that I was a little distracted. I was, I was, I was, I was taking care of something. No, you said you got angry all... before. Did you well, want I, to I got, into I got a little bit mad on, on, on the internet on stream and like, I, I regret it immediately. I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, at all. all right, all right. I just thought it sounded like you it's wanted to, but it's it's okay. Um, what were no, you gonna say? No, no, no. Just don't do it. My my the moral is don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. It's not worth it. There's nothing to win. You are, um, you, are, my, are you trying to tell was, me? You're trying to tell me not to get mad on the internet? Is that what you're trying to tell? Is that, is that what I think I'm trying to? I'm, is what I think I'm hearing you try to tell fair, me. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, Fred had a mic moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but again, like what something that I feel like you guys miss a lot is that wait, I'm not my my anger is being exaggerated for for comedic effect or, or, or you know, just I'm not I'm not really that angry. Like sometimes. OK, sometimes people are going to cap it if I say that sometimes something is like maybe mildly annoying to me, 
But then I'm like, yo, let's make content out of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. let's make a big, let's make a, yeah, let's make a bigger deal out of it than it is, obviously, right? Right. It's the endless like, bit. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know if it's a bit, but it's like when you make content on the internet, you have to be engaging. Okay. Right. Like, I'm trying I, to be engaging. I, I don't know what you know you're what I mean? talking like, about. Have you seen my streams? Well, my so, streams are the least engaging shit and people still hang out. <laughs> That's not true, Fred. Why you got to say that? <laughs> Why do you gotta say? Why do you gotta say that? It's not true, buddy. I I I run the least professional operation. The last time Mike got actually angry on stream, he spiked a Joy-Con and got therapy. Yeah, guys, this is what you this is what you don't understand. I'm not angry. I'm just Italian. That's a that's come... and and really, and really, really in a way, you're being discriminatory. It's a stereotype, mm, and it's, it's offensive. It's a stereotype, and it's offensive. Yeah, you're being... You're and being, even if it's true, you have to be respectful. That's abs That's correct. Absolutely. <laughs> that's absolutely correct. Fred Fred is fucking spitting fire tonight, dude. <laughs> I am... I am fact... I am fact man today. I'm like... Oh, I don't... I, okay, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My brain is going on tangents where I don't want to go. Let's just go. Static really wants me to get, get into the discourse. Okay, so I was pissing in public. Okay, no, I was it. shitting. Excuse me. I was shitting in public. Okay. And somebody opened the door. It, this is a public restroom. I'm going to give you the, the abridged version of this. Mm -mm. I was shitting. Somebody opened the door and turned the light off. Okay. Then I had to finish my poop in the dark. Okay. I got okay. up. I got up. I, I, I started walking towards the exit of the, of the bathroom and then a janitor comes in and okay. he walks over to the urinal and starts peeing at the urinal. Sure. Now, one of the, th the, 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 the bathroom where I was shitting was desolate. It was in a fuck. You see how this article is saying that you have to go to a fucking, you know, an out of the way bathroom. So right. you don't get disturbed. That's what I did. I went out of my goddamn way to make sure I right. was going to the most isolated bathroom in this building. And right, it was right. extremely isolated. The only person I saw the janitor before I went into the bathroom. And then I saw the janitor as I was exiting the bathroom. Me okay. and this janitor were the only two people in this fucking on this floor of this building. Otherwise, it was a fucking ghost town. Okay. okay. I believed that this janitor, while I was shitting, he opened the door and turned the light off because like i don't know saving energy or something he didn't think sure. anybody was in there but what do you do in that situation you ask you say yeah. hello anyone in here otherwise right. you can't, you've stranded you can, a shitter in total darkness right you can by vibrating the air around you convince another meat bag to make a motion to turn the lights back on <laughs> right Right, so he... Which is so pretty he, incredible. Well, like, okay, so he opened the door, turned the lights off, and closed the door. If you're trying to say I should have said something. Because I guess I could have. But I was just kind of shocked. I was in shock. Honestly, I, my defense is I was in shock when the lights turned off. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, as I was leaving the bathroom, he came in, he went up to the urinal, and he, he started to piss. Right. Okay? He turned the light on when he came in, when he came in too. Mm -hmm. So as I was on my way out... I turned the light off and, and, and bolted. Made him piss in the dark. Why? And then everybody clapped. Why did I do <laughs> why did I do it? Because why? my theory was that he made he forced me to shit in the dark. So this was this was justice. This was karma. Right? You, you think it was purposeful? You no. inferred that. No, no. no. It wasn't purposeful. No. It was negligent. It was negligence. Because now. <laughs> When he opened the door, he, his face was, it, it was like he was a little surprised to see me. He didn't say anything, but it was like he was a little surprised to see me. Mm -hmm. So my theory, my theory. Oh, oh I, 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 am, I am forgetting. A, I am forgetting the part. I am forgetting a massive fucking part of the story. That's right, Matt. Thank you. I did ask him. I said, did you turn those lights off? And he said, oh, no, they're on a timer. It was his response to me. That's what he said to me. No, they're not. And oh, I they turn off immediately. And I, and I didn't believe him because the I heard the door open and then the lights were immediately turned off and the door closed. Yeah, okay. no, you turned the lights off. You agree with me? It's obvious this guy turned the lights off. 
Yeah, no, he's because Chad out. is because Chad has been trying to argue that that I did this to this man was totally innocent. And yes, I'm not saying he did it to be like cruel to me or something, but he fuck right, right, because that was a big part of my motivation was that he fucking lied about it. Okay, because right, he fucking right. he realized he was caught being not not like mean or not like not like cruel or or or, or anything, but negligent. Negligent. He fucked up. He, he fucked he up. He fucked up, and he, he didn't up. want to cop to it. He fucked up, Just and like, then he lied li about literally, it. Literally, literally, like the solution is, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. Thank you, Matt. Right, right like that. Right. That, that could have been the solution. If he but had said that, I wouldn't I, have done that to him. I, I, I've had an experience like this where someone, like, so someone kind of did something shitty to me, and they like they, they did something after I asked them not to, um, and first they said. Like, I'm sorry, I forgot. Mm -hmm. And then they later said, oh, I just didn't check thoroughly enough. It's like, no, these two explanations are mutually exclusive. <laughs> You're just looking for a way to cover your ass. Like, you you want you yeah. want to be blameless. You're looking for the, le the, the, the option that places the least blame on you. I'm going to be real here. I, I don't okay. know if... The, the, the lights being on a on, on a timer or there being a sensor. I, I feel like I, I have a hazy memory of like what happened when I got up from the poop. Like I don't, mm -hmm. I, I want to say the lights didn't automatically turn back on. I want to say he opened the door and turned them on. Like by sheer coincidence, he happened to be coming back in to take a piss. Right. I want to say that's what happened. But to be honest with you, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't quite remember how the lights got back on, came back on. I don't. But he came in. I asked him, did you turn the lights off? He said, no, they're on a timer. I did. I in, in, in instant. I decided I didn't believe him in that instant because it sounded what it sounded what fucking kind like, of it sounded timer. Fake. What what kind of fucking timer? OK, if it's true that it was on a timer, I was on that toilet bowl for less than 10 minutes. Do you think that a fucking a, a, a public bathroom timer should be fucking longer than 10 minutes? Shits are like yeah. shits are longer than that. I'm sorry. It, shits it, tend it, it, to be longer look, than that. Look, look, if someone is shitting in a public toilet, I would say 65% of the time it's an emergency. Yeah. Right? Like you, you don't shit in a public toilet because you're after the experience. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like you, you shit in a public toilet because you want to shit. You're not trying. You're not and chasing often, the adrenaline rush of shitting in a public right, toilet. Exactly. Some people, maybe. Like, right, like some some people skydive, some people deep ocean dive, mm. some people shit in public toilets. No, that's not how it fucking works. <laughs> um, my, Hina's here too. Mike says, "Speak for yourself." Mike, yeah, what's up, dude? Yeah, Hina, yeah. hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, thanks for coming tonight. Um, um, but like, <laughs> speak for yourself. You, no, if. There is a significant chance that if you are being forced to shit on a public toilet, yeah, you're not there of your own. You're not there because you want to be. And if you're shitting in a public toilet because you, like, not because you want to, it's probably for like, the same reason is probably making you stay there longer than ten minutes. Yeah, it's it's right? it's like a fucking it's, a, it's toilet, a pressing matter. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be real. I think 15 minutes is reasonable. 15 minutes should be the absolute minimum. That should be, they, fi it starts at fi the timer, the lights turn off after 15 minutes. You get 15 minutes to shit. I, I would say 20. Is 15 minutes feels short. Like if we're talking an emergency shit, right? Like my guts are not doing well. I, I would argue 30 minutes minimum is current. Really? See, because then you start, running, you start running into like, okay, this is like a waste of electricity. Maybe, but you like know, even I, then, I would say, leave it on longer. Leave it on longer. I mean, better better to be safe than sorry here, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I got shit yeah. all over my hands. There was shit everywhere, but from what this guy did, I don't know. I'll like, I, I, I'll, I'll like when when I shit, I'll I'll stay on the said. toilet. For, oh, so, sorry, say say that again. You got you got shit on your hands. Yeah? <laughs> I'm joking. Wait, go ahead. Yeah, oh, yeah. you got you got yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was clean. It was fine. I, I dealt. Oh, I dealt with it. I'm an adult. I know how to deal with that. But it doesn't right, mean it doesn't right. piss me off. You say you know how to deal with it, but you were reading this article, which is going step by step on like even detailing which direction you should wipe. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Why? I don't oh, need well, this I content. Need... I guess. Draw the rest right. of the fucking owl. Would you have turned the light? You... Would you have turned the lights off on that? Do you think I was in the wrong with this? I feel like. 
I feel like a man willing to turn the lights off on someone while they're shitting is a rogue element. He didn't know I was in there. I'm gonna. I'm. Right, I, right. He, he didn't. He did, legitimately. I don't believe he I, knew I, would, I was in there. I. I, I wouldn't. But he should have been like, "Hello, anybody have. in there? Anybody in there?" Before turning the light off. That's what he should have did. That's where he was negligent. He didn't do that, and then he fucking lied about it. Because if he had said, "I'm sorry, yes, I did," I would have been like, "Okay." Maybe you should check next time and then not turn the light off on him while he was pissing. It's I wouldn't have did that if he, if he had owned up to it. I wouldn't have did that. I don't but, believe him when he says it's on a timer. Yeah, I think he it was opens a the door, lights go off, door closes. There no, might have been the out. there might have been a timer, but there's also a manual control. That fucking door opening and light turning off was not a coincidence. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was not a coincidence, chat. If anything, if it was if it was on fucking motion control timer, okay, then him opening the fucking door uh, uh, would have would have like, I guess extended the timer. Maybe that's why he turned it off too. I don't know. Fuck society made me lie. This is a society moment for sure. <laughs> go back and find out about the timer. You know what? I will go back to this bathroom and investigate this. You just yeah, I will. I will. I've actually been back to the place, but I haven't thought about this. Report back, Mike. Let us know. Let us know. Someone is asking why we're using dumb uwu characters on screen because a lot of people tend to like them. What? What if I want to be a dumb uwu character? What about that? People like them. People like. Sometimes I. That? Sometimes I use this. Um, I, I pretty much use this exclusively when I'm. I'm like. Yeah, doing something with another. Like like with the VTuber. I, I like to have a, my model when I'm with the VTuber. Primarily, that's how that's how I roll. I think that's cool. Otherwise, Hold I'm just on. a filthy fleshy. A filthy fleshy. A, Here, a filthy, about, about dirty this? fleshy. How about how about this? Let me see. How how about how about this? How, how about how about this? Is this? Oh come on. Is and a this... lot of people tend to like it. Let me see. Are you sending what me something fuck? on Discord? I'm, no, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to bring something into VTube Studio, and I is think it not it's letting not you? It's not letting me. Is it not? Okay. Uh, I want to add it, please. Maybe it's the wrong file type. It's not a PNG. It's a shit. No, it's a PNG. I mean, I should be able to bring in PNGs, right? Yeah. It should yeah, be. <laughs> let, let me double check. Like, th this is important. Dude, it's I didn't even Mike. I didn't even expect it to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you didn't expect it to do that. Hey gang, it's me. Mike. Septic the shit log. Did you guys wipe your ass today? Yeah, good. Don't forget Mike. to clean your asshole. Do you yeah, want what? to know why the image wasn't <laughs> working? Why? It's not a PNG. Do you want to guess what file format it is? <sighs> Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's 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 WebP. It's fucking WebP. Son dude. of a bitch! Where did it come from? It just appeared and made everyone mauled. Fuck it. I don't know. I I I still don't understand like the the store the backstory of PNGs. Like I don't I don't know why they exist. Okay. Here. Here. How how's this for you? There. Is that better? Is that better? I'm is that, cute. If, if we're gonna be ooh woo, I guess I may as well go all the way. I'm Go cute. Boom. I'm cute. cute. I'm cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a little Stable a little a little a little septic right there, chat. You like that? Oh my is that God. good? <laughs> I, I accidentally attached it to my eyebrow and look what I can do with it now. Oh, you could attach them to yourself? Yeah. Look. <laughs> I got some shit on my face. I got shit on my face. Hey, oh Mike, how's God. it going? Oh, dude, that is disturbing as fuck. Actually, I'm happy with. I'm I'm happy right now. How Can I attach you... it to like my lower jaw? I'm a blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> oh. fuck, it's working. Look, I'm 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 Sonic I'm... Meal. I'm yum 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 yum. This might be the worst stream that we've ever done, dude. Why is this technology? That's the end of the sentence. Why is this technology? What? Well, how do I, Denji, dude? Why? He he. How do I? He he got like. Ugh. 
He got like turned around. How do I make him straight again? Like, how do I? How do I fix him? I oh, you can control and then uh, scroll wheel like that. I think control and then sc oh yeah, that controls the tilt. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> All right. So. So okay, anyway. Yeah. Let's get back to business here. Okay. Okay. Business. Yeah. Um. So we tidied up the area. Yeah, we tidied it We're up. We're getting there. Um, We're getting there. Yeah, okay. Uh, wash your hands. Wash Thoroughly your washing hands. your hands is one of the best ways to avoid spreading germs. Use hot, not scalding water and soap. Rub your hands together briskly under the water for at least 20 seconds. It's like, don't burn yourself, asshole. I think... I think that there are people right now who are afraid that, like, chat GBT is going to replace their writing. They're not going to replace your writing. They're going to replace this writing. Well, I mean, like, why is it telling us how to... We, like, washing our hands is a separate thing completely. What, this that's is, not... yeah, what, why? This has nothing to do... Like, I know how to wash my hands. Tell me how to shit standing up. This is such a draw the rest of the... out. Like, this has so little wait a minute what's the next part understanding the issue what issue what <laughs> issue oh dude it goes into the psychology of why you want to stand while shitting <laughs> may i yeah go ahead okay oh denshi is here denshi is the reason why we can like fuck around like this by the way oh like, yeah I'm, I'm calling you out denshi hey denshi the denshi is like one of what the the lead devs on uh, on vtube studio denshi, yeah denshi is is the lead dev the of, lead dev of vtube of, studio the like, led dev the lead dev Denshi, of VTube Studio Denshi is here. Is, Denshi is like the reason, like one of the reasons that V that VTubing has spread as much as it has. Denshi, uh, Dead you're a legend. Chat. Thanks for coming to check out my channel, Denshi. Thank we're, you. We're calling, we're calling you out. Yes, appreciate you being here. Um, and thanks for um creating something. I, I, gotta, I have to tell you, that whole like bringing in PNGs and sticking them on the characters thing is so intuitive. I'm shocked at how at how like easy and fun that is to do. We're oh, gonna have to sure. abuse that a lot more. You did you did great with that, man. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. It's so absolutely. it's it's so like it's just like, it's literally drag and drop. I love things like that. I'm, I'm very oh, yeah. tech illiterate, so when you you remove obstacles to doing things like that, I'm so happy. You know. It, it's fantastic. Oh. Anyway, you want to you want to take this one? Yes. Okay. Consider anxiety. <laughs> Oh, consider the reasons that you want to use a standing method to go to the bathroom. Are you nervous about germs that are in public restrooms? Do you fear picking up a disease? While these fears are common, there is very little chance that you will become ill from a public to toilet. Try to find ways to address your anxiety. It's almost like this article is saying like it, it's almost it's almost saying like how to poop while standing up at a toilet. Don't. Yeah. You it's know, like, why the like, fuck do you, would you want to, asshole? Like, get therapy. Step one, get therapy. St why are you looking at this? I actually respect that, I think. <laughs> right? Like, like I, what? Why, why did you click on yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, cl clearly the, the, the problems are beyond you don't know how to shit while standing up. Like, this, the, the problems run a little deeper than that if you're here right now, right? I, I feel like... The, like a section like this is akin to a firefighter explaining how to prevent wa fires while putting out the fire uh, in your house look, right like yeah. i am here because like my decisions have led me here just tell me how to shit standing up that's all i'm after look, look what nihilist oh. gangster is saying in the chat well, let me let me see. This is like oh, Sun this Tzu. is like Sun Sun Tzu saying the best battle is the one you don't have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> the best shit is the one you don't have to take standing up. Oh my god! Holy shit! Do, do I also need like, is one bathroom stall that I shit in worth ten of my enemies? <laughs> like ten or like ten of my own? Ten of my own? Ten of my turds, right? <laughs> if you feel that your fears are interfering with your day-to-day -day life, which, which, like, ding, 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 they just might be, if you're here, ask your doctor for advice. He can provide you with tips on dealing with anxiety, and if necessary, can refer you 
What just went in? Did something just touch my S? What was that? Oh, it's the I'm cute. Felt I was putting, I was putting away the I'm cute. Um, I was putting away the I'm cute. Refer you to a mental health specialist. You got poop phobia. Is this motherfucker telling you to seek help for yeah. looking up this article? Yep. Take deep breaths. This will help your mind and body relax. Or take deep breaths like right now or like while shitting. Right now? I can't I can't believe that this is this is chastising you for reading it. To be fair, earlier when I thought like that, like like, like I got like like toilet water aids in my butt before, I think probably mm -hmm. a lot of people were, were 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 saying in chat like you need therapy. <laughs> like if your germophobia is that bad, or if you're like fucking like whatever like, whatever phobia that is, I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that you, bad? It's like beyond germophobia. I don't even you know need what that a is. Shit might transplant. I need a shit might transplant. I swear to God, I would have forgotten about sh about shit mites if it wasn't for that one. Um, what the shit might health uh manifestation, but binaural beats. My shit mites are healthy. Dude, how My good was that? Mites. That was <laughs> so was that? good. It was one of the most incredible <laughs> community contributions. <laughs> it's amazing. My shit mites are beautiful. <laughs> My shit mites are big and strong. I my body is storing fat in my shit mites. <laughs> Holy shit! That's okay, right. I need I need to know what comes after this. Considering You're looking anxiety. it up. Anxiety. No, no, no. Oh, I need oh, to know oh. what comes after considering anxiety. Um. Yeah, you're kind of um. Yeah. Avoid public restrooms. Before I mean, heading to work or to a social event, give yourself time to go to the bathroom at home. You think we didn't They'll... think? Come on. Of course we thought of that. I... Obviously that we thought of that. Come on. I, 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 I don't know. Does this person know how, like, this person knows how to wipe their ass, but do they know how intestines work? Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. Maybe it was this written by an AI who doesn't have intestines. Well, this is a very old article. This was not written by an right, AI. Right, no. Yeah, so. Build this activity into your schedule. I'm sorry. You're good. For example, if you typically have a bowel movement early in the morning, try waking up a bit earlier or leaving for work a little later to allow enough time. Don't rush yourself out the door. Inspect your shit mites thoroughly. <laughs> what are your shit mites trying to tell you about your body? <laughs> Fuck. Of of course we thought about shitting at home, idiot. Why would you even? If, it's like insulting to, my, to your intelligence that they would put this here. If right? they form themselves into a hammer and sickle, you might be a communist. <laughs> Imagine they did that. <laughs> they're like fucking, they're like in the toilet bowl. They're doing, um, wh wh what is it? Synchronized swimming? They're taking back the means of production. Do you think... Oh, like you could, oh my God, that would be such an incredible like circus sideshow. Like you have shit mites, like a yeah, dude sure. shits into like a bucket and then the shit mites start swimming. <laughs> They're like sea monkeys. Right, They're exactly. Like sea monkeys. And, then, and like, and like you put on music and they start swimming yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Carl Schartz. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. That's fucking amazing. That's Rouse so Dower, bad. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my Coral life. Why? Shorts. That's one of those things that just should not be funny. Should that should be. not be fucking funny. Why? Why is there like tears in my eyes from that? Seize the means of shitting. <laughs> Toss brapital. Fuck. Damn it. This is bad. The bull, the bullshit vix. Oh my god. The bullshit, Stop. the bullshit vix. Joseph Stulin. <laughs> das Crapital. There we go. Crapital. That's the one you want. That's the one. That's, that, the, one. that's, that's the one. That's, that's the good. There we go. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> wow. This is fucking bad. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Lenin and Plopsky. Mike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm just I'm just being reminded. 
of Sex House and how like they weren't being fed enough big, enough nutrients. Which house? Oh god, I, I watched Sex House with Hina. Hina showed me Sex House. What is Sex and House, bud? Sex House is the Onions parody of Big Brother type shows. Okay. It has one of the most raw lines I have ever heard. I'm going to send it to you. Please max out the volume and play it. Okay. I am making it a sound alert on my channel. Okay. Okay, here, here, here it is. Okay. To call this place evil implies a clarity of purpose that I do not want to attribute to anyone involved. To Je call Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's such a good line. To call wow. this place evil implies a clarity of purpose that I am not willing to attribute to anyone involved. The art of the insult, again, right? It's so like, good. <laughs> to call Sex this... House is it's such a good... Mike, maybe we should watch it together. You want to watch it, it Sex is, House? It, it, is, it is safe for stream, by the way. Like, I watched it all the way through. It's fine. It, despite being called Sex House. That's why being called sex house, yes. All right, I mean, like, I'm, I'm, I'm down. I guess there, there is point. sex, but there, there are no bits. In the future, not now. In the future, not tonight. Yeah. Not, 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 tonight. Not, not now. Not now. We got, I got tonight all planned out, but. Oh yeah, no, we have. Yeah, got, I'm looking at yeah. all the articles that are up there. No, we have plenty. There's we, like we might have to do oh, another okay. stream. Yeah, like, like it's well, you know, some some of these are like kind of bat bullshit. Like they're more like backup articles, right? right in right, in right, my right. opinion. Like, I okay. want to get to, like, the heavy hitters first, and, like, if we still have time, like, left over, you know, if, if, you're, right, still, yeah. if you're not trying to, like, you know, leave yet, we could check out some of, like, the, the less interesting ones, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, but, uh, but, but, yeah, okay, so we got, um, avoiding public restrooms, which is, like, yeah, forehead. Yeah, we were at, yeah. Avoid public restrooms, forehead, yeah, no shit. Yeah, big brain. Can we get some TL big brains? Go poop in a bush. Yeah, thanks, WikiHow. Okay, talk to your doctor. If your bowel movements are unpredictable, talk to your doctor. Most people find themselves needing to poop on a fairly regular schedule. If you're having trouble predicting when you need to go, you might be suffering from IBS or another ailment. Don't be afraid to talk to your doctor in detail about your bowel movement. The more descriptive you are, the more likely it is he will be able to offer a diagnosis and a treatment. Like, and, and a dude just ends up, like, a doctor ends up listening to a shit enthusiast talk about the minute details of his shit for it's, 50 it's, minutes. It, yeah, it's, a, it's like, a, yeah, I was gonna say, like, a 45-minute in-depth, like, breakdown of, like, right. the, when he first felt, like, the pang in his fucking, like, in his bowels to, like, the moment of the flush. You know, right. like just from start to finish, like, every excruciating detail, like, the, like the way it felt on his, on, like, on his asshole. Right, and he yeah. describes the scent notes the of the shit. Yeah, yeah, he's got like floral, like it's floral, like it's notes. a fine, like it's a, like yeah. it's a fine beer. Yeah, he's describing like a fine <laughs> wine. He picks it up to get a sense of the texture, right? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, I say it was like clay. Yeah, it's like, like soft clay. I could imagine making a vase out of it. The guy sitting here, he's like, dude. Do you write lyrics for Gwen Stefani? Get out of my office. <laughs> Get out of my office. He he's like one of the people behind Goop. He's a goop. Go he's a gooper. Yeah, he's, he's a, go a gooper. He's a goofy gooper. It was I lonely. Like, I love the word lonely. Re remember, <laughs> remember when I said like I'm a, when I said gooper, a like s my streamer instinct instinct kicked in and I was like, did I just say a slur? And uh -huh. am I going to have to delete VOD? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel you, like you I, felt that too. So, so many times, I just like I'm surprised by like what's a slur. Like I really just right. You know, like obviously I'm not trying to say anything that's going to upset anybody. I'm 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 really not trying to be that guy. But like, right. you know, I mean, like it, there's so many things that can just like like, and then you have some people interpreting something as a slur, and some people who don't consider it a slur. Like mm -hmm. you have that happening too, and it's like, I just, you know. I just want everybody to have a good time. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm not trying to have those conversations, you know, right? Um, but Mike, everything you say is upsetting. Oh my God. Um, yeah. Then she said, does it count if it's a slur in another language? Okay. So I, I remember Alfhilda, Alfie was, uh -huh. um, when, when she was younger, she tried playing club penguin mm -hmm. and she, people were making fun of her because she's like writing in Swedish and like, people were bullying her, and so she said, Sluta, which means stop in Swedish, but the the filter in Club Penguin saw the slut, slut. in Sluta yeah. and banned her. 
So oh, she got amazing. bullied and, and then banned, banned when she fought back. <laughs> they didn't even fight back, just begged them to stop. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's 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 a formative memory right there, huh? <laughs> it's poor Alfie. And then you I, have, I love Alfie. Poor poor Alfie. God. Trumpet said dude Trumpet dude says you made me think of a slur, you are canceled. You know what was you know what was like a like a really like kind of sad moment. Mm. I, I, mm. I I there were people. This happened a couple of times where oh, like I saw Chatters like crying that I said something that like like slightly sounded like a slur, and like getting like like on, like like get, like I saw people getting like legitimately upset, like not like on ironically upset because like I said something like that that sounded like a slur. We manifested okay. Alfie. Hi, Alfie. She's here right now. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. why is she? I, I, I told the story of how you got banned from Club Penguin. Yeah, it was uh, it was delightful. I love that story. It's such a good story. Sluta. Oh, okay. So we, so literally, this is. That's her. Tra that's her one... villain. Her villain origin story. You know what this article was like. This article was like those those recipes that have like a fucking novella attached to them and like the recipe is this tiny little bit in the middle. Uh-huh. Like it, it wants to take you on a journey. That's what this felt like. Like we got one panel being like, "Oh yeah, you squat." Yeah. Over the toilet. And that's it. Like I got I got so few details. I feel like I feel like I am no more equipped to shit standing up than I was going into this. <laughs> like someone you know? consider it's like the person who wrote this. I'm I'm going to make an accusation. Uh -huh. I I am going to make an accusation. Mm -hmm. The person who wrote this article doesn't shit standing up. I don't think that they ever have. I think that this is stolen valor of of like stolen stolen shit shit Sh valor. Standing shitters, dude. You're you're absolutely right. I think this would have read very differently if this was somebody who who had a history of standing while shitting. Right. Imagine what imagine what an article about shitting stand standing up would have read like if it was like written by an enthusiast. It would have been and and I, and I don't think it would have ended with this like, you know, get therapy but right. You know. If, if you're thinking of if you're thinking of shitting standing up, get therapy, see a doctor. It's like no, I want someone when I when I look up an article on how to shit standing up, I want someone to be like shitting standing up is the natural thing to do. Like I want yeah. them to pitch it to me <laughs> like they're the fucking liver king, like like they're a fucking like manosphere so you've influencer. Decided, like so, so you, you've, you want to reduce your estrogen levels? Yeah. Try shitting standing up. <laughs> like sell me on this. So you've decided to sh you've decided to shit standing up. Welcome to manhood. Right. right. Like, dude, you know, I actually I could see that argument being made. Oh my god, Fred, we should like gaslight the entire manosphere, like into into fucking like b taking that bait. Like, dude, do you piss sitting down like a woman? No. So why would you shit sitting down, you <laughs> fucking fairy? Take the brown pill. Time to take the brown pill <laughs> the brown pill. <laughs> shit like a man on your feet. <laughs> Men die on their feet and they shit on their feet. Women like it when they can smell your shit on you. You <laughs> see, the they, pill. they, women, <laughs> women, women can tell your health by smelling your shit. They love, so they can they smell a little bit of a, no wiping. No, females, they take it, no, it's taking, females. females. Females yeah. are hardwired to smell, to be attracted to the scent of a man's feces, especially if, if it's healthy, healthy. all yeah. natural, all natural feces. Right. 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 Like feces that don't contain like GMOs or soy and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Holy fuck, dude! I I feel like we could fuck it. Like we 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 make dude. we make like a new account, like make a new like like make up a character, and like his whole thing is like shitting standing up, but also have him tied into like all that you know like that holistic shit, or whatever the fuck that right, is. Right, right. Like homeopathic Cru bullshit, like crunchy shit. Yeah, the right. crunchy shit. C crunchy like uh, what, what crunchy would be dad. the equivalent of a crunchy mom? Crunchy like, bro. Crunch crunch bro. Crunchy bro. Crunch, crunch bro, maybe like like we we need a snappier name for it. Like Crunchy Mom kind of has the Karen feel to it because mm -hmm. it's like Crunchy Mom is an accusation. Fecal males, not not something they <laughs> they don't call themselves that. Fecal male. 
They shit standing up. They're fucked. And we just make it into a thing where it's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, fucking this is how men, this is how real men shit. And if you don't fucking, right. you know, if you don't shit like this, you're probably some kind of like, like beta fucking, you, you know, uh, help me out with this. Whatever the fuck. Or like you know. a beta, a, a, a beta, oh, we, yeah, yeah, we, we need, we need our own version of cuck. Yeah, you're like a, a beta, beta cock, you know, you left leaning, whatever the fuck, you're, you know, you're a fucking. A sit shitter. You're a sit shitter. Like, we, we need, yeah, we need, You're like, like a willing participant in the Matrix. A, 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 yeah, like a shit sitter. I like that. A shit sitter. Mm -hmm. A weak, a weak beta shit sitter. Yeah, it, um. Right, and oh, if you, what, right. What's the matter, beta? Is your core too weak to squat <laughs> over the toilet? <laughs> yes! And as Buntime points out, a central a component of this has to be that if you wipe your ass, that like only gay men wipe their ass. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta like when like, you sit down somewhere. If you're not leaving a brown streak, then you are not like you are. Yeah, you're you're not marking your territory. You're not marking your territory, and you and you like anal stimulation. You're gay. You're mm -hmm. you fucking enjoy anal stimulation, and you 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 like men. That's the yeah. That's the implication. Matt was right. ahead of the curve. Said, <laughs> you know, the meme about this chatter like not wiping their ass. No. <laughs> I mean, that's it. You got the whole context. Okay. Is okay. It? Gotcha. He wipes his ass. It's just he can't shake the allegations now. It's too late. I, you know, as he... there there is a an unsettling percent. I don't know what yeah. the percentage is, but there is an unsettling percentage of the, of the population who refuse to wipe their asshole yeah, yeah. for fear of discovering something. Yeah, they're afraid that, like, you know, they, they're going to feel something on their asshole and they're going to be like, yeah, that I like that. That feels good, mm -hmm. you know. But meanwhile, it's like, I think that in and of itself proves that you, that you're not straight. Okay, mm -hmm. I think that right there proves that you have some sort of proclivity. Because what? Do you, wh why would you be afraid then? Right. If you you right, wouldn't. Exactly. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be, unless there was something going on. You know what I mean? Like you. You oh, wouldn't have that thought. That would never even occur to you. You know, you say that, but I actually. Would you be willing to watch a video on Twitter real quick? <sighs> How Just quick? Re it's a minute and a half long. And it's and it's good for Twitch. It, oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It, right, it is me... a clip from it is a clip from Merriweather. Okay, hit me with it. Fucking an incredible story. I <laughs> I showed this on my stream. Okay, let me. <laughs> oh, is that Breath of the Is that people... the, is that is that Tears of the Kingdom? No, that what that's that? Genshin Impact. That's Genshin Impact. Okay, all right, all right, okay, 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 hold on. It, some people in, in chat already know what this is. Okay, hold on. I get it. I get. Let me let me get it up and everything. Okay, okay. And get the audio ready and okay. Here we go. Oop. Whoops. Oh, are you sharing it on my on the the screen the screen share so I can see it too? Um, it, that will be difficult right now. But you've okay, seen this already, no right? Okay, yeah, hold. I've seen this already. I have noticed that there is a significant amount of men out there who very much want girls to kick them in the balls. Now, I was confused about this because I have hurt my balls on multiple occasions and I can confidently say that this is not an experience that I would want. But here's the thing. It is extremely uncomfortable even to be lightly tapped in the balls He's by right. anything, by that's accident. Yeah, so true. the idea of having someone kick me in the balls on purpose and that somehow bringing me any gratification whatsoever <laughs> or me finding it pleasurable in any way seemed extremely alien to me. So me being the curious George that I am, I decide to make an experiment. I'm going to punch myself in the balls and I will see, is there any reason why these many, many men would enjoy this? Is there any slight hint of pleasure if I punch myself hard in the balls? So I did it. I punched myself hard in the balls one time and I legitimately fell to my knees. In unbelievable <laughs> agony, I fell to my knees and I grasped my balls and I yelled to myself, oh God, why? Why am I so stupid? <laughs> what could I possibly have stood to gain from this? I knew I wouldn't like this. I knew I would not. I knew it. And yet I did it, cause I'm an idiot. So no, it was not <laughs> pleasurable at all. No, he's not an idiot. No, he's not. <laughs> He's a, he's not an idiot. It, it, that, well, dude, it, it, it was science. I have noticed that there is. It was science. He was doing science. 
right? He was, and he's, <laughs> dude. If 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 it doesn't feel if it doesn't feel good, why are all these people doing it? Do their balls feel different? Like, like it, what do, am I missing? Does it feel different to the th these this this subsect of men? Do they have different like are they are they wired differently? Is there something yes. different about their balls? I, I don't you know, know if it's what in is the balls. It? I think it's in the brain. It's all psychological. I think the balls are the same. I it's think all, it's all psychological. It's all psychological. Yeah. You know what the problem is? He hasn't had me punch him in the balls. That's the difference. I see. You gotta let you're gonna introduce me to this guy at some point, right? Okay. No, you, yeah, I yeah. will. You, I'd you'll, like to you'll meet, I'd inevitably like to, end up meeting I'd like, Mary. I'd like to meet him. And yes. at such point, you will. I would like to invite him to allow me to punch him in the balls. And okay. and and fucking just because listen, I've punched people mm -hmm. in the balls and a lot of people tend to like it. So I'm saying mm -hmm. that if that that's that's the X yeah. factor. You can't punch yourself. I would argue you can't punch yourself in the balls and expect that to work. You gotta have somebody who knows what they're doing, who's got the it's, touch. It's like tickling yourself. It doesn't work. Yeah. You need right? somebody Your brain with, is hardwired. You you can't yeah, exactly, Fred. You get it. You need somebody with the touch to do it to you. That's what he's missing. And I, I have the mm -hmm. touch, right? Right, right, right. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'd be, I'd be, well, I'd be willing to help Mary explore that, you know, that part of himself, if, if he so chooses, mm -hmm. right? Okay, like, but that's up if to he him. wants to that's continue up to experimentation, that's up to him. He's Brit, he, he's British. Oh uh, no, he's Danish. Danish. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like right, because I could see, I could tell there was a, there was an accent in there. Yeah, yeah. Right. But it was like, that's, this is a European because they, they, that's how they learn how to speak English usually. Right. Yeah. 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 Are we talking about CBT? Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm going to look at the, the Q and A section. Are you ready? Fred. Okay. Okay. If I'm having a, a consultation with my doctor about IBS, what are some things I should prepare to tell them to help them understand my situation better? And he got an expert answer from a fucking doctor, board certified internist and gastroenterologist. That okay? Damn. Okay. Um, and that. Oh well. Well, that's it. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Oh. That's my shit. How to take a stool sample with the collection kit. <laughs> how to take a stool sample with a stool collection i don't think we have to look at that one no, you no, want to move on you want to move on from poop? yeah let's keep going let's keep going you want to move on from poop all yeah, right let's yeah, move yeah. on to something far less actually I'm, I'm trying to think about the order we should do this in or sorry like he, he's from den um yeah, uh, he, he's from Denmark. Yeah, that's Danish. Yeah, he's Danish. That's Danish. Yeah, yeah. Danish. Okay, Danish. so I was I was worried that I fucked it up. You saw you thought it was Danish. I thought de Danish. Okay, no, no hear, I... hear me out though, because it's called Den. Okay, in English, if you're from, mm -hmm. if you the, the country is called Denmark, right? If you're from there, we say you're Danish. We call the language Danish. Why does it right, go right. from an e to an a in English? Because English is stupid. In fucking because, in in, yeah. in Danish. It's called Denmark, which translates to yeah, land of the Danes, right? The Danes were the were the, the you know the, the Denmark, yeah, yeah, the ethnic group. But like, why do we do that? Why did we decide it was an E? Why do we do that? To be annoying? It's working. It's very annoying. Mm -hmm. um, I I think it's because I I think I panicked because I was like, is this a like? It's like Netherlands and the Dutch. Right, like Dutch means that someone's from the Netherlands. You know how to say you know, you, you, mm. you know how to you know how to say the Netherlands in Dutch. No, Netherlands. Neder Netherlands, right? And you know you know how to say okay the language Dutch. You know how to say that in Dutch. Isn't it Nederlandish? Yeah. So I mean, like I don't know where the fuck like do and, and and I don't think they call themselves they call themselves Nederlandish, right? Or like, what? Where? Where, where did the? Where did the, 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 the fucking word Dutch come from? I don't know. I m maybe maybe it was just an English speaker wanting to one up someone from there and being like, no, actually, in English, it's Dutch. Dutch like, comes from you, Deutsch because we mix. We con English speakers confuse them with Germans. That right? sounds right. Wrong. It sounds, sounds wrong to you. No, that sounds stupid. Okay. That sounds stupid. I mean, like. 
stupid things do happen, Fred. Yes, but... You know what further feel... confused it? I'm, I, I'm like obsessed mm. with the Netherlands. You know what further confused okay, okay. this? What? There's two provinces of the Never Netherlands. You know, it's like a typical European story. You had like a bunch of these tiny little kingdoms that eventually like united through marriage and all this divorce right, right, and all right. this fucking cre the, the insanity and impossible to follow bullshit of European history. Mm. There was there was a, 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 a fucking region of the Netherlands that was called Holland. In fact, there were two, North Holland and South Holland. Now, okay. when like the Dutch East India Company thing happened and like, you know, the Dutch started, you know, um, sailing around the world and like establishing trade routes and like right, colonizing, right. colonizing places, those pe the majority of the people that were leaving the country and like tra traveling globally were from Holland. So when people asked where they were from, they would tell them Holland and wouldn't tell them the Netherlands, which is like also a geographic region. And that's why right. so many fucking people are confused about the name of the country being Holland when it isn't. Uh. And there are, stu there, are, yeah, those, those places are still there. North to South Holland, still there, of course, didn't go anywhere. But right. like, that just confused the fuck out of some, not just English speakers, like I think Japan was, has been really confused by that for like fucking centuries. Americans can barely tell you where the states are. You think you think they're going to care about? Oh, forget about what, Americans. Yeah, just... yeah, yeah. Americans like the the British. The the British don't give a fuck. It's like, oh yeah, that's like over there, right? That that that's where the other people are. Yeah. <laughs> right. Look at all these um um global chat citizens talking about how it's 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 Holland in like almost every language. Yeah, and what it's is it, it's it's their fault, right? I've never seen K Kona Land before. That is an incredible email. Oh, I love K Kona Land. Yeah. K Kona Land. <laughs> Fuck. So next article, gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm yeah, hungry. righty. I'm hungry. Feed me. Um. Oh, uh, let's do one for the furs. Next up, how to oh, form boy. an animal pack. What? Yeah. Do you love animals and dream of creating a pack of them with your friends? Now you can. You can role play as any animal as long as you know how to form your pack and how to make it fairly realistic. What? You heard him. What? How to make it fairly realistic. Because, dude, it's not going to be realistic if you're not shitting on the floor, right? Mike, question. Yep. Could we look at the author info before we continue? <sighs> Yeah, I'm gonna hide the screen because I don't know what's gonna happen when I click that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. Uh, fun fact: when you click that link, it simply opens up a new. Oh, um, it, it it pops something up. It popped up another version of this this exact same this this the same page. Oh my god! You no, but that? when you hover your cursor though. Oh my bad. Okay. Ah oh, shit! Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> WikiHow is a wiki similar to Wikipedia, which means that many of our articles are co-written by multiple authors. That is not author info. No, it's not. I, we, we have no idea who wrote yeah, this. Yeah, we, we can't get any more info on this. Mm -hmm. um, all right, steps collect members. Okay. If you want to be an outsider and live with up to four people or Wait, oh, yeah. up to f up to four people or less. You're not a full pack. They're gatekeeping it, right? Up to four people or less. What? What? You, you need... are not a full pack, and therefore your miniature pack does not have to have a name. Doesn't have to have a name. What? What? Now we have name requirements. What the fuck is this? You have to. <laughs> do I have to register with the fucking DMV? <laughs> Members who want to be part of a pack should join a pack with at least five people or more. There's what? rules and regulations, and you gotta follow them or get the fuck out. Mike, I have a horrifying concern. Yeah. Is this part of the Omega Verse? I don't know what that is, dude. Am, am, I, am I about to get um 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 Jimmy? What is it? Spaghetti Bob. Am I You're about, about to get, get spaghetti? Spag bombed. Am I getting spaghetti bobbed right now? Am I getting fucking uh, yeah. spaghetti bobbed? Chat. Yeah, you can see chat immediately responding. Is he spaghetti I bobbing think, me, guys? I think one of these days we should take the time to introduce Mike to the Omega Verse. Sounds horrible, Fred. I gotta be I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds awful. Chad, the way chat's reacting it, is 
There Mike, will be knots. Oh no. Like no matter what you think it might be, it's worse. <sighs> it's not what I want to hear from Fred Knudsen. It's so specific. Or is it? Bad. Sound you're you're really building this up. It it is it is bad in a you're specific hyping this, dude. way. You're, you're hyping this. You're hyping this a lot. I dude, it is it's it's just it's one of those things that just comes out of the internet. What does Wispbones mean by saying my mom reads Omegaverse on her phone every day? Yeah, that. Give Spoilers, us a three sentence summary. What is it? Th yeah, give me a three. A three sentence summary. Omegaverse is a. Oh, God. How do you even describe it? It's an open writing setting in which men are divided into alphas, betas, and omegas. Like like who are uh, these men who? The the betas are are um the in-betweeners, the middle like the middle class of them, while the alphas breed the omegas. Fred, this sounds really 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 this not okay. This is preg. It dude it, you get into like some some really intense shit like non-con. This sounds and... like eugenics, dude. Like mpreg eugenics or some shit. It's it's you're more right than you might know. What? Well, what the fuck is it? It's some twisted fucking scumbags like like creative writing project. Like what is it? Oh, it's women. No, that this this is a specifically female phenomenon. And what? I, it's it's because it comes directly out of Twilight. Oh no. It's like a fandom, basically. Yeah, this is you can trace its lineage back to like Twilight fan fiction. Oh yeah, it's no. a fan it, it is effectively a fan fiction. Oh, it's from before Twilight? I didn't know that. Supernatural. Like I, I think that I Twilight say. made it more popular though. Oh no. Or it's supernatural, okay. Came from supernatural even farther back well supernatural is like werewolves and shit right yeah it's yeah. it's like a it's very tied to werewolf yeah stuff. fuck and you think this kind of has a little bit of the scent of that shit i'm mm. i'm not getting scared so that you know i do I, I was i was i thought first at first this might have been a yamaka but now i'm seeing that Me that's too. a full it's that's a, a full moon back there no, I, Me, I, th I thought that this was further a, like, lending, a, a super inclusive. Lending credence to what you're saying. You could, why mm -hmm. can't you have a Jewish werewolf? Of course you could. Of course you could. Yeah, of course you could. Trying to think of a word play there. Uh, werewolf. Uh, there, uh, there is none. Too There's stupid. A... Yeah, I can't think of any. <laughs> um, if you want to be an outsider and live... With up to yeah, we, we read that. We read the, that. The werewolf bar mitzvah, up to four people or less. Okay, up mm. to four people or less. Up to four people. Uh, yes, I, I I read that. I paused. I mean, I was reading this. Yeah, I I, I don't know what that means. Up to four people or less. Well, if I you would have, like to, yeah. Mike, I'd mm -hmm. like to point out, ten contributors. Oh, this one's gonna be fucked. This one's gonna be brutal, isn't it? Ten contributors. This one is going to be an absolute fucking nightmare, dude. What the fuck were the other nine people doing when that when that other tenth person wrote that line? Okay, here here is the premise of Omegaverse. What if every single fictional man was gay, had a wolf penis, and was either empreg or empregging? Harry Potter, wolf cock. Twilight. Wolfcock. Batman, you guessed it, slobbering on Bane's wolfcock. Why so Fred, girls it, fucked off. And 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 the, and the, and and this is again, this is for this is for women to enjoy. Right. What the fuck? Yeah. That's accurate. Also throw in weird racism. Ooh. <laughs> Fred, remember yeah. when you wolfcocked my stream? I did nothing of the sort. You did it yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kid. Mm -hmm. That's that's the official story, guys. From the from yeah. the from the Kremlin. Yeah, that's the that's the official narrative being passed down. Okay, 
I see how it is. We are we are performing special military op no, no, operation on my stream. If you say that shit, they demonetize your video. You cannot talk about what's Wait, happening. Really? I swear to God. I swear to God. I I I said the the I said the U word the other day, and they fucking demonetized my stream. Jesus. They they fucking completely demonetize it on YouTube. Oh, by the way, you never sent me that vod. I keep forgetting to tell you. Oh, I need to get that to yeah. you. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, part two. Decide ranks for your pack. Who's going to be the alpha? Who's going to be the... What the shit? Yeah, it, I think, you know, the more... I think you're right about that. We're going to designate you the pack beta. Are you... This can't... No. Oh, it's real. You're looking this... at it. You're seeing it. I. It's right here. It's right in front of you. I... What? It's right. It's right in front of you, bud. What? No, this is... This is like, um... What what was it? Uh, the 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 person who he doesn't the, want to the, believe the, 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 the his mind rejects objective We're, reality. His mind just rejects reality in front of him. This this is like the the imperial Chinese harem, um, crypto woman. Okay, you just, you're you're you're, uh, you're spaghetti bobbing. I'm spaghetti there, bobbing right? hard. Yeah, you yeah. you know Sam Bankman Freed who did yeah. like the FTX thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. he and he was working like the the partner company, and that was um, Alameda Research. Right. Um, the the woman who was in charge of that was like his his partner. They had a huge, yeah. They were like, freaks. Polycule. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember they, reading they, about that. Yeah, they were like they, they had a polycule. Had, like, yeah, yeah. They, they had a big like polycule. Okay, fine. Right. Like like sure if you can get that working fine but the way she described it someone found this woman's tumbler and she Fuck, said she had a tumbler of course she had a she tumbler, had a tumbler oh where my she god talked about like modern day eugenics and then Fuck. Um, yo she at, was at one point said i i used to think she said i used to think that polyamory was a break from my trad past but yeah. actually <laughs> It's like what the the sort of poly I form. think is best yeah. is imperial Chinese harem. Everyone should be fighting for like my attention. You know, I'm gonna find the quote. Fred, her that that woman's energy was horrifying. Her whole energy was 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 induced sheer terror in me. Every fucking single thing I heard about that person was fucking terrified me, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Here we go. every single thing about that person was 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 the fucking the a yike to end all yikes. Like holy fuck! Here, I've got the, it. I've got the scariest like per person in recent memory. I've got I've, I've got I've got the quote. I've all right, got let, the me, quote. let me let me hurt me hurt me with this shit. When I first started my foray into poly, I thought of it as a radical break from my trad past, traditional. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know, but. To be honest, I've come to decide the only acceptable style of poly is best characterized as something like Imperial Chinese Harem. None of this... <laughs> none of this non-hierarchical bullshit. Everyone should have a ranking of their partners. People should know where they fall on the ranking. And there should be vicious power struggles for the higher ranks. A walking yike. Somebody chat called her a walking yike. <laughs> a yike. <laughs> Like a like a flesh incarnate yike. Like is holy yeah. fuck. Like a yike oh. being a unit of measure. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or like just like if you took if you took a, a yike and you turned it into like flesh, you made you made it corporeal. You gave a corporeal form. Yes. <sighs> wow. I mean, like, is, is that feminism? What is that? Like, what is? I don't. I don't. Like, is know. that like re, is that like recursive, like ne like negative integer, like stack overflow, like feminism? What is that? I don't know. Um, like what the fuck? Oh is yeah, this? Here, is that? here. I her posts read like memes. Um, so here, here are what I think are some. Okay, nothing against this post in particular, but it reminds me that I find it amusing how boy positivity posts on Tumblr always end up taking this cute, infantilizing tone that elides what is actually attractive about men. Here are what I think are some cute boy things. One, controlling most major world governments. Two, <laughs> being responsible. Two, being responsible for many important inventions and scientific discoveries. Oh my Three, god. Three, spatial reasoning abilities. I don't know why. Four, low risk aversion. Five, sufficient strength to physically overpower you. Oh, Sam Bankman Freed, very well known, famous for his low uh, risk for his low risk aversion. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the yes. thing he's known for, really.
Yeah. Uh, okay, no, I, I... Behind the Bastards talked a little bit about him. Apparently, he did... He, he would do calculations in his head, and he said if the possibility of success is, and, like, the what you could get for the success combined is greater than the possibility of failure then you then logically you have to do it the idea being if you could get 100 if there's a possibility of you getting a trillion dollars mm -hmm. but there's only a seven percent chance that it'll work then logically speaking you have to go for it because it's worth the risk like the if if the if the reward is great enough then it's worth the risk like that that was the way he calculated risk so oh, 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 okay this okay, man's so, an idiot right that he's, is he's just he's that, just an idiot that is just that is just brain dead yeah like that's he's just just an idiot like, just, this was his <laughs> yo what is wrong with he's... this what is wrong with this girl though right yeah um uh, uh sax Holy sax put it yeah sa sax put it sax put it like this you can get two thousand percent on your money gambling but you can only lose one hundred percent that the, you that sounds like horseshit but it's actually what he believed. That is fucking terrifying. And all these people were like, here, take my money. You seem like you got a good head on your shoulders. Right. Yep. Holy fuck. Yep. Man, that is, that is beyond terrifying, dude. It is unreal. Wow, I can't believe this guy, that this guy who's fucking like balls deep into crypto is a, a, a degenerate gambler. Holy shit. How could, <laughs> yeah, right. how could that be possible? Yeah, right. Oh, my anyway, God. anyway, f fuck, uh, fucking anyway, this girl. So this is, yeah. Yes. So she, she fuck. Oh, my God. She, oh, the best so, part is like so, none so of them actually like, believed in none of them actually believed in crypto. Right. That's yeah. what that they, they that was what they said anyway. Right. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was all just how much how much like, you know, money can we grab before this fucking, you know, fucking implodes on us. Yeah. Like yeah, that was exactly. always the that was always the plan. Yeah, it was always the plan to just like make, they take the money and run. Yeah, where it, is it he? he? He's going to jail though. No. Yes. No. He's fucked. Yeah. yeah no, like, Sam I mean, Bankman Fried is fucked. Like, did he? Did he? Did like? Was that? Well, I mean, there was this, there was like a, I, I think a seven percent chance he wouldn't go to jail, so he went for it. Yeah. Is that what? He's is like, that, but, that was the I calculus? Could make, I could like I could become the first trillionaire if this works, but there's a low chance of it succeeding. <laughs> Now, but because he could make so much money, it was worth the risk. He pissed off a lot of rich people. Yeah, yeah. It's so stupid. Like, are we talking actual jail or rich people jail? Oh, I, I have a feeling he's going to actual jail. Yeah, I, I think that they want to make an example out of him. Yeah, no, he did get bailed out. He, his parents bailed him out. So she was saying, like, she likes men control. Like, it's sexy when men control world governments. Jesus Christ. I mean, she's being sarcastic, right? Oh, like, is she? We're talking about, oh, boys are allowed to be cute, boy positivity. I like it when men are powerful. Yeah, right? that's like, her, that's, that's her, her that's, she, that's her, yeah, sense of humor right there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess that's funny if you're insane. It's, <laughs> right. All right, so let's so get it anyway, back on track. Uh, Sorry. We, we need, yeah, we yeah. need to make a ranking for our pack. We need an imperial Chinese pack. Fred, do you want to be the beta? Oh, I'll be I'll be the Omega. You want to be the that, that's the bottom of the fucking pack. That's the that's the yeah, last. Yeah, yeah. Th those are the I ones was, that I, get I impregnated. Wanted, the, the meme was going to be having an argument about who gets to be the beta. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, okay, okay, but like no joking. I feel like in the Omega verse, the best place to be <laughs> yeah. is beta. You think because so? Because then why? you can like have a semblance of a normal fucking life, and you actually don't uh, like like you you don't have responsibilities. I guess. Is that what you're saying? I guess, like, you have normal responsibilities. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, whereas the alpha has to worry about, you know, is everybody getting enough dog food? Right. I, I think the alpha goes into heat. Oh, my God. Uh, like, I'm more breedable just, than you, Fred. I, <laughs> fucking Christ. No, I'm more breedable. <laughs> Prove it. Mm -hmm. look, at, look at my gape. Miniature, <laughs> miniature packs do not have ranks. There must be a leader. And the fairest way to do this is to hold an erection. Fred, are you going to hold my erection? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to do... I, I'll hold the balls, too. You can't neglect them. I know the importance of balls. Remember, 
Do not vote for yourself. If there is a tie, have a mini wrestle or rock, paper, scissors battle. And then let the audience, audi the audience, audience vote for who they think is the best. The rest of the pack can decide whether he or she wants to be a standard member, elder, nurse, pup, slash kid, or another role. I don't like where this is going, Mike. Fred, I don't think I like where it's going either. Is this meant, is this meant for kids or is, who is this meant for? I don't know, but like the the clip art, like the drawings are kids. I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a peek at what is going on down okay, here. I'm okay, I'm just gonna take a little peek. Um. Okay, that looks okay. That looks okay. That looks all right. Um, it looks fuck. I mean, it looks fucking bad. All right, no, it's this is nothing. Okay, this is nothing. Do you yeah. want to? You oh, shut. I'll be okay. You want to take the next um the next bit? Yeah, I've got it. Sure. Decide what animal the members in the pack will be, and this includes mini packs. Hold an election. If there is a draw, have everyone vote on the top two. Or let the leader decide. I, I think it's it for, is for, for kids. I, I hope it's for kids. I Listen, if, if I had to be, if, if like you forced me to like to be into this, I'd be <laughs> like, can I just be the capybara and then just hang out? The capybara. Yeah, because they hang out with other animals. You want to be the capybara? Yeah, they just chill. Everyone yeah. loves capybaras. They have, they're friends with alligators. They're friends with, with buffalo, water buffalo, right? They're friends with the beer cats. Yeah, they, they are, they are the universal friend. Static says, no way furries wouldn't have a dictatorship. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is, right? Like, I just... <laughs> All right. It is, yeah, it is okay to have multiple different species of animals as long as the other members agree. All right. Name your pack. This is optional for mini packs. Oh, good. Oh, good. I was getting concerned okay. because we have a mini pack. I was getting concerned that I would, that I would be, I would be forced to, to name my pack, but, but luckily I don't have to. Oh, thank God. Try to use creative names instead of a more common one. Hold an election for the pack names, and if there is a tie, let the leader decide. Decide your character's name, gender, appearance, and backstory. You don't have to, but it's more fun. It makes your pack more realistic. Like, this is very specific, right? Like, this is teaching... Like, the last article was teaching us how to shit. Yeah. This, this article is teaching us how to play pretend. No, well, the next one is going to be like, run away in the, wo in the woods. And run around and, and make sure and throw all your clothes out. Make sure you don't tell your parents where you're going. It's time to become mm -hmm. an animal and really embrace the role. Right. It's like, like they say, okay, then, oh no, what if, what if this is like trying to, to capture people? Like, come to this address. Oh fuck. I was That's thinking how would, you do it right. It it was more like spreading like the like like the mind virus that like society is cope. And like we're meant to fucking be wild animals and shit. Society yeah. is cope. Is cope, yeah. Is a, yeah. that is a powerful it, phrase. It, right? Right? Society is cope. <laughs> <laughs> we were never meant to sit in cubicles and houses and stuff like that. Like we were never meant to fucking, you know, have, uh, sit around on on the computer and playing video games and we we're not meant to do this stuff we're just supposed to be yeah we're supposed to be free don't you want to be free if you, if, if you do not have worms gnawing their way through your intestines you are not living as god intended right 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 right, right. sounds like a quote from the wokler <laughs> the wokler Oh, did, did you see the the fucking like the onceler the 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 onceler with the giant dumpy? Yeah, yeah, chat show yeah. the whole meme. With... Good. You put my face no. on it, right? I I did uh, because there's like a dude just off the edge. Um, the, the, on the watcher. Was... On the watcher. Yeah. What what was? Oh yeah, we were saying um, like I I brought up the arsler and people heard it as arsler like the, the onceler but for arse. Yeah, he's got a fat ass. Yeah, so he's yeah. the arsler. <laughs> I I love the arsler. The, holy shit! The, the one slur in Harlem. <laughs> <sighs> holy shit, dude! I I I, I fucking. 
Oh my I god. The Glorax. I speak for those cheeks. Fuck. Mike loves the Arsler. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Very creative, chap. He who. Um. Okay, so it says, it, it doesn't say run away from home. It doesn't say come to this address. It doesn't say any of that stuff. It says make your pack unique. Create an emblem that is placed around your territory and on the items your pack uses. Make up traits that only your pack has. If your pack is in a public area, do not vandalize property. It is illegal and can give your pack a bad name. It's like, you know, maybe th maybe this is like soft uh, entry into gang culture. Here's how it works in the pack. Yeah. The pack, the pack, quote unquote. Right. The pack. I, what, I, I guess, do they, what, are backstories a part of it? I guess. The other packs won't like you if you vandalize the public parks. Right. Um, don't forget to disrespect your surroundings as much as possible. Society mm -hmm. is cope and cringe. And it deserves to be, de it deserves to be destabilized as much as possible. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like anarchy, it's like anarchy, like, like soft anarchy propaganda, maybe. Right, this, yeah. what, what you create your pack, right? Like that, yeah. that's the ideal anarchic yeah. state. Yeah. Just small groups yeah. of people, yeah. You don't recognize any government, you don't recognize Looking any fucking, yeah. you don't recognize any organization except yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Just, okay. Um, map out your territory, dude. No, it's gang culture. It's it's what soft it's soft in introduction to gang like, like gang culture yeah. <laughs> Make sure this place is accessible to all members. Uh, mini packs can have a territory as they may migrate often. Make sure the territory is a place where members can access as part of a school or a nearby park. And don't forget, you might have to bust a cap in someone's ass. Keep that in mind. Make sure you're always packing heat. On the street, you can mark. You can mark your territory by shitting on it, but only <laughs> standing up. Uh, please don't prevent other people who are not role playing from using or being an area that is claimed as territory by your pack. Then what's the point of the? Oh, people who aren't role playing, right? It's like you right. have to get out of here. We're the Sixth Street Sea Lions, and you can't be here right now. Get out! And it's like, um. I'm a taxpayer. I don't know what the set what the Sixth Street Sea Lion is, but I'm a fucking taxpayer, okay? And I fucking pay for this park. So if you don't get out of my face right now, we're gonna have a big problem, okay? All right. I'm here. Excuse me. I'm here with my baby, okay? Are you, are you kidding me right now? Sovereign citizenship, but for kids. <laughs> yeah, this. It. I'm trying to figure out how this makes me feel, and I think, I think, I think this person just wanted to make a tabletop RPG RPG rule yeah, set, but didn't yeah. want to take the time for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just made it um, have a. I, I, is, that, is this even furry stuff? What is this? No, I, I, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, this is LARPing. LARPing. Get ally packs. Once you have about 10 to 20 members, try to form alliances with other packs. After all, there is strength in numbers. How about you fucking... I, I, actually, you know what? You know what I would... You want to know what I would say to these kids? Hmm. Touch... Touch a console controller. Touch a game... Yeah, maybe, touch a game... Touch gamepad. Go maybe inside. Maybe you're touching too much grass. Yeah, go inside. You've had a you've had a a, a a fucking fatal grass overdose. Go inside, touch games, touch a keyboard, touch a screen, touch a touch screen on a cell phone. So you, yeah. I, I, you know what these people need? The whoever the people who wrote this article just need to play Crusader Kings. Right, like it'll go inside, get a fucking whatever this is. This is fucking play a cringe. paradox game. I'm play a sorry. paradox game. I'm sorry to be like this. Okay, like. What you're doing is sad, and you need to stop. Go home. Go home. There All are ways to do this that involve yeah. other people in public less. Right, yeah, I mean, video games, yeah. Find yeah. a D&D &D group, get help. Tabletop. 
Once you got 20 to 30 members, start turning down offers for others to join your pack or let the leader decide. Yo, touch a D, uh, touch a D20. Instead of touch grass, touch D20. It, yeah, you okay? No, have I told you about the pipeline? About like the the um, the cringe pipeline? Like normal people look down on D and D players. Yeah. D and D players look down on LARPers. LARPers look down on whatever the fuck this is. Right, this is at the the bottom of the barrel. Right, like you're on the, in the Omega verse. This is the Omega. And then just society at large looks down on D and D on D and D players. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I had a friend who used to call him dickheads and douchebags. Thought he was real I funny. Got him. He thought it was real I, funny. I'm sure. I'm sh The worst part about how not clever that is, is knowing how clever that person thought they were. Because <laughs> yeah. like it was somebody in our friend group. Like we had people in the friend group who liked to play D and D, but he didn't. And he would he would he would call he would be like, "Oh, you're going to play dickheads and douchebags." Yeah, you're going to play. Yeah, you're going to play that shit. Yeah, Did I'll, I'll I'll bet I'll bet you feel like you earned your wank <laughs> yeah. for saying that. I heard the movie was pretty good, actually. That movie that's out. No, oh, I, I heard that. It, I heard that yeah. it's really funny. People, I saw a scene are, from it. People it's are like people are liking it. Yeah. yeah. Um, good practical effects. If you decline, you could suggest they create a rival pack. Have battles and border raids. These can be acted out as mini wrestles. I'm not liking this wrestle thing. Yeah, there's a lot of wrestling, isn't there? Uh, or rock, paper, scissors, battles. If one of the animals leading the raid backs down, the other pack will win. W Wisp says, what? What? Sorry, I won't think at a time. Uh, I don't want to. I, I didn't want to interrupt you. No, I, I I know what this is. This is just someone who's way too into warrior cats. So chat, multiple people in chat were saying that. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's essentially just, just like um, expanded on, expanded universe warrior cats or something, right? Right. Yeah, I I didn't see people in chat saying that. I didn't see anyone saying that. I, we're just on the same wavelength. Wisp wants to see D and D streams. You ever think about that? Oh no, I I I approached you, uh, you and Limes and Rev a while ago. I still want oh, to do a you, tabletop. We, we, a, a we tabletop were we were talking about that. Yeah, a one uh, shot I, I wanted to or do like a, a critical I, role type thing. Um, prop like I would like, I would love to start DMing one shots for people, and if there's a ton of interest like if there's a bunch of interest and we're all having a good time with it i might start a regular game mm, um, okay. but like i i like the idea of just setting up one shots to start one shot because okay. like it, it's people can jump in really quickly we, we, right? and and we like, can I, I think sometimes the big ones the the long running ones can get daunting so i just want to start with one shot it makes a lot of sense what you're saying and you can we could gauge like you know audience interest we can gauge our yeah, own level sure. of interest with it, you know, exactly. as it moves on, you know. So exactly. I think the one shot is the is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, just to start with, and then we can go from there. Name the one shot series back shots. I was thinking that, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> he, I don't know if Hina is still here, but like, what was it? There, there was. She showed me a post of someone talking about how he orders and eats gorilla food. Like food intended for monkeys, and he's like, "You see how jacked they get? Like, I want, I want a dick like a gorilla." And I'm like, "They have tiny, you know, dicks. yeah, they have tiny penises, right? It's yeah, like, it's, it's like, like you want to fuck like a gorilla. It's like world record tiny dicks. Yeah, it's remarkable. He eats gorilla mind rush, dude. Gorilla like, this, this mind rush. This is like gorilla body maintenance. Although the <laughs> funny thing is, when you look at what's actually in the food, it's mostly soy." Ironically, right? Ironically. Let everyone know about it. Create posters to put near your school, but not on school premises because then you will get bullied mercilessly. Make sure it is in a place where people can see. Make sure they know how to contact you if they want to join. You could even designate a time where wannabe pack members can visit you at your house. I'm sure your parents will love that. Nobody wants to join you. No, nobody wants it. Nobody's yeah, looking at you. This, you're going to be doing this alone. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's looking at you running around the soccer field in middle school, barking at each other and saying, yeah, I want in on that. Nobody. <laughs> God, to be one of the cool kids. How to get kidnapped 101. Yeah, let's put our address on these posters. Yeah, let's... Look, that's the, co the fucking Ten Commandments, dude. Get it the is. leader oh to God, make about are, three yeah. to five rules that all pack members must obey. Do not covet thy neighbor's 
pack. The fuck? This allows for the clan members to bond and also allows for good or bad characters. Commandment Commandment 3, thou shalt not call other members cringe. <laughs> Let he who is without cringe cast the first stone. Well, that's Jesus later on, but... <laughs> I mean, like, dude... Yeah, I mean, that's a real... I mean, talk about glass houses. Glass, can, we, can we ban Helix Steak real quick there? Glass, like glass dog houses... Uh, what did Helix Snake say? What happened? Uh, do not covet thy neighbor's knot. Oof. Oof. Those words aren't in the Bible. None. Not a one. Well, I guess that depends which Bible you're talking about. Yeah. Oh my god. They're, so the person who made the Conservapedia apparently made his own translation of the Bible. What is a Conservapedia? But, I'm, but I'm, afraid, the, well, I'm afraid to ask. I, I'm sorry. I just spaghetti bobbed you. Oh, okay. The Conservapedia is like, it, it's it's a Wikipedia competitor made by a dude who like leads a, a group of homeschooled kids. It's it's a competitor to Wikipedia without the liberal bias. Oh no. Um, it is it is horseshit. It is it is wild. But at one point he had a biblical a, a translation of the Bible made but without all the liberal bullshit. The, the, and, the, right, the liberal bullshit that's in the Bible. Yeah, he took right, the liberal yeah, bullshit exactly. out of the Bible. The, right, he, right. His belief being that modern translations are somehow too liberal. And so the funny right. thing is nobody on the team actually knows about the translation, like real biblical translation. And so they saying? basically they got, like, just they, took the Bible and made it more right wing. <laughs> It's fucking incredible. Yeah, it dude. was like it was like feed the poor. Uh, nope, we're gonna get rid of that. You know, mm -hmm. go, oh, feed the hungry and, and charity. It might. Oh, we'll get rid of it that might shit. be really fun to go and find that that like the Conservapedia Bible and pick out the good bits and do a stream of that. Well, somebody was saying do do a stream. You know what my first thought was? Ah, mm. oh, this is a Warren's episode. If you ever wanted to do that again, it might be. Because, like, okay, the best Screams part is that people... Screams episode to me. Pe oh, yeah. People who were pissed off at the Conservapedia made their own Wikipedia called the Rational Wiki. Okay. And, like, they are close to as brain-rotted as, as the Conservapedia. Like, people kept vandalizing the Conservapedia, obviously, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and they kept getting banned, so they yeah, made can't... their own Wikipedia. Did they put, like, did they upload, like, images of, like, Sonic feet and shit? I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I've been I've been to both before, and they are both hilarious. Imagine thinking you were going to be able to get away with making something like that, like publicly editable, like like, like fucking holy oh, shit. Oh no 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 no! Um, Dude, it it is just an incredible modern day flame war. Just the, both of them are are in their little corners, sort of like yelling at each other about the other guy. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that's 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 incredible. Rational Wiki is readable. The Conservapedia is like that shit. It's amazing. Spaghetti bobbing is well. He, it's it's when he just he just like he's like oh 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 he just casually drops something like oh that reminds me of Spaghetti Bob and then I'm like Spaghetti Bob and then he's like oh you never heard of Spaghetti Bob and then and then we have to and then we have to launch into like a fucking hour long explanation of like rabbit rabbit hole. Of Spaghetti I'm, Bob? I'm sorry, it's my thing. It's his thing, unfortunately, yeah. Well, no, the I Rational say Wiki does have but... the Rational Wiki does have some like articles on um on pseudoscience. Like they have they have articles on flat earth and stuff oh, like nice, that. Oh nice, um, nice, nice, nice. And so I think so we, it's should, like, we should look it, we should look at it. It's more it it's I'll put it this way. The Rational Wiki makes no attempt to be unbiased, but they they are much more comprehensible than the Conservapedia, which is just fucking amazing. Okay. Um, I'm going to okay, get it on back go. on track. Yeah, Role yeah. play life in the pack. This can include anything from inducting new members to battles and even crazy things like alien invasions. Alien invasions. Just make sure the leader is okay with role playing some scenarios. Now I got to check with the leader. What if Listen. someone forces his way in and tries to break the pack up? Like, did that happen? Oh, what what if there's an outsider who tries, who comes in and tries to... Dude, 34 people found that helpful. 
Oh, Derp, this thanks is for the raid. common for animal packs. Th yeah. Oh, hey, thanks. You must maintain a strong bond of loyalty and not break the pack no matter what. Is it okay to pounce from trees? Yes. What if that just said yes? <laughs> yes. Sure. What is this? What is this? That would be no one's fault but your own. I don't know. Don't you think maybe the, uh, the, the, the authors of this might have some culpability? Let them leave. Uh, what should I do if one of my own betrays me and the pack? Kill them. Ritual sacrifice. Ritual fucking sacrifice. Listen. That's the end of this article. Um, have have fun. fun. non pack members may call you weird, but just ignore them because you're having more fun than them. <laughs> Did I tell you the story of <laughs> like, the vamp like my friend, my high school friend's vampire birthday party? No, but that sounds amazing. But before it you was, launch, you launch into it. I have to piss real bad. Can you give me like two seconds? Yeah, sure. Go for I'm it. I'll be right back. Jazz, Mister will die. Um, uh, ma make sure, make sure to stand. Make sure you g get. <laughs> we'll see how I feel about it. Okay. All jingle right. some cheeks. Right, jingle some keys for chat. Okay. Uh I don't know if my kalimbo will come very well through Discord. I I'm glad that we solved the crustiness of my mic. I, I am glad that I am sounding a little bit better. Uh, I don't, uh, what, what do I have? Here's some hurdy gurdy. It's, it's over, it's over like, in the living room. Um, oh, the crust fairy's back. No, no, it can't be. No, I have a $1,350 set of headphones and Fred sounds bad. Sag. Um, this is just me asserting my dominance. It's like, it's kind of like metal musicians who purposefully make their guitars sound terrible to, to fit the aesthetic. Like, it, it's just a fuck you. It's a middle finger. How much ash would you allow in your gorilla much? Right, no more than eight, what was it? Eight percent ash. Is the, the teddy bear feeding party that are... Yes, yes, Ika Pika. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, that apartment smelled of body odor and sweet rot. Like rotting meat. It was a... It gave me a headache. It gave me a headache. Um, I definitely dodged a bullet with that girl. It was really peculiar when I, like, eventually discovered that she was responsible for a very large part of something in the My Little Pony fandom that Vex showed me because Vex was into it for a short time. I... I... I fucking confluence. I don't know how. It's just... I have returned. Hello. I'm, I'm just talking about a weird confluence that happened um, in my life where I had a crush on a girl in high school who like smelled like whose apartment smelled like rotting meat and body odor and say so she was in your animal pack. Um, yeah, yeah, um, I, I had a crush on her uh, that died off. Thank goodness because she was thinking but then but then it turns out that that she made a like a decently large part of the my little pony fandom like a thing in it and vex what? knew about it and read it and was like yeah it was really weird and like kind of uncomfy in retrospect but like what well, 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 it was it was vex uh, it was showed like... it to me vex showed it to me i saw a photograph of this person i'm like wait a minute get the fuck out of here i know her no seriously ask vex vex can verify this you want to see another weird confluence yes this is Our one of dicks. the articles I wanted to look at tonight. Oh, really? How to act like Discord from My Little Pony French Biz Magic? What? This is another weird confluence. What? This Do is you like. This is. We were meant to be here. We were meant that this was all according to the design of the universe right now. Hmm.
Like, this is all according to plan. Oh, God. Holy shit. What? What the shit? You know, I thought confluence, the word confluence meant... Mm. When like you see like a like a turd in the toilet and you pee on it to cut it in half. What could possibly have given you the conception that that was the definition? I could swear I heard somebody use that in that and use the word in that way one time. I swear somebody you know somebody used it that way and I just been thinking that for years. It's a real piss cutter. I get, yeah, it is a real piss cutter, I guess. <laughs> He's What's like, that? I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> have it. No, just just have it. Take it. <laughs> um, so that she ended up being like a like a a heavy hitter in like the MLP fandom, like fan like fan fiction fandom, like fan fiction. Yeah, yeah. Just like I, I don't want to get too specific about right, it. Right, because then they'll identify who it was. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, but, or, worse, people will start guessing. And a hundred percent, it was the person that you that you had a crush on. One hundred percent. Fuck. There's no, no question. That is bonkers. All right. Absolutely no question. How to act. We might as well do this one next. How to act. Actually, like... you want to know something crazy? I yeah. have a piece. I have a piece of art that I bought from her in high school. I have it. I own it. I could go and get it. Do you, you want to share it? No. You don't want to share it. Okay. No. No. In other words, you, what was you saying? You could prove you could prove it's her if you have to. I oh yeah, if, if saying, someone yeah. was like Fred, we are going to put you in jail if like <laughs> you don't prove that you knew this person. I, I I could put together the pieces and prove it. How to act like Discord from My Little Pony? Friendship is magic. Last updated about a year ago. Do you like Discord from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic? I do. Do you admire his sense of fun? I do. Do you want to learn how to act like him? I do. If so, then, then boy, do we have an article for you. Have a fun, chaotic reading. Weren't the, weren't the My Little Ponies about, like, nice things? Why is it Discord? I mean, Discord's kind of a neat character. He, he becomes a good guy. Uh, you, you watched this? I, in, I, I just know about it because I only saw through season two. He was trying to impress that girl, so he watched all of it. That was, I think that this was in college when I watched, actually. Self-report. Self-report. I watched the first two seasons. It was, it was a fine show. It was cute. I liked it a lot. I didn't feel like I needed anything beyond the first two seasons. Jabroni Mike, yeah. Well, that's uh, what's what's the Fre what's Fred's version of that? What is it? What? Fred Br Brony Knudsen? Like, how does that work? <laughs> what about just Jabroni Fred? <laughs> that works. Assemble a strange, peculiar outfit. You may not want body parts of various animals, so random clothing will have to make do. Find clothing Fuck and you, accessories. Fuck you! I don't want various body parts of well, different I, I, animals. I thought it was about chaos, right? Right. Throw together anything you want. Oh, you have to mismatch your clothes, yeah. Be mischievous. Being the spirit of chaos and disharmony, Discord likes to playfully mess with others and pull pranks. Do not be overly malicious or sadistic, though. Just a mischievous prankster. It also helps you have a fondness for chaos and mischief. Wait, is this how to become Discord or how to become a clown? Um, step three, pipe bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm wondering, I'm thinking, of, like, why they, ha like, why do they have to say that? Don't be overly ma malicious or sadistic. Like, what are they afraid of, right? Um, right, th this is, this is coward shit. That's society holding you down. Um, society is cope, right? Mm. Act playful, pull pranks, and act innocent when caught. No, I didn't leave a 14-inch log in the litter, in the cat's litter box. <laughs> well, it's okay, honey, just as long as you roll it around in there. Speak in riddles, like the woke alert. Discord likes to befuddle others and cause mild confusion, especially in a challenging situation. This may take some time, though. Learn to come up with them as you go and be clever with them. Hey, Mike, I have a riddle. Why yeah. are you a bitch? Man, I, I, wish, I, could, I wish I could answer that. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. 
I really wish I could. Hey, Mike, here's a riddle. Why are you the type of person that likes to make other people feel better about themselves at parties? <laughs> Draco, he says, they should rename... What do you mean 85%? 100% of these WikiHow articles into how to get bullied to tears. Yeah, you know, like you're good. You know, you're in. Uh, you know, you're in class. You're in like. You know, you're in like ninth grade, and you walk in. You start speaking in riddles. You know, how and to be? The, you're gonna, how to be the people that even the people at the Star Trek convention think is a little bit weird. How to reduce your social standing? I like how on this hand you can see that they colored the skin tone outside of the lines. Oh yeah, this person has web has webbed fingers. Usually it's right. like usually that's the bare minimum, right? Like no, no, I'm talking like look at the index finger, like at, at the tip. Oh to yeah. Coloring. Yeah, like you I know how that. people usually say, "Hey, can you color inside the lines?" And we they, uh, to, to reference literally anyone, we found the person who can't. Yeah. You had one job, dude. Yeah. You had one job. They're just tracing. Um, if I was in high school and somebody came in and started speaking in riddles and like prancing around like a pony, I would be grateful that they took attention off me. Frankly. Right. Yeah. Like, oh man, I could get away with some shit now. Yeah, I'd be grateful that they were that they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. They were like drawing, like sucking up all that attention. You know, and be becoming like of like a magnet for ridicule. Like to, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it takes a lot of it, a lot of attention off me, right? Right. Discord isn't a pony. Oh, Matt, you're on super thin ice, bud. I mean, he's right. Someone chat says, didn't Critical admit to doing this in ninth grade? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Discord. Um, I'm a pony now. You're just going to have to fucking deal with it, you freaking dildo. Uh, yeah, so I'm a pony. Uh, where are we clopping, guys? Oh, stop. Riddle, riddle, toil and diddle. What's up, everybody? It's Critical. I'm here in high school. We're gonna pretend to be Discord. Alright, let's do this shit. Uh, <laughs> hey, w what do you get? What do you get when... When I slap you in the face? <laughs> oh. uh, unpredictable. Always have... I'm unpredictable. Always have a plan. Does does Mike know what clopping is? Unfortunately. Well, I mean, I don't know. I assume it. I I I I I always thought it was just like yiffing, but for but for it, it, bronies, it's the it, same it, thing. It, yes, yes. I mean, it is. And I would yiffing just meant sex, right? Y yif, yeah. It's just, it's just sex. It's just very sex. Discord is annoyed or angered when he does not get his way or have a control of a situation that he or if he seems predictable at times. Always think clearly and contemplate the circumstances around you. How many people wrote this? Where do you see how many articles? Uh, uh, 19, 19 people. What the fuck? 47,226 people saw this. Who's looking this up? That's fucking horrifying, dude. Who's looking this up? The future of America. Morvi with nine months. Thank you so much. Edutainment. You know it. Own up to your mistakes. Discord made plenty of mistakes before revealing his true good nature in Keep Calm and Flutter On. Apologize when you are wrong. I, I like how they have to cite the sacred texts to justify it. Learn to be tricky. Discord knew how to get what he wanted by tricking others into it, making it sound beneficial for them when it will really end up to your own benefit. Despite being tricky, learn to genuinely appreciate and care for your friends. I feel like this is just like cinch for pussies. What for pussies? Cinch for C pussies. Cinch? Cinch is the god of chaos and or is the god of schemes and plans in uh, in Warhammer. This rule, the number seven is like, learn how to be a manipulative, narcissistic sociopath, but do it in an ethical way. 
do it in a nice way that takes in, that takes into into consideration you know the well-being of others and genuinely appreciate while doing this <laughs> learn how to genuinely appreciate your friends right don't be racist i am discord <laughs> Be smug and arrogant. Due to his powers and abilities, Discord thinks he is better than others and tends to brag about his talents. However, the reason for his arrogance stems from his troubled childhood. So, ask, ask your parents to abuse you. <laughs> Dad, can you smack me around more so I can be like Discord? I'm trying really hard to be like Discord. Can you, uh... Can you sleep deprive me while you force me to play chess in a hotel room, please? <laughs> could you, dude? Could dude. you give me alcohol to shut me up? Andrew Tate, the ultimate brony. <laughs> <laughs> brony see, supreme. Yeah. I think I brought this up to you. Did you see? No, I, I think you were on stream when we were trying to look up his posts of him, like with photographs of him with anime women photoshopped in. I don't remember that. It's so know. good, dude. Like, he just started posting images of him with anime women. Is that what he... Yeah, it's something he's doing now, right? For, like, clout. I, I think he deleted them. He, he deleted those posts, but for a while in the morning, he'd be like, good morning, and then just, like... I saw one. I saw one, and I scrolled past because I was like, I don't have fucking time for whatever that is. I just... <laughs> right. That's valid. Um, I mean, it's just, it, his whole fucking economy is is just rage bait. That's all he ever was. Like, I don't even think it's just, it's, it's not even genuine. Like, it never was. I, I, he's just, he's, no. he's entirely manufactured. No, he is. I, I, I feel like I don't even want to give him attention anymore. Like, you said that, like, like I, want, I wanted Fred to fucking, re, like, quote, retweet his fucking creative writing pro like, experiment. Yeah. A and Fred was like, I'm not going to do that because I don't even want to give him attention. And I was like, that's fucking beyond fair. I, I, absolutely. I'll read it on stream, and that's the most I'll do. Listen to this, dude. Um, okay, Discord stylish thing. You you can search the... What if I cannot speak in riddles? You can search the internet for riddles that are simple to use. Or you can ask a friend to help assist you in writing riddles. Hey, Fred, can you help me write riddles? I want to be more like Discord for my little pony. Yeah, sure. What did the five fingers say to the face? Shut up. Please don't touch me. I'm very sensitive. Oh, oh I didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I I, pr I played the shut up. Also, slap. slap. Oh, ow. There you go. Ow, that wasn't a Hold riddle on, at gonna, all. That was just violence. Slap. <laughs> ow, that wasn't a riddle. You hurt me. Ow. Well, would Discord cry like a little bitch? Would Discord the pony cry like a little bitch after getting smacked? Would he? No, Ooh, I, I guess not. Know. I guess not, Charlie Murphy. Okay. Uh, should I be acting a little weird? You can if you would like to, but you can add different character traits to your character. Right, because everything they told us to do up here was not considered acting weird. Right, yeah. Yeah, this is going to get you so many friends. I love this. Tips. Speak less contractions in your daily vocal pattern. Oh, yeah, that will go over so well and not get you abused mercilessly. Discord regularly does this, though there have been plenty of times when he does not. Notice it says does not, not doesn't. This How gives dare. him a somewhat sophisticated, charismatic, archaic, archaic tone due to his status as a chaos god and emphasizes his all-knowing nature. If it helps you admire chaos and mischief that way, you can be more similar to Discord. Become a horse. Become... He's, he's like a weird dragon thing. Is he? Yeah, yeah. He's not a horse? No, he, he's he's like a chimera. Oh, fuck. Sort of. Like, he, he's got, like... All of his limbs are different animals. Crack jokes often. You can even add popular culture references. And it's just a bunch of quotes from, like, uh, Mar Marvel movies. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh, my God. Well, I... that just happened. And it's like, like the, the, the person will just, like, sidle up to you when you're in conversation with, with somebody else and just be like, well, that just happened. Like, interrupt your sentence and say that. And, and you just, you're like, wait, what? And well, like, this like, doesn't no, nothing look happened. good. Nothing happened. Well, he, that didn't go to plan. And it's like, what, what are you, what are, what are you referencing? What are you? What didn't go according to plan? 
He's just like, I, I, I thought this would make me cool. Well, it's not. It's not working. Right. It's like, how long can they keep the act up? I, 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 I thought this would make me look cool. We have a Hulk. You do not have a Hulk. Nobody here has a Hulk. Shut up. You are, you are like 105 pounds <laughs> and 5'8". Uh, okay, Fred. Um, you ready yeah. to get down to business here? Yes. You ready to get fucking serious tonight? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm braced. I am clenched so hard. All right, we went over the easy ones. We're about to go into okay. the, 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 the ones coming up are going to get harder. Like the, the ones coming up are going to be. They, we're, we're taking off the kid gloves now. You ready? Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm, I'm bracing. I'm ready. How to prevent camel toe. Shout outs to camel toe Joe. No one wants to get caught with camel toe. This embarrassing problem happens when your clothing creates cleavage in your pubic region. It is common with swimsuits, tight jeans, leggings, and short shorts. There are ways you can prevent this fashion fox pest. You, you know how that's pronounced, I'm, I'm guessing. Yes, it's pronounced fox pest. Yeah, all right, good. Thank you. Okay. I love it. Someone in chat posted our um, Linda Lips emote. <laughs> Linda lips. lips. <laughs> that Wait, is dude, where? That, that is Ro Rosa Linda uh, in Mario Kart. Like she kept slamming into walls. At one point during the tournament, was that that was born during the tournament with Giga, right? Giga's tournament. Right, 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 right. The fucking I, I crashed into a wall and like the fucking Rosa Linda became like suction cups to the wall. Like I could fucking I was stuck to the wall. Like I couldn't fucking back up for some reason. I got I got like fucking merged into this wall. And I was speculating that, like, her fat pussy lips just, like, <laughs> like, suc <laughs> suction cupped to the fucking wall. Just, like, <laughs> right, right, like, like, like she's, <laughs> she's a killer in Dead by Daylight, and that's, like, how she traverses walls. Yo, Wisp, are you, can, right, can you find the art that somebody made of that, please? Oh, can you no. find, <laughs> please find it? Lips that grip. I have, I have to show Fred the art, please. She slugged too close to the sun. Stop. Wisp was already in on it. was already on it. Ah, oh, Wisp, you're fucking amazing. Oh my god. Wisp is so good for shit like this. <laughs> oh god. I, I, I feel like that there are people in my chat too who I just like go to for certain things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. W like my, my chat legend. has made yeah. my chat has made so many of my uh, of my uh BTTV emotes. <laughs> Pussy that grips back. <laughs> Like the, these pussy lips don't just grip, they grapple. Um, <laughs> choose I like how sometimes it takes a second for Mike to like acknowledge the head ass shit that I say. <laughs> I have to fucking like digest it. Like I have to, I have to process. Right. Cause like n none of it makes sense immediately. Oh. It's the type of stuff that you get, you gotta, you gotta let it marinate, you know, a little bit. Right, right. Um, you ever have camel toe? You ever have this problem? What I've got, like, gotten a wedgie. Yeah, well, I mean, we have like obviously ass camel toe. You call it a wedgie? Well, yeah, like it, it just gets stuck. Yeah, it's happened. And like it's a lot been of the time when I'm doing like something physical, uh, not I don't think visible. Like just I have just have my underwear. Right like it's up. uncomfortable. You feel it's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. That's called moose knuckle. They said. Oh, that's what a moose knuckle moose. is. It's 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 like a, it's like an a, an ass uh, camel toe, basically. But that's like yeah, that's not knuckle. gender specific. No, no. I, I mean, none of this is really. I mean, guys get a moose knuckle. Okay, moose knuckle. Oh no, moose knuckle is when the clothes like goes between. You get like ball cleavage. Right. Oh, that's right. Okay. That, that does happen. Moose sometimes. knuckle is for ball cleavage. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um. So for for any for any. Uh, any bits havers in the chat um dudes around you are constantly adjusting their balls yeah you just don't see it balls are because, very like, inconvenient they're very annoying they're very yeah. annoying guys balls yeah balls fucking suck i i, I yeah, have to, I have to say yeah. yeah no and they're expensive do you know how much i have to pay to like cart these things around i need fucking 
like trucks. He's got a special account with uh, with Uber. It's like you, you know the you know those videos of uh, of uh, Keiko being moved like by truck from uh -huh. one place to another, and they're like constantly wetting it down and like tending to it, and it, it it's in a big hammock. That that's what they have to do with mime. Um, he has to get a a, a forklift certified individual. Mm -hmm. To come to place his testicles K on Keiko the orca, like yeah, you the know orca, the, yeah. the whale, the orca, the orca yeah. whale that they yeah. that they moved to buy truck. K e i k o. Yeah. Um. So. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say balls. Uh, I wish. Not that I wish I didn't have them, but I wish they were smaller. I wish I had smaller balls. I wish they were. Yeah. I wish I wish they were um, tiny. I don't know. Maybe you punch yourself in the balls enough. Maybe I can. I can like yeah, like, just damage them so they mm -hmm. shrink. Steroids? I think that actually make them swell. Steroids, estrogen, estrogen. What if I make like like a like a smoothie that has both things in it? Dude, They're like HRT I want... and steroids, like in a smoothie. What would happen it... if? What would happen if I just like made a smoothie of testosterone and estrogen, and just fucking like. I would become at once incredibly masculine but incredibly feminine. You would become Link. Oh fuck, you're right. You would so you, you turn into Link. You just mm -hmm. I'd be I, I I you know what I do? No, I become so much of of both sexes. I'd like walk into a Republican congressional hearing and be like, "What are you going to do about me, fuckers?" <laughs> like they wouldn't know what to do. They'd panic. Uh, it's big. Okay, what what is what's going on? What is this? You become gender itself. Yeah, um, like I I am all like I am not non-binary. I am all genders at once. Yeah, because I have so much both testosterone and estrogen flowing in my veins. You've I have ascended I, to I, a I new am, plane. I'm, I'm I'm like I have I have collected all the chaos genders. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know where I'm going with the bad bit. Next bit. You, you ever, you ever sit? You ever like, bit. you ever like sit on a nut? You ever sit I on a nut? I don't think I actually have avoided. I think I've avoided sitting on my nuts. That's never happened to you ever. I, I've gotten close. Like I've, I've sort of like wedged my nuts, but I don't think I've like. I can't say that I've, you know, sat on them. It's not cool. You know what the worst is? Like if trying mm -hmm. to exercise with balls is is fucking sucks so hard because everything oh God, you do yeah. you have to move them you have to move if you're doing like leg lifts you got to figure out okay what am i going to do with my balls you're gonna do squats okay what am i yep. going to do with my balls you're doing fuck you wear pants oh my god with with pants with pants with pants it doesn't matter yeah i think that i, I do think that's what jock straps are for but like I don't want to go buy. Strap, the, yeah. More, I don't want to go buy and wear a jock strap. Right? I mean, they, okay, there might be a solution for this problem. Yeah. Yeah, there there are solutions, um, but they're mostly associated with wrestling, and wrestling's gay. And yep. I can't do that. Yep. Also, a lot of these things I, I I heard are like bad for your balls. Oh yeah, no, I. I, I will say I tried wearing a cup when I was fencing and I just didn't get hit between the legs enough mm -hmm. to justify how uncomfortable the cup was. Though all of those things, any anything that like encases your balls is is terrible. Like it's just it's it's just going to be uncomfortable. You're going to feel suffocated. It's going to get sweaty and itchy in there. It's going to be it's going to feel it's going to feel, feel fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. There's a saying in Russia Bad dancer blames his balls. No, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> is that real or not? Seriously, is that real? If you don't, in other words, skill issue. That's the Russian version of skill issue, right there. All right, you ready? Okay, I'm. You're, you're I'm ready? looking, Linda. Ready? There's a wall. Linda, there's a wall. It's it's a toad back there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Is come on the here. Clap, good. clap, 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 clap. Yeah, or cuck, excuse me. Yeah. Chew. Just. <laughs> I love the. I love. I love the goomba. The the para goomba. <laughs> 
Bro, Camel Toe Joe is it is it is it the art too? <laughs> you know about Camel Toe Joe? No. What is that? Oh, hold on. Look, look, look. I'm getting double spaghetti look, bob. There's look. a spaghetti bob in the spaghetti look, look bob. At the, look at the chat sickos. Look. Yeah, they're all sickos. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The chat sickos. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yes. So, so, basic, uh. so basically, um, Camel Toe Joe... There is a a a um, enemy in Kirby games, and he just looks. I don't know. He just looks like a walking camel toe. Like he just looks like a little camel toe walking around. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just it's just what he looks like to me. He's supposed to be just. He's called Star Man, and he's supposed to be a star. Uh huh. Like a, a star walking around, but he just does not look like one. Show the plush. I don't know where it is right now. And I can't. I, I mean, there's, like, I don't I have a camera. Like I know set up what you're talking everything. about. Yeah, he's like a little yellow star with a cape. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I've seen this. And the pl the plushie is like behind. It's behind. I actually I see it. It's behind me, but I'm not. I'm not, I, I would have to plug in my camera and shit. No, and no, I'm not, don't, I'm not, don't, don't, don't worry about it. But yeah, Bun Time made a a, a a plushie of the of the character. You sent me a picture. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, because just like I don't know, I I was I just started like fanboying for Campbell Toe Joe. It's an enemy. It, okay. it's, it's just one okay. of the enemies that like Kirby sucks up to get the, to get a power right yeah but it's just to me it looks like a, it looks like a camel toe walking around here okay I, I I will judge this for myself thank you uh here here it is can you see it uh no I cannot you can you can put it in the browser if you do a new tab real quick oh I can see it on stream I can see it yeah. on stream yeah oh yeah that's a walking camel toe you like it it's like, beautiful. Like it's, it. it's, a, it's immaculate. Uh, yeah, Bun Holy Time, good shit. job. It's like, oh. it, it, it looks like it won an award for being the best camel toe. <laughs> well, that's his, that's the clasp for his cape. Right, 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 right. Right. Pizza Tower spoilers on the bottom. Yeah, I know, I noticed. I noticed it. Pizza Tower spoilers. Well, we're making, we're making a, we're making a, a, a mod stage for the game. Have, Oh, that's yeah, awesome! Yeah, we're we're, ma we're making a oh, me and, and a bunch of community members. I'm I'm not really actually doing shit. I'm just like kind of right. You're I mean, you're I mean, providing. I'm the ideas you, guy, if anything. You, which, which 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 I know is cringe, but we're yeah. You know it would be cool. Yeah, we're making a, like a, like going full Chris Roberts on this mod. Well, we're making a stage because there's mods that allow you to. It's like stage builders in the style of like Mario Maker, but for Pizza mm -hmm. Tower. Right. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a stage. I'm asking chat to like make a bunch of assets and stuff. Okay, gotcha. And guys, it looks like it looks like I am not I don't like to count my chickens before they hatched, but it looks like we are gonna get one of the one of the OST composers to make to make music for us for this mod. What? Yeah. 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 Are you fucking kidding? Yeah. Cl uh, Klasky Jitto is isn't is is is, is has expressed an interest. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, it's um it's coming along. Yeah, lives uh, from based. Yeah. Holy shit. It's coming yeah. along. He's 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 interested, so um we'll see. We have Hopefully, yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. But we fuck, have yeah. that would be so cool. Um yeah, he 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 worked on I say he composed like about half the OST. Mm -hmm. Um fucking uh what else? Um, the assets are coming along really well. I'm, I'm I'm amazed every time I look in that channel. I like the progress we're making on this thing, and like some of the assets that you guys have made is just it's incredible. Um, we just kind of gotta. Um, I, I I think we gotta try to just uh galvanize a little bit more. And, and kind of just move move closer towards like making it you know making it real. Um, but we, there's there's a lot right. there's a lot of progress has has been made. But I think I think we need to we need to kind of yeah organize a little bit better. I'm, I and I, I wish I could be in there more, but I am you know, don't forget I'm still streaming full time, so it's it's hard for me to like pop in there and stuff. Are there rats? I think there are going to be rats. Yeah, 
Yeah, speaking of, thanks for streaming a little earlier so I could raid you. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, well I, yeah, I mean, that's, that was cool for me, too. So, yeah, thanks for, um... Yeah. Uh, well, we wanted, we wanted, um... For it to be, like, a, a time that was charitable for both of us. So we tried to, like, meet in the middle, right. pretty much, you know? Right, yeah. Um... But I'm 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 probably still gonna go to my normal time. If anybody's wondering about that, I'm probably gonna stream like into the into the wee hours just because I would feel wrong not to, would feel weird not to. But <laughs> um, I don't I don't expect Fred's gonna be reading WikiHow articles with me till two a.m. So maybe not just yeah, just because like I already was streaming for yeah two and a half hours or something before the probably, stream even started. Probably not. Right. Maybe. Well, we'll see. I mean, we'll uh, see. We'll see how I'm feeling. But well, let's see how um, the there is a possibility. Let's see how the camel toe stuff goes. Yeah, right. sure. Great. Um, Ish, let's see how it did you need to put it that way? Yes, I did. Okay. Choosing okay. the right clothing. You want to take this one? Wear the proper size clothing, you skank. <laughs> you might think that tight pants or shorts look attractive, but if you take that thought too far, they won't. No dark thoughts chat. What? C camel toe is co what the fuck? That's just the way she toes. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Fucking way Stop. she toes. <laughs> no. Camel toe is caused by clothing that doesn't fit properly. When your <laughs> pants or shorts are too tight in the crotch area, you might end up with camel toe. Mm. I can tell you right now, even fine-fitting clothing will ride up. Yeah. It, can, it just, yeah, sometimes that just happens, yeah. The, the material, the fabric matters, right? It makes a difference. Right. Pants or shorts that are too thin in the crotch area can also cause the same problem. Two small swimming suit bottoms are especially prone to camel toe. Choose the right fit. <laughs> Again, it's, it's just so many of these don't need to exist. Can you use your fucking brain, please? Okay, yeah, okay. Why do I have camel toe? All right. My, maybe my clothes are too tight. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should just go not. to WikiHow and, and fucking search up camel toe articles. Cam, Mike, I don't think that the target audience for the this WikiHow is actually people struggling with camel toe. It's thirty-seven-year-old Twitch streamers. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's, it's 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 fucking it's it's Twitch streamers like trying to make fucking like meme content. Is that what was he saying? No, I was saying I think this is for perverts. Oh. Well, how how so? Like how to induce well, like, camel toe in another person? No, not no. Just like thinking about camel toe. Uh huh. Right? Like oh well oh look at this problem that this person could be having. Mm. I think. There's, you need to understand that there is an entire category of content that is porn for people who think porn is a sin. You think this is like quasi porn or like low key this porn? Is, this right. is like riding that line. But it's not, you know, I mean, like, look at these images. These images aren't really uh, sexually provocative, right? Is not it, necessarily. Is it, is it the reading well, about? We'll is it going? Is it the reading about the camel toe that's gonna that's gonna get you it's, off? It's the reading about it. Yeah. Um. Okay. All yeah, right. It's Christian porn. It's it's kind of like well, how to how to like get off on something without you know, without feeling guilty. Without yeah. feeling guilty. There it is. Uh oh. Wear the right fabrics. I did say fabrics are are gonna play a part. Did you see it? Did you, did you see the it? The red circle. Does he we know? We just see an arrow. Did you see it? Did you see the camel toe? Camel toe can be a problem with stretchier fabrics, such as yoga pants that some people wear to work out. Buy clothing, especially when choosing workout clothing, that has built-in lining at the crotch. The extra layer is designed to reduce embarrassing problems like camel toe. Stay away from 100% spandex clothing. Gosh. Um, avoid linen and polyester fabrics, especially if it's warm out. These types of fabrics are more likely to cause camel toe. I love how you can use this article as how to make sure you have camel toe. Right. Like, here are all the ways that you could. Yeah. I think some people want to have camel toe. I think that's a desirable thing for some people. 
for some people. Do you think so? I, I, I do think that like, I do. I do think some women are like, yeah, I want to have camel toe. I do. <laughs> I, for some reason, this sounds like a doctor weird bit. Gentlemen, behold my <laughs> slit. That's awesome. Yeah, if we would. <laughs> um, and I think that camel toe. You know, right, I think that's pretty. That's pretty cool, doctor. <laughs> that voice. <laughs> Behold. Yes, I'm about to draw every eye at the party. Right, right. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> My mom's embarrassed of me. <laughs> it's dude, it's it's like doc. What's his name? Doctor Strange. What is it? What is it? Fucking Doctor Weird. Doctor Weird. Doctor Weird. It's your it's 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 your niece's christening party. Are you sure you need <laughs> to have the, this intense camel toe? At you're a doctor weird, aren't, aren't you going out to your niece's christening? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you sure you need to have camel toe at this party? Gentlemen! Uh, corn! Yeah, I remember corn. Yeah, corn. I got that the aunt is never going to invite me to anything! Again! <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I, okay, ba maybe best then. Maybe, maybe best. When I just tried to do that voice, I could feel my vocal cord shredding as I tried to do it. I like, don't I could blame you. Fuck. Um, I, I don't blame you. It is a little bit rough. I think some people want to have camel toe, and I think a lot of people tend to like camel toe. Like, I think, yeah, yeah I, I think camel toe is considered to be, um, uh, uh, desire. I think it's desirable. Yeah, people tend to like it. Yeah. I'm sure somebody thinks that's pretty neat. Is that is that the assistant? Is that like Doctor Reed's yeah, yeah. assistant, that, or or, yeah, is, yeah. or is that Jordan Peterson? No, no, no. That, that's his assistant. They have they have a they both have a Kermit voice. It's the same. It's the same guy. Yeah, yeah. It's the same voice. It, yeah, it, it's the same. Yeah. All right. It's the same guy. It's the same. Well, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Little known fact: Jordan Peterson actually did the voice acting for Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Right. Oh wow, that's out of character. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey. What? No. Hey, hey Kyle, how's it going? Hey, what? Well, I'm just power walking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you do? What are you doing that for? You're just gonna die. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna die. <laughs> just so good. Why is it so good? Why? I guess we don't live in America. I guess I can't pay for sex. With two hundred dollars of pennies, you know, that's that show is the only, the, really the only inspiration for fucking the prostitutes. Also, I Ed, believe you. Al also, I I think Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Those, those, oh, that's the, but yeah, but yeah. but that's it. Like literally nothing else inspires. Like that's what I would. That is what I would want. May, to a let to a, le a much lesser extent. That it, that right. is what I would want. A, a prostitutes cartoon to be like right, right. Yeah. it's yeah. it's an adult swim special yeah 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 although like adult swim did put out a short like a, a surprisingly heartwarming 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 yeah oh heartwarming God. short yeah. about um like just someone working at a gas station that was very cute um when like recently what two weeks ago not so, even uh, oh somebody working at a at a gas station yeah, it's actually like surprisingly heartwarming. It's just cute. It's just like kind of. Hold on a second. I just want to yeah, make sure. sure I. I uh... All right. <clears throat> um, yeah, Gassy's Gas and Stuff. That's what it was called. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anyways, sorry. Sorry. If sorry. I'm, sorry if I'm blowing out my mic. I got a little bit loud there. Someone in chat was like, "Fred, louder, please." Oh, really? Oh, they were being sarcastic. Oh, they were being sarcastic. Um, oh, yeah, okay. some sarcasm. Sorry. Um, you didn't turn me down, right? I, I, no, I'm sorry no, 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 I'll, no, I'll no, no. You've, you've been you've been fine since we have okay. uh, fucking you know um, set everything up. I'm so glad that we fixed the crust. What the fuck is this? Mike is a VTuber now. It's part time. Also, yeah, I was I was I started VTubing. I started yeah. VTubing. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's the first VTuber. Mike has had a VTuber rig for over a year. Matt, you are so wrong. I fucking had... I was sitting here using fucking... Uh, uh, what do you call it? What was, what was it? Oh, god damn it. 
the default fucking uh, avatars in that face rig in face rig. Christ! Oh my God! Right. In like 2016. The fucking, the fucking burger. I was face rigging in 2016 before it was cool. Before anybody even knew what it was. He was. It's true. It's true. Right? I was doing that before fucking there were any of these Iron Mouse, whatever. What's what, what's her fucking name? The other guy? What's the other one? I don't know. True Blue, thanks for 75 months. Giga, definitely Ger way before Giga. Germa. <laughs> way before Germa. Way before all of them. Code Mika. Okay, not before Code Mika, though. No, Code Mika, Code Mika is like the the O O O G G G, right? Pre Bef I was pre all the all those those V two all those pretenders and copiers. They were copying and pretending. Mm -hmm. They were copying and pretending. All right, I'm gonna go down here. Um, hey, we we are in the the we are in the year of our Lord 2023 AJ Anno Germany, like Germany, Germa. I, I didn't mean to say Germany, like G Germa. Fuck me. Me. Whatever. Choose darker colored fabrics. Black or darker fabrics are more likely Mike. to hide. I I want I just want you to know that more than one Mormon has fapped to this image. Like almost certainly. But they have a they have like an underwear kink, right? I almost certainly, right? Yeah, they do. They have an underwear um fetish. Many loads have been spilled over this picture. Um The fabric blacker or, or darker fabrics are more likely to hide what some people call crotch cleavage. Crotch cleavage. The worst possible fabric for camel toe would be a thinner, unsupported polyester or yoga pant in a light color. Oh no, you wouldn't want to do that. The problem with white or light beige fabrics, especially if they are non-tailored yoga or otherwise stretchy pants, is that they leave almost nothing to the imagination. Guys, oh is it, no, you okay, wouldn't want that. Va vagina havers, is this... Is is any is this accurate so far? Is it does this like check out? Like is this? I mean, I feel like it's all common sense shit. Like I don't need to really have a vagina to fucking figure this out. Yep. No. no. We have yep. Nope. Sorta. Kinda. Uh, I guess. Yep. No. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Uh, one time I said I've never had this problem. Uh, too fat to suffer from camel toe. Is it really a thing where it's like you... you how, how? What? Uh, pineapple, pineapple, vagina, pineapple. What is that? Uh, what, vagina, pineapple? Vagina, pi I feel like I've heard this before. You never played The Sims? Oh, right. It's one of the songs on the radio, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's if you, I think it's if you go on vacation, if you take The Sims on vacation... Okay, gotcha. Um, just, just like men have to constantly adjust their balls, vagina havers are constantly pulling fabric out from their lips in subtle and polite ways. Yeah, fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, it, it, okay. No way it's more annoying than ball adjusting, though. Mm, I don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like that would stick more. That would be uncomfy. Look at this. Look, 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 look at this. This fucking like, I don't know how to explain this. Like on, like on a bashed, just, just fucking like brutally honest, brutally fucking honest sentence in chat. I have to spread my lips apart to scratch my pussy. <laughs> giving me talking about truth so unspeakable yeah. that they're about to get a netflix <laughs> special so fucking real for that they're so real for that they're so real for that that's awesome oh my god that's so good uh you want to take number four 
Yeah, sure. Pick the right leggings. Choose thicker leggings that are matte enough so that you can't see your underwear through them. Whatever you do, don't wear tight tights as leggings. They will be so see-through that you will have more problems than camel toe. <laughs> You're going to have the whole damn camel at that point. <laughs> Bring in the whole desert. Wear a long shirt or sweater over the leggings. No one really wants to look at your crotch area in leggings anyway. Try a tunic. That's not true. Wait, wait a minute. They want you to dress like Link? I guess. Dude, a tunic? Or like the character in Tunic. They want you to wear a tunic like you're in fucking medieval times? Like a... Right, yeah, what? Hoop! They want you to hoop! They want to hoop and hut. They want you, they want you to hoop and heap and hop. They want you to say ya. Hut. Say ya! Sa. They want you to... And then I gave her the old sa, say ya, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's a new Grounds era joke. Uppy. That's uppy. He yoop. He yoop. He yoop. Does anyone remember that Link was in the the GameCube version of Soul, Soul Calibur 2? Yeah, everybody remembers that, yeah. Yeah, fuck. And he, and he hooped. He was hooping. He oh, was yeah. Hooping he, it he, up. Was, he, he was vocal as hell. Um, yeah, no, nobody wants to look at your crotch area in leggings. Definitely not. No way. Nuh -uh, oh, no, -uh, no. Defi oh, de no. Definitely not us. No you way. You see what I yeah. mean? You see what I mean when I'm saying this is like soft, soft core porn? Yeah. 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 It is. You're, 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 you were fucking right on. You hit the nail on the goddamn clitoris here, dude. Oh, and on top of that, you got feet. There's a little bit of feet. A little bit of feet. And, you know, if you got a, if, if you're a foot freak, we got we got you covered. Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Method number two. Preventing camel toe. How is this method? It's another two? method. Whatever. Bro, Whatever. Bro, her, her fucking panties look like a Pop-Tart. They look... They look like the cover to a Vaporwave album. Well, there's Vaporwave Pop Tarts. You didn't see? You ain't seen those? Wild Berry, same colors. They oh. look. They look oh. just like that. Huh. I, um, you, you fucking, you, you, you. Oh um, no, never mind. I'm not making that joke. Never mind. You sure? Am I? Okay, fine. She. She opens up her pussy, and Lisa Frank 420 starts blaring. Lisa Frank 420? Yeah. Like, the Vaporwave song that everyone knows. Yeah, I did ask. Yeah. Or C bet, not C bet, please. Yeah. No, that's that. That's if she's wearing uh, uh, um, 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 underwear with the Reddit logo on it. <laughs> if you want to avoid camel toe, don't go commando. Going f without underwear will increase the chances you'll have this problem. This is especially it's true with fabric. It's fetish shit. That is especially thin or made out of material that stretches or is lighter in color. If you don't wear underwear with such already unsupported fabric, you've got a double problem. Your camel Wait. is a bromedary, not a dromedary. Right? I... Bromedary? Is it called bromedary? Bro, what is it? B I what? don't know. Bromedary. Is that like where you keep camels? The camel... Okay. There's two kinds of camels. Okay. There's camels with one hump, and there's okay. camels with two humps. Okay. You've seen that, right? Yes. Dr you know how you tell them apart? Oh. You fucking turn them sideways. You turn them sideways. You turn them sideways because the one hump will form a D, which lets you know it's a dromedary. If you turn the double hump camel sideways, you get a B, which stands for Bactrian. and thank you, Static. Oh, did you know, I, you never did, I did not know that. Never knew, never knew that little fun tip? No, I That's I how did you tell know. the two, the two kinds of camels Dromedary apart. Dromedary and Bactrian. Okay. Yeah, that's how you tell them apart. You got a D and a huh. B. Turn them sideways. 
wow, that actually is like I thought that you were just fucking with no! me for a second. It's no, like you take that... a camel, you turn it sideways, you slather it in cream, you got yourself <laughs> yeah. dinner. No, right? I like, learned I learned that in like second grade. That's, that's a good trick. I never nice learned that. Nice little trick. Uh, I don't know what like mnemonic device or something like that. No, that's something else. It's just like oh, here's another good one. Are you do you do you uh, do you know the difference between stalactites and stalagmites? Yeah, so like tights hang from the ceiling because they're holding on tight. That's how you do it? Yeah, that's how I do it. I, I just imagine like tight, like tit, like saggy tits. They're sagging from, from they're saggy. That, they're tits. That certainly is a method. They're dangly tits. Yeah. They're dangling. They're, they're, they're droopy tits. I, yeah. Cool. Cool. <laughs> he says cool. Cool. Okay, stalactite has a C in it for ceiling. Stalagmite has a G in it for ground. Okay, okay. So, uh oh, stalagmites. Uh, uh, do you have stalag shit mites? Get that checked out, ma'am. Wear thicker panties. The panties are less likely to cause camel toe because they won't get pulled into your private parts as easily. Thicker panties will also provide some support. Smoothing out lines. Very cool. See, there's no camel toe in this bag. No, sir. Oh, thank goodness. Buy clothing or panties with multiple seams. Try to buy jeans, slacks, or workout gear that contains multiple seams. For example, you could look for clothing with seams that have a V formation in the crotch area. Clothing that has a single seam running through the crotch area is more prone to camel toe. That makes a lot of sense. That, that actually, actually makes a lot of sense. I don't like that. Th this is actually like proper good, probably yeah. good advice. Yeah, I think so. That's because the looser fabric will more easily creep into your private area. Damn, look at that. This okay. This person yeah. is this per this person is running out of euphemisms for coochie. Yeah. Just start saying coochie at this point. Um, number three, choose pants with a lower waist. This holds true for workout plants. P p plants. Pants. As well as for blue jeans, the higher the waist, the more likely you are to get camel toe. God, that that's porn. You could see her vagina I, bone. Dude, that's porn. I told you. I told you. That's porn. This is this one of the use cases of this WikiHow article is softcore porn. I think one of the use cases of this entire website is softcore porn. That is right. Like, probably like, accurate. Suspicion actually, suspicion-free yeah. eroticism. Mm -hmm. try on clothing squat and sit in it inside the fitting room before you purchase it to test it out for camel toe avoid the mom jeans look jeans that ride up the hips could cause you a camel toe problem not to mention being uncomfortable and unflattering mom jeans choose pants yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they come like over your over your hips okay that, that ride high, like right uh, up about yeah, to your belly button. Right, because because the inseam is higher up, so it's going to get up in your in your vagina. Yeah. Mm, right, right. Choose right. pants and workout clothes that fit comfortably on your hips. You want to avoid clothing that will ride up and bunch in your privates area. Okay, very New cool. euphemism every time. Very cool. So let's talk about squatting and 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 in in fitting rooms, man. Like, presumably, someone else is going to wear that before it gets washed, right? Yeah. Like, people... Well, I don't know, do you buy and clothes you... and wash them, or do you assume you're buying them clean? I mean, I, I always wash them. Really? After I get them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, I always, like, I, I get clothes, and I, I run them through the wash. It's like washing fruit. Like, do, you, think, you think I trust any of the, like, any part of the supply chain Good to call. not, like, fuck with this, or, like, put something on it, or, like, maybe even, like, maybe even just a a person who's going to buy them going into, into the fitting room and like shoving it into their crotch very good like call. this yeah right like happening. this is like we were talking about this during the standing and shitting yeah yeah you know it'd be a cool prank i was just this this i this is like a, this is totally fucking off topic i'm sorry i'm okay, sorry I'm this is such a fucking like tangent this is a cool prank idea i just had you go into like you know, a Sears, whatever, like, like a fucking, sure. yeah, like store, going to a department store. And you go into the fitting room mm. and you just take a fat shit in there and, you, and then you leave. 
That's... That's not a prank. That's just public indecency. What do you mean? It's funny. How... Who's laughing? Me. <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently, that happens all the time, Chad is saying. Chad is saying, people have done that. It happened twice when I worked at Macy's. What? What the fuck? You all got fucking unlucky. <laughs> like, I, I worked... I worked as a receptionist for a little while, and, like, one of my jobs was cleaning the toilet. Oh, it was always fine. What? What? Where the fuck are you people? Yeah, seriously, uh, where do you people work? Right? Like, what? Like, what? What the fuck is happening? What, what is going on out there? Like, just in the world. This what never is... happened anywhere I worked. I worked at so many places, I never saw shit on the floor. I never, I never, at one of my I jobs. Never yeah. someone shit on the fucking floor. You know why people do that, though? <laughs> they, they do that in there because the stall resembles a bathroom stall. It's like, <laughs> oh, this, this sure this, gets my this... large intestine yeah. moving. <laughs> It gets my bowels churning because it feels like I'm in a bathroom stall. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what's especially obnoxious about this is there is no place that has a fitting room Pavlov. that doesn't also have a, a bathroom. Yeah, Pavlov'd. Right, there's exactly. a bathroom, so you're like, okay, I'll go shit. It's like, nah, I'm not going to take the fucking two minutes to walk to the bathroom. I'm just going to shit right here. <laughs> right. Right, and like... And like you open the door, it's it's gonna smell. I hate how funny this is to me. I wish I wasn't this easily amused. I wish my sense of humor wasn't like this. I really do. I hate it. Mike, the kind of person to go into a, a fitting room and like put his hands on one wall and his feet up on the other and like sort of uh, Emperor's New Groove himself up <laughs> higher. Like, you know, you know that scene yeah. where where they're climbing up up the the, yes. the little valley. Yes, yes. It's like that. Do that, and then just take a huge fucking dump, just so he can <laughs> hear the sound of it splatting louder. Guys, I would never do this to somebody. I would. <laughs> I want you to. I want to make it clear that I would never do something like that. I'm not like that. I know somebody has to clean that up. I'm not a fucking. I'm not like that. Okay, but it but it's Kappa. fucking, but it Kappa. is capper. Oh yeah, they're capping. Okay. <laughs> I would turn the lights off on a pissing janitor, but I wouldn't make him clean shit off the floor. All right. I have standards. Listen, if that guy accidentally pissed on a wall as as a result of me turning the lights off, he's got he's got everything he needs to clean it. Okay. Mike will only take photonic vengeance, not fecal vengeance. That's true. Mike, how would you wipe? Well, the clothes that I brought in there with me, which is why yeah, Fred obviously. has to wash them right after he buys them. Yeah, exactly. Right? Um, method three. You want to take method three? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, want is a strong word, yeah, but know. I'll do it. We're almost done with this one. I told you they were going to get rougher from here on out. It's just more images of people's crotches. Yeah. Although the, the belly buttons great? have been a little different every time. Yeah, the belly buttons help give it a little variety. Mm. Uh, wear a panty liner if you're already out on the town and you realize you have camel toe. A quick fix is to wear a panty liner. Many beauty pageant contestants use this trick. Instead of wearing the panty liner vertically like you normally would, fasten hmm. it to your underwear horizontally and place it around the seat of your underwear. You can think of this maneuver as applying the panty liner as if it is a band-aid. And what's the wound? I don't understand. I mean, I guess... The vagina? Okay, literally, the worst euphemism for for labia I have ever heard is axe wound. I've heard that too. That's deeply fucking upsetting. A, it, it, it is an upsetting euphemism. That's I actually... That that's worse than saying vagina. That's that's leagues worse than saying vagina. Gash? Gash is another terrible one. Yeah, same. Horrible. I hate the... Horrible. Axe wound. I, gesh. Like, why I, does it I have learned... to be? Why does it have to be gore? Right. Yeah. It's not gore. Stop. It's not a gory thing. Yeah. No. It's like that's supposed to be there. I think that you know what? I, I think the same kind of person who uses that ter that kind of term unironically is the same kind of person who gets who like thinks that the more sex. 
a person has, the the larger the labia become. Like, yeah. th this is where the this is where like the pejorative term roasty came from. Yeah, because yeah. Because yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. incels thought that people who had more sex, like their labia would resemble roast beef more and more. I, I do have to admit though, the, the the term roasty I find very funny. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it, I, it I find it funny. funny. I again at the risk of being called an incel for the fucking thirteenth time this week. <laughs> okay, I really do think I I do. It, 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 come on, it's fucking. Fun. I, honestly, I laugh at anything meat related. Like mm -hmm. meat, like you you know how I am with meat. Like meat curtains is funny. Like meat this, meat that. Yeah, roast beef is yeah, funny yeah. to me. I don't know. It's meat. Yeah, meat's funny. I, like, I don't know. It's, I, I I really want to say I, I saw a, a a shit take with that where someone made a male version or like like a um like a, a penis version where they showed a like a full banana right like a a ripe banana and then like an old banana that's more yeah, shriveled yeah, like yeah, this yeah, is what yeah. happens when a man when when a person is too much sex the more sex you have shrivels the more your dick shrinks i love that yeah. meme that, that went viral on twitter that was great <laughs> it's so good. I, it wasn't a banana it was a sausage it was a sausage yeah it was that's a sausage was. yeah that was awesome yeah i read that was a lot of fun vaginal pressure it's the kind of person who... Okay, I'm going to tell you my other theory for calling it an axe wound, right? Okay, okay. They are... Like... Misogynistic. But in a way where, like... They're gay, but they don't know they're gay. Right. Like that kind of like that kind of a, of, of a gay guy where like they just yeah, fucking yeah, hate... Yeah. Like they fucking hate the female anatomy and they talk about how gross it is, but like they don't realize they're gay. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, that's yeah. a thing. Right? Like, oh, vaginas yeah, are fucking gross. Women are gross. It's like, yeah, that's because you like cock. <laughs> I like it, cock. It's nice and, and yeah, clean. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, 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 just, you just love cock. You just don't, you just don't, like, somehow know that. You'll learn, like, I, I love the Pink Guy song. Please stop calling me gay. <laughs> I touched a willy in high school once, and it was just a little mistake. I heard. I, so I did hear that. please stop calling yeah. me gay. What? I swear I love vagina, and I love <laughs> to touch that pussy. <laughs> very convincing. Yes, very convincing. Cocks are unironically way more appealing than vaginas. I think there's a fallacy that people get into. Where fallacy. I knew you were going to fucking say that. You know, I would have been disappointed if you didn't. You're but welcome. I, I think there's a fallacy people get into where, you know, because their orientation, because because they like because they like one or the other, like genitals, mm, mm. they, you know, they think that like, you know, like, oh, well, I find the other I part of this is I find the other one unattractive, right? Mm. But I think it's e what's e so easy to forget when you get caught up in all that is that it's all fucking gross. It's I, I think that any attraction to genitals has more to do with prior experience with them than anything else. Yeah, you think? I, I get the feeling because like the body is just weird, man. Like the whole the whole fucking thing. The whole fucking yeah. thing is just weird. Yeah, I mean, like it's rancid. Like, the best body horror doesn't even really, like, fuck with the human body too much. It just fucking shows you how gross it is. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know? Um, like, yeah. It's it's just accentuating the body. Like, here here's a part of it that's... Um, and, and I think that's actually funny enough what makes Scorn bearable is uh -huh. it, they purposefully went out of their way to... Um, to make it not look like any recognizable anatomy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I got, I got to play that. All yeah, I'm trying you, to say I, is... I would, I would love... Okay, so the, you guys, the, we've been talking about this on my stream, but mm. I, I mentioned it to... So our, our plan right now is we'll, like, I will be there as Mike is playing, and if he gets, like, stuck on a puzzle or something, I'll help him out, because, like, it's not, it's not super bad, but I don't want him to get stuck, right? You keep it moving. What if I fucking play Scorn tonight after we look at these? I'm down. What do you think of that? I'm I'm here for it. Scorn point. I'd stick around for that. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. No elp, and then maybe he gives me some elp. 
No elp. I'll be here. We can chat about the game, right? Like, I'll be here to chat, but I won't give elp. No elp. I'll be, I'll be here. No, I'll be here. Yeah, I'll just guys. have to, like, I'll, I'll just move, like, my tea stuff over or something so I can keep sippying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Point I'm trying to make is, yeah, no, dicks are disgusting. And, yeah, vi v vaginas are pretty. They're not, they're not, like, they're not really, uh, you know, they're not much better. It's just that Base, it's, like, private baseline, the yeah. human, baseline, the human body is weird. Yeah, it's it's right? disgusting. It's all disgusting. Yeah, yeah it's all it's, disgusting. It's the like the human body. How I, I think me personally, at least, how I react to it is yeah. entirely based on context. Mm -hmm. It's entirely based on context. And and like lived experience. Yeah. Um, yep. Th they're not meant to be looked at. It's like, it's like some, like, yeah, like gnarly foods. You know what I mean? Well, I don't want to eat that, like, octopus. Well, don't look at it. <laughs> you know? Just eat the it. The throat tickler. Just eat it. <laughs> All right, fucking uh, pull the fabric out of your privates. It seems like the simplest solution, but it's only a quick fix because the camel toe could come back. Camel toe, camel toe too. Toe harder. Toe. toe with a vengeance in the restroom or a private area tug at the material so it loosens around your private area you could also pull your pants down a notch at the waist to reduce the tightness around your crotch area if all else fails tie a sweater around your waist just 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 sweep the problem under a rug the camel toe will return in camel toe too toe electric, toe vengeance electric pungaloo <laughs> This camel is pissed. And he's all out of toes. Uh, buy special camel toe inserts or panties. These exist, huh? Do they? Apparently. Whenever People... a problem arises in... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whenever a problem arises in society... People invent a solution to it. Camel that toe... Is objectively untrue. ...is no different... What a fucking sentence, dude. World hunger is sitting there like, um, hello? What about me? They're hungry. Why don't they just eat? We got, dude, Idiots. dude, we got poverty, homelessness, deadly pandemics, but the, no yeah, solutions, but camel toe? We got you covered. Yeah, I, I like, I, I like the, the, the logic doesn't quite hold up. Like, oh, there are people who are homeless. Oh, they need homes? Well, let, let's invent some homes. <laughs> mm. right. Fucking, I'm going to say the keyword. I'm going to say the keyword. Capital, the keyword. The keyword, the, the C the word. Keyword. I'm having the a fucking stroke right now. I'm having a fucking stroke. The C word. I have no, an idea. not capitalism. Camel toeism. Camel toe, oh my God. Camel toeism, dude. The rich get richer. I the poor get poorer. I have an idea. How about you invent yourself a dildo and ride it? <laughs> what? I'm telling fuck them yeah. to go fuck themselves. New from Bad Dragon. The camel XL, the camel double XL. He's come through the desert and he's thirsty for bussy. Holy fuck. Yeah, that was very, uh, very cool. Very <laughs> savage, Fred. Very savage. I didn't think it was that savage. <laughs> you can buy commercial inserts that resemble panty liners, but are specifically designed to prevent camel toe. Camel ammo and camouflage? Camouflage! Camouflage. Camouflage are two such brands. You can purchase special panties designed to prevent camel toe, especially online. Oh, yeah. Camel toe online is a huge problem, right? So much... Uh, he's Fred Savage. Some of the panties are designed out of special <laughs> materials that won't bunch. Some of them have a triangular patch sewn into the area of your privates. You can also find commercial camel toe guards that resemble men's athletic cups. Some of these products are flesh-colored. Look for them online. At the risk of invoking derf... Uh-oh. Hey guys, we heard you had a problem. So we shaped some plastic for you. <laughs> yep. Put it near your vagina. Right. Just here. 
like you have a problem that's caused by our plastic clothing like polyester is just plastic you guys uh you have a problem caused by our plastic clothing here have some extra plastic to put between the plastic and your bits you well, your bits which are also plastic yum my vagina is so full of microplastics yum there's plastic ba, ba, in my ba, 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 yeah <laughs> ba, 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 plastic in my vag boop ba, 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 ba. ow oh uh, yes <laughs> oh my god you don't think you're getting microplastics in your vagina from like dildos too of course oh yeah no I no like derf too much derf i'm sorry too much derf all too right all derf. right we're, we're going we're going to retreat the derf is retreating back into my larynx but Whenever I, this this sentence is fucking amazing. Whenever a problem arises in society, people invent a solution to it, and camel toe is no different. There is a particular Weird. brand of yeah, writing like... that is like <laughs> amazing. WikiHow writers pontificating about existence. They just try and to I... make it. Like, they, they try to make it seem smarter than it is for no reason. Like this doesn't. We don't. We don't right. need that here. We don't need that shit here. It, it, it's the it's the WikiHow equivalent of a high schooler opening their essay with since the beginning of time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it is. It is flapitalism. Damn, girl, are you the ocean? Because that pussy be full of microplastics. <laughs> Fuck. You're right, though. Hey. You got a problem caused by our plastic? Here's some more plastic to solve the problem. Plastic, yeah. Here's plastic. Fuck, oh, dude. is that plastic falling apart? Here, like you either can have another, or here's a repair kit to add plastic to the plastic to protect you from the plastic we sold you. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, but you gotta pay. You gotta pay for it. Like, just think again, think about mm. all the unsolved problems. You know? Like all the I unsolved think, like, problems that are not solved, that are not solved with plastic. Maybe if homelessness could be solved with plastic, Fred, plastic houses? Plastic. Pods. The pods, Fred. Right, the, you, you mean like the ocean pods? No, the pod, the live in the pods. Oh, you, you mean like the Elon Musk's little $10,000 house? He lives in a mic like like a little fucking like uh uh like pop up home, right? Like he lives in a little uh like prefabricated like trailer type thing or something. What? Who? Elon Musk. What? That's something he invented. No. Something he invented? No, there's no way he no, he lives probably in a fucking villa. No, he like, no, he brags about okay, okay. Ostensibly. He lives in a fucking little a little pod near near fucking you know like SpaceX no, or something. He talks about no, this. No, Mike, th there's no fucking way. Like maybe maybe he has it there for tax purposes or something. But like, there's no way he actually lives in it. I, mean, Whenever... I don't believe it either. But he taught he, he's he's claimed this. He's claimed this. No, no. I... When have you? When has there ever been a time when it's a good idea to trust like take Elon Musk at his word? Oh no, I'm not. I don't believe him. I'm just referencing this silly thing that he fucking said. I get <laughs> that he was a myth so made up by a things. YouTuber. No, dude. Oh, there really? was no dude. There was a fucking interview where he was talking yeah. about living in this fucking thing. I saw it. It, it, it was. He fucking said it. Said it. It was from his mouth. No, in any time the rich propose and offer a lifestyle change, it's for the poor, not for themselves, dude. Yeah, he no, he was saying he lived in one because it was near like the SpaceX launch pad and he worked so much that like he didn't have time to like go home. He had to be near the SpaceX fucking like like launch site because he works so he, much. He works Meanwhile, he works so motherfucker. much. That's why he bought Twitter and like started micromanaging it. And spends all day tweeting nonstop. Right. And also he works so much, but has a level like one hundred and twelve character in Elden Ring. That takes that takes over a hundred hours. Okay. This, he's just, it's just brain rot. It, it's just brain rot. Probably from all the plastics. Yeah, it's not helping. <laughs> it's not helping anybody. This is what the, the, the these people don't realize is they have to live in the hellscape that they're creating, right? Right. Well, I mean, they can mitigate some of it. They can mitigate it. Yeah. 
Number four, try cardstock. You stick some paper what? on your clit. Stick some paper in your in, in your in your pussy, dude. Oh God. Try pa cardstock. If you don't have a paper panty cut. liner handy, you could cut out a small piece of cardstock and create your own panty liner out of it. You will use it vertically. Cut the, to the appropriate size of the crotch section of your panties. Then, layer the piece of cardstock underneath the panty liner. Wrap the wings around the bottom of the crotch of your underwear and smooth them down. The extra cardstock should work as a cup to keep everything oh. hidden. Ah, uh, yes. Origami no. to hide your camel toe. No. No, this, this, this is horseshit. This, Ca this is... Camel toe origami. This is a practical solution for, like, a kindergarten teacher. Imagine paper cuts, paper cuts to the labia. Who the fuck... Who, who the? I'm, I'm, I'm just mystified. Camel toe ragami, camel toe ragami. Like, how much do these things cost? I don't know. It's plastic. Community Q and A. How could I get rid of an existing camel toe? Did you know what that implies? That like every fucking article of clothing she goes she puts on she has a camel toe like her camel toe is like a, a, a fucking like a, like an ancient curse <laughs> like it's not a solvable problem in the, in the sense that like we think of it like we, we she just got through an entire article painstakingly explaining how to get rid of her camel toe and she's still asking this question she's like no this ta this is an existing camel toe it's a bigger problem it's a it's a fucking like intergenerational curse of camel toe Right, like I inherited. Yeah, like I inherited my my mother's camel toe as she inherited the camel toe of her mother before her. <laughs> like it, like it's a fucking biblical curse, yeah. like a biblical generational curse. It goes back to like, you know, when when the Israelites were wandering in the desert or some shit, right? Right. And like, you know, there was a there was a camel, and like, you know, somebody like stepped on its foot, like they stepped on its toe. And it was like, oh, watch where you're going. Get out of my way, you dumb camel. Oh, not even going to apologize, huh, bitch? Puh. A curse upon your ancestors. 2,000 years later, they still suffer from the, the curse of the camel's toe. I, I like right? how you managed to turn camel toe into, like, a fucking grim fairy tale. Yeah. Or, like, <laughs> yeah. or fucking... That, like not not a, not even like uh, Aesop. Like it's Aesop's fables. A curse upon your house. Where right? and this is how we got camel toe. Yeah. <laughs> that's the exact vibe of it. Cause like it made it literal. Like Aesop. Like that shit does that, right? Yeah. It's like uh, and and this and this is where we get crow's feet, right? Like <laughs> yeah, like crow's feet. Like a crow stepped on a guy or some shit, right? Like, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> And and now we just got these. It's like fuck. If if I knew that I was going to do that to the human race, I would have been more careful. Right. Oh my god. There. What are other examples of this? Because you're right. They always. Yeah. 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 Um, where like there was an incident, that, and that's why we have like thumbs or something. You know. I go. Right. Yeah. Oh, holy Madame, shit. <laughs> Madame Zeroni curses you with <laughs> camel toe. <laughs> I did. I made an Aesop's fable. I wasn't even trying to. <laughs> Cowlix. Yeah. A pox on your ancestors. Um, why is it called camel toe? Well, we just explained that, but they have a different explanation. Technically, the term refers to the outline of a woman's labia majora. Dawn of the third day. Which is said to resemble the shape of a camel's foot. Is it? Well, I mean, like, I guess, kind of. Yeah, I guess because it's, it's split. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a stretch. It's a little bit of a stretch, but uh, yes. Why do people find camel toe embarrassing? I mean, she, you could be proud of your camel toe. I mean, again, this person's like, I don't know, I like this my camel toe. I don't. Know. Wait, hold on a second. Did this person go full Joker? Camel Why do toe people is... find camel toe embarrassing? Camel toe is not embarrassing, and I'm tired Just... of pretending it is. Society has been built to shame people, especially women, for being overtly sexual, unless specifically for reproductive purposes. <laughs> Society is always heaping discriminatory ideas on women, because it has yet to mature and treat people as equals. <laughs> 
the f- femcel joker. Fem- like, like, femcel joker. I always make sure that my pussy is popping. The woker is real. The woker. The woker is real. The woker exists in society. Oh my god. Want to know how I got these lips? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Somebody says they're not wrong though. Okay. In in, in the uh. in, okay. In the broader sense they're not wrong. But okay, in the in the fucking like in the in the in the narrower sense of camel toe they are. Because is it should I be walking around with my fucking cock bulge with the outline of my fucking dick? In front of people right, like, and kids? No. Absolutely no. not. No. No chat. No, the answer is no chat. No, the answer is no, chat. <laughs> no, no, the unironically no. Holy fucking shit. It's their problem. They're saying, oh my god. Yeppers. They're saying yeppers. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the Walker. Oh my god, that's so good. You remember the tweet, right? The drill tweet? Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Holy fuck. Of um, yeah, I mean, like, oh, cry. All right. Y you want to move on to another article? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Um, let's see what we got. I got, hmm. You know, you know what? Yeah. What? What's let up? me, let me get a cup of tea real quick. Okay. Because I, yeah, I need some hydration, especially yeah, cool. after that, uh, that Dr. Weird impression. That's cool. Also, I'm okay. feeling like, yeah, I'm feeling like I want to get, um, like a quick, quick, like snack or something too. So I'm going to be, um, okay. we'll both be right back guys. Good, yeah. Um, we'll just be like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, whoops. I'll be like three minutes. I'll be, a, I'll be like a minute. Not even. I'm going to get okay. something and bring it back here to eat. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I like, we'll be back in like 60 seconds. Okay.
can delight them. That was pretty sick. I'm back. Yeah, you thought you could get rid of me that easy. Was that a song that featured you saying come? Uh, I, yes. Yes. Good. Yes, it was. Good. Um, that was actually, uh, Joel composed that and recorded that. I could somehow tell that was Joel. Yeah, I was, sa I, I I'm sampled explain. for it. The, 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 well, the, the, the vocals are, are him. And actually he played all the, the instruments. He programmed the drums and then he, uh. Right, right, right. right. Played the rest. I'm eating a banana if you, uh. Hmm. If you don't mind, I'm sure. Bananas sorry. are great. No, it, it, it's a great snack food. Very good snack food. I'm, just trying to slam. I'm, I'm very, I'm very fucking, oh, well, why did that happen? Fuck. 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 What? I don't even know how to explain it. Nothing, it's fine. I, I, um, forgot what I was going to fucking say, God damn it. Um, where is my music? Hold on. Mm -hmm. There it is. I think. Wait, no. Nope. I got it. I got it. There I got it, it. Banana is a good. Yeah, it's a good. Um, it's a good snack. It's a good. Um. It helps. It's got. Yeah. It's. It, it sticks to your stomach. It's the the sugar is for quick energy. It's nice. I fucking hate getting hungry while I'm streaming. Mmm. Yeah. No, I hate it. Mmm. And I will say, whenever we swap over to Scorn, because I like, I'm totally down to stick around for that. Yeah, all right. Um, I fucking like, just I fucking love Scorn. Um, it's not like, in terms of gameplay, very simple, but I think it's more like a, it feels more like a an art piece, like an an interactive piece of art. And how long is the game? It's it's not. It's like, I, it took me about like six hours, I think. Six hours, I think. Ish. Scorn. I'm if, going if, to I, if I'm helping you and making sure you don't get stuck, then um, I don't know. Twenty-one dollars. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. It's going to be <laughs> twenty minute playthrough. I'll probably not be able to play, play this whole game tonight, though. No, I, I will say though the the final act is the strongest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna install Definitely. this shit right now. Hell yeah. No Elp and no Oilers. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. take Elp from Fred. Yeah, but I don't I'll, want I'll Chad help to him. Elp. Don't worry, you guys. I, I've got him covered. No Elp and no Oilers. It's not it's not a super difficult game. Like you do want the like, you do want to. I think people went into it expecting a Resident Evil level of survival horror, um, yeah. where really you just need to. You just you you just need to be wise about how you use your resources. Mm-hmm. Because every because every bullet you fire now is a bullet you can't fire later. And that's it. Well, there's not even that many enemies, right? No. It, it's not a combat focused game. Not not really. Like they're there, but they they create it's good for tension, but it, we're gonna, I don't think there there are no jump scares. Yeah, there are no jump scares in the game. We're gonna play Scorn because we were talking about vagina. We were. Yeah. I just want to point that out. Camel, Camel Toe, the video game. Um. All right, so we got some more like, dumb. Yep. <laughs> Scorn was originally thought of when one of the game designers um, had Camel Toe and was like, "Oh wow, this sucks. I'm gonna make a game based <laughs> on this." Like based on the experience of having camel toe. Um, Fred. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what scorn is about. It's about somebody struggling with like really severe, like multi generational uh, camel uh, camel toe, right? Right. Yeah. Um, um dude. I dude. got another article to look at. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Ready? Okay. 
So how to Kidding. stop saying the word dude so much? I don't think it's showing on... Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Yeah, the word dude has become a big staple in the language of youths, youths, since the 1950s. While it was often seen as a cool way to refer to friends, the word has been overused. Calling someone dude still has its right time and place, but if you use the word too much, you'll risk sounding annoying. Limiting your use of this or any word requires thought and self-awareness. Giving yourself extra time and consideration before speaking is a great way to take unwanted language out of your diet. Even if you aren't diet? used to being conscious, oh, I, I think they thought they were being clever. Even if you aren't used to being conscious of what you're saying, you'll have to, you'll have your dude usage under control with only a little effort. Yeah, like you need real problems if you think this is a problem. Co-authored by WikiHow staff. What? Who are they hiring? Our trained team of editors and researchers validate articles for accuracy and comprehensiveness. WikiHow's content management team carefully monitors the work from our editorial staff to ensure that each article is backed by trusted research and meets our high quality standards. Wow, high quality standards. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't even hear the word dude. Like, if somebody calls me that, like, I don't even... Like, I don't register it anymore. It's like a word. It's kind of like fuck. Like, I don't even hear the word fuck anymore. And when I say it, it it's like I'm not even. It, it's like breathing. Right. You know, I, it's, it's filler. Uh, it's a filler. I, word. I, I exactly. Have, yeah, I have. I have this same problem when sometimes suddenly my chat will be filled with the guys emote. Guys. And I'm like, why? Guys. I'm like, oh, I, because I said guys. And I didn't even realize it. Um, what's the guy's emote? Oh, it, it's, it's a bit of a spaghetti bob. Uh, but basically, it you know Pooh's Adventures Wiki? Pooh's yeah. Adventures of Me. It, yeah. It's, we watched some of the actual videos where they take movies and just chop them together and add subtitles. So it's, so the characters are saying the things. It's how they like put all, like they, they call them movies where they just kind of cut different parts of movies together so that mm -hmm. the characters are talking to each other and at one point there was an image of like a penguin with just the doofiest face uh with the word guys underneath him i've seen that and i just lost i've seen my, that yeah I i've just seen lost that. my shit yeah i've seen i've seen that image i think it was you retweeted it or something once right mm -hmm. yeah I, I pinned it and then everyone just started replying with the same image Guys, like just that same image. You scroll; it's dozens. I think over a hundred, maybe. Guys, guys, it. guys, guys, guys. Listen, guys. Right, like guys, like you. that, like guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. Guys, I bet guys, I can find listen, it. guys, guys. Hold on, guys. Seriously, here I've got it. Wait, guys. Like, listen, guys. Like, look at this post. I'm sending it to you on Discord. Look at this post and just scroll down. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, whoop. All right, hold on. Let me. Let me. This post. Scroll down in this post. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just keep going. Oh, it's <laughs> awesome. Four big guys. Four big guys. <laughs> oh, that's so. That's so good. <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> C -c -c combo breaker and then more guys 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 there are more replies there are more replies look click on the button there are more guys surely they're not the same that's awesome oh look there are some offensive ones um it's guys Oh, oh there, there's one, yeah. You content warning, nudity, violence, and sensitive con content. It's just guys. <laughs> it's just guys! With, with alt text. Check the alt text. Guys. <laughs> Image description guy. Okay. This is... That's so good. 
Was it showing on stream? Well, I I removed I turned it off at the end because I didn't okay, want to. Okay, uh, gotcha. I, I was like I didn't know what that there was gonna be a dick in there or oh, something. No, okay, oh, that's fair. Um, no, this this is if you want the energy of my streams. If you're if you're a Mikeoid yeah. and you're wondering what the fuck are Fred's streams like, it's it's that. It's mostly that. Yes, you should go check him out. By the way, while we're on the topic, uh, and you should I'm gonna shout him out. Go check uh, follow his Aww. Twitch channel, guys, oh, and. You guys. Um, of course, his beautiful YouTube channel, down oh, the spaghetti, guys. down the spaghetti bob hole. Spaghetti, yeah, it's down the spaghetti it's basically hole. Basically, just become yeah. spaghetti bob. The stream, um, spaghetti bob. Oh well. Why is this well, fucking chat. guys? Is this music a lot louder than it was before? Hold on. Fred's streams are similar to this, but substitute the cum for chaos. Yeah, that's fair. Um, all right. So, do you want to learn how to stop saying "dude," dude? I'm ready. Cutting back on the word "dude." Understand where you got your habit. The word "dude" has been used a ton since the countercultural revolution of the 1950s and 60s. It's used in film and rock music, and it's a staple word for a lot of subcultures, including skate and surfer communities. Consider what your circumstances what are. Do you hang out with a lot of people who use that word? Did you start picking it up after seeing it on TV? Knowing that use of the word is a habit that was picked up somewhere is a good place to start if you want to control your use. This is written what, by somebody who is fuck? annoyed by somebody who's close to them's usage of the word dude. Yeah, no, what what the fuck? D they're writing about how to get over your usage of the word dude like it's how you get over your anxiety, right? Yeah. Like, oh, but where where does this anxiety stem from? Well, think about where it came from. Is it because your 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 dad was was abusive? Yeah. Why do you say dude? Like, what? What? Like I don't. You don't need to know why you started using it. Like that. That's not going to help. I started that's using it because it was a, 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 a because it's the English language, asshole. It's a part of common uh, parlance. W what the fuck do you want from me? I speak English. Other people were saying it. Why, why do we have to examine it like this? I don't fucking know where I started. Where I got it, it from? It doesn't. Like, knowing where it came from doesn't help. Where did you hear this dude word? You tell me right now. It's, this isn't, like, I'm, I'm not going to fucking therapy. Where did you hear dude? Where did you hear uh, it? Uh, dude is a slur. Yeah, okay, In, yeah, yeah, I don't um, even... Phil Filipino. How to calm down and accept the word dude, dude. Is it, oh, in, in like the Filipino language, does dude mean like something I, I don't, bad? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, like, eh. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> I'm not funny. Don't laugh. I mean, you could guess like the fuck out of me right now if you want. You know, well, maybe, I, I not, could, maybe not now, but. Dude, no, I am saving my gaslighting energy for the, the duck shit tea stream. It's it, good, good call. But yeah, I'm it's like it's like you it. found the, it. it's like you, fa you found a bag of marijuana in like your kid's bedroom. Who sold you the dude? Oh yeah, you guys. Right, like, if you if you follow me, you can be part of. You can potentially be part of the biggest gaslight I've ever done. Maybe one of the biggest gaslights anybody's ever done. Actually, yeah, no, I'm 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 excited for. Just this kidding. One. That's politics. Okay. Um, uh, getting political here. Uh oh. Uh, uh. All right. So let's let's undo it ourselves, dude. Uh, okay. Plan what you want to say. In social situations, people tend to speak without consciously thinking about it. This isn't good if you're saying words you'd rather avoid. If you're in a setting where you think you might call someone dude, give yourself an extra moment to prepare a line. <laughs> so stupid. The use of dude is mostly reserved as a name or title. This makes greetings and goodbyes more important to plan for than regular chatting. It's 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 like call, it's like using the word dude is like consuming alcohol or something like you have to do it carefully and responsibly and like how to have even more social anxiety yeah let's sit here and double guess every word that's going to come out of our mouth now yeah uh that yeah that'll be great for my social anxiety the, i'm trying to figure out who could possibly have authored this so i'm telling you somebody like you, you say somebody said mormon did you say that like just some fucking religious youth pastor who's annoyed at how much like you know, the kids are saying the word dude around him. I think you're the one who said that. 
Well, I, no, you said it, and then I'm just expanding on it. I, I, I said I said that the last of the Camel Toe article was written by, like, or like, well, its main audience. You did, is but then somebody said a Mormon. People. You didn't say a Mormon wrote this. Was it chat? Uh, I didn't somebody say chat? That, I, don't think. I think maybe somebody in chat I don't said think so. it. But it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you come coming into God's house and throwing around the word dude. Well, not on my watch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go write a WikiHow article because this makes me so angry. Well, it makes me so angry. I. I wonder, I, I wonder what could possibly, why, just why, like, it bothers, why it bothers dude, I, okay, if, you know what would make a lot more sense, if someone wanted to cut down on their expletive usage, that, I that would, like, that would make that sense, would make, that right? would make, yeah, that makes total it's so, sense, it's something that I occasionally like, <laughs> and, and have considered doing, right, just being more conscious of, both the filler words that I use and speaking more directly and in complete ideas rather than fracturing my sentences the way I do sometimes, mm -hmm. but also reducing my usage of expletives so that when I do use them, they have more punch, right? Like Makes I'm, a lot I'm of more sense. conscious of how I'm using them. Makes a lot of sense. But this is weird because it's just the word dude. And we can't just, we can't just set that aside yeah. and say, that this is a generic way to prevent yourself from using a word because the first step was a history of the usage of the word dude specifically right and now and like and then the other like the other step the step after that was recognize or no the one after this one is talking about when the word dude is used this is dude specific very odd. Very odd thing. Why? Why single this word out? Somebody has a vendetta against this word, basically. Yes. It or a person yeah. who uses this word. Um, They're like kind of like a, like a self-loathing dude user. Right. You know, this step right here would also be very useful in uh, trying to sound more like Discord. From My Little Pony, <laughs> Friendship is Magic. We've got some crossover. Somebody each said Mike is old and insane, and I guess I just want to know why you're saying that. The first step old. is outlawing the word "dude." The next step is death penalty for attempting to unionize your workplace. Unionize your work your workplace. Rouse Dower. What are you doing, man? Okay, look. I have a word that I wish I could stop saying. I say this word more than any other word in my vocabulary. Hmm. And I hate it. Chat should know what word this is. It is not cum. It is not no, cum. No, he's happy. He, he is proud of that one. I don't have a problem with... No, cum is... Cum, I let, cum as a fucking expletive is the new hotness, okay? And I'm, I'm proud to be behind that, up that trend of using it in that way. Can yeah. I guess? Cum as an expletive. Fred, please Can guess. Can I guess please what guess. word? Is it the word like? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't stand it. I sound like a vapid Cali Valley girl bimbo. I use it fucking three times a sentence. I get it. You know, do you want to know how I puzzled it out? How did you puzzle it out? A, a it's common, but B, I could hear you restraining Trying yourself not from to saying say it. it. And, While yeah, making the I point? Hear you. Yes. Well, I didn't want to give it away. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to like... Give it away, man, dude, man, dude. One of one of man. the verbal like. tics that I have right right now is I will start my sentence multiple times, but I think that comes from so much historic voice chat usage. Or you online. get interrupted constantly. Be it's because of it's because of latency. Oh, latency. When you start talking, sometimes two people will start talking over each other, and mm -hmm. it's very common in voice chat because there's that, like, half-second latency. It, it can be very short, but it's enough that you can start talking over each other. So I'll, I will start my sentences multiple times to make sure, actually, is it okay if I go? And if the person is still quiet after, like, three-quarters of a second or, or whatever, I can continue with my sentence, and I'm not talking over them. But obviously, that's a problem in other circumstances 
Online latency. Yeah, holy shit. Mm -hmm. mm. I said, in getting interrupted constantly while interrupting him, it was amazing. Did you catch that, chat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was additive. It's fine. It's additive, like like the plastics in my cereal. <laughs> I would love to stop saying like, though. I think I sound like such a penis. There are ways, I think, just being conscious of it. Yeah, but like one time pointed out, you become conscious of it and it, is, it gives you anxiety. And then you're sitting there stumbling over your words in an effort to avoid saying that one. The way that I have found to be more precise with my language is to take just a fraction of a sentence to put the thought together, not even the sentence or how I'm going to say it, just the thought itself. Like, because, because once I have a goal, <laughs> <laughs> once I have an idea of what I want to say, yeah. then it becomes easier to enunciate it. Right, right. And kind of I speak at it. half. Yeah, Meridian's pointing out that I'm kind of cheating because I speak slowly oftentimes. Is it slowly or is it at a speed that makes sense? It's maybe it's that it's a human speed. So when a chat is saying micromanaging your own speed, that's what I'm saying. If I'm speech speed, if I'm micromanaging my own speech, it's like another layer of, of fuckery. I, I can't manage what I'm saying and then micromanage how I'm saying it. I, I can't do all that. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. It'll drive me nuts. I'll lose my goddamn mind. I think I think I can do it because I have so much theater experience. That might be part of it. Yeah, the diction and per performance experience. Um. I was like a caster for years. I was a competitive gaming caster, caster? for years. So I, I've had a lot of time to hone that skill. He was a caster. Somebody yeah. should t tell Joel about the being a caster. All right. What? Oh, casters. What? He loves. He just loves that word. He just loves but, casters. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move on here. Um, because I want to get to the scoring. To be honest with you, I'm kind of like okay. Now, now fair, I like now I, now I now I like want to play it. Dude, um, it. I I think you're gonna like it. I think you're going to appreciate it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see your reaction to it. Plan what you say in social situations. Okay, we, we, we read that. Uh, dude, mm -hmm. Jess, correct yourself when you need to. Whenever you use the word, you should repeat the sentence the way you should have in the first place. That's just going to annoy the fuck out of people. This... I'm sorry. Why are you, you? You just said that. Why are you saying that again? You said it was the same right. sentence you just said without the word dude in it. Are, are you having a stroke? This is what a teacher demands a child do when they say <laughs> yeah. something wrong. The youth pastor thing is making more sense now, right? Say it again, but correctly this right. time. Right. Billy. Whenever you use the word, you should repeat the sentence the way you should have in the first place. The extra effort and mild embarrassment of repeating a sentence will help to steer you on the right path and make you more aware of its use in conversation. You should feel shame. Yeah. Shame. Aversion. Shame. The aversion strat. Acknowledge the issue in mid-sentence if you catch it early. Hey, dude. I mean, Jesse. How's it going? Oh, yeah. That's how I got over, like, calling Mike names. Like, hey, moron. I mean, Mike. <laughs> it really did a lot for our friendship. It did. Now it, I just say it internally. It's true. He just doesn't say, he thinks it, he just doesn't say it out loud. And you know what? It's the thought that counts. Right. Right. Wait. Yeah, don't worry. I, it, wasn't, it wasn't supposed that to was make good. sense. That was good. It wasn't supposed to make sense. No, that, that was a good bit. It's the was... thought that counts, and I'm, I'm internally yeah. calling you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about dude? He's calling a woman dude. Is it, um... Was is it, is it like I I I kind of feel like I've come to see it as a gender neutral term. It it, it I I'd say, for the vast majority of people, it is. Yeah. I think that there's a small subset of people that don't like being called dude. But I, fe I feel like I might have even been one of those people at one point. As 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 funny as it is, it's, the word always kind of pissed yeah. me off. And then like I don't know, as I got older, I started using it mm. for some reason. I feel like. Being annoyed at dude is just a step more 
annoying than people being annoyed at the singular they. Yeah, I, but in a, in a way, I sort of, I sort of understand people being annoyed by dude. I mean, like, I, I just call people Jess. <laughs> I, I say the word constantly. I use it constantly. But a part of me mm -hmm. still understands it, it's like, we're not cowboys. Mm -hmm. What are you calling me dude for? You know, I think a lot of people don't want to be called right. dude. Okay, apparently Wistbones is giving us an announcement. Looks like people are being DM'd by bots right now in mess. Oh, is, really? If anybody is being DM'd, twi uh, twi Twitch DM'd, um, block whoever it is and DM the name of the user to the moderators, please. Yeah, never, 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 re never respond to Twitch DMs, guys. They're never, not. Never, never. Re Twitch DMs are, they're, um, um, they're used for trouble. Twitch DMs are used for, they're never used for anything good. Don't use them. Ignore them, block them, report them. Never use Twitch DMs, please, guys. They are not good. They are, if somebody's trying to DM you on Twitch, it's because it's for a fucked up reason, guys. Trust me. Um, if it's out of the blue and you are just a user, yeah, like as a streamer, sometimes like someone might want to share something with me real quick, mm -hmm. and like it's the most immediate, direct way to do it, like the most immediate, obvious way. Like, okay, sure, um, but if, if you're just if you're not a streamer, yeah, be be very wary of Twitch DMs. Mike, you need to shut the fuck up and continue the segment. Are you the one spamming people? <laughs> Guys, I think we found the person spamming people. <laughs> oh, how... How how convenient. God um, in 4K. Is the music going? Or are we talking in dead silence? I hear the music. I don't. Hmm. It looks like it's really quiet. Hold on a second. All right, you hear it now? Mm -hmm. You got it? Look, you have the titles of the WikiHow articles. If you want to read them, you can do so. Like, yeah, it's people are being, pe pe people are getting annoyed that we're not reading the fucking how to stop saying the word dude so much. <laughs> Go to WikiHow and type in how do I stop saying dude, okay? If it's really that, if you really need to fucking see this. Yeah, if, if that is what you need, yeah, if you, it, need, if you desperately need to be condescended to, it's there. They're they're banning the spammers. So if you're if you're getting these DMs, please tell the moderator. And they're they're gonna. I'm seeing the ban. They're banning they're banning a bunch of people right now. So just, I don't know. I get this, this happens sometimes. It's actually kind of rare that really? it's been ha that it's been happening in here. But huh. it, it it is um yeah this 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 they, they come in waves sometimes right? How weird. Is it like targeted or just random? Is it spam? Like, it's are random, they trying to get people to clip links? Click links? It's, I, I'm not, I'm not sure what it, what it exactly is. Okay. Um, Draco got DM'd by a guy called William Howard Teft. Welcome, Taftoids. And he said something about being stuck in a bathtub. Weird. Huh. Maybe you should help him. It's fake CSGO links. Yeah, guys, don't fucking, please... Ah, uh, okay. Don't click. So, scam. Scam shit. Okay. Yeah, it's scams. Okay, so... Uh, although the word was popularized, popularized by TV and pop culture, chances are likely that your habit with this word was influenced by the people you spend time with. A lot of language is picked up through our interactions with friends. Hanging out with a broader spectrum of people, including people outside your age group, will help loosen the influence your go-to uh, social circle has on your language. Hang out with more youth Wait pastors. Wait a minute. This is, yeah, this is, this is the, the theory about this being a, being a youth pastor trying to be like, no, 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 don't, don't hang out with the, the sinful children Hang out, out with there. me. Yeah, hang out. Yeah, yeah. Hang out with step. me. Right, step one is alienate the child from any friends. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Get a friend to catch you if you say it. Even on the best of days. She's like, talk to the hand, bitch. Did you just dude me, you fucking slut? Oh my god, what did I tell you? 
about fucking calling me dude. I am gonna punch you in the titty if you call me dude one more fucking time, I swear to God. I am going to get- I'm going to grab the back of your pants and give you the worst camel toe that you've ever had. <laughs> and you are gonna have to go onto WikiHow to figure out how to deal with it. Get a friend to catch you if you say it. Even on the best of days, we're not always aware of the things we say. Boy, is that relatable. It's helpful to have the friend or whomever you're with to catch you if you ever say the word dude. Never dude alone. Always dude with a buddy. The dude buddy system. Asking someone to help you to stop saying something brings up a level of accountability and it's like foisting a responsibility on somebody who didn't ask for it and probably doesn't want it. Your friend will feel a certain level of responsibility in making sure you stay true to your word. Because the word dude is a mostly American phenomenon, moving to another country can help remove this influence. Is this dude... This is so passive aggressive. Like, just move away to another country. Just leave the country, simple fix. Just easy, easy. Imagine... Imagine... I I feel like nothing that I can say can make this more ridiculous. Like no. this is how to solve saying the word dude. Move you, to another fucking country. Are you having a problem with saying the word dude? Move to Pakistan. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. I mean, like, yeah, learning Arabic will definitely help you stop saying dude, right? I I, I guess Maybe. I think it would be really funny to learn Arabic and sprinkle the word dude into my sentences. Okay, yeah, it, yeah, just, just, Amduli, 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 Haram, dude. Hey, what, Habibi? Well, they have, actually, they have dude in Arabic. It's Habibi. Oh. Well, it's, well so, I, I think Habibi is like, bro. I would love it. I would love it if later there is a WikiHow article on how to stop using the word Habibi. Habi <laughs> Completely unrelated <laughs> to like this youth pastor. Like it's it, it's a different like spiritual leader making <laughs> like making a WikiHow article. Listen, you're gonna have to stop saying Habibi. <laughs> well, I guess in that in that case, maybe maybe it's like it's like a uh, like an imam, like a youth imam. R youth imam. <laughs> yeah, like a youth. <laughs> Habibi is bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's like bro. Bro. You're my you're you're my Habibi, dude. Yo, oh, Habibi. You're my Habibi, I, I, I Habibi like, bro. Tendo. I feel like there are little things that make the world feel smaller in a good way. Habibi and the is the fact one of them. that the fact that yeah. every language has its its equivalent of dude makes yeah. me happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, dude, I mean, oh, Christ. It's called you, dude, without thinking about it. Shit. Shit. Let me start that sentence over again without the dude in it. It's like around the world, they have that, you know, you got like, yeah, we got, we got dude, bro, uh, mate, you know, uh, in the UK, um, right? In, the, in Australia, they have cunt. Oh, yeah. Right? You know, just. Yeah, well, there, there, there goes monetization. But. Yeah, but I think it was worth it for the gag. It was worth it, yes. Um, and demonetized. Based. Teenage Oi, Mutant can't. Base Turtles. Oi, can't. We're free. Oi, we're, can't. Well, well, now that you've said it, we're free. You got Droogs, Droogs in Russia, right? Droogies? Droog. Yeah, Droogies. Droog. Um, like, you know the Apir meme? That, that word is just Droog. That's Droog, Apir? Yeah. I yeah. didn't know. Apir. A I thought it was, is, I it, thought it was it's Apir. It's Droog. I thought it was Apir. <laughs> <laughs> Clint. Yeah, Clint. I like how Chad is, is spelling it Clint. <laughs> Clint. <laughs> okay. A while so there's a streamer okay. called Clint Stevens. Um for the longest time, whenever someone subbed, he would say, Hey there, welcome to the cum dumpster, you slut. Wow. Not bad. And then after a while he's like, Oh yeah, I'm kind of one of the a bigger streamer. I probably shouldn't do that. Like probably shouldn't say that, say that anymore. Probably shouldn't say that, and then you know we just don't care. Um. Okay, so I mean I don't know. Maybe maybe it's time. Uh maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we, yeah. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't be throwing around some of these words so haphazardly. You know what? Like dude. 
dude, dude, don't let this, don't let this youth pastor get working. under your he's skin. He's getting under my skin. He's Do getting not. in there. He's getting no, in there. No, like, you, you know why it's working? Because, like, this dude is a master at manipulation, right? Like, passive aggression. Fucker. Remember the word can be used effectively in moderation. Again, it's like alcohol. Any word has its use in the right context. Dude on its own isn't a bad thing to call someone per se, but it does get irritating when it's used a lot. Calling someone a dude should feel edgy and casual. You should use the word when the situation calls for an effect like that. Calling someone dude is more fitting if the person is a male. Although it's sometimes used to refer to anyone, it is technically a gendered term. No, I'd say not anymore. Me, but whatever. Yeah. If you're having a hard time gauging how much is too much, limit your dude usage to once an hour. Oh yeah, let's say keep a dude journal to realize, you know, what? to keep track of your dude usage. I'm not budgeting my dude usage. Note the day and time that you use the dude and make sure that you give yourself a daily allotment of dude usage. You only get 10 dudes a day, better use them well. Right, like you get dude tokens. You got a fucking Excel spreadsheet? You get and 24 dude, dude to tokens Dude tokens. <laughs> dude tokens! I hate dude tokens. You just invented a new crypto. Dude coin. <laughs> dude coin. <laughs> you only, like, by, by owning one, you oh, get... Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. It's an NFT that yeah. every, every hour you get a dude coin. Fucking sucks. And uh -huh. then those give you votes on, on the dude DAO. The things they would do if they could. The, the dude DAO. If you're having a hard time, uh, oh, it says this should free up enough space in between for the word to regain its value. It's like the dude has a cooldown. Like it has a fuck, the word has a cooldown. Like it regains its value. Like it has to be like, it has, it has to recharge. I, oh That's no. fucking Joko, amazing. That to is amazing. get a dude pregnant, come and they're deuterous. Dude, <laughs> deuterous. All my dude coins are stolen. My all my dudes gone. All my dudes. Be patient with yourself. As with anything, your progress isn't going to happen overnight. Depending on how bad your dude usage is, it can take weeks of effort to limit yourself properly. If you ever say the word accidentally, don't beat yourself up over it. Again, that's fucking drug addicts and alcoholics okay, so, relapsing. So hold on. This, you know what this is? This is a classic abuse tactic where the burden of they say, like, the, the person writing this article is the one with the grievance, but they are now placing the emotional work <laughs> right. onto uh, yeah. the person saying, dude. Fucking uh, cocksuckers. Don't, don't beat yourself up over using it too much. No, I don't give a shit. You're the one who cares. Right. Fuck you. Yo, do you they, like... They, they, have, they have moved it. Do you like chugalepsy as much as I do? Look at that email. Chugalepsy? Look, uh... Chugalepsy. Invest Chugal my kids' college fund, college fund in dude coin. You see it? So it, that, that's Badlands <laughs> Chugs, that's right? It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's right. laughs> Look. It's a lot. It's a lot. That'll cr that cr like crashed my fucking chat last night. <laughs> It's Holy like it shit. crashed it. Yeah, it was like it was like causing my chat to like seize up. It was crazy. Because <laughs> there were too many chugalepsies. There were too many. The there screen. were too many. Yeah, too many, too fast. Look, chugalepsy, smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk off in a car, driving and I'm speeding and I'm vigorously masturbating. Uh, you should take solace in the fact that you're going out of your way to improve yourself. Bad habits oh are hard God. to break, but it's easier the longer you try. Part two, eliminating filler language. Okay. That face is intense. You want to read that? Find a speaking role model. People who have a problem with overusing the word dude tend to use a lot of filler language as well. Like, again, this seems personalized. Yeah. People tend to, Billy... Yeah. Words yeah. like, um, hmm, 
uh, and like are thoughtlessly added to a conversation as a way for the brain to catch up with what the mouth is saying. Look up speeches of great speakers, such as Orson Welles or Barack Obama, will give you an idea of, who, of what good speaking looks like, sounds like. Obama said dude What are you listening with your eyes, dumb bitch? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe you should have thought harder before writing this sentence. Hey, jerk off. Cunt. Obama had a speechwriter, you fucking moron. Do I have this a fucking speechwriter? Have... Am, I, am I fucking coming in here with prepared speeches, you dick? This person apparently could have used one. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You don't need to base your speech around a speaking role model. Just be aware of the pace and confidence with which they say things. This is fucking brain dead thoughtlessly added to a conversation as a way for the brain to catch up with what the mouth is saying. So they're trying to put that on you or put in your head that if you have those speech patterns, if you exhibit those speech patterns, there's something wrong with you. You're defective and stupid. Right. Your brain but isn't you fast enough. Your brain isn't like a normal person like Barack Obama. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I remember um, my buddy Graham made a a Stellaris Megacorp, where their slogan is, you're disgusting, but you don't have to be. <laughs> but you don't have to be. And what was their deal like? Uh, oh, their deal was like, into the, the, they empire? sell you the products to make okay. you, like, not disgusting. Not disgusting. It's, it's beauty yeah, like, products. Yeah, they're, they're, they're basically like a race. Uh, they're, they're a Megacorp of people who do negging. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. On a, you know, as a business tactic. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, control your pace. Most filler language is a result of the person trying to talk too fast. This can be avoided by simply slowing down the rate at which you speak, Fred. This could, this could be avoided by shutting the fuck up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. If you've never put any thought into how fast you talk, this will feel awkward at first. However, you'll probably be, probably be surprised by the way a little extra patience can transform the way you talk. People who talk more slowly actually tend to appear more intelligent. Uh, nothing, uh, nobody looks smarter than the guy who talks like this, right? What nobody. degree do you have? Hey. Uh, Slow. Please tell me your wisdom. Slowly. <laughs> right? Like fucking. <laughs> I'm a shitty bender. Hi, I'm. I'm Bender from Futurama. Hey, everybody, it's me, Bender. <laughs> I'm sure somebody thinks that's pretty neat. Dude. Why is Jordan Peterson here? <laughs> you know, I I think that I think that people would would take you way more seriously if if you sounded like a lobster. Fred has mastered step two. Do you think you've mastered step two? Is this a conscious decision on your part to speak more slowly? No, I'm just too stupid to speak quickly. You're joking, of course. You don't really feel that no, way about no, yourself. No, no, no. I need to speak slowly and I need to pause before I speak because I need to put my thoughts together. Yeah, but I think the point being made here right now is that that's normal. That's no, correct. It's a way to that hide that correct... I'm stupid. No, that, no, that's not. what it's, it, it's saying that's the correct way to speak. If anything, I'm a penis because I'm speaking too fast and stumbling over my words and shit. Yeah, because you have enough thoughts. You you think fast enough that you need to get it out quickly. That's what you think it is? My my fucking brain is a, is a gerbil shitting itself on a wheel while it constantly trips over itself. My fucking it's a gerbil in a in a in a running wheel. You know those little gerbil wheels? Hamster wheels? Mm -hmm. Shitting all over himself and slipping in it and fucking like falling on his fucking head and spinning around in there constantly. I th That's my brain. That image, 
I think it's just because we've been talking about it, but that sounds like an invention that Dr. Weird would yeah. reveal. <laughs> like a, a hamster running on a wheel while while shitting. Right. I feel like he did do something like that, though. There, I mean, like, he's what there was. Like, gentlemen, behold, this thing I made. And it's just, what, the rainbow Rainbowatron? Like, oh, what does it do? I don't know. Stand over there. Yeah. <laughs> and the hamster is in there, and he's like, ow, 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 ow. Ow. Oh god, I think- no, Mike, no, we- we need to- I'm going to set a rule. I'm setting ground rules for the rest of this WikiHow article. Okay. We are not allowed to be self-reflective while reading this article because the person who wrote this article is Wants a penis. That. We're falling prey They're, what they want. We're doing exactly what they fucking want. We're doing what they want. Son of a bitch! You're right. This person- this person is a helmet. Like- it's not worth it. Fuck. We're but I mean, I don't yeah, know. I, I, it's, 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 it's like it's worth talking about. It's an interesting topic to me. You know, it's an I, interesting I topic, it... but I refuse to give this guy the W. Hold on, I'm having a problem with this. This is a matter of principle right now. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Oh. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Okay. Um, it's a matter of principle, but it's like I don't. You think people think I sound smart when I speak? You don't really believe that. I think that. sometimes, yeah. You don't really. No, absolutely. I, I think that sometimes you have really salient and interesting points. Okay, but I sound like a complete moron while making them. Really? Yeah, I think so. I do. I speak too quick. I'm sorry. I'm falling prey to what he wants. You, I yeah, do okay. definitely speak too quickly. I don't think you speak too slow. I think you speak at a normal pace, a human pace. I don't know where this comes from where you think you talk slow. I think you talk at a normal fucking speed. Your your speed is normal. If anything, mine is too fast. That makes sense? You're mm -hmm. on par. I'm not. I, That's what I think. I I think that we are both bad judges of ourselves. Maybe. 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 I know that I am. I've done it like I think part part of my self-consciousness comes from the fact that i expect myself to speak like my videos all the time because that's the expectation that people have when they see me or hear me that makes sense but those scripts are meticulously written yeah of course they're crafted they're handcrafted they're for very, purpose like, yeah i'm a i'm a slow writer And when you narrate them, you do it in a really specific... You have a voice for that. Right. It would be unreasonable yeah. to expect you to be speaking in that voice all the time. You know, like, who's I doing that? I, I try to be intelligible. Um, I think you're very intelligible. I think you're, you're, you're smart and a genius and beautiful. Aw. Aw, Mike. That's what I think. And I think, yeah. I think that you are far more intelligent than you give yourself credit for. I don't know. Maybe I have my moments. Thank you for saying that. My self-esteem could use that <clears throat> that boost tonight. It's true. It's it's earnest, I, dude. I'm not I'm not going to, I'm not going to just give you empty compliments. Listen to me, okay? I fucking tried to go outside to go to Luke's favorite latte place, and I saw a butterfly, and I forgot how to open the gate, and I just had a mental breakdown, <laughs> an emotional breakdown, and I just started crying right there in the lawn. Okay? No, you you need to get the intonation right. And I saw a butterfly. Yeah. And then <laughs> you I like that tried shit, to right? open the gate. You like that shit? And then I couldn't. And then my boyfriend opened the gate for me. And then we went to his favorite coffee place. And we got a coffee. And then I came back and I made another drink. It is remarkable how much of that woman's day consisted of creating liquids to imbibe. It was lattes. I don't know how she hasn't just like fucking had her temples explode from like too much caffeine. Right, I just imagine her sitting at the table and, like, clenching her fists, yeah. palms down, and shaking, <laughs> staring straight forward. Slow living while having, like, a fucking caffeine stroke, yeah. Slow living, right. <laughs> Holy shit. 
But yeah, thank you for the the compliment. Chat saying we should we should just kiss. Okay. Very. You want to have a little. You want to have a little a little kiss. A little, a little Poseidon's kiss. All right, that's enough for that shit. But thank you. No, <laughs> thank. No, seriously, thank you for for that was very nice. Thank you for saying that. That's okay. true. I, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be earnest with you. Yeah, right? be earnest. He's not gonna give me empty compliment. I I wouldn't I wouldn't I'm, want I wouldn't want I wouldn't want anybody to give me a, a compliment they didn't mean. You know. I if. It's really important to me that that I give compliments that are real because if I if I start lying just to make my friends feel better, that does something even worse. It, does. it erodes trust. I, I agree with that. That's true. It erodes trust, and that that is something that is very difficult to rebuild. I try not to give compliments. I try to make to, I try to make observations that are constructive. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, because compliment implies like, oh, you're trying to make me feel good about that. You know what I mean? And it's like, mm -hmm. well, then, then, well, then, may, well, then maybe there's something in there that might imply that there's that it's not honest. Does that make sense? Like, right. or it's yeah. coming from a place that it's coming from a, a, a different place. Right. Then here's an observation about you or about something you did, and right. and, and that what I like about it basically. Right. What I think is I think, a, a positive attribute, a positive. Right. Thing. Like I, right. I don't mind. I don't mind hearing criticism from my friends for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's a show that they respect me enough to believe that I'll be able to take criticism. Okay, good. Because your penis um, is small. No, it's not, but we'll continue on. <laughs> I, <laughs> second, it, it means that, um, it means that they're willing to be honest with me. Yeah. And that's and, a good thing. And that means that when they are, um, I mean, that means when they when they do compliment me, then it, they're not just yeah, means pumping more. me up. Means more. Yeah. yeah, they're not just pumping me up like, like I pump my dick because it's small. Um, be huge balls, but like the tiniest dick, right? It's fucking crazy. Um, well, well the, the dick is normal freak, size. It, it, it's freakish, really. It's just that the balls are huge. Um, yeah. micro blip. <laughs> you want to take this one, number three over here. Record yourself record speaking. Your, record yourself speaking. This is how you sound. A bip. A bip, bip, a, bip, bip. Can I just... It, I think I've told you this before. It is one of my biggest pet peeves when someone says, this is how you sound and sound ridiculous. Yeah, it's fucked like up. Like, make a, make a stupid sound. It's very childish. It is, it yeah. is childish. Yeah. Because now you're the one making the sound. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, it, it's kind of one of those things, right? It, it's like the person saying, joke's on you. I was just pretending to be stupid. Yeah. It's like but but you were just being stupid. Yeah. Like whether you're pretending or not and you did something stupid then then you just did some you did something stupid. It's every time I was lo appeared stupid it was me pretending to be stupid, okay? Right. For and and, and, merely a ruse. and going forward here on from here on out anything you I do or say that you think is stupid? No. No, I was merely it's pretending. Just cuz I'm pretending. And if you are cons if, if you consistently are inconsistent about when you or when you do something stupid, then if you do stupid shit on the regular, I'm just going to assume that you're going to continue to do stupid shit. Yeah. It's about your reputation at this point. Right. Mm. Get a voice recorder or a cell phone and record yourself speaking about something. Record a few minutes of an impromptu conversation. After you've recorded something, play out the recording and listen to, you, to yourself, you obnoxious little bitch. <laughs> are there any things you notice about your voice that you'd like to see changed? I know there are. How much filler language is popping up? Be aware of the way other people hear your... Being aware of the way other people hear your voice will give you extra motivation to cut down on filler. Yeah, just be completely paranoid about how other people are perceiving your every word. Uh, that, that's going to be good for you in the long run, right? Mm-hmm. I, I like what Sparkles McChonk says, how to manufacture a personality Nailed it. disorder. Nailed it. Nailed Fuck, it. That's good. Nailed it. God, that's on point. Manipulated personality disorder fetish. Toastmasters International. What the fuck is Toastmasters? What the fuck? And what's wrong with her face? What's wrong with your face? Oh my god, you smoke too many cigarettes. What oh. the fuck is Toastmasters? This Murky How article is the most disappointing thing since my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What is Toastmasters? They just like these people, an international organization that has that has gotten down to a science, the way to prepare your toast for breakfast. I wonder. So they say that when you have a stroke, you can you, you one of the signs of a stroke is you smell burning toast. Yeah, they've all <laughs> they they all smell it. Right. And I I wonder I wonder if how many people have died at Toastmasters International of a stroke because they didn't realize that they were having a stroke because <laughs> that sign just wasn't there. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the raid, Mike. Mike! Oh my god, thank you so much for the raid, man. Uh Oh shit. What's up? Hmm. Guys, give Mike Mate a follow. Dude, how you doing? Hello. Thanks, man. Mike to Mike communication. <laughs> What was it, Mike? Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hmm? Invalid name. Can you fix it, Static? Please. Invalid name. Fucking uh uh, uh sicko to sicko communication. And it, 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 there's two parts of it, guys. Follow Mike. Thank you. Sicko yes. to sicko. Ha ha ha. Yes. It, yeah. It was sicko to sicko communication. Sicko to sicko something else. Um. Because it's based on one of those science diagrams that looks like shit posts. Conversation, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sicko to sicko, conversation. Sicko to sicko, communication. I um <laughs> saw this thing the other day. I, I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna keep this one in the in the in the back pocket for okay when it's gonna be appropriate. This was a reply to. I don't even want to tell you what this was fucking in reply to because it's going to be a fucking di a derf hole beyond derf. Okay? Understood. But please look at the um. Look at this. Damn! Even by my standards, this is deeply fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I. I I know I've referenced it earlier, but uh. to. What, what, what was the line? Fuck, I keep forgetting. To call this place evil yeah. implies a clarity of purpose that right. I am not willing to attribute to <laughs> yeah. anyone involved. It's a line from Sex House. I think I gotta see this Sex House thing. You you do, you do, do. That it, apply to last it, night's stream chat? Imagine, imagine a, a series that consists of nothing but hard left turns. Okay. Segs House. Yeah, something about Segs. Seg's house. Get Rev to join. Oh, that would be good. Oh um, yeah, like when you do a YouTube night. Yeah, that whole series would be good. Oh yeah, could do, could do, could do. Um, yeah, it it has it has pork and across America energy. I think that pork and across America was more upsetting on a visceral level. Okay. Sex house is, I don't know. It it feels. Hmm. I feel like I, I feel like porking across America might actually be superior to me. Okay. But I'm curious to see what you think. Yeah, we'll check it out sometime. Yeah, yeah. Um I'll take this one. Join a public speaking club. We're about to find out what Toastmasters actually is. I mean I put it together okay. already. Okay. A public speaking club such as Toastmasters will give you a big head up with conversation. In these clubs, people will get together and practice speaking formally. If you get into something like this, you'll cut down on the excess filler. If you're worried about using the word dude in conversation, you can bring this up with the club and they'll be sure to guide you through it. Dude. How can I stop swearing so much? That's a different article, man. Dude's not a swear. What can I use instead of dude? And what if they, they just put like the most vile slur imaginable here? Like they just put like, what if they just right. responded with like, you know. You can use the person's regular name or say other words like pal, gal, fellow. Tips. Dude isn't a bad word in and of itself. A truly great speaker will use all the words at his disposal, provided they work in the given situation. The word dude is seen as annoying by a lot of people because of how much it's overused. Look, it's a warning. More warnings about it's dude. It's a warning. It's just reiterating the, the thesis statement of this article. And then after spending, you know, several pages telling you to go overboard, controlling everything you say, it tells you don't 
go overboard with trying to control what you say. You don't want to detract from the other things you've got to say. That's what I'm saying. That's why I can't follow any of this advice. Because I'll end up saying nothing. You, you know, does that this, make sense? I think at the end of the day, there is no point to this article. There's really not... It contradicts it, itself. So many times, right? Right. The, they keep saying it's it's seen as annoying, but don't go overboard with the control. But just, I think the point is be conscious of how you speak. Right. That's it. Like, that's it. Like, if, if you wish to be more deliberate with how you speak, mm -hmm. here are some steps. Except I feel like the steps were so condescending they were it's it's needling it's it's wheedling at you just it's it's a nagging Oof. type of a thing again yeah mm -hmm. yeah do you want to look at one more of these yeah let's do it and that and then we'll scorn it up this was yeah this was reference yeah i'm, I'm looking just, forward to this game suddenly um oh yeah just a fyi definitely one of those games where just Taking a taking a breath and just sort of getting immersed in it is a good way to go. Okay, good to know. Yeah, just, just let yourself sort of sink into it. All right, I mean that's really hard to do with the Twitch chat, but it is. You know, I okay. mean that's the, it's 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 one of those things where it's almost like I was planning on not streaming Scorn. I was planning on not streaming it. If I if I ever did play it, I was not going to stream it. I was going to play it on my own because again, mm. I I really do feel like based on what i've seen of the game they are trying to um create an atmosphere and yeah. i mean like that's that atmosphere is definitely one of the things that goes straight out the goddamn window when you're streaming something mm. because i i, I think, am fucking yeah i think that one of the ways that some games get over that hurdle like that make it more engaging is the mystery and i think okay. that and I think that Scorn has enough mystery that, like, even if you get pulled away, like, the 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 mysteries of the game will pull you back in. Mm -hmm. um, That's cool. That, I, that, it's, um, th that one works thing, on me. I'm very susceptible to that, yeah, honestly. Yeah. I'm very susceptible one, to that. One thing that uh, helped me, weirdly enough, is actually trying to figure out the logic of the world helped me solve some of the puzzles and figure out what to do interesting can i can, I, I just want to share with you a, a conversation that I'm, I'm i'm following in the chat yeah yeah uh dingus gambit they said oh scorn is good and somebody replied no it's terrible fred brainwashed mike into playing it to which dingus replied awesome and cygnus says <laughs> fred unironically <laughs> likes it though which is hilarious <laughs> It sure is funny when someone has bad taste, like down in the sickness. Down, what the fuck is that name? Down in the uh, down in the sickness. It, it's down like, was, with was the, the other one. The, the song is down, down with the sickness. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they couldn't even get the name of the song right. What the, like, <laughs> I do not, I do not trust, I do not trust the opinion of someone who fucks up the name of the song that they're named after. You would think you would like the song <gasps> oh. if you named yourself after it, but you just fucked it up. Oh, fucking it, bird. That is how little you value yourself? Bird. You should, fi you should, uh, um, fix it. You could probably fix it. He said, Joel pronounced it in once. Oh, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a Joel reference, basically. Okay, okay. Yo, Fred just scorned that guy. <laughs> it scorned him. <laughs> he got scorned. All right, one more I, of these. You know, you know what? That yeah. he said it that way once. It's a reference yeah. to an obscure Joel thing that, that is, he said. That's pretty but obscure. This is yeah. this is just another instance of I was just pretending to be stupid. Oh, scorn! I'm just pretending. I'm just pretending. Hell hath no fury like a Frederick scorned. <laughs> Doesn't explain misspelling sickness. Character limit. Check this one out, bud. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this one. I saved the best for last for you, bud. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, it's I knew you orgon. would. Yeah, I knew you'd like this. I knew it's you'd like this. It's fucking orgon. Yeah, I knew you'd like oh this. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a meaty one. Yeah, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. Oh. You want to tell? No. You want to teach? Tell? You want to tell Chad about orgon? It's nothing. 
It's no, nothing. It's, it's an energy that was first characterized by Dr. Wilhelm Reich in the 20th century. How could you say it's nothing? This energy has been known for millennia by cultures all across the world by different names, such as chi, prana, universal life force, and goop. Organ energy, harnessed in the proper, proper way, has the potential to transform your life spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally, so that you can express who you are and what you were meant to be. Well, doesn't that or sound <sighs> fucking too good to be true? Organ... Orgon was like a theoretical energy that is like, it's like a little bitch version of ether. So are, are you familiar with um, ether theory? The ether theory was something to do with like uh, an unseen force in the air. That was affecting Not things quite. like when they didn't have fucking an explanation for something like in the, in the, you know, the middle ages, they blamed it on ether. Um, no, you're thinking of miasma. I'm thinking, I am thinking, um, I am yeah. thinking of miasma. Yeah, or, or, um, e yeah. ether is different. So ether was a stopgap theory that tried to explain how light could move through space. Because okay. we understood that like, you know, there's space, there's stars, there are planets way out there, but somehow light is able to get to us. And up to that point, um, it was a general belief that, um, that, light was a wave it behaved like a wave like we could um it, it was proven in fact right like white light behaves like a wave um but it's weird right it's a little bit weird now a wave needs a medium through which to move so the theory was that there was an invisible matter in space called ether antimatter uh, through essentially. which light moved um it, it's not anti antimatter is is different it's a different um, thing this is this is just it's a very vague matter nobody really knew much about it and obviously it doesn't exist now we understand that space is a vacuum right yeah. there isn't physical matter in it and light has properties of both a particle and a wave which makes it very peculiar um but ether was basically a stopgap orgon to my knowledge was also kind of a similar thing except mm -hmm. people got really pseudosciency with it and like made a box to contain the orgon energy um it, it's it, it's bullshit i wonder how ether made its way into like every single rpg as like a fucking a, it's an kind item of weird right yeah how did that because it used to be that kind right of weird and then it also yeah. became like a fucking cryptocurrency uh, somehow Right? Is uh, that is that kind yeah, of yeah. It's related to related to it? So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's like typically the, the ethere the Ethereum was like space, right? Yeah, it's a space with ether. It's Greek um, for air. Somebody is saying, "Oh, yeah. all right, well, that's making sense." Well, it's nothing. Oh, that's perfect for a crypto. It's fucking nothing. But like, yeah, it's spelled A E. What about in the sense of like, because because in RPGs you are, I mean, it's got to be the etymology of it though, no? What um the, of uh, ether of the word ether ether yeah. it might be um I'm I couldn't tell you for certain because in the uh, in the RPGs you take you get this item it typically restores like your 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 mana or like your PP in Pokemon yeah, yeah. Like your 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 fucking action points whatever your magic yeah, yeah. points MP yeah. MP mana whatever the fuck but it's yeah, like if you if you've got Teleka PP but it's like you know I also vaguely remember some i guess like movies or like tv shows where ether was something you smelled it was like a chemical mm. of some kind right yeah that you would smell uh and it would like either wake you up or put you to sleep right it um I, i'm not super familiar with the properties of ether anymore it's what is, what is ether chat i might have known at one point it, it's you know what i'll look it up here Ether. Eh. What is uh, it? Here we go. A pleasant smelling, colorless, volatile liquid that is highly flammable. It is used as an anesthetic and as a solvent or intermediate in industrial processes. It's like basically an alcohol. Yeah. It, it, it's a whole class of compound, it says um, on, on Wikipedia. An oxygen atom connected to two alkyl or aryl groups. I don't know what those are. I, I I understand it's not a ether. It's a real substance. I understand. I understand that skull jester. I'm saying I'm 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 speculating on whether or not these words are all yeah etymologically connected to each other. I'll look it up here. You know. Ether. 
uh, in mythology. Fucked up in the, the club, drinking ether. Yeah, it's like it's like lean. In Greek mythology, ether is the personification of the bright upper sky. According to Hesiod, he was the son of Erebus and Nyx, so it's it's a god and a thing. Oh, okay. He's got any boons? He's got any fun uh, boons? I, I don't know. I don't know. He um, restores your pee-pee. He, he gives you good stream topics. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, speaking of which, steps. Number one, medi meditate with an organite pyramid in your hand. Direct your attention toward it. Feel and sense the energy emanating from it. The important thing is not to try to see it. Do not make an effort. But just feel as if it is already there because it is. How much you pay for that thing? Congratu- oh, at least $200. Mm-hmm. At you, least. You, you, you guys sell these? WikiHow? You got- All through this article, you're gonna give me a link? A I- Store page? I- I wonder. I bet- I'm willing to bet that there is, like, in the Q&A, someone asks, where can I buy an Organite Pyramid? And then, like, a specific place is given. We'll see like later. one place, one place. How do you think that thing feels in your ass? God, that slope is intense. It's going to spread quick. It's easy to make organite. You're telling me that's just not a piece of plastic? You can direct it toward any place, person, or time. Send it to different parts of your body for healing. You got to be so dumb to... Uh, you can directly feel the energy either by seeing or feeling it, depending on which sensory modality dominates. Some individuals can do both. The energy emanated from Organite is unlimited, so do not worry about running out of it. Use as much as you want. It gets replaced instantly. Oh, that's convenient. Boy, I sure am glad that that's the case and it's not a finite thing and it's everywhere and infinite. That's, that's, that's great. You want to take this? It's a lot of reading. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Communicate your intention to the organite object. Sickle Everything. to sickle communication. Everything right. has consciousness, from the smallest atom and even smaller to subatomic particles, to animals, plants, stars, solar systems, galaxies, and beyond. And beyond! From a cosmic intelligence perspective, we can see ourselves as subatomic particles. Wow. The oh, this is all within the parentheses. The structure of solar systems <laughs> yes, with one yes. central sun and planets <laughs> orbiting resembles the makeup of individual atoms with protons and neutrons at the center and electrons rotating them in orbitals. Okay, yeah, but what does like, that have to do with the, anything? No, the, the, the term orbital is kind of a, a misnomer. Like, electrons don't orbit. They occupy... Never mind. They, they, they don't know. No. A different... It's not... Because you're calling out their bullshit. It's... It, it, it's just pop science like they they saw a documentary narrated by uh, like Carl Sagan and they were like oh that's like the thing that I thought about the other day wow and then they were like there is resonance there but no because molecules or whatever atoms don't orbit the the, the fucking it's... electrons don't electrons don't orbit nucleuses they don't Skip over all this. How do I cast a magic missile? <laughs> a different solar system can be thought of as analogous to different types of atoms with different numbers of electrons and neutrons. Think about it. As above, <laughs> about so it. below. This, oh, fuck I think, you. I think, ev I swear to God, I've been ruined because I think about, um, I, I read that and I just think about Weed Mubarak learn life look at look at chat chat toyed think about it think about it <laughs> <laughs> talk to it out loud or in your mind as if you are talking to an old friend you have not seen for a while or whichever way makes you most comfortable yeah do that ask and do that Ask for healing, love, and light for yourself and all life that surrounds you. The Organite will appreciate being acknowledged and will emanate even more love towards you and you toward it's it. It's conscious now? I was going to say, the concept of every atom having consciousness is actually kind of horrifying. 
Is Isn't that it? what they're implying? That is horrifying. That, yeah. That's not what they're implying. It's explicit. They said, um, the, uh, 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 what is it? Yeah, everything has consciousness from the smallest atom to animals, planets, stars. That's this first and fucking thing they said. Yeah, I didn't, kind I, of terrifying. I, I, like, I didn't catch how fucking batshit crazy that was. Actually, I, for some reason, I just kind of like, I don't know, I guess I wasn't paying horrifying. attention. But that's fucking, yeah. In, that's insane. Yeah, and terrifying. I, I, I like what Space Vermin said. And they're all screaming. They're all screaming, yeah. They're all screaming in existential terror. Holy fuck. Where subatomic Re particles? I don't want to be a subatomic particle. Fuck this. <laughs> this is fucking cosmic horror type shit. Yeah. They're all screaming. <laughs> they're <Yeah>. all screaming. <laughs> fuck Re that, man. No, stop. So my chair is alive? It's like eating my ass right now, cherry? I don't want living in the I mean, inanimate objects. No, I don't want to be a subatomic particle. I hope when I'm reincarnated, I'm an atom in someone's anus. Uh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> right, that's, that's the implication, Great. Fred. You got to listen to this. Spiteful Crow says, Amazon has Organite water charging plants for $40 each. They are literally just coasters. Fred, what does that remind you of? The fucking... I, we don't want to talk about it because that we're going to do, we're going to be doing a, a Warren's episode on it. You still want to do that? Absolutely. Okay. All right. All right. Then I won't, then I won't, then I won't get into it. But yeah, yeah you, you know, I'm glad you remembered. I went to the exact same fucking yeah. place, dude. Yeah. Fucking crap. That is eerily, eerily similar to that. So FYI, everyone, um, the reason that we haven't done a new Warren's is primarily because I don't want to release a Warren's episode before the new Down the Rabbit Hole because that'll piss people off. It's like, where's the new it Down the Rabbit Hole? It would piss people off, yeah. Right? That's true. That's why I haven't released a lot of other stuff. Um, just because I know it would piss people off. Like, where's the Down the Rabbit Hole? Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, it's like Team Four Star Syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Breathe in this healing energy of love. See and feel it coming in through your nose and healing all parts of your body, mind, soul, and emotions. George R. R. Martin over here. I wish George R. R. Martin cared. <laughs> Look, she's going out. So she's like taking a shit on the lawn. Like to think she was talking to it and it was like, go shit on your neighbor's lawn. Do it. It was like chugalepsy. Chug Go shit on your neighbor's lawn. Chugalepsy. Holy shit, she is touching I, grass. Yeah, she is. She, so wait, S step three is litter. Litter? Oh, litter. Place organite around your community and any other places you think need healing. Yeah, that's fucking garbage. You're putting garbage like, all over the place. Buy our buy our pyramids pyramids for. for you know what? This is genius oh my God. because if someone buys an organite py pyramid for themselves, yeah. they're only spending $40. Yeah. But if you tell them to fucking put these little shitty whatevers everywhere, yeah. you, you tell them to like throw these things around, they're going to just keep buying them that, over and yeah, over. It's brilliant. And they feel like they're not only doing something good for themselves, they're doing it for their community. Which Amazing. is sometimes an e like they they already have one for themselves, but now they get the feeling of altruism for chucking plastic everywhere. Because that's what we need, right? More plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Altruism, and, and they're like you know forced altruism because it's not like I can be like, hey, can you stop? Is this resin? Yeah. Hey, I didn't ask. You. I'm, I'm walking out. I'm walking outside in the morning to go get my mailbox. Like I'm in my. I'm in like my, my socks. You know, I'm walking to the mailbox to get my mail, and it's like, what the? Oh fuck! Fuck! What I fucking step on? And I look down. And there's a stupid fucking triangle on my lawn. See, I went to a different place. I was like, I was thinking of opening up my mailbox and seeing an organite pure, like an organite pyramid, and then. Like inside the mailbox, turning around, and then my neighbor just has a shit-eating grin on. <laughs> yeah. Like, I did something good for you. You're welcome. It's like, what am I supposed to do with this hunk of plastic? This is terrifying. I'm calling the cops. Stay out of my fucking mailbox, you psycho. It's like, what do you want me to do? Sit on it? Holy fuck. <laughs> get off my goddamn lawn, you sick bitch. Dude, get this the fuck- Stop putting garbage all over my fucking lawn! Holy shit. <laughs> uh...
Someone in chat didn't know you were the rabbit hole guy. There's somebody who didn't. Uh, that happens you know what? sometimes, right? That happens. I, I actually, I actually like that. It's sort of validating. You like that, huh? I want, I want people to enjoy me. I want people to enjoy what I'm doing for its own sake, not because I'm the down the rabbit hole guy. That makes sense. Like I just want, I want to be entertaining on my own merits, yeah. not because I did something else that people like. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we feel about Red Vox. You know, it's like oh, I don't. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like it for yeah, and it and yeah, I mean, like it I, on its I, own merit, please. Yeah. I still put on like I have um, way back when we met, mm -hmm. um, Vinny handed me a copy of Another Light. He was just handed it to me. It was yeah, really yeah, sweet yeah, of yeah, yeah. He had CDs. Um, I remember. Yeah, too many it's games, still in so. my car. Yeah, it's still in my car. I I I put it on sometimes. You you have a CD player in your car? I have an old car. <laughs> Mm. Mildly old, mildly old. Yeah, I don't feel like they haven't been putting fucking CD players in cars in a long time. No, I um I, I had to get a Bluetooth radio, like, mm. uh, in order to like listen to podcasts from my phone on it. Um. All right, so we're calling the cops on her because she's putting these fucking things all over the place. It's creepy. It's weird. It's 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 fucking annoying. Also, guys, how much money is she spending on these? I mean, like, 40 like bucks a piece? 40 bucks a pop. Yeah, like you said, spreading them all, all over the place. Like, it's fucking... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, dude, you, 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 get, you get somebody hooked on this shit. Forget it. You're, you're, you're set for life. Oh, right. yeah. No, that, that's just constant. Um, Berry Organite Wait, Under hold, Trees. Wait, hold, hold on a fucking second. Were people in chat shaming me for having a CD player in my car? Yeah, they'll shame you for me. They'll, they'll, they'll fucking me. shame you for anything. You kidding Excuse me? Excuse me for taking care of my fucking car. Jesus they don't, Christ. They will shame you for fucking anything, dude. <laughs> they'll shame me for having a new car. They'll shame me for having an old car. Um... Yeah, they'll, they'll, yeah, they, they no, they would. They, they, you'll have, oh, carbon emissions. Oh, you know, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's not frugal enough. Oh, he, he, he's privileged. You know, it's like fucking, oh my God. Stop. There is no winning. You can't, you can't, no, you cannot win. That's what I've learned. You cannot fuck, you cannot mm -hmm. fucking win. Anything you do, anything you mm -hmm. do, anything you fucking do or talk about yep. or say is going to get, somebody will have a problem with it and criticize it right right i'm still not used to it <laughs> i got used to it a while ago I, I just accept it bury organite under trees their roots can absorb this energy and harness it for the greater good of all oh god that poison your trees with microplastics that everyone. stupid bitch is digging up our fucking lawn again but she's digging under the fucking tree sticking triangles under there She's sticking plastic under our tree again. Oh my God, people! What? What if it's a cover? What if someone starts doing this as a cover to? She's like people just know that she smells like loam, or and like soil because she's always digging and putting little fucking plastic pyramids underground, like in in the dirt, and then people just get used to it. So when they when they see her with a like when they see her with a shovel and smelling like dirt no one will suspect when she buries the body <laughs> fuck she's, she's just, conditioning she's, them yeah she's conditioning she decided she decided that their energy was too negative yeah so she's putting them back in the ground to absorb the good energy <laughs> of the earth yeah. And then she's a serial killer. She's a fucking Silence of the Lambs character. Yeah, holy fuck. <laughs> Her inspiration was Orgon energy. <laughs> Sandy loam with shit aggregate. I I love the word. She's lonely. I like how she's lonely. She's lonely. Yeah. She's lonely and lonely. Good, lonely is a good word. It is. I like that word. It's an underused word. Trees. I. Yeah. I, I'm. You know, you know why I'm thinking about this because I got into Dead by Daylight recently. Oh, did you? And uh, well, I I just got to play some in houses with uh, with some other streamers. Okay. And uh, I had a fucking blast with it, and I I was fun enjoying game, right? um, reading it look, the it lore. Like, it looks like it could them. be a fun game, yeah. Oh, it's fun as hell. Um, 
it is it is a profoundly silly game make no mistake it, it is basically tag mm-hmm. yeah but it but it, it is so much fun dude you should we should give it a try sometime for I, sure i i, I wouldn't be against checking out dead, dead by daylight yeah yeah, I, I would. I, I I'm thinking of getting some people together for some like casual in houses. Oh, sure. Like, would you be in for that? Yeah, yeah. Because there are I, a few I, people. I, like, I I, I'm thinking of yeah. inviting. I'm thinking of inviting a few people. Um, yeah. Of just like new players, right? Who aren't super familiar. Like, I well, I, I, never, I, I never have play, like I never played it before. Yeah. I have like four games, right? Like, I'm super new, but I can I can help show you show you guys the ropes. Um. Yeah, I'm down. Let me let me uh, let me read this this uh, yeah yeah, yeah let's go because you're gonna li- you're gonna like this. It's fun. Trees are conscious living organisms, and will share this abundant and unlimited supply of energy with all forms of life that they can. They're conscious. Trees. Tree. I am no tree. I am an end. If I could be any mythological creature, I'd be an end. You see that golem game. What the fuck happened with that game? I don't know. It's so fucked. It's so fucked. Yeah, but I it, love this, again, the screens, the stills from it are so funny. It's, it's it's not even good fuck. It's not good fucked though, you know? It's like it's not yeah, like, it's right. not like fun fucked. It, it's just ugly. It's an ugly like it's I'm, fucking I'm sorry. Hideous. The, yeah, I'm, it's I'm hideous. sorry. I know that I know that people worked really hard on that game, but it is an ugly game. It's fucking hideous, right? Holy shit. Like I feel bad talking about but talking that way about something that someone like put so much work into, but God, it is an ugly game. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know, I don't know. It's not a piece of art, man. I mean, okay, it, it, games are art, blah blah blah. blah. It's well, not a piece I, of art. Okay, it's, a pro- yeah, it's a product that they're charging money pe- out. that they're charging people money for. You're allowed to criticize I, I, it. Um, isn't it a full seventy dollars? I saw the devs' apology letter. Yeah, no, I, I thought I, it was it was fifty dollars. I thought is it fifty dollars? Okay. It's soft locked on Vinny as soon as he started. That's fucking amazing. They misspelled the name as Lord of the Ring Gollum. Holy shit. They don't That's even know so how to spell good. it. What the fuck? In the apology letter, they misspelled the name of the game. Well, I could play Scorn tonight or I could play Gollum tonight, guys. Oh Christ. What do you what would you rather you want, see, guys? You want good your badge. What would you rather see, chat? $70 for the I deluxe think, edition. You know what? Even if you don't like Scorn, even if you don't like Scorn, there is value in it. I feel like there is value in the experience. What kind Gollum of suffering just looks do you like want? a miserable experience. Well, it was just, they're saying, chat, they're saying it's boring, you know? Gollum is boring. And I mean, boring. like, maybe I, I could see people would probably say that about Scorn, too, Scorn being boring. But I mean, these games are not, yeah. these games have nothing to do with each other. It's just, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mike responds well to cock, so scorn. It is a very penisy game. It's penisy, right? Mm. All right, there's a poll if you want, chat. Oh, I, I, I may, okay. I may, I may not abide by the results of that poll. Just so you know. Um. Wow, I'm actually surprised but, at the but, results. I would have thought anyway. a lot more Gollum. But 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 participate anyway. Hmm. Place Organite in any nearby rivers or streams. Throw plastic in the river. Throw plastic in the river. Fuck the fish. <laughs> Throw plastic in the river. Fuck the wildlife. <laughs> Throw plastic Fuck the planet. In the river. This Are is about. This is about. No, it's not shitting you. This is about, you know, peace and harmony with the universe, and absolutely. Wrecking well, planet Earth in every well, way Mike, possible. You know, you know that as as bits of that pyramid fall off, like as as microplastics, they will become mm-hmm. a part of everything. Yep, they become a part of everything. You know, dude, d- you fuck. D- they're they're not wrong. They're yeah. not wrong. Congratulations the, on being technically correct. The water will easily pick up the P-O-E from the organite and transmute any D-O-E that it may be carrying to do with the what? In this way, know that you are healing Mother Earth immensely and for a very long time as, the, as, the, as these devices release an infinity and unlimited supply of energy. Wait, infinity <laughs> and Mother unlimited? Earth. 
You are healing Mother Earth by filling her with garbage. More plastic. <laughs> Fucking Christ. You, you know what Earth needs? More plastic. <laughs> More plastic. Fred, it's just like the camel toe problem. Oh, you know what will fix on. this I'm... problem caused by plastic? More plastic. Again, Fred, again. I'm looking at what... I, I'm making sure th that I know what Organite is. Like... She's pulling a Kefka. 69% for scoring. Nice. Like what? Someone in chat said that it's like resin, like plastic resin, and yeah, sixty nine yeah. percent for scorn. God, yeah. that is prodigious. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking. Uh, here we go. Wikipedia. I wonder. Uh, resin. Yeah, it's not saying, but an organite pyramid. Um. Composition. Maybe. Uh, it's a combination of crystal and metal in resin. Yes. Okay. So it's like, it is, so resin being plastic, I'm guessing? I voted Gollum just to get scorned to 69%. A Gollum like, really sucks that much, right? Well, it's, a, you know, a, a part of me w would want to play Gollum because it's like people are interested in it right now. Like nobody's interested oh. in scorn right now, you know? Here we go. Resin for Organite. Um... There it is. Paul, so from Oz Organite, polyester resin is currently the most widely used resin on the market due to the cheap price. Oh. Due to the styrene, it has a rather unpleasant smell. Fuck. I'm I'm going I'm going in. I'm going into the I'm going onto the website. I'm I'm risking my computer for this. Um here we go. Polyester resin. Yeah. Ah, it's, over it's the actually course of polyester. Time, we saw a Amazing. clear advantage over the epoxy resin in terms of price. Polyester resin is currently the most widely used resin on the market due to cheap price. Due to the styrene, it has a rather unpleasant smell that can still occur even after curing. What many don't know is that the styrene contained in polyester is hazardous to health. Styrene is emitted into the environment through an improper manufacture. And th these are... P these are organite people Th these are pseudoscience people <laughs> calling out other pseudoscience people by the way like uh -huh. this is th this is infighting uh-huh uh-huh styrene is emitted into the environment through an improper manufacture even after completion of the products this can be easily ascertained by an odor sample of the product however the odor does not necessarily have to be attributed to styrene residues so it can smell like shit without it being styrene is what they're saying. God knows why. Maybe the person who mm. made it stuck it up their ass before they sent it to you. No wiping. They were trying to By get some POE up their uh, ASS. Mm. That was pretty good. That was stupid. By special proceeding <laughs> By special procedures such as tempering the contained styrene and the odor produced by styrene are largely reduced. Another drawback in regard to quality in connection with polyester resin has been the durability of the hardened resin. We have made some of the first Chembuster polyester resins and observed significant cracks and cracks in the base after a few years. Chem so not only, not only are they plastic getting into... I, I can't help saying plastic. It also is doing it faster than other kinds. They have become so strong by the... Uh, wait. We have made some of the first Chembuster polyester resins and observed significant cracks and cracks in the base after a few years. These have become so strong by the influence of the different seasons, especially in the winter, that the bases of the Chembuster broke even further until parts of it fell off. This is why we advise against the use of polyester resin. There's some nice choking hazards for the turtles. These are... So, literally... It's so much worse. It's beyond just, oh, yeah, the plastics are going to leach into the environment. No, these things fall apart. Like in big chunks, yeah. In chunks, and then, yeah. Oh, dear. As conscious beings, trees, and wildlife are much more readily able to harness the energy from Organite because they have an innate understanding of this type of energy. Yeah, I'm sure that the, the, the fucking seagull is really going to appreciate that while he's fucking choking on it, right? Like I said, mm -hmm. the, the, that turtle who ate that and slowly asphyxiates from the fucking blockage in his esophagus is really gonna have, you know, an innate understanding of like why that's happening, right? Mmm, plastic mm. energy, poggers. 
Wow, like I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the seagull's gonna feel the energy of their the bile backing up in their stomach. Or, you want to read that? Yeah, sure. Okay, take it. Organite can communicate communicate across time and space. <laughs> I feel like that's all. That's what all communication does. All We're communication going to space, communicates Murph. across time and space, right? Like that's how we are having this call. Technical. That's how, I mean, that's how you, we're having this stream. Yeah, if you want to be, time. If you wanna be Every, technical, man. Everything is across time and space. Fuck you. Well, you can't. Oh, fuck off. You can't oh, talk eat. to me yesterday. You can't talk to the yesterday version of Jabroni Mike. That's not possible. No. You can't do that. But, no, like, I, we're communicating you across organize, time, you could. too. We're communicating across time zones and on a, on a fucking, like, two second latency. One second latency? Less. It's impressive. It's not bad. Organize, organize, and even even after I'm in Europe, we're still gonna have good latency, dude. Crazy. Like, because yeah, like the communication technology is fan awesome. Sicko to sicko communication. Hell yeah. Organize can communicate across time and space and is not restricted by our conventional notions of space time dimensions. Ooh. Just by looking at any pictures of Organite, you will be able to gain a sense of their power and vibrations. <laughs> what is this? Is this fucking Outer Wilds now? Uh huh. Are, yeah. are these? So are these making it out to be yeah. quantum? Uh, quantum Organite, Quant dude. God, fuck off. Essentially, the healing effects of Organite can and are transmitted just by looking at pictures of them. Aren't you feeling Try the energy just staring at that right now? Somebody in chat said, why is there a shitty, stupid, nasty, ugly, stupid resin pyramid on the phone? <laughs> You're not feeling the vibrations. You gotta let the vibrations no, no. get into you, dude. I feel them. You... I, I, I like the cop-out where if it feels bad, that just means you're not feeling it right. Right, yeah, it's such bullshit. That's the same thing with the binaural beats and the fucking uh, right. the affirmations videos, yeah. My oh, organite crystals right. are healthy. User My error. My organite crystals... Yeah. Try Skill looking issue. at... <laughs> Try looking at and focusing on different picture... On different picture of organite... And you will gain a sense of how each piece sends out its own characteristic healing vibrations. Want to hear something? I would or you want to see something funny? Yeah. Look at this picture. Okay. Yeah. Now look at these. Now look at this one. Hmm. Look at that one. Yeah. They're using different one. They use they use the different color to like fuck with you. To prove the point. All right. They use these are two are the same, but this one right right is different. Right. Right. Prove the point. I oh wow. So you can validate what they're saying Incredi while they're saying it, right? Incredible. Yeah. Very clever. Very clever. Uh you okay. You can be healed just by looking at pictures of them. Oh yeah, that works with my dick too. Can it of fix course, my neck? We... Please. Of course we can't just can't stare at a computer screen all day. So oh can you scroll down a little bit? So you gotta buy a forty dollar fucking rest. pyramid. Um uh, uh, of course, uh, so having one around us physically will help. The effects, however, are just the same. Well, then why fuck? Oh my god, fucking. Who the fuck is buying this shit? It's. Oh, look at this. Th this <laughs> look. No, th dude, this is crunchy mom shit. Yo, 5G is coming to the party. Bury Organite near cell phone towers and other large sources of EMF. Radiation. Any DOE that may be released is transmuted. And just like giant versions of your Wi-Fi routers at home, the cell phone towers are now broadcasting frequencies of love to your entire neighborhood and beyond. Don't bury anything near cell phone towers if it's illegal in your area. I was just going to say, like, you're going to get shot doing this. Like, now you're going to get fucking shot. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're fucking now trespassing and shit? Like, these, this is fucking private property. I guess... These people the have like se security teams protecting these and shit. You're going on a the you're going on a terrorist watch list if you do this. What did you bury near that cell phone tower? It's like what is this, right? Yeah, they'll grill you about, and there's like metal in it, of course, right? There's copper wiring, and they're like, "What is is this an IED?" No, I just like, wanted to spread this? DOE of love over the over the airwaves. Okay, yeah, you're going to Guantanamo Bay. We don't know what that means, but you're going to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, you're about to be DOA. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah. 
We don't know what that fucking means, but we're gonna find out. I like by waterboarding I, I, the I fuck like, out of you. I like the cop out of you want to spread love throughout your community, mm -hmm. but don't do it if it's illegal, right? Like it's a legal cop out, but like. If you have the opportunity to spread love through love. a cell phone tower, do you think petty laws are going to stop you? No, hell no. You got to get that love out there, man. You got to change the world. Mm -hmm. You know? Well-behaved people rarely make history. I think the idea is that the frequencies, the DOE frequencies, will block the 5G gayification waves. And oh, you will be able goodness. to, like, stop people from becoming gay, basically. Right. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I think that's the idea. Carry a piece of organite around you during the day. It will constantly be... Tra There's another one, by the way. It will constantly Yo. be transmuting any DOE you come across and emanate a positive love field of POE. Place some pieces uh, at your work desk or office. This is, how, like, you know, you have your, your co-workers come by and be like, Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's my um, Organite crystal. You should totally get one. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll get one. Right. Yeah, it's a marketing tactic. It's a marketing tactic. You carry right. it around with you. Yeah. yeah. It's advertising. The benefits the way of the that Organite. They... Yeah, sorry. Oh, the way that they capitalize love makes me think of Undertale. Ch chat, chat's right? saying like, the same what, what thing right mean? now. Yeah. Level of violence. The benefits of the Organite will be transmitted to all within its vicinity. Know that you are helping to make your workplace a friendlier and happier place. I can't wait to fucking, like, when one of my co-workers brings in an Organite crystal, and I fucking just pick it up and fucking yeet it out like a fucking seven-story window. And be like, oh, yeah, well, it, it didn't work. It's going, yeah, you, you chuck it out the window. And you feel it, the love? It sends love careening through someone's skull. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a short story you might like that I shared uh, a little while ago on stream. I uh, on stream, I think, called "Bullet in the Brain." Actually, very good. It's about something Sorry. careening into somebody's skull. A bullet in a good way. Oh no, no, but it is a very good story in a good way. Sure. What are they doing with animals now? Place an organite pendant or necklace, or even they sell little puppy puppy crystals. Those Puppy crystals, because we're not going to stop until we have exploited every member of your family, even the furry ones. Oh, they are absolutely trying to get you to buy them as gifts for everyone, right? You're, yeah. This targets weird yeah. ants who give yeah. you crystals at family reunions. Look at that horrible traced dog. Oh, that, that dog. I don't know what that crystal has done to that dog, but it is not good. <laughs> That dog is not okay. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, this way, they are being protected and helped at all times, too. Place one in your pet's bed. Dogs, birds, whatever. And around whatever. where they sleep. Animals understand Organite and its effects intuitively. Always remember to communicate your intention to the Organite. You only have to do it once. If you forget, do not worry. They know what to do. Then why tell us that then? You say that in the first place, man. I don't have to communicate anything to it then. I I, I remember I remember hearing um oh my like, God. seeing a video or something like here are here are dogs that are here are animals that are responding to super like animals are more sensitive to supernatural phenomena. Yeah. Here is like a cat batting at the air at nothing. Here's a dog barking at the air and clearly looking at something. And all I can think is, no, dogs are just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like do yeah, dogs just are just stupid. stupid. They're just stupid, dude. Oh my I, god, are you saying no this? My I love yeah. I love dogs. I love dogs. But dogs are stupid. They're fucking stupid. Yeah. So are cats. Cats are stupid. They're they're like dumb little gremlins. Oh, we I must love. we must have some sort of spirit spectral energy here. There's some kind of spirit in the house. Look, he's staring at the corner. Yeah, because his fucking like, brain is empty. Right. O Occam's Good. razor dictates like which is more likely that there is a complicated world of spirits yeah. and and specters yeah. that are haunting and influencing our daily lives in incalculable ways, or is your dog stupid? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Uh
Cleanse any crystals with the Organite, just as you would harness the energy of the sun or water to cleanse your crystals. With Organite, the cleansing takes place immediately and instantaneously. Oh, is this in case you got scammed by anybody else? Well, don't worry. These, these things can coexist, right? Okay, good. Don't worry, you didn't get scammed by two people. If anything, you got scammed once, but don't worry. We can unscam your previous scam. Right. Or something. It's like, I, oh, it's like building off of other scams. Yeah, it's building Fuck. off of other scams. It's quite, it's quite brilliant, actually. <laughs> the upper deck with Organite! Upper deck, your Mike? friend's ha upper, <laughs> upper deck, your friend's bathroom with Organite. <laughs> You got a protector there. <laughs> uh, they, they're gonna they're gonna claim that it helps with your bowel movements. <laughs> they're gonna claim it helps you shit good. <laughs> yes. Put it in the toilet like the piece of shit that it is. You know, your, Fred, your shit mites innately understand the positive benefits of the organ. <laughs> your shit mites innately understand the be the benefits. Uh, intu they understand its effects intuitively. <laughs> also, make sure you got a plumber on speed dial. Fuck. Right? Make sure you got your fucking plumber on speed dial if you're gonna use this tactic. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't expect- you didn't expect to see it in the toilet. I didn't know. No, either. no, I- I- <laughs> Yeah, just- Buy this for forty dollars and put, put it, it in the shitter. Put it in the shitter! Please! It's great. Well, they're telling you to bury them and throw them in the fucking river, why not? Place a you piece know. of organite or any quartz crystal in your <laughs> toilet tank. This way, you are generating a positive flow of organ <laughs> energy with every flush of the toilet. Are they actually, okay, now actually just, when it's draining, it's a negative flow. <laughs> now they, <laughs> 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 what happens if it's in Australia? <laughs> you know what, Fred? Theory? They are now making, f like, openly mocking the people they're selling these to. <laughs> They're now openly mocking mocking their fucking customers at this point. There, there's no there's no way they're fucking serious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. Fuck. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Fred can't breathe. Yeah, he's fucking. He's dying. I just, I just see the fucking pyramid in the in the fucking upper deck of this toilet. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> just fucking just throw it in there. Just throw, it's fucking just, good. Just yeah. Plug it in there. <laughs> uh, quick, quick, get him some organ. <laughs> the picture is harming his energy. Energies. No, it's giving him its healing energies, right? Uh, fuck. Think of your toilet and all God water flow it. in your home as your own personal stream of consciousness. Stream both of literally God. and figuratively. They really Stop wanted to say, like, every time you doing. take a piss. Yeah, every time you piss. That's the on said part. That extra Every time kick we of... piss, I get the feeling. <laughs> uh, that extra I feel kick your organ. in my ass. That extra kick of positive energy given by the organite will be spread all over the uh. world. As all streams of water and consciousness are interconnected. I think I'm that's just... tapping into that theory of like when you drink water, that the water you drink was once <sighs> in uh, Abraham Lincoln's bladder. Right. 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 I, that's I, true. Now, now all I'm thinking about is a woman with a bag full of these pyramids going into like a public toilet. And just opening the top of each of them and like plunking a pyramid in. Someone walks in needing to shit. And they see her just 
dropping a pyramid in and she just she's got a poncho on right like <laughs> like the kind of kind of leathery skin white right like white with yeah, very leathery skin yeah, and like clearly yeah. bleached hair uh like like the hair is damaged from the bleach she's got a little and she spray just, like, tan looks she looks at you and gives you a smile the kind of smile where her eyes don't like no she squints Fred, her eyes a Fred, lot the smile is, is the is the froggy the froggy emote it's the fro yeah it's the froggy <laughs> emote she emperor's new grooves great. up over the tank and drops in the pyramid from height. Ba, da, da, da. And then these ba, people ba, ba, da, da. that own this building or like work in this office, right? Where this office building, right? They notice mm -hmm. that like perpetually they're having so many problems with the toilets. Like they have to keep going in there and like yeah, like, like calling plumbers and like spending tons of money to unclog the toilets and shit. And like you keep something keeps going wrong with like the flushing mechanism and shit. It's because right. fucking once a week this dumb bitch keeps coming in here and just fucking dumping these into the toilet. Right. Hold, like right. perpetually. Right. Right. Like just dunking plastic in there. It's like. Okay, no, there are two possibilities. Either the boss comes in and is like, okay, who the fuck keeps putting plastic in, like, in the toilets? Or the boss is doing it. Or the, exactly. <laughs> or the boss is the one doing it. Like, one of those bosses that demands that everyone in the office do their pseudoscience thing. Yeah, partakes in their stupid bullshit. Yeah. That is a whole thing. That is a whole thing. That's fucked. Um, uh, take a bath with organite and uh, other crystals placed in the water. You I laughed so hard. Hmm? I laughed so hard that I hurt my soft palate. <laughs> Fuck. Good. I know. I know that that's happened to me before. Fuck. I know what you're talking. Yeah. I, where where uh, it hurts like way back there. I'm so sorry for just fucking losing it like that. It was fucking funny. What are you? It was, <laughs> it was, no one blames you. It's... You scrolled down. There's a fucking little pyramid in the, yeah, the, the upper it was deck of a It toilet. was very unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> How do uh, toilets keep featuring in in this I don't know. house stream? I don't know. My week has been like this. The theme of the week has been fucking toilets on this Twitch channel. Actually, Ugh. take a bath, uh, Dead Sea or Himalayan salt crystals, as well as bentonite clay for a relaxing, soothing, detoxing. There's that word, an energizing detoxing, effect. Yeah. Add some essential oils for an especially special experience. Especially special. A <laughs> specialized special experience. This is one of those cases where the 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 adverb is working against you. Yeah. The um, it's like a, it's like a kind of a there is such a thing as like a bad alliteration, and we just found it. Um, yeah. You have the organite crystal in the hot bath with you, um, breaking down the microplastics faster and allowing mm -hmm. them to directly enter the pores of your skin through the water. Oh yeah, very and like all the chemicals are leaching out yeah. of it as well. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Love this. Mm. Yeah. Love this. Tape or glue a piece to the wind catcher on a wind chime and feel the organite go into resonance <clears throat> and harmony God. with the natural sounds of Mother Earth and spread that energy as far as the ear can hear. These people should be fucking executed. <laughs> Like, like, think, like, fucking, like, against the wall. Like, this is fucking, they're, th this is fucking, cr what they're doing is criminal. This is fucking criminal, dude. I'm sorry. This is manipulative. Oh. This is fucking rancid. This is fucking harmful. This is sc scammy and scummy. I think that the weight of it also is going to reduce how much it chimes as well. Oh, like, yeah. I did, you could very didn't well look attach the fucking that picture. and then... That's Look at that. Stupid. That's that's not going to make sound. It's not going to make sound. Obviously not going to make sound. No. Use a modified organite wind chime indoors. Place it in front of a fan and you can have that beautiful and healing melody night and day. Imagine Yay. living with somebody who was into this shit. Would, I mean, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Deal breaker. Instant deal breaker. Like, you look at that and you're like, hmm. Like, the, the whenever you, whenever you, like... You go back to someone's place, right? You see something like this. The question that you have to ask yourself is, do I think this is a phase? Okay. They could grow out of it. They could smarten up. Right. Yeah. Here's the other question. Is this sex going to be worth it? <laughs> you know? Oh, fuck. Like, right. Like, because this might attach you to something, to their... 
they might they might start thinking, oh, we have had sex. That means we are now resonant. So no, Chad it means said, we had sex. If I had sex with someone and then found out they were into this shit, I would ask for my comeback. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my comeback. Organite dildo? Well, as somebody in chat has been trying to remind me, again, uh, the person was adding me, like, constantly. I didn't read it because I, you, I, you didn't do it at a convenient time, and I didn't want to interrupt Fred. Fred was talking. But the, the, the etymology of the word organite appears to have a root in orgasm. Oh. Cool. So, I mean, like, maybe that is... It's all connected, maybe, right? Oh my god, I'm... See, like... I want, I want to see this expand out. I want to see, like, organite sounding rods. Dude, I want to see, like... Replace your teeth with organite ones. Organite dentures. Oh, organite, my God. Organite yeah, grill. And, and, organite yeah, grill Yeah, you know how you know, some people get ice. Yeah, ice yeah. on their teeth. It's ice like, on no, your no, teeth. No, no, organite, organite ice. Yep. Mm -hmm. So every time you talk, you are vibrate Like, the vibrations of your voice it's become sending vibrations out love. of love. You're sending out love yeah. every time you rap. And you fucking mm -hmm. and you diss somebody and like you you every time you diss somebody in your rhymes, love is going out, right? Mm-hmm. Every time I insult one of your chat members, <laughs> love. Place a piece of organite underneath your pillow. Your sleep will be restful and energizing. Except for, you know, when you fucking find a hard piece of plastic in the yeah, back no, of your fucking skull. Yeah, no, look look at it jamming into the pillow. Like you're gonna feel that through the pillow. Like, you don't have to be the princess from the princess and the pea to- Oh my fucking god. Eat the organite. Use a cheese grater to get trace amounts of organite into your food. No, no, Str are you sick of trace amounts of, of organite yeah, yeah. in your food? Time to up the ante. <laughs> it's time for the mi the macro plastics to come out to play. <laughs> 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 this cannot be real. Oh, no, it is. It is. <sighs> Place a piece of organite in your fridge. It will make your food last longer. That is a fucking claim right there. And taste yeah. be and taste better by charging it with P-O-E. Okay. I have a... Th Hear me out. Mm -hmm. What if a test was actually done with one of these and it was shown to increase the shelf life of food? But then they did tests on the food and discovered the reason they were preserved was because of the chemicals yeah. in the plastic, like leaching out and then be into the air and being absorbed into them. It's like the food be being preserved on naturally is not necessarily a good thing. It can right? be like, like there, there are plenty of ways to preserve food that are fine, but yeah. like... If if I put one of these things in and my food actually lasted longer, I would start getting suspicious. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's not. Like, I'd, uh, I'd be looking side-eyed at that thing. Um, fucking, fucking microplastics, dude. Uh, oh no, it's literally it's, like this whole article is just telling you to litter. Stand by me. Stand by me. If you live near the train tracks, throw a piece somewhere close by. Organ energy is the precursor to electrical heat and other types of energy. <sighs> Make sure you place it uh, right on top of the rail. So when the train derails as a result of uh, running over it, you kill as many people as possible. Oh, this is how the um, the disaster in Ohio happened, right? Organite, yeah. The East, Pal <laughs> East Palestine Organite incident. Uh, the electricity running through the tracks are analogous to man-made streams of water. In this case, water equals electricity. The POE will be carried along the network of the tracks to all the connecting tracks. Think of the effect this can have in large connection systems, such as the subways in New York City. Oh, you want to... Dude, we have enough litter problems down there, man. Come on. Right. Additionally, any trains running over the vicinity of the organite will absorb a lot of the POE and distribute it to the passengers, making that making for happier city inhabitants. Bro, this is a fucking like Batman plot. This is Joker like fucking filling these fucking the, these these little pyramids with like fucking poison. 
I put organite into the water supply. And then, and then, like, <laughs> and then, like, somehow scamming, like, del like scamming people into buying it and putting it everywhere through like some kind of weird fucking cult, like pyramid scheme bullshit. <laughs> pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. You get, you get what I'm saying though. Yes. Like, dude, like, uh, go put it in public places. Make sure you hide it so nobody sees what it is and gets suspicious. And it will. Right. It will. It will have. It will spread happiness. No, it's giving everyone cancer. Like the world's stupidest geocache. Right, right, right. It, it's Riddler tier shit. Literal, uh, uh, literal pyramid scheme. Literal Riddler tier shit. Literal Riddler. I, you, you know, I, I feel like the argument they would make is, well, I mean, look, we need the organ crystals to balance out all the human feces in the subway. <laughs> Literal, literal, try to say literal Riddler like 10 times fast. Literal Riddler, Riddler, oh fuck Nah, you already, you already bit. You're, you're gonna bit. make me say a slur. You're bit. Alright, stop. Don't say, don't say slur, please. <laughs> um. Oh, that's some shit. Place a couple of small pieces on the blades of your ceiling oh fan. The God. spinning will create an organ vortex an organ. spinning to the sky and earth and is a very powerful healing method oh until it, you know, God. gets until it fuck the tape breaks and the thing flies off and lodges the organ deep into your fucking eye socket. Right. I my initial thought was why are they taping pogs to the fan? Destabilize your fan so it falls on your head. Tape a piece to oh your shower Oh my god, you're, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you're right, because, like, if that disc is heavy enough, that's gonna throw, like, throw off the, the balance, and yeah. it's gonna start, yeah. Yeah, they the, will destabilize it, and this thing will fucking go wonky, yeah. and it will fucking get broken, it'll break, and, and, and fall. Yeah, the organ vortex is going to go straight through your skull. Given enough time. Uh... Tape a piece to your shower head. This way, every time you take a shower, you will be bathing in organ energized water. Uh... Reiki is versatile. What's that now? And can be applied to many different fields. It is important Reiki. to identify your intention for the practice so you can find a teacher who can guide you to pursue and achieve those goals. What, what, what is it? You were trying to answer me. Oh, Reiki is just kind of a... It, it's a pseudoscientific practice of moving energy throughout the body. Um, as, as might be expected, it has... Um, it has placebo benefits. Um, they're... It's very stuff like this is very popular among nurses. I've noticed. Really? Why do you think that is? Yeah, like like stuff like Reiki. There are tons of Reiki practicing nurses. I think it's because nurses sometimes get frustrated because like they're the ones who are actually dealing with the patients and Not like the they have the connection with the patients. Uh, but but it's the doctor that gets all the credit. And so there's some like I I, I suspect that there's a little frustration there. Mm -hmm. Like and and there and there is some reason. Like it's reasonable to be frustrated because the doctor like isn't there most of the time when right. when the patient really needs something they're just there to like make the diagnosis for the most part um the nurses feel like they want to do more to help the patients sometimes I think, yeah but but the problem is they can a only nurse do so much often a, a nurse doesn't typically have nearly as much education right of course um and, and so but but they have way more practical experience right oftentimes right yeah, because right. they're actually fucking there yeah. doing the fucking like shit Mm -hmm. Right, they're actually they're actually the one physically taking care of a person. They're administering, um, and, and so I th I think that maybe it, it's a desire to want to help more, and un like understand. And maybe this is just a theory, right? I like it, but it is very common. This sort of shit, like one whatever the explanation is, this shit is so common among nurses. Never, never would have known that. Didn't know that. Yeah. Um, they're overstressed frequently and want to look for yeah, anything. Yeah, nurses are, <laughs> nurses are run fucking ragged. To the nurses the stress. get the short end of the stick consistently. Um, they work so, nurses work so fucking hard. Yeah, it's crazy. And they it's get paid, they, and they, they don't, I, they definitely don't get paid enough for what they do. Yeah. Like, like, there's please, no, there's please, no way. Please do not take, please don't take my, like, assessment as, like ragging on the profession of, of nursing. No, of course like, not. No, no, nurses are incre like, incredible. They have to, you have to have an amazing amount of pa like patience and like, yes. and like grace to do what they fucking do. Yes. Like, so yeah, I, and, I know I could tell you I'm, for a fact I'm not capable of anything near that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like, holy shit, dude. 
fucking dealing with fucking patients shitting, changing bedpans, shit poop, pee, washing people's disgusting bodies all day, and then getting yeah, nurses, treated like shit by these fucking ungrateful pe scumbags. Nurses be like, I like poo, pee, piglet, Thomas, Thymus. <laughs> you gotta be um, strong too. It's extremely physically demanding. You're working long fucking hours, really long hours. I don't even, yeah. I, I don't think most yeah. nurses, most nurses probably do not make six figures. No, fuck no. Are you, are you kidding Not me? even close. Fuck no. That is fuck what no. I, if you ask me, a nurse should fucking start at six figures for that job. That is God, a six, that right. is a six figure job. No question. One, oh God. And, and, and easy. And, that is easy. A it, six figure job in my it, opinion. It is, it is a thankless job too. Yeah. yeah. That like, should start like people... at like 90K a fucking year. Dude, I, I, I have nurse. known should... and know a number of nurses, and the, the shit that they put up with, with yeah, shitty it's crazy. Mm -hmm. is the worst. I've heard some horror stories, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, look for a teacher who specializes in the field you are interested in. Do your research. Not all Reiki masters are the same. Not all Reiki sessions feel the same. Then pursue the legal requirements for practicing Reiki. For example, if you plan to touch clients, you will need a license to touch. Do not touch me unless you have a license to touch. touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. I touch, touch your leg. Touch. I, I touch. Do not touch your leg. What is that from? Touch your leg touch. is from touch. one of those HBO documentaries about the hookers on the point. You ever see that? Fuck, no, I've heard of it, but I haven't Hook, seen it. Hookers on the Point it is a documentary that followed prostitutes in the Bronx. And right, yeah. there is this one fucking scene that me, me and my friends were fucking stoned one no, day and no, we were watching it. you did it. tell me about this. You did, you told yeah, yeah. me about this. They're in the back of a car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the, yeah. the, the fucking documentary makers gave them microphones to take into the cars. So when, like, the prostitutes are, like, you know, fucking guys and everything, they could, you, you yeah. hear it. They don't film it, but they, they got the audio. And... Mm -hmm. The, the 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 woman is is like listen if you're gonna if you're gonna fucking t uh, like touch my asshole you gotta pay more, you know, and he's like I didn't touch I did not do I did not touch your your asshole I did not touch it and she was like yes you did he was like no I touch I touch your leg I touch no I touch I touch your leg I touch no I touch your leg and he just kept I repeating touch and me and my friends were stoned and just laughing at that so hard for some reason I don't blame you uh, anyway uh, let's take a look at the Q and A here. Uh, oh, there isn't any because right. this is fucking insane. Okay, good. good. You know what? You know what? Faith in humanity Ooh, slightly restored. Tips, 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 tips. Oh, yeah, that's fair. The or If Organite is out of your price range for now, try printing out a picture of one. <laughs> the effects will be similar to, to if you had a piece of physical Organite. Then why fucking buy it? Right. I said that earlier. If Organite is out of your price range, uh, take out a small loan from the bank. Listen... Listen. Preferably with high interest. Okay. I know this sounds reasonable, but if if this if a person cannot afford an organite pyramid, then they're not going to be able to afford a fucking printer. Yeah, good Have point. Have you seen the fucking market for printers? It's insane, right? The way that they like squeeze every last little dollar out of you yeah. for every last little proprietary bit of plastic. The in fucking, their fucking car printer. The cartridges are like sixty dollars a pop. Yeah. The ink. The fucking ink to use it. They're scum. They're fucking scumbags. Mm -hmm. They can go to a cyber cafe. Uh... Placing a picture of yourself in or on the organite will increase the healing effects that it specifically channels toward okay. you. Essentially, it will also always be connected to you and it will constantly be channeling healing energy and protection toward you. I, I just imagine... Um, I, I imagine them taping it to their fucking head like it's... Uh, like, like they're a jumping vampire. Like a Chinese jumping vampire. I'm forgetting what they're called. Shit. What is it called? What is he talking about, chat? Hold on, someone in chat's gonna know what I'm talking about. Jiangxi. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. As, uh, if you are making your own organite, place a picture of yourself, however tiny it needs to be, inside of the resin to have it permanently connected to you. Oh my god. Could you imagine, like... 
doing that and then dropping that Organite like into the Mariana Trench and like you are experiencing the crushing effects of all of that pressure always and the worst you, case you, you scenario is it does exactly what you want you just gave me a new phobia a new phobia like someone's gonna put a curse on you yeah and drop your picture someone's and... gonna drop my organite into the mariana's trench and and, and mm -hmm. fucking my thalassophobia is just gonna fucking go mental right or and i'm not even like... gonna know why you know like, or, or they like drop it off in chernobyl fuck, and then i get the radiation poisoning right yeah like the effects like oh i don't feel so good um this is profoundly fucking stupid fred i kind of can't believe how stupid it is all right. if you want also also place pictures of loved ones family there are two also's pets friends people and or places that mean something to you and you want healing for as well mm -hmm. this will make healing work much easier for the organite and for you you can dedicate one piece of organite for a specific person or have each one contain many pictures the effect will be the same as organite contain same as organite they're missing a comma as organite contains unlimited energy mm -hmm. if you already have a piece of organite and you are not making any simply tape or glue a picture of the person you want healing for on it it's like voodoo or hot something. glue is... gun hot glue it this yeah is... no th this does feel that way i all i'm all i can think of is like you put all the a bunch of pictures of people into one and they like come together and they, they, their bodies just melt the into thing, one another homunculus like, yeah it, it's it's like the the circus clown chymus in the mystery flesh pit this is kind of sad i felt better when i thought these people didn't exist <laughs> i wonder you know what uh -huh. now now when i walk like when i go on walks now I'm going to be looking for, like, organite bullshit. Yeah, keep an eye out. Sitting around. Left eye twitching for females. What astrology says about eye twitching. Man, this, this is, is so fucking brain dead. This is, this is such <sighs> a, a well of bullshit, dude. Like, uh, we could get deep into this. Yeah, I could sit, see that. Be careful putting organite in appliances or near moving parts. Like a train. Yeah. <laughs> like a train. Train would be Fuck. a really good example of... Yeah, it would be a bad place to put it, huh? Yeet the organite into the active turbine of a plane. <laughs> the positive energy will be spread over wherever the plane goes. I am... Oh my god. What if some motherfucker, like, hot glued it to, like, the inside... The intake of a... Of a turbine. And it gets oh sucked in. Oh my god. Alright, listen. We got... We actually have more articles. You want to see? Like, you, you you don't want to keep looking at these. You want to get move on to scorn. I am happy with, dude. I'm here for the ride. You're here for the ride. I'm here for the ride. Cause I'm, I'm like, happy with whatever I, I mean, you like, do. look, we we got we got we got more. Like, we got this. Yeah. How to tell you tell your girlfriend she's fat? Like we don't <laughs> have we don't have to scorn. We could just keep doing this. Do you want chat? Do you want to just keep doing this? Cause, cause it, I, there are more here. They just, they, they just get dumber. How to tell tell your girlfriend she's fat? See how to deal with camel toe. Fred, maybe fuck scorn because I, I, I don't, I don't, I think this is. I, people are here for this. I don't think they. You want, you want to save that for? You want to save scorn for another night? I think so. Yeah, dude, think dude, that. we we could do it in one go probably. Like I said, it's a six hour game. Dude, a six hour like, game. We could, we could just do that in a whole stream. Like especially if like especially if i'm helping you and you get stuck fuck yeah, yeah. no yeah, yeah. no we can, we, that's a one night game that could be its own fucking thing scorn yeah absolutely yeah, one yeah. shot let's do it yeah, let's yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, fuck scorn fuck scorn yeah we'll do we'll do scorn later um yeah so this 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 is this is psychotic uh how to tell your girlfriend she's fat if your girlfriend has gained some weight you may be wondering how you can talk to her about making a change without hurting her if you do you want to address the subject? We'll show you how to do it with love. We'll also teach you how to help your girlfriend lose weight without talking about the problem directly so that you can avoid putting her down accidentally. Read on to learn how to handle this delicate topic with tact and respect. First impressions, bud. Hmm. First impressions. 
Free, I know it gives you a big yucky feeling. I get a yucky feeling I'm from like, this. Yeah, you get a yucky feeling. I'm like... Very yucky feeling. I feel... Anytime... Anytime something like this comes up, right? Talking mm -hmm. about some about someone's appearance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or saying like they are somehow deficient. Mm -hmm. I I think I have some bad personal experience because I've had a friend to deal with a partner who like was really bad about this. Yeah. Uh, that's fucking and so that's I'm, rough, I'm, man. That's rough. I, I I will admit that I am rather biased in this way. I think that it is reasonable to like care they were about the well-being they were constantly needling the partner about how they looked right yeah that's fucking I, that's 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 it like not it, good it was fucked i mean i'll it, it it's obviously per it, it's private but like, yeah you don't have to give us fucking names here man in short i want this guy's that. social security number so he, here's the problem here's the problem that i always come back to i understand earnestly caring about the well-being of a partner right like yeah. wanting someone to be healthy. Yeah, of course. Right. Especially especially if they've um, expressed dissatisfaction at it. Yeah. Right? Like I can get that. Then then you although this is different, right? This is telling your girlfriend. Like here here's here's the problem. Yeah. Here here is the key problem. Mm -hmm. If she is fat, she probably already knows. Like, you don't right. need right. to tell her. Right. Right. Right? Like, she knows. Like, tell it. It's what not going to do. You, she's right? not going to be like, I'm fat. She, you know, right. she's like, what do you mean this I'm is a, fat? This is a revelation that I hadn't, that hadn't occurred to me. I'm fat, really. Oh, tell me more about this, how I'm fat. Right. Like, <laughs> this, what are you communicating? Like, oh, I hadn't they, noticed. Oh, I hadn't know. noticed that that, that, that that all these things are, are are an inconvenience for me. I I I hadn't noticed, you know, fucking people giving me shit and looking at me like, you know, looking at me fucked up. I I haven't noticed yeah. like the inconvenience of you know fucking you know look what's going on with like airlines and stuff. Oh no, I hadn't noticed any of those things. I, I guess this is like, news to me. I I guess like. It's, this is a very specific part of it. And of, and of course there are exceptions, right? Like mm. we're, we're not going to, I'm not talking about exceptions here. I think, I, I think if a, per, and if a person doesn't, and here, and if a person doesn't notice mm -hmm. that, that they are over or, or they don't remark on it, there are two possibilities. Either they know and they're not worried about it or they don't know, but they're comfortable in their body. Okay. So there are barring some extreme circumstances that I can't conceive of at the yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that there are circumstances that chat is certain to let me know about immediately and how I am an uneducated swine for, for not knowing, right? You're a fucking but, bad person. For not knowing. <laughs> I'm you're, a bad person. You're a bad, I'm a bad person. person for it, right? Bad person um, because something that you never conceived of exists. Right. right. Beyond that, there's not much purpose, right? To Fred, what? To doing? You the, are bad. To doing this, like just to doing this in general. To to doing this in the first place, right? Like, I think the central conceit that this is something you should do mm -hmm. is flawed already. Yeah, I mean, like you don't, you don't. This is this isn't needed to do this. Like you said, she knows she's she knows she's overweight if right. she's got a weight problem. Right. You know what I mean? I I, I, I think that um, so so many chats said, well, it sneaks up on you. I mean, like it can. I, but... I, I I don't know. I, I mean, like I I I'm gonna say the overwhelming majority of people are aware of what's happening with their own fucking body. You know what I mean? Like, if if, if somebody was gonna fucking come and tell, dude, it's it's it, it's the way it's phrased too, right? It's it's not like, you know, how to tell your girl. Look at the fucking title of the of the article: How to tell your girlfriend she's fat. Right, and what is they? I think what? that there are implications. That Fred, did you know you are a bird? There Shut are impl there are um, implications. Yeah, there's, there's, the, the, yeah, because the implication that the unspoken truth here is. How to tell tell your girlfriend she's fat, and you don't think that's okay? That's the hidden there, part you, of you, this you, title. You 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 nailed it. 
how to tell hidden part your girlfriend she's fat and how and why um this is an inconvenience to me or like this is um I, I, and i don't find it attractive i i have a very strong opinion about about relationships yeah um and that is that when you enter into a relationship with yeah. someone you are accepting one another as you are and through the relationship you are helping each other become closer to the people you want to be that's right you are like, that's what if, that's what a relationship you, is yeah. if you are helping your partner change you are helping them change in a way that they want to change yeah. mm -hmm. so something like this tells me you you want them to change, but not for themselves. For you. For you. And this guy has no um, communication I, skills whatsoever. Right. This and relationship like, is yeah. I I to me that is prof like that is profoundly not okay because relationships require compromise. That is like that can happen. Like that happens, right? Sometimes someone says, well. One person wants something, the other person wants the other. One person wants it much more than the other. Like, it matters much more to one person than the other oftentimes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, like, you see that, and it, and it's fine, right? And and if it's not fine, you work it out. And if you can't work it out, then there's something fundamentally wrong. Um, and it's then the relationship probably is is not great. Uh, like, maybe maybe it needs to end, right? Yeah. But in this case... This person is saying, you need to change for me a fun, like something about yourself. Physically. Like, you physically, like yeah. something that is as like, that is very close to being intrinsically what you are, your fucking body, right? Like it is, it is a component of just your being. Yep. So I think that the conceit of this article right off the bat is fucked. Yeah, you 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 put into words something I I, I would never would have been able to to, like I said it, it I I said it, it made you know it made me feel yucky, but I didn't exactly like I wouldn't have been able to verbalize why right it's so eloquently but you really nailed it I oh yeah I me do word me me do word do to word make good. money do word good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I, I guess I've also is this like, I, I have I have a lot of, I, I have I have a lot of experience with this kind of thing too right mm -hmm. and so I'm speaking from experience partially both seeing and like experiencing it um I mean it's like I don't I don't fucking feel like If it, if it were me, like I'm trying to put myself in the in the in the in the position, like yeah, in the position of, you know, I'm the one who is being told. I'm 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 gender swapping this basically, and I'm right, sure. and I'm yeah. and I'm fat. Um, I get I guess I understand like okay, so if I'm dating somebody and like you know her her preference is that I'm not that I that I'm thinner, right? I'm not gonna be like fuck you. You know, on the flip side, I'm not going to be like, fuck you. I'm going to be like, all mm -hmm. right, well, I, 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 I understand that. Like, you're allowed to have preferences. You're allowed to like, you're allowed to like what you, what you like. Right. And I, I'm, you know, I mean, like, I, I think there's a, I, I think there is a way to have that dialogue and communicate something like, well, this is what, you know, this is what I find attractive. This is what I don't find attractive without right. it being like, you know, this fucking thing. You know what I, I mean? I think. I think I don't know, that, does that between make sense? two, does... I think that between two people who trust each other with each other's emotions and are sensitive to one another, there is a healthy conversation that can be had. Yeah. If you like someone and you say, "Well, but you know, physically, like if you are not physically attracted, or or you are not as physically attracted to to someone who is overweight, like that's that is just something that's a part of you, right? Like I can't tell you to go and like change that part of your brain. 
right that that is just a part of you okay and if and if that's what, not communicated too then that could also right. be something that damage that's 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 not healthy yeah, either you, right like th yeah the, the, what hurts is like you sometimes it's scary because like sometimes this is something you feel like you need to communicate but yeah. it sucks to say that right like you're overweight i don't find i don't find that as attractive yeah. that hurts right like yeah. that can be scary to do it can hurt both people because the person saying it doesn't want to hurt their partner and the person hearing it feel like doesn't want to be unattractive to their partner. Um, but I think like there are eventualities where like the, the person, uh, the overweight person can be like, oh, well, I like, I can get thinner. It, like, sure, right? Like I can get more fit. Um, and then, and then at that point, it's like the, the response might be, would you help me with that? Right? Like I wouldn't mind being more fit. And if it matters to you, like if, if it's something, if, if the per if if the person hearing it like receiving yeah, this yeah. says um says okay right that is possible right like i i would like to be more fit from for myself for you sure although fitness fitness and weight can be very different things right that's like, true obvi yeah, obviously that's true. like yeah. obviously that th this this is this is complicated i'm not saying that the two are um I'm not saying that there is a direct core, like th there are some correlations, obviously, but um, it's, you get what I'm saying. I, I think, I think, I think the essence of what I am saying is getting through that there is, that there is positive communication that can come from this. Yeah, it's. It, I think so. But the vibe so. I'm getting from this yeah. article is perhaps this is not that. No, shy this is, this of is that. The, there's. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Do you think there's any fucking reality on Earth where if I scroll down on this article, you're gonna see things down there? That are not fucking like chauvinistic incel bullshit. Oh, this is gonna be the most misogynistic bullshit. Yeah, this is gonna like, be fucking. Am... Mis this is gonna be like insanely miso misogynistic. I'm like, like I'm like, my arms are open and I am ready. I am ready for the chauvinism to just wash yeah, over I, my I mean, body. like, I mean, like, right. like this is fucking this, hell. This like is it. like, you know what? We were going to do scorn. We've canceled scorn to do this. I feel like we're getting the same vibe anyway. Yeah, I'm telling you what, we are not going to actually read this one. I just, I, I just wanted to look at the beginning of it. I, I, I think, <laughs> I think that this is the type yep. of thing I want. I just wanted to show you that. I just wanted to show you okay, this. Okay. Okay. I don't think we should look at this because this is going to make chat. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, it, it took about eight years, but like I'm starting to get, re I'm starting to get better at realizing, like when chat can't handle things. Okay. Like this, this, you... this, this will make chat intolerable if we if we read this whole thing. Okay. Understood. But I did want you. Could, I did however, want you to see. I did want you to see this. Could you? I will not talk about what's in the article, but could you link it to me so that I can just look? Do, I'm well, curious. Well, not now, because we're gonna look at other ones. Okay. No, I mean, like, I'm just gonna do a quick scroll, like a a, a quick skim through, real quick. Like, you want to? Well, if you're gonna do a quick that. skim through, then is, I'm, we may as well just. I'm trying to. No, I'm, trying I'm, to I'm not. On. I'm not going to say yeah. anything about it. I'm. I just want to see. Okay. I just want to see. You want to see? Okay. I'll. I'll yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So let me have this. I. Mike, consider what I do for a living. Yes. It's ignoring every impulse to not look. Oh, I know. No, I know. <laughs> That's it. He's made a career out of that, guys. Yes. He wants to peep. He wants to peep the horror. Yeah, he wants to peep it. Yeah, give me. Read the oh, intro at okay. the top. I I did I did read the fucking intro. Are you, yeah. What, what do you t clean that? Clean out the calm, guys. I read that. Conversation with empathy. Okay. Clean out the common shit out oh. of your ears, guys. I I did read that. Fred is staring into the abyss. This. The article is the one intolerable, not chat. It will, it, it will, it will, you, you got to trust me on this. I, I'm the professional, okay? You can take my fucking word for it. it is, chat can't handle this. You know what? This is an article that is not about the title, about the title of, of the article. Sad, but true, you know? What is it? Okay, so what are you saying? What is it? What I'm seeing is... How okay, so like the first one actually is do not bring up her weight if she's happy with who she is. It says that? 
yeah, this is actually not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. However, I do think that it is... No, this just isn't this just isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, is it telling you like you're an asshole for, for looking this up? No, actually. It's it, it's just saying it's more about how most of this <laughs> article is more about <laughs> how like, to You're a piece of shit. Go tell her you love her, you dirtbag. Oh, you mean like like the it's like, like, sh like about, shaming you. It's like shaming you for having this problem. You know what I mean? I'm having flashbacks to the article about shitting standing up. What my, the fuck are you doing looking at? Why are you looking like at looking this? Get a this. therapist. Right. Mike, you, you haven't the, seen... That literally told you to, to get a better help subscription. But Listen no, this to this. I, I, ha I, have to, I have to share this take with everybody. Chat can't handle anything because before anything ever starts... You, as in me, I, Jabroni Mike, always agitate and work yourself up into a frenzy about how much chat is freaking out. So, yeah, you agree. Yeah, you agree with that, chat. Yeah, you agree with that. That's br that's that's brain dead. You de that's somebody who hasn't been paying attention at, at all. Who de that's somebody who has not. No, that's not. That's just not true. That's just not true. I think. You know, of course, you're gonna say it's not true, chat, because you don't want to be fucking responsible for 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 anything. You don't want to because for for you to admit for you to say that that's not true means that you have to take some fucking responsibility for for a fucking problem. Of course, you're not gonna do that. I'm talking to you like you're a fucking hive mind, but it's the truth. I'm right. Mike, I figured out what this article is actually about. What is it? This article is actually about helping to encourage your partner who is overweight and wants to lose weight okay if they're overweight, that's what this they, is actually about and they like, want to lose weight like th this yeah. is this is how a partner can help their partner like feel better about like feel bad about like feel better about it if they're feeling bad about it and like in like just skimming it obviously maybe maybe there's shit in the details but like the last point is coming up with a plan together to start losing weight together, right? Like if 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 and this is and, and the operative word is if they want that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that that's where it starts out. This article is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so we have Viscerell is in the chat. They said something I find interesting is that your chat hates you a lot more than most streamers. Fred's <laughs> chat is lovely if somewhat deranged. I think chats <laughs> take after their owners like dogs. <laughs> okay, so what you're what you're trying to say is first of all, my chat okay, so the, the assertion that my chat hates me, we'll start with that. But then not only that, but they hate me because I hate myself so intensely that my chat has taken on the characteristic of also hating me. That's the Mike, theory? That's the that's the Mike, theory. They're using the same technique as the person who tried to get you to stop saying dude. <laughs> it is is it you guys hate you guys hate hate me yeah oh no Mike. you guys hate me they they learned the wrong lesson from wiki how which one uh the the one about how to how to subtly influence a person how to gaslight them oh like i'm being no. i'm being negged and gaslit right now yeah yeah no, but you invite negativity. I invite negativity? I invite... Ne Fred, do you think I invite negativity, bud? I... Well, I mean, we've talked about it, right? Like, you call people out, and then... Um, and, and then, like, engage. It, it's, it means you play it up. I don't think... I don't think you've actually been mad for quite a minute. No, I, I mean, I, I, I guess in that, in that sense of like, yeah, like breaking balls with the chat, but not in like a fucking like, not in that, that's, that, that's a different topic from what was just being discussed. If you ask me, SMB, hey, mm -hmm. thanks for the raid. Thanks for the raid, bud. No, like th there was the person who you called out who's like, like ragging on score and right. And I'm like, okay, right. I'm in Mike's stream. I can do this. No, you remember what? when, um. I remember a long time ago, you have the redeem of Mike calls you a bad word. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And people started redeeming it en masse. 
so that I would insult them in creative ways. I do remember that, yeah. That was a whole fucking thing. Like you were, like you had gotten up, and I was just dishing out insult. Mike, I mean, I, I, I ran out of. In I should really just like remove that because I ran out of creative insults like two years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, Mas like, like here, Ma Masamune just redeemed it. Here, hold on. You got one. Oh, are you gonna use the thing from Sex House? No, I've got it. <laughs> Do it. Masamune, you walk down the vegetable aisle looking at the vegetables as though you might buy them as if you care about yourself enough. Oh, damn. That is fucked. That is uh, beyond fucked. You're gonna, you shouldn't have done that because now people are gonna redeem it. You're just gonna yeah, be like, I, I know. I'm, you I might be up. in trouble. Yeah, don't just, I might just, be in just, trouble just, just don't, just don't look at, just don't look at chat. Just don't, I just got, don't oh, look no, just, there, just, there, You might have to refund the other ones. Just, ig just ignore chat for like the next 10, you, you, <laughs> the next 10 minutes. <laughs> like there just, were only two go more. Away. There were only two, there were only two more. Fetal juice and killer starlight. Yeah, but then, you know, okay. they, but then they, that will breed more is how that works. Okay, That's why okay, I just no, started, it's a lot. I, it's a I just lot started calling them a cocksucker every time somebody redeemed one. Cause it was just getting too mentally exhausting to like keep coming up with these things. Mm-hmm. Let me think. Okay, no, I but I want to do these two at the very least. Don't I'm, ta I'm, ta I'm telling you it's a mistake, but you go ahead. It's a mistake. Trust me. Fetal juice. It's okay that you lie to yourself that you have anything better to do than to watch my videos. That's fine. That kind of was more insulting you. <laughs> Like even, I don't know, you insulted yourself. It's a little bit weird. of both. It's a little bit of both. You insulted yourself, which is strange. Um, oh, I, I'm in on it too. Did you redeem the fucking thing? I didn't see you redeem. I didn't see you no. redeem it. Uh, kill. Okay, Killer Starlight. Let me think. Well, I'm, I'm thinking about food now because because of the article. Also, I'm a little hungry, but that's okay. I'm coming up with like food related insults now because you're starving. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go get a quick snack? Mm -hmm. Cuz I think we're going to be here a while. Do you want to go get a quick snack? Hold on. Oh, I I've, I've got this. Killer Starlight. Just say cocks. It's really it's no, it's it's really cute the way that you Add such quirky little things to your life as if it will give it meaning in the same way that a child dumps ketchup onto a steak. A dry steak. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You just called that guy Donald Trump. <laughs> That's savage. Fred Savage is back in the house. Oh my god. He's a monster. He's a monster. Emotional damage. He's a monster. <laughs> and ironically, I actually do the vegetable aisle thing. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so, I, I show yeah. no mercy to a weaker opponent because it would be an insult. But that's the point. Um, they're redeeming, they want to be insulted. So maybe mercy is the way to go at that point. Maybe that. Mer mercy. Okay. I mean, so look, only three were redeemed, I think. I don't think any others were redeemed. Um, no, we're good. Okay, we are going to hmm. continue looking at these. I actually have, I have four more of these. Uh, I don't, I don't, okay, again, okay. I, I don't think it's a good idea to look at this one, regardless of what you're fucking saying, because... I just know, like, even if it's not that bad, like, people will find... It's just, you just do it. It's not worth it. Okay. Like, it's not worth it. Fucking criticizing me aside, okay? Like, like, let's not get into criticizing me and how I stream and what I fucking... And what I do and shut the, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I know when something is going to fucking cause arguments in this chat room, okay? I fucking... Okay, I, I know it. I've seen it. I'm experienced. I know when something is a fucking bad idea. Looking at this is a fucking bad idea. Okay, end of story. Chat fight. Okay.
I know, I know, when, I just, I know when something's going to cause problems. I'm not trying to cause problems. I'm trying to make everybody have a good time, okay? Whether or not you think it's my fucking fault is beside, is besides the fucking point. What a fucking deflection that was. My God. It's my fault. They, they just say it was my fault. Shut up. Christ. All right. Anyway, we're going to keep looking at these. All right. We've got, we've got fucking, we got three, probably three more of them. And if, okay. if we if we get through all three of these, and then there's still more time, me and Fred will just suck each other off. Okay? Yeah. Like, it, it could be, the, if we just have five minutes left over, it could be five minutes, it could be hours. Yeah. It could be, yeah, who knows? We'll just, we'll just suck each other's penises. So don't touch, so don't touch that mouse. Because if you leave this stream, you're going to miss me and Fred sucking each other off. Hardcore gay sex you don't want to miss that do you well maybe might maybe so when i say this when i say thank you for watching guys no fuck you yeah for watching fuck, fuck you. you for subbing guys really <laughs> thank you so much everybody um i know i i also again can we just have a show can we have a fred appreciation moment let's just say thank you to what? fred for being here everybody fucking what i i just I just insulted three of your viewers. Um, all right, you have to say bike for somebody, by the way. Bike. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put some links in the chat. I want you guys to follow oh, my buddy Fred on his, twi on his uh, Twitter account. And also check out his YouTube channel. Which is, of course, where, um, you know, uh, he does down the rabbit hole. And then there's another one. Uh, another link where he publishes uh, some odds and ends things like where we do where we have three episodes of our cur currently inactive podcast together, which is called the Warns. It's inactive right now, but we're gonna do more of it as soon as uh, the new video drops, which is soon. Um, it's it's one third done, approximately right now. He's also on Patreon, and of course, you can follow him on his uh, at his Twitch channel too. Yeah, yeah. If you want your name in the credits um, of the new video, because that's gonna drop like. Aiming for next month. Oh yeah, if you if you if you become a a, a a patron on Patreon, be in the credits. Yeah, I'm gonna change my um, Patreon name to like Fred Knudsen has a tiny penis, and then become a, a patron. And it'll end up in the credits. I I, I can I I'm no I I I am a patron. I'm not gonna fuck with my name. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um. Um, Atrus, we were actually thinking about, um, d we were debating what we should do for, like, our next stream together, and, um, ha like, doing more houses was on the table. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love looking at houses. Oh, my God. Those are, those are fun. That is definitely, like, up there for, like, one of, some of my favorite streams to do. Oh, um, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, if you, if you got, like, if you got funky weird or stupid real estate listings you should absolutely uh email them to either me or Fred. i think me do you would you prefer if it was me i'll uh, send them yeah send them to mike yeah send them to me i'll i'll, I'll collate them and and, and collect them mm -hmm. i um, think that especially when i'm joining on your stream it's a lot of fun for you to like have them to show me and then you come yeah. on my stream and i've got i allow you to peep the horrors yeah i like having shit to like you know uh damage you emotionally with right emotional damage um guys before i forget about this i also would like to plug yours truly myself i'm also on twitter and shit check that those links out and my fucking youtube channels check those out too full stream highlight and the shorts the the more less popular shorts channel because who the fuck likes that okay Wisp, can we get EOSV on the ban list, please? Uh, also, please check out my Patreon and co Coffee. I'm also on Patreon. And guys, our beautiful Discord server is is um ready to receive you. Uh, ready to receive you, guys. I want you to think about what that means. You're going to get stream notifications every night. And it's ready to receive your limp penis. Get your hands off my penis! Get your hands off my penis! You ever play that King of the Castle game? I have considered doing it. Pretty fun. I recommend it. Absolutely. Okay. They're doing. A, they're having an update soon too. Really, really comprehensive Ooh. update. Really soon. Looks really? great. 
Okay. Um, I might have to it, do that on it, my stream. It, it's, it's called yeah. the Democracy Manifest update. Wait, actually? It's called, yes, yeah, it is. It's what they call it. so fucking good. <laughs> they're you kidding me? <laughs> they knew. They knew. Oh, they fucking know. They know. Um, you absolutely want to. Yeah, I, I, th that's a lot of fun for you and your chat, man. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun playing that game. I, I, I love okay. it. Yeah, I love okay. it. I love it. I, okay. I strongly recommend it. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, what the fuck was. Oh, yeah, we're not, we're not looking at this. No. We're not looking at that. I'm not. It was, no. Uh, but here's another one that is gonna be uh, still, oh, st still like no. a little, a little bit, a little bit weird, a little bit uncomfortable. So we'll, we'll have that. Don't worry, guys. How to change a oh, woman's no. mind about you? If a woman has the wrong impression of you, you could change oh, her mind God. about you by showing her the person you truly are. Be a great listener and do thoughtful things for her. If you're hoping to have a romantic relationship, express your feelings for her. You might find that you could change her mind just by improving communication. This there is profoundly is, it, worse. This sucks. On comfy. This is on comfy. This is worse. Okay, Fred, correction. We have two articles left that we're going to look at. How to like your oh. current boyfriend when you still love your ex. What the fuck, dude? Sometimes you can still have feelings for your ex. Although you are in a new relationship. But you may find that you are having a hard time liking your boyfriend. When you are secretly or not. Still love your ex. With an open mind and determination. However, you can enjoy the relationship, even though you haven't completely moved on from your ex. Is it too late to do the less uncomfy option of scorn? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I'd... John Arbuckle. Let's find out. But yeah, John Arbuckle is basically going to get cucked. Come on, that's come on. That's a good time, right, chat? You love seeing John Arbuckle get cucked. Come on, guys. Get to know your boyfriend. Do you not already? <laughs> Why is chat lame? Hey, aren't you paying attention? This is my fault. It's all my fault, always. It's my, it's my, no, it's my fault. C come on, try to keep up. It's my fault. You want to take that one, bud? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? One of the best ways to like your current boyfriend is to get to know more about him. I just, I just had an impulse to like grab my kalimba and smash it on the ground. That'd be actually a really funny sound. Do it. No, fuck you. I love my kalimba. It like it really it wasn't my kalimba. It was just the closest object. And my my hand is resting on it right now. Fred. I've been like holding off from playing with the tines. Fred, my... what's a kalimba? Oh, one of these things. Uh Oh, it's a little fucking it's a, it's a little it's a little xylophone. Thumb piano. A little xylophone. Piano. Th oh, the thumb piano. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I gotta I, give I a... learned the traveler's theme on it. I have <laughs> I have to give a, a happy birthday to Plants and Swords. Guys, oh. we have a big hat for Plants and Swords. Thank you so much for watching, Plants. Oh, you didn't learn that. Wow, you're playing that right now? That's a recording. Yeah. You're cheating. No, I'm playing it right now. You're cheating. No, I learned it. I know a couple of songs. I haven't learned a ton of songs, but I've gotten good at the few songs I know. That's familiar, but I can't f I can't finger what it is. I can't finger it. Song of Healing. What is that, Zelda? Yeah. Couldn't quite finger it. I couldn't quite finger it out. What instrument is that? It's a it's a kajumbo. Genius Kajumbo. Kajumbo World Order. I actually uh, took the time to figure out chords that sound good on it, on the kalimba. Because, like, you can't do all the exact chords yeah, like, they, yeah. like they appear in the game. Because it's it's all just in C major. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to, like, puzzle out chords that sound good. Why don't you puzzle out my puzzle penis? It is remarkable how, like, the angles at which it, at which it moves. Yeah, it's quite strange. The, um, Mike's penis is the what, what is it the um the the, the thing from Hellraiser like the, the puzzle the pu box the, the yeah yeah the puzzle the, 
the cummy cube it was called right the cummy cube the cummy stop. cube wow stop um no that's cool um the lament configuration yes the dick like the lament configuration what else did you learn uh let me think uh i also what yeah here we go let's see it's been a minute since i played this that's familiar that's scrumby scrumby chat says it's scrum <laughs> yeah it is that's when you take an arrow in the knee yeah that's when you take right when you no that's no that's the, the what the opening the opening sequence right when it you begin narrow bar rising the, the song is called narrow bar rising get to know your boyfriend one of the best ways to like your current boyfriend is to get to know more about him there are things about him you already know and like or else you wouldn't be with him but there's probably a lot about him you don't know yet learning more about your boyfriend's interests hobbies quirks will make it a lot easier to like him even though you still love your ex Discover what makes him smile and laugh, what upsets him, and what his fears, hopes, and dreams are. This is just fucked, right? John Arbuckle getting cupped. Like, th this is just fucked. It's pretty fucked, yeah. Like, what? It's pretty fucked. What? Especially his fears. Make sure you learn a lot about his fears so you can manipulate him more effectively. Yeah, can we go back to the, the kalimba? That, was, that felt nice and comfy. No, fuck that. Fuck that! Okay. <laughs> I like my ex, the Kalimba, better. Um, okay. Who knows? Two. Maybe learning about this article will make me love it more. Except that he's not perfect. Except that he's not the man you actually are still in love with. Your new boyfriend wow, will make mistakes. Wow, this is just making me feel worse. But That's you should hold these against him. Don't use his small mess-ups as a reason to not like him. Unless he's doing something whooshed. that you consider a deal breaker, small penis. Now it's even smaller. I just got fucking whooshed. Cut him a little slack. You know what it's like? It's like... Almost like it's describing a very specific uh, situation. Like a woman... Like, a, a, a woman? No, no, no hold, hold, hold the fuck on. Out of 2,000 people, I just got whooshed. It's not that big a deal. You've been whooshed before. I've been whooshed once before when the I was fucking, just lurking, no, the, lurking in the, chat. The, the fucking Moobot is weighted against VIPs and moderators. Oh. Like, like significantly. Wait, am I VIP? Hackerling's fucking penis is, is, oh, is, is, like, is, is like fucking quantum size because the fucking... She got hacked how many times? She got hacked. She got whooshed how many times? Like a God thousand? A thou like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> no, she got Hag, Hackerling has been whooshed more than any other fuck single individual. That is wholly remarkable. It's becoming a super dense black hole. Um, what I'm saying is this article is reading like a hyper specific situation. So this woman, okay, you know, broke up with her, you know, her, her boyfriend or whatever, still loves him, but started dating a new guy in an effort to move on. And she's finding things about him irritating, and she keeps finding herself like comparing him to the old guy, to the to the OG, the, to the the older the the, the ex. This and like may, maybe, maybe maybe I'm just old fashioned, yeah. but this feels horrifically reckless. What the article itself? No, the the woman, like this scenario that has been created, like. This woman clearly should not be dating again. And she yeah, clearly, clearly has not been with she clearly has not been with him long enough to like to to get to fucking know anything about him. Like get to know him better, right? But you're like clearly if you're just trying to get to know him still, you're not that early in. This happened with me. I went on a like I went on a date and I was like, hey, I'm I'm just not over my ex and I'm sorry. Like I need more time. You thought you were, but you weren't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like I, I thought I was ready to move on, and I really wasn't. So I was like, "Hey, I, I'm sorry." In this, it's not you. Like it, this has nothing to do with you. In, You're lovely. In, in this but. instance, my theory is that she's almost like she's writing this article to as like cope for herself. Like the this person who wrote yeah. who wrote <laughs> this, this was a coping mechanism. I'm serious. 
This was a coping mechanism to be like, oh, yeah, well, I'm still in love with him, but I have to move on because I have no choice. Let me write an article. And it, again, it's being hyper specific. Here, right? Mike, like, I'm, I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting a particular combination of emotes in chat. This is huffing copium. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You should combine it with smudge. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, step number three. Don't let the new boyfriend read this article. Yeah. Yeah, because now there's smoke. This. Well, now there's smoke, right? Maybe... Ooh, the Lewis just put up, like, made a good point. Maybe it's the ex that wrote the article. <gasps> Maybe he's no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you who fucking wrote this. Okay, okay, okay. The new boyfriend wrote this. Oh, how okay. fucked is that? Okay. No one is going to have all the qualities you're looking for or do the things the way you prefer all the time, Maria. And don't expect him to know your likes and dislikes yet. The relationship is still new. Give him time to get to know you. And when he does make a mistake, avoid telling him he's acting like your ex or how your ex would have handled it better. That could hurt him and make him mad, Maria. Oh my God. You're completely correct. Yeah, fuck. I fucked. would never have thought, but you you have fucked. this nailed, dude. He's in like the cock dude. zone. Right? Dude, the cock is... zone. New zone. Oh, this... Wake up, babe. New zone just dropped. Dude, this, this is cope posting. Cope posting, bro. He's coping through he's posting through the cope. <laughs> this is cope. I am this is actually incredible. He's coping. He, he's posting through the cope. Right. <laughs> Oh, this is incredible. Be respectful. It's hard to like someone you don't have respect for. So, to like your boyfriend, respect him. Value him as a person, as well as his presence and his opinion. Oh, no. Treat him like he's important to you when you are alone and in public. You can show your boyfriend respect by not bringing up your ex a lot or doing things that indicate you still love your ex. Maria! Show respect you to are your completely boyfriend correct. and your current relationship by you are, acting you like you are in a relationship, correct. not like a girl trying to get over her ex, spending your time with your boyfriend and getting to know him. Holy shit. Don't make comparisons. <laughs> this is good. Well, you know, my ex's dick was way bigger. <laughs> What are those Please palm don't creases? compare his penis to your current boyfriend's penis. What the? Wait, what? Did this woman grab a grill when she was little? That is, she's um an acupuncturist. Oh, she's holding acupuncture needles. Yeah, yeah. His cock was this big. <laughs> <laughs> don't make comparisons. Comparing your current boyfriend to your ex is not a good idea for several reasons. Mainly, it's a bad idea because in order to compare the two, you have to think about your ex. And you should never be thinking about him a lot. A lot. Look, a lot. A lot. Oh, my God, dude. I did nail this. This has to be what this is. No, 100%. It, it's also not a good idea because you should like your current boyfriend for who he is, not because of how he is different from or similar to your ex. Try not to think about what your boyfriend does better or even similar to your ex. Don't look for things that your ex did better. It will reinforce your love for your ex. Not help you like your boy. Not help you like your boyfriend more. Fuck. The, Holy shit. This, is this parody? <laughs> shit. Is, is, this read, has to be parody. It, re it reads like it. It reads like mm -hmm. it. This is this is no, <clears throat> this is creative short fiction. Do you think so? If if so, I would not be surprised. If, extremely if clever. Short, if this is short fiction, the author is. Amazing. This it's is, a, this it's is a awesome. thin line between like really talented creative writing and something profoundly fucking depressing and sad and like, like this is. It, 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 consider for a moment, it isn't that. Mm -hmm. That one fact changes everything, right? Mm -hmm. Believe it can work. If you don't believe your new relationship has a future, you aren't going to be as invested in it or in liking your new boyfriend. Believing and wanting your relationship to work will help you be positive about the relationship and your boyfriend. It will also help. Why is Jazz Mr. Falling Asleep? It will also help you get over X if you are fully invested in making your new relationship the best it can be. Bro, this was the name like Robert. 
Okay. Fuck, you're right. And when they and when they edited this for WikiHow, they just replaced it with X. They did like Control F, and then like you're replace right. all, replace all Robert with the word X. Right. You're right. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh my God, dude, you are... <laughs> you have this man under your fucking thumb. Dwight. His Did name you... was Dwight. Make a list of all the reasons you believe this relationship can and will work out. Talk to your new boyfriend about how the two of you can make your relationship good for both of you. Imagine talking about how you can make the relationship good. Oh, God. Be open to new things. Don't try to do what you did the way you did it with your ex. Remember that this relationship is new and different. You don't want to replay your old relationship with a new boyfriend. Trying new things... Having new rituals and making new traditions with your boyfriend will help the two of you bond, making it easier to like him, even though you still love your ex. <laughs> Fuck. It's like, you know, like, you, you know, this, this, this paragraph is like, you know, it's like, all right, yeah, I'm having a good time. Like you're eating a delicious sandwich and then the final bite has like a fucking cockroach leg in it. Right. It, it, the, the bitterness. If you and your ex ate lunch together every Wednesday and Friday, consider meeting your new beau for weekend break. I fucking hate that word, beau. Shut the fuck up. It's a little antiquated, isn't it? It annoys me. It annoys me irrationally. Yeah, like, it, it's... It, it, go ahead. Oh, no, no, you go ahead. I was just saying, it's almost like this was a different article, and then they just tacked the even though you still love your ex to the end of every sentence. Mm -hmm. Right, like it's it's like I I feel like you you could have this format with so many other things like how how to deal with your your like diagnosis yeah like like your diagnosis of of like all like um I was gonna say Alzheimer um like I don't know Parkinson's yeah, right yeah. like just continue doing the things that you lose that you love to do despite the fact that you have been diagnosed with parkinson's and it's like oh yeah i was diagnosed with parkinson's just have that uh, the at the end of everyone fucking christ um a diagnosis chatoid <laughs> i died I, I, trying to rub it I, in at this point huh i diagnose you with chatoid uh, dude that is my hands down favorite emote of all time. It's really good. Tell me that is not the best fucking emote you've ever you've ever fucking seen in your life. I love it. it it's so versatile. It is. Right. It has so much. It has so much fucking utility. Every night that emote gets utility. It's so good. Uh, yeah. Every I, night. I think. So I'm a big proponent of. Yeah. Um, of keeping in mind the utility, <laughs> the use cases for emotes. That one yeah. is just, there's so many use cases. Yeah, I have a lot of emotes that don't have use cases at all. I, I, in fact, I, I, it pisses me off how many I have that's just, that's just don't. Mike, I, I remember when Bounce Pad was on the chopping block. It's, and yeah. you left it in just so I could do this. Boobs. Yeah. Yeah, like, that, 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 I... That just emote so that. Rema remains solely for your for your enjoyment. Just so you, I can that do That emote is yours. <laughs> it's just it's just it's for me. Literally just for you, dude. At this point, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so. And I never like I never use it either, right? No. Like I don't have much opportunity to use it. Like no. I, what I was going to say is, I mean, you just did, so that's cool. Maybe. Well, yeah, but. If, if there is something else you want and it is in the way, you may release it from its mortal coil. I mean, like, that's not like you, it's you oppressing. Have, you have my blessing. Well, now I think it would just upset. I, I appreciate that, but now it would upset other people, right? Really? It, it's, I, it, dude, it's like, got no, this... It's, no one, it's, no it's one got gives this, a fuck about Bounce Pad, dude. It's got this rich history now. Does it? it? it it's got... Is so, it yeah. rich? Yeah, it's rich. It's rich. Is it... It's a legacy emote. It is a legacy. It is a legacy emote now. Come on. Not not available to normal subscribers. Nope. Nope. Legacy. Like, there's there's no use case. The only use case is when I want to make tits. 
just me too. Like just nobody you. else uses nobody it else, for that. Nope. Like uh, nobody else ever you. uses the bounce pads for this. Like I'm it's, the it's, only it's one who remembers you. that they uh, can be used for that ever. Holy shit! Uh, it's just me. Once every like six months. <laughs> You can go through your analytics and check with, to see how often it's used. And that's, and that's, used. An, and that's enough. Like, that's valid. That's valid. If it's not getting in the way, if you want another emote and that that thing is is getting in the way, you get rid of it. There's actually a currently very popular game where that emote would be relevant. I'm afraid to say too much more. But. Oh, yeah. Chatoid. Chato it's Gollum. Yeah. Gollum. <laughs> That Chatoid emo is perfect. For, again, it's the it's it's got to be one of the, the most versatile emotes. Like you could use that in any in any Twitch channel, and yeah. have and have it be like relevant. Yeah, it's not like that's Dude. specific to this channel. Yeah, it's it's great. Dude, do you know how happy I am when I see people using T Owl Froggy mm, yeah, it's and good other feeling. people's it's good feeling, like yeah. like I'll just be hanging out. Like I lurk, I lurk a lot mm -hmm. in, in Twitch chats. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'll just be hanging out, and then a chat member says something cursed or something cursed happens on the stream and then just fro like there will be one or two TL froggies right yeah. in there. Like that emote gets so much use. Yeah, it feels good. See your emotes getting you, people enjoying mm -hmm. your emotes. Right? Um, the, the others that people use um, are dorselessness. Dorselessness is fucking Oh yeah, fantastic. dorselessness rules. Yeah. The owl um, dorselessness, I, yeah. Yeah, the owl dorselessness is excellent. Um, the f feet, the feet show up in places because feet. Well, I think I, th that might be my emote. Like that, that's my version mm. of the bounce pad at this point. What the the, the feet? Yeah, those feet. This is your feet. version. That's but why, why do you say that? In the sense that I use that. I'm like again. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying okay. Other people do use the emote, so it's a little bit different. Dude, you should see Whiskey Dingo's stream anytime, like, I'm there, and then someone brings up feet. There it is. The feet have utility? Okay, what is the utility? Like, just whenever feet are brought up. Also, you can do this. Watch this. That's bad. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It, but it, it's, it's, he's get, he's fucking, like, he's presenting to get fucked. Right. Yeah, he's fucking, he's, 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 he's like, He's spreading Observe my cloaca. He's spreading owl. Ready to get fucked. Mm -hmm. Spreading eagle. Spreading owl. Spreading eagle. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He's spread owl. Ready to get it right in the cloak. In the cloak. In the cloak. You like that? Okay, let's stop. 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 We, stop. We, stop. We are, like, we, dude, I, I think Fuck. I'm entering a fugue state. We need to keep going. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean that you know, uh, yeah. Trying new rituals, what, whatever. Uh, right, hating the word b uh, bo, bu, bu, bo, bo, fuck this. If you called your ex baby, try calling your current boyfriend sweetie, honey, or some other nickname. Again, this is one of those things where like the article doesn't need to exist because wouldn't wouldn't you just intuitively feel really fucking wrong like you break up with somebody you start dating somebody else and you used to call them like poopykins or whatever the fuck and now you start calling the new person poopykins wouldn't you wouldn't that just feel fucking so horrible to do that yeah yeah like you don't you Cause... shouldn't need a fucking article to tell you that shit man right Holy right like fuck. that should be intuitive like i i understand when someone needs guidance but like that should be intuitive that's fucking deranged that you would do that. That should feel so unnatural to you, right? I, I, I would think. You want to take this uh, this one right here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Talk about your ex. This does not mean have a long conversation about why your ex was so wonderful, and especially not that you still love him. I this think is this parody. Is, Mike, this is parody. I, 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 yeah, parody. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. This is parody. Yeah, at that point. This has to be. Talk about your ex. Yeah, I think, I think so. You should, however, talk briefly about why the relationship ended. Talking about it is part of letting your boyfriend get to know you better. <laughs> it also reinforces for why your ex is your ex and not your boyfriend, which can help you like your boyfriend even more. No, this is this is parody. This has to be parody. The, no, I Fred, cannot believe that someone not. like this actually exists. They do. It's not, and they do. It's not, and they do. 
keep the talk to the basics who he was how long his day i mean you were together (laughs) why you aren't together anymore be honest don't bash your ex if he honestly doesn't deserve it and at the same time don't glorify him just be truthful about him and your old relationship talk about it once and then don't talk about it anymore bringing it up over and over again will hurt me your new boyfriend (laughs) If you feel the need to talk about your ex more, then talk to a friend or, if needed, a counselor. Holy what, is fuck. Literally, like, go to, Is this person literally saying, hey, if you're going to be, a, like, to be in a relationship with me, go to therapy. Listen, babe, I'm, you know, I love you. This relationship's going great. But if you start talking about your ex one more time, I am going to Mick freaking lose it. Okay, go see a therapist. That is now requisite for the continuing to date me. Go to therapy. Like you 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 have talked about nothing but him since we got together. You're sitting there trying oh, no. to watch a movie like they're sitting in the movie theater like holding hands, having some popcorn. Like it's the middle of the fucking, you know, it's like uh you know, a really intense scene, right? Everybody's really trying to pay attention, right? It's the part where Mario, go- Mario goes, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. And she fucking, okay. and everybody, and you feel your, like, your, your nostalgia is swelling and everything. Your little nostalgia, you're like, oh my god, it's my favorite video game franchise on the silver screen. My nostalgia, oh, it feels so good, oh, poggers. And you're fucking soy pogging and everything. And then she leans over and she's like, you know what else I really miss about my ex-boyfriend? <laughs> How he hated Mario. And how he hated Nintendo and said it was for beta cucks and losers and nerds. He was right, you know. He was so right. <laughs> so right. And anybody also, who his... plays video games is a, is a sad man, baby. Also, his dick was as big as that mushroom right there. <laughs> he rearranged my insides so many times. <laughs> Fucking hell. He also <laughs> thought Chris Pratt was amazing and a perfect choice. No, fucking, I don't get Chris Pratt. <laughs> Moving- Koopas stomping. Koopas. Koopas. Moving on from your ex. Accept that it's over. One of the best <laughs> ways. Up. One of the best ways for you to move on from your Give ex up. is to admit the relationship is over. Although you may be holding on to the hope that you and he will get back together, you need to let that hope fade. Yeah, especially since you started dating a new person, you fucking piece of shit. Why are you I'm fucking... Just... What? The, the song uh, Let It Die by Three Days Grace blaring. <laughs> I mean, like... I, I, I... Okay, fuck you. I like Three Days Grace. I don't care what any of you fucking say. I like Three Days Grace. They hold up. They're great. It's cringe as fuck. I don't care. Fred, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever heard you say. I don't give a shit. That is dep- three days grace slaps. That is fucking depressing that you think that. I don't care. Fred, I, awesome. I, Fred I, I've never heard their music. I've, I don't even think I've ever heard of them. Oh, okay. They're, uh, they're, 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 they're kind being, of they're being a dick. Like they're, they're emo. Just, being, just, just leaning into you, like expressing shame over it preemptively. <laughs> I, I have no I idea what care. they fucking sound Dude, like. I have I, moved beyond shame. You have Dude, to if you're going to make internet content. Yeah, you... dude. Look, like, have you seen my streams? I don't care anymore. Yeah, you you really need to let go of shame as a concept to do this. I'm thinking about the concept of okay, so you got out of like a brutal relationship or just like a really you know whatever. Right, it, right. Maybe it wasn't brutal, whatever. It ended. It had to end, so it ended. Okay. Now you've got to move on. Mm-hmm. I guess I can sort of see like. I don't know, dating a new person as like a kind of a, a a way to move on or like a like a like a a method to like help that process of you moving on. The problem with that is that it's not fair to that person, right? Mm-hmm. I mean like on on less, you know, I mean like they know it and they're no, you know what? Fuck that. Cuz even if they if they think they're going to be okay with it, 
Like, that's still kind of not really fair to them, right? Mike, there's a core problem that we just are not addressing here that? that I think we touched on a little bit ago, but, like, sort of left behind. What's the that? problem is this person shouldn't be dating. Right. Well, that that's, you know, that's where I'm going with this ultimately. Yeah. Right. Is, is that they should not be yeah, dating a new person because they're clearly still hung up on this. But again, I'm 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 wondering about the that that's 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 the obvious play. You're not ready to date a new person. Right. Obviously. Like th there is but, like something something that's so important is there's another person involved in here. It's right, not just right, oh right, I'm trying right. to move on. Right, right. What, right, what are you going right. to do to the I, other I, person? I, I'm, I'm, what I what I guess what I guess I'm asking right now okay. is that if there is like some ethical way to do this, maybe the other person is not trying to take this too serious. That's fine. Yeah, that that's could fine. be okay. It's got to be. That's not what's happening it's, here. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. But that's what I think. It's got to be communicated. I think the communication is key here, right? Yeah. If you, you just want to casually date to them, yeah, yeah sure. they have to know that's that, fine. right? Yeah, but that that has to be on the table, right? Yeah, like, I good. broke up with with a long term still, boyfriend you know, recently, and I'm and I'm just trying dating, and the other person's like, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, right. Um. Then again, then again, like, I, I in my opinion. Like dating someone, ending up with just being friends is a, is a success to me. So, yeah, no, that that's no, I I agree with that. Check out those chugalepsies, though. Those are good. Destroy all men to fix your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that get to me so bad? Because it was fucking hilarious. Okay, My hearts are for breaking. This is so powerful. Yeah, like, this, yeah it's powerful. It's it's like you know what? This has a similar energy to like um. Old image macros, old lol cats. Um, you remember like Insanity Wolf? Uh, vaguely. Th yeah. th these are like Insanity Wolf. Hurt people to get over your own yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah, that's just yeah. Chugalepsy. I'm telling you, Chugalepsy is powerful. Like Chug <laughs> Chug <laughs> you, you might want to enable Chugalepsy on your channel, honestly. <laughs> I, I might. I Yo, might. Zito. Hey, dude. Thank you so much for the raid, buddy. I hope you're having a good night. What's going on, man? <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Hey, Zito, what are you uh, what are you up to, dude? Is it going gangbusters over there? Is it going gangbusters? Super Animal Royale. What is that? Oh yeah, that's like it's a um, it's it's a top down two D uh, battle royale. <sighs> top Pretty down two D battle. Ro oh, is that is that the new gang beasts? Basically, no. No, uh, it's it's different. It, it it feels it looks like I haven't played it myself, but it looks a lot like Fortnite top down. Oh oh, I'm, I'm thinking of something else. What's the one? I'm, what's the one I'm thinking of? Where it's 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 a battle royale. Yeah, interesting. No, the fucking the new game that I think was at like um. And I saw the trailer on like one of the was it a Nintendo Direct or something? Was it Party Animals? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Party Animals. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Hold on. Guys, I'm gonna... Uh, guys, just give Zito a follow. Help his uh, follower count uh, go nuts. Help his fucking follower count... Uh, what the fuck? Help it go nuts. Here we go, official trailer. Help it go gangbusters. About to go nuts. Help it go gang... About to go nuts. Help it go gangbusters and nuts. Now I'm getting paid running cash with LSR. Uh, LSR. Hey... Static, you want to brick Mike's chat client? Well, you could brick my chat client easily by spamming Chugalepsy. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy to do. All right, you don't have to. You, you've, he's saying go in, go enable like the entire Morbius movie. Drink Coca Cola with the cocaine added back in. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Pry the toast out of the toaster with a butter knife. <laughs> These fucking chugs. I love I love this emote so much, man. There's so many. Like <laughs> I, I think crazy. what's especially powerful is when they're overlapping each other. Yeah. I like when they're book ended with like some, some fucking insane shit in the middle, right? Right. Holy fuck. Zito, have this a great is, night, oh man. God. Thank you so much for the raid. Dude, everybody's off. Oh, static is spam static, please stop. Please, please, please. <laughs> So much. Look at this Drink one. Drink your own piss. Drink your own piss. Look at this one. Try crack because you never know. <laughs> I was about to call that one out. That one. That one's so good. <laughs> Poison the local water supply with organized. <laughs> Fuck. 
That is excellent. Oh, that's so good. Eat, eat the rich, eat the poor, eat everyone. <laughs> Have gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can't, I can't, I can't indulge that anymore. <laughs> Fucking avoid still thinking of your ex as your boyfriend. He's not. Try to avoid thinking uh. of him at all. Write in your journal or talk with a friend about the relationship ending. Be sure to refer to the relationship in the past tense to emphasize that it is over and include the reasons you broke up. Every time you think about him, also think about why you are glad you aren't together anymore. Make a list of reasons you're glad if you need to. Okay. Uh, you want to take this one? Sure. Yeah. Consider why you broke up. Sometimes when we love someone, we overlook or forget the reasons why they are not a good match for us. We remember the good things about the person, but skip over the bad. Thinking honestly about why you broke up can give perspective on the situation and help you accept that your new boyfriend might be better for you right now. Did your ex do something wrong like lie to you or cheat on you? Were you two not compatible or did you grow apart? Did he leave you for someone else or simply break up with you for no reason? Did you do something that caused the relationship to end? Was the breakup chugalepsy related? Wait a minute. Dude, your ex died years ago in an accident. You gotta move on. Holy fuck. Dress that your is, boyfriend up as your ex. That is dark. That is fucking dark. Actually, the, the short story I was talking about recently, um, the, the one that really stuck with me, um, mm -hmm. Say Goodbye to the Wind, um, the person comes back. The to, bullet in the brain like, one? No, no, no. Um, this is a different one. Uh, say goodbye to the wind. About the uh, the living look at, clothing. <laughs> look at this nerd reading. Cringe. Read. Couldn't be me. <laughs> sorry, go, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Actually, I'm doing a regular segment on my stream now where I just have friends over on the stream and I read a story to them. Oh, that's story cute. Time. Yeah, I thought I thought it was a cute idea. It gives me the chance to share some like some interesting short stories and, and I like reading. Readoids keep taking L's. <laughs> it's just very comfy so what, what happened in this short story i'm sorry i interrupted you what happened oh there? just um th this woman has has trauma around her ex who she killed like it's implied that she killed him using um like the using his clothing basically like she she riled up the clothing and it choked him to death right like his his own clothes choked him to death and then um the main character J.G. Ballard has a bad habit of, like, of a trope of man has normal life, woman comes in and fucks it up. Mm. Like, they fall in love and, like, weird woman comes in. So this is a case of that where she, like, tries to kill him with the same clothing. In, like, a dark, not just fun way. That's, that, that's, that's right. like, Bukowski-inspired type shit, right? Bukowski had, that was a Bukowski trope, right? Uh, this is, like, this was the 50s, so. Like, oh, that's pre-Bukowski. People don't understand how much influence J.G. Ballard has had on modern yeah, fiction. Yeah, I didn't know that. I kind of um, assumed he was a more recent guy. Or no, he's like 20s to like 60s, no 70s, Oh, shit, wow. He died only recently. Oh, wow. Um, he, so he wrote the short story that inspired Death Note. He Is that right? Yes. Wow, no shit. Someone if in chat just to... got here. They're like, what is happening? Oh, Chugalepsy owns this channel now. It's not. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's not our channel anymore. Go ahead. Sorry. So he, this guy, he, <laughs> he, did you read the story that inspired Death Note? I did. I read it on stream. Uh, but for a friend. This guy is uh, American? British? What is it? British. Brit okay. And yeah. he, he uh, uh, okay. And he wrote that in the fucking 20s? Uh, now zero was, when was it published? Hold on. Now it's zero, called now, sure. now zero. Now, now colon zero. 1959. It looks like. Yeah. Released in 1959. Fuck. And that inspired Death Note. I, anyone who wants to tell me that that didn't directly inspire Death Note can, can have a chugalepsy. Okay. Like, so this is not you. confirmed then. He, this guy never said, well, nobody, nobody ever said have, this. They haven't come out and said it, but literally like some of the story, like the story beats are exactly the same. 
Like the like the the story beats of the first like few episodes of Death Note align almost perfectly, including like testing the power on someone in prison. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like yeah, using yeah, like yeah, through the, the local paper, being noticed because like all of the murders are somehow related to so did, like your era right? Like some sorry, Death Note just, was plagiarized basically. It wasn't no, it, it, I, I wouldn't say no. Um, I, I I disagree. I don't think it was plagiarized. Death Note took the idea and really ran with it. Somebody in chat um, is saying that it was translated into Jap. This story you're talking about was translated into Japanese three years before the Death Note manga was published. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. No shit. I didn't. I love Death hmm. Note. So this is fucking cool. Oh, I love Death Note too. Yeah. yeah. It's really it's a great story and it's very short. Um, it's very funny because. Uh, Death Note had the main character who got the power, yeah, like be a an incredibly intelligent like young man, um, just a genius, right? A, a, a wunderkind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He's like a but, prodigy, yeah. right? He's he's a prodigy. Um, the person who gets the power in now zero is a fucking like middle manager who's really petty in office office politics. Oh he's shit! Just kind of an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Well, it, that wouldn't have been sexy. Like, they had to make it, you know, a young person and have him be fucking, right, you know. Right, With all the temptations, all this shit, you know. Yeah, it is uh, the, It is very dark, make no mistake. It's basically like, to be what an happens anime, if we gave know, yeah. a shitty, petty middle manager middle manager at, a, at an insurance company death, no. the ability to uh, kill someone that, that by, is like, writing them. Very scary. Writing about them. That's really yeah. scary, yeah. It is that, terrifying. It's like the cold brutality with which he does it is is special. It's great. It's a great story. Um, would recommend. Is Twitch breaking for anyone else? Oh, that's probably the Chugalepsy spam. Oh, that's the Chugalepsy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's not no going to be good. That's not that's not good for anyone. Oh, and make no mistake, that's no. not going away either. No, no, no. Um, yeah, that's that's not. Yeah, that's not good. That's that's definitely not good. Oh, that's going to break this fucking chat room. Oh yeah, no. Here yeah. we go. Okay, listen. Here we go. Collapse the infrastructure. The infrastructure. No, no, okay. <laughs> guys, guys. People's fucking chat clients are crashing. You, this has to. Stop. <laughs> this has to stop. Look at that. You have alerted the horde. <laughs> Look at them go. Okay, okay, we 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 need like a kill switch for chugalepsy. We do. We, we need like a like. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I, have to tell you I have to tell you something. This is the best chat meme that you've ever had. This is the <laughs> this best. Is this is chat. Good. This is chat's best meme by miles. This is a, this the, this chat with this meme like with this emote alone has managed to derail us for God it, knows it, how long. It's, it's it's too funny. Chat can't. I don't think I'm chat crying. can have this power of of. Holy fucking shit! Uh, it's too funny. It, how is it funny? <laughs> I don't have to explain myself to you, okay? I picked a great day to watch on a shitty laptop. All right, stop. <laughs> the good day. No. All right, they're going to have to take the emote out back like Bungalive. Is that what you want? <laughs> Guys, chugalepsy needs to be... Chugalepsy is like cumin. It's like a potent spice that needs to be used sparingly, okay? <laughs> um... Get better computers. Think about get better computers. Think about if you're really ready for a new relationship. Oh, it finally they finally decided to How ask did this themselves. Come so late. They finally decided to ask this question. This should have been in the beginning of the fucking thing. Okay, if you are not invested in your current relationship and you are not over your ex, you may want to evaluate if you are ready to date right now. It may be best to have. I fucking saw the. I saw them. I I saw the emotes and I I. You, you may want to evaluate if you are ready to date right now. It might be best to have some time, alone time, to process your feelings before trying to force yourself to feel a certain way for your for your current boyfriend. Ask yourself, am I dating him because I really like him or for some other reason? Am I trying to get revenge against my ex or make him jealous? Do I just like the idea of being with someone I, and I don't want to be single? Consider that. If you still love your ex, you may not be ready to enter a new relationship, and you need to spend some time working through your feelings and healing before you are ready to date. 
should have been again the first the first thing yeah this should have been number one spend some time with friends and family work on achieving personal goals and improving your self-esteem while you get over your uh, ex <laughs> chat really wants this emote to get banned <laughs> Whispone says, what if he chugged a margarita mix and left it in his mouth and then he did a chugalepsy? Um, all right, well, what? The, the margarita mix with, like, the tequila, right? M mix it in there. Like, his his skull is a fucking, is is, is like, a mic, like a shaker, right? Right, yeah. Come in a box for three years and then burn it in your backyard. <laughs> That is too specific not to be real. Okay, listen. All right, this is worth pointing out that users users can disable animated emotes in BTTV settings. So if fucking animated emotes brick your fucking computer or your phone, you can disable them in BTTV settings. Yes. Um. Actually, isn't that that fucking emote wouldn't even show up on a phone because that's a 7TV emote, which is not supported on, on phones, right? Oh, okay. And FFZ. Uh, all right, you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. Avoid contact with your ex. Stop texting him. Unless there is a very good reason, you should not be in contact with your ex. What is... And especially not on a regular basis. Why is this, like, anti-couch? Like, why is it anti-sofa? What's going on back there? Right, it's, like, not over the, the phone. It's just, you, you won't be able to sit down. No sodas allowed, right? I just know, like, huh, wonder who that's for. Keeping in contact with me will make it harder for you to move and have you stuck loving him. Eventually, this will get in the way of your new relationship. Stuck. Don't, don't call, text, email, or go by to see how he is doing. He is fine. Don't perch okay. on the tree branch outside his bedroom window and try to peer in between the blinds to watch him masturbate. Right. No, just the he is fine makes it makes it sound like a murder he is fine he is fine he is don't fine. go by to see how he's doing he's fine like that is not necessary like maybe he's no. not fine and like maybe that's okay you know like uh... like it maybe insisting a little hard here right if uh <laughs> consider temporary blo temporarily blocking him on social media so wow. that you don't have his posts popping up on your timeline yeah. or remind you of him or tempting you to comment on them yeah yeah if you must have contact keep it to a minimum and avoid talking about your past relationship give him right give him a teddy bear with a camera in its eye fucking demented learn to see your ex in a new light right uh, take him outside look him in the sun some relationships end wait for is this is this going is this going to be like gaslight yourself into believing he was bullshit like he was a piece of shit yeah yeah well man i i do think that when the relationship does end and you're you're trying to move on and you're trying to move forward it, 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 listen i'm listening you do got to kind of focus on the negative and like downplay the positive they're gone you're not getting back together with them like remember re remember why the relationship ended that is like really good advice honestly that that there are you got to keep in couple, mind why it ended right there are a couple of nuggets of good advice that are cradled in a gigantic oyster of cope yeah of cope <laughs> of cope <laughs> chugalepsy fuck his dad fuck his I, I i went there too i saw that one too have sex with his mother oh my god so was it amber turd which sounds like the um the new york post headline for that fucking court case 
Was that the New York Post or the Daily News that had um, beat the Meatles? Which which was that? It was the New York Post, right? Beat the Meatles. Amber Turd. Like in just huge letters, right? Amber Turd. Amber mm -hmm. Shat in, in, in hubby. Uh, they'll use the word hubby. I fucking hate that word. Hubby. Oh, uh, what was his fucking name? Johnny Depp's bed. Right? Le oh my god, Denizium has the best idea. Leave your girlfriend for her ex that she's still in love with. Like, leave her for her ex. Yeah. Get with her ex. That is the biggest fucking power move. Holy shit, that is beyond power move. Oh my god. Um. Some relationships end for good, clear reasons. Somebody cheated or the relationship was toxic and unhealthy. Yeah, I mean, you gotta... It, it's tempting to, like, you remember the good times, but then it's like, no, it ended. There was a reason it ended. If it fucking... Yeah. If, 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 if there wasn't, it wouldn't have ended. Right. right? Like, I know I, it's I, hard, but... I mean, I've been through that. I've been through this, you know, a lot. Was... I, I think... I think one of, one of the things that helped me get over relationships a lot was, like, oh, man, like, I, I really miss them. And then I imagine... Oh, like, imagine getting back together with them. And I'm like... Okay, yeah, no, I'm good now. Right. You just have to really think <laughs> about that for a second, and then it's like, hmm. And, and to to be honest, like, like I like I like I've said, I am friends with the with the vast majority of my exes. It's not a matter of them. It's just this was not, it was not healthy. Right. 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 You know, it's it's again sometimes you just you just got to remind yourself about. It. The negative aspects like focus on mm -hmm. the negative I, I i feel like people just get sucked into that and how many times do you see that right that is such a classic fucking thing right yeah that couple that should have broke up years ago and they did so many times but they just keep trying to make it work and it just doesn't yeah you know like what the fuck is that like that that shit that's just so heartbreaking to see you know yeah no it it hurts I've I, I've seen that. Um, relationships end without an obvious reason. Sometimes you love each other, but you want different things. One of you had to relocate, and these can be especially hard to get over, right? Because there's no there's no you know, like oh he was he sucked, right? Mm -hmm. uh, your ex may be an awesome person that is deserving of your love, but it just wasn't right. So how do you get over this person? Try to separate the familiar admiration type of love from the romantic type of love you had hoped for. That's I think that's good advice. That's these, that's like there's decent advice yeah, again. Decent advice nestled in a cradle of cope. Cradle it, it, of cope is like the the it's cool cradle band name. of filth. That's a band name. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it, a it's cradle of filth. It's cradle of filth. Yeah. It's very normal to still have feelings after a relationship ends. Remember, your ex was a part of your life for a long time, and it can be hard to close your heart again once you open it up. Let time do its work. As time passes, you will think less and less about your past relationship. And eventually you will get over your love for your ex. It may take weeks, months, or even a year. But you've got to be patient and allow time to help you move on. Chugalepsy. Let time do its work. Chugalepsy. <laughs> All right. You want to t tackle this Q&A, no, see, the bet... Oh, no. I was, I was just thinking, you know, I... I no. Last time you were on, I told you about the person who left their partner for a fictitious character. Yeah, Didn't uh, I? You, yeah. you mentioned it. Yeah, I, I mentioned it. Was it was Lucario's like the, the person, not, right? It was because Lucario. It, it wasn't had a Lucar. It wasn't Lucar. I, I don't know. It wasn't Lucario, but it was. It was a fictitious character that they have that they have made up, and they left their partner because the the character's dick was bigger. And I could not, You're not imagine. This is, did you, so this is this is you know you know this person personally. I know a person who like was directly involved like with these people who knew these people personally. Okay, and they left their partner because the 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 cartoon the fictional cartoon character had a larger pe had had a larger penis. Yes. How did they know that the character had a larger penis? Let's start there. Because they made him. It was they left their 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 they left their boyfriend or girlfriend for their own OC. Mm -hmm. I think there's bigger problems at play. Uh, yeah, see at that point that right? that feels you know how sometimes 
sometimes you dodge a bullet and Oof. sometimes the bullet just veers away from you yeah without you having to do anything yeah 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 this is yeah. an example of the latter yeah right like if someone is go yeah the bullet dodged you yeah the bullet just curved away from you and you didn't have to do anything it's holy fuck that has happened to me before yeah right? that's, the, that's like, dodging a fucking nuke that's forget no like, you, you but, dodge but the fucking icbm dude this this is the case where that this like they they didn't even have to do anything right they didn't even have to do anything but the bullet just veered away unfortunately Holy the person went on to shit. The, the the person who got broken up with is like a really awful toxic person so it's like everyone just kind of sucked in that situation well uh, i mean how are they enjoying the fictional penis i i couldn't tell you i imagine it's pretty good you think it's good huh yeah I, I i'll bet so i mean he has a bigger dick so i'm gonna go with, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna leave this guy for him i mean i mean the dick's not real but no. um the idea of the dick is more attractive to me than his than his extant albeit smaller penis lives from base <laughs> dream pe dream penis yeah i'm seeing an alarming number of people saying things like like lives from based and shit <laughs> it's, it's concerning chugalipsy fuck your tulpa <laughs> see, the, the, the current chug the chugalipsy meme is because last night there was like a a, a a fucking one of the finger family videos had like it was almost like it was an editing error actually two of them had this which was strange mm -mm. where it was just like a, like the sound of a clock ticking like time was running out or something and i said it was like a manchurian like sleeper cell activation like like sound or some shit oh no and so chat started fucking posting chugalepsies and like and and saying just like <laughs> you know like like kill your neighbor and shit <laughs> kill john lennon yeah kill john lennon and shit like that <laughs> fucking perfect <laughs> can you be in love with your ex and your boyfriend from um, we got expert answers from mm. Erica Kaplan, matchmaker. It's, a, it's She's okay a to love your ex as a friend and someone you care about and respect, and you can do that while loving your new boyfriend in a romantic way. The motorcade is near the book depository. <laughs> Should I date someone if I still love my ex? Ask yourself whether you feel safe enough with this person to open up and be vulnerable. If not, you might need to take a little more time before starting a new relationship. How do I get over my ex if I'm in a new relationship? It's really just a matter of feeling healed enough where you can allow yourself to be vulnerable with something else. You may still feel feelings for your ex because they were part of your life for a long time, and that's okay. What you need to evaluate is how you feel about this new person moving forward separately from how you feel about your ex. Um, Fred... Are you yes. ready to have some 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 fun, some stupid fun here? Oh God, am I? I think so. Now, before okay. you said you never played The Sims, right? You never played any of The Sims. I played Sim Town when I was tiny, but that doesn't count. Are, are you like peripherally aware of like you know of The Sims? Oh, absolutely. Like okay. like, like I've watched some videos. Oh, okay. From, okay. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've watched some videos. Okay. From, uh, on YouTube. All right. Check this one out. How to speak Simlish. Now, if you didn't know, Simlish is a fictional language spoken by the characters in the popular game series, The Sims. It consists mostly no. of gibberish sounds, as no. Will Wright, the series creator, wanted no. the games to have universal appeal without the need to translate no. them into different languages. No. If you're a diehard Sims fan, teaching yourself no. to speak Simlish can be a fun and quirky project. A good place no. to start is by paying close attention to the way the characters express themselves in the no. game and learning the meaning no. of words and phrases that are repeated no. frequently throughout the series. No. No. Chad, what was that thing that Amy no. used to say all the time? Whenever she was like really pissed off? She would be like, Creepo! What was it, Creepo? Uh, she, she, hey nipple no hey nipple was from finger family yeah fred died 
Fred died of cringe. Like every time she was pissed off at another character, she she would be like, "I'll be right back. I'm it, making tea." Oh yeah, sure. It was a longer. It was Greepo. It was like, blah, 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 Greepo. It was longer. It it included Greepo. It included Greepo, but it wasn't only Greepo. Amy had Amy had a lot of fucking really indelible phrases though. Well, I mean, I guess they weren't that indelible because I don't remember them. Those Sims 4 streams were so fun. Spit Fawcett is working on a highlight of those streams, and I, I think that's going to be a fantastic video. Greepo is a Sonic character? There was a Greepo? Yo, who shot first, Han or Greepo? Greepo! Steep your bowls in boiling water. Oh, Fre Fred's making testicle tea right now? <laughs> Testicles. That would work, dude. If you steeped your fucking balls in, in boiling water, like some of your ball, like your ball flavor would in, would get imparted into the tea. That would work. That would absolutely would fucking work. Like 100%. It's called flesh. Flesh, sweat, um, ball, the pubes. That would hurt. Oh, it would, would it hurt or would it feel really, really good? They call it nut sweat tea. Ball crust tea? Yeah, maybe you maybe you don't like you don't bathe for a couple of days before you make the tea, right? Uh, the Sim streams were four months uh, ago. Yeah. Okay. It's like the beginning of the year, I'm basically. Back. Fred, back. have you ever taken your balls and dipped them into boiling hot water to like steep them for several minutes? Yeah, I'll, I'll be back in another few minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, balls tea. Okay, okay, no, I'm 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 here. Fred, I'm here. ball Fred, balls tea. Balls tea. Like it, it, it would it would work. Like your balls would 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 fucking the your ball funk whatever your ball flesh would permeate into the into the boiling water. It would work. Are you well, the boiling water. Okay, we're this is boiling water. This is the new project. About. This is we we're, we're moving on from from monk shit tea. Now it's fucking fat nuts tea. Dude, are you okay? Nope. We got a raid just now from Pappy the Pizza Man. Pappy, thank you so much for oh, the raid. Pappy's up, pizza don't lost their mind. Uh. I am like already in a fugue state where time has little meaning. Well, it's about to get like, even worse. Can you can you um pronounce some of these? I want to hear you pronounce these things. I Nubu is baby. Nubu. Kumchug is pizza. Chumcha. Chumcha. Greepo. Look at dog. Woofum. Woofum. Because they go woof. Jowlinin. 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 Spurk. Look how you say girl. 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 This. Spurk. <laughs> Spurk. 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 This. This is. Look. So can remember, you, tra you can directly we translate were... everything. I guess. From, from Simlish then. I, okay. You remember how I was talking about the. the the, the role-playing pipeline where, like, normal people make fun of D&D &D players, D&D &D yeah. players make fun of LARPers, LARPers make fun of, like, whatever, like, the pack, right? The, like, the, the people in the pack. Thank you, Wisp. Like, people out, yeah. in, out in, like, a soccer field barking at each other and, like, shitting. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. This... Yeah. This is, like, you have people who, like study languages they look down on people who just speak them you know naturally yeah. like they learn them growing up um those people look down on people who like make and learn um conlangs like uh like elfish mm. from lord of the rings klingon and uh those people look down on people who learn klingon mm. We figured out who is beneath the Klingon learners yes, on we the totem did. pole. Yes, it's we did. It's the people who learn Simlish. Yes, we did. Now, they uh, apparently have created an entire language for this game. 
Mm. Right, and then beneath them you have the Dutch. And yes, yeah, the Dutch. and beneath them are the, the, Dutch. the Dutch. Have I have I told you my opinion? Like as someone learning German, I've told you my opinion on Dutch, right? No, I don't know. Maybe Dutch sounds like a German person making fun of how a Canadian sounds. <laughs> That's uh, that's accurate. That's accurate. We were talking about this in a recent stream, right, chat? When so we had all the phrases that sound well. I, I, yeah, no, because it, 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 it's, it's like an uncanny valley English, right? That language, right? Nibla herbler bourbon. What was it? It was like sitting in the kitchen. It was like sorted in the cooking. Oh yeah, sorted in the cooking. Is it's it's like wrong English. It, it is. It's 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 like fucking. It's like backrooms English. I don't know how to fucking explain this. Um, it's a actually, little unsettling. Alfie, Alfie was talking to me about this. Apparently, the Swedish chef isn't even like he's based on a real person, but not a Swede. Interesting. He's yeah. based on a Dutch person. No, I don't remember. I need to ask again. Kjorken. Kjorken. Um, yeah, I love I love Dutch. Okay. I just live, love listening to it. Obviously, I don't fucking know it at all. No, it's boom. very funny learning German and like understanding. It's like it's like I can understand kind of some of it mm -hmm. up until like a certain point where it just becomes gibberish. How's the German coming along? Okay. Do you feel like you're it's getting a good handle well. on the German? I, I'm I'm getting a better handle on it. Um, I'm still not comfortable speaking it. Like that's gonna beyond, come. That's you know, gonna basic come phrases, when but. you when you have to speak it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's gonna come when you're in a situation where you need yes, where you, yeah. you need um, to speak I, it regularly. Yes, like a, a lot of phrases and a lot of words um, that I used regular in like day to day speech um, when, when I've been in Austria have like those have be I have entered my comfortable lexicon like mm -hmm. to to the point where I could say it just as easily in German as I could in English, right? Mm -hmm. um, like sometimes the German phrase will come to mind before the English phrase. That's just good. That's good. I've, I've said it so that's much. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's good. Um, but I'm also learning how, like, I'm I'm learning how to speak more you no know, complicated sentences too. Okay, that's cool. It's gonna be glad to hear it. Um, how would you say uh, "finnaspurk" in Ger in uh, in German? Finna Finnaspurk. How do you tr how do you say uh, that in German? Let me hear you. you sprechen. Hear? Sprechen is is speak. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Right. Sprechen. Sprechen. Yeah. Sprich. No, it's sprichst du Deutsch. Okay. Sprichst. It's a. It's kind of a difficult word. Sprichst. Which one? Speak. Sp speak. Sprichst. Yeah. Uh, so you um, conjugate the, the word. The word is conjugated oh, depending yeah. on on who it's directed to. So do so. Ich spreche. Uh, du sprichst. Uh, Sie sprechen. Uh, or 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 the wir sprechen. Und um and ihr spricht. Uh, wait. Spricht. Yeah. There's no S at the end there. Your pronunciation, I mean, like, obviously I don't know German, but your pronunciation sounds like like German. It sounds, it sounds right as somebody who doesn't speak it. Mm. You know, it's not. I'm good. I'm sure that the people who actually speak German are like, uh, oh, Fred's butchering it, but. No, nah, no way. Germans? I know, I'm curious. Sounds good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. It's not bad, good enough? Mm -hmm. It's a notable, noticeable accent, but yeah. They're shitting on you. They're saying it's bad. No, it's like, I, I definitely still have an accent, right? Certainly. Um, and I will for a long time. It was funny. I was chatting with Internet Historian again recently, and he was just like, dude, you are going to have the, like, the weirdest accent by 40. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Well, because you, your, your, your English is going to get like somewhat impacted. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Somewhat. I'm he'll curious be, he'll be like the guy, he'll it. be in the guy, like the guy in the Atlas Earth, uh, uh, fucking Darman video chat. Yeah. Like Fred's I... going to come onto the stream and he's going to be like, hello, everybody. It's me, Frederick Knudsen. It's me. Remember me, Frederick Knudsen. And he goes on webcam and like, he's fucking, he's like brunette now. You know, he's got like fucking, he's got, he's got like, like half his teeth are missing. Like, it's like, is this, are we sure this is the same guy? Like, is it? I just bought the more land in the metaverse. Did you see what we're, what, what, what I'm talking about, by the way? No. It was, uh, uh, like, uh, some fucking clickbait garbage, but they were paid by Atlas Earth. 
Okay. Like they were straight. It was straight up a fucking Atlas Earth advertisement. These people, Atlas Earth paid these people to, to make an Atlas Earth video and publish it on their channel. Like it's a fuck. It was hmm. fucking. You would have fucking hated this. Oh my god! It would have made. It would have made you so fucking mad, dude. I, it sounds like it. Holy shit! But halfway through the video, they replaced one of the actors. Well, it was there was a time skip, and the adult version, like the child, spoke perfect English, like perfect like American English. Okay, he was like, he, he his hair was like dirty blonde or whatever. And then after the time skip, they had this guy come back, and he was like, he was like, "Hello, I am your long lost son." It is mm. me. He had like this really fucking thick, like, I don't know, Eastern European accent or something. Mm. He also became like, yeah, he changed race. Like his, his skin color changed completely. Mm. And he had long black hair. It was like, it was, they didn't even try. And they knew that, they, that it was fucked. So they wrote right. into his dialogue. He goes, he's like, hello, dad. I've been living overseas for quite some time. So I have developed an accent. Because they knew how fucked it was, so they wrote it into his di into his dialogue. Is this role that is incredible. Yeah. Holy shit! God, that's so good. Um. All right. So. Ich uh, habe mehr Land im Metaverse gekauft. Please no. It's, how do you say it's about to go nuts? I couldn't tell you. Um, oh, someone wants me to pronounce Österreich. Is that okay? Österreich. What does that mean? It's uh, it just means Austria. Um. Oh, Ost Österreich. Uh -huh. Österreich. So it's I I I I. It's like I. So you have uh. I so the I O is like O. I but I you have I I So um, the, when you see an umlaut, when you see an umlaut in a German word, it kind of goes farther back into your mouth. What? Um. Like, so for a U, it's in the front of the mouth, but you just pull it back farther into your mouth when you see an umlaut. Is <laughs> Reich. There's no, like, exact... It, it uses parts of the mouth that English doesn't. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, learn the meaning of common words and phrases. Even though the Simlish language is mostly just nonsensical sounds improvised by voice actors... There are a few constants that can be overheard in each of the games. Jot down words and phrases. They didn't make a whole language. Mm -hmm. Jot down words and phrases uh, you hear repeated frequently along with their probable meanings. In no time, you'll have a list of words that will form the core of your Simlish vocabulary and the core of why nobody likes you. <laughs> Nubu, for instance, means baby, while chum cha translates to pizza. These and other words are used consistently by every character type, including men, women, babies, and even aliens. Tip, unofficial Simlish dictionaries compiled by Sims fans can make useful study aids when you're learning. Oh, this, I had a big fucking hair in my mouth. What the fuck? How'd that get in there? This this is this is how you lose friends. Like, nobody thinks this is cool. No, this is so fucking mega lame, it's not even funny. No, like, and, you are not going to impress anyone. And not only that, you're pissing me off. You want to know why you're pissing me off? Hmm. Because you could be taking this effort to learn an actual language, you dick. Learn a real language, you penis. What are you doing? You're going to put this effort into a fucking fake, like, useless language? Check these out. Hooba noobie. Gil frob. Hooba noobie. Cut I I've heard that one. Dag dag. Sol sol. Ubi ga. Which one, hooba noobie? Yeah. Familiarize yourself with the basic greetings. Sims characters almost always use the same phrases when addressing each other in everyday situations. In each game in the series, Sol Sol means hello and Dag Dag means goodbye. If you have a keen ear, you'll hear other phrases pop up regularly too, such as Kutikalu, which roughly translates to how are you. You could also throw out a Hoobanoobie if you really want to impress people. Hoobanoobie. Uh, or Gilfrob, see you later. If you're looking for a more casual way of greeting somebody, yeah, throw that out at your dad's work meeting. I... See how impressed everybody is, including your dad. I bet your dad will really appreciate you demonstrating to his co-workers how uh, smart and cool you are by knowing Simlish. My Mike? I, I have a prediction. Mm-hmm. Everyone who speaks Simlish speaks it really well uh -huh. because they have 
so much time due to being unemployed. <laughs> unemployed and, and friendless and, and just, friendless and, and, and like fucking... yeah, living alone in, in their in their parents' basement. Any of those things alone would not be enough. This is an it, article to read. Like, if you're too popular, like, if you have the problem of like, oh my god, I have too many friends, I'm spread so thin, just, just start fucking whipping out a hoobanoobie once in a while and see how quick like, they're like, okay, you gotta go, look at the time. Hoopy bankrupty. Hoopy bankrupty? <laughs> yeah. Hoopy bankrupty. Oh, are you trying to, you... this is Fred's way of ending our friendship. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I, okay. Peek. It's not gonna work. I love you too much. It's not gonna work. You're gonna have to try a lot Scoopy harder. Than Banoopy. That. Scoopy Banoopy. Scoopy Banoopy. Research Just some like of the that, I want him back. Listen, Just like that. Listen to this bullshit. Research some of the languages that inspired written Simlish. Spend some time looking over but not learning the unique alphabets of languages like English, French, Finnish, Latin, Speep, Fijian, and Tagalog. By brushing up on the basics of these languages, you may find you're able to recognize certain letters and symbols you come across on signs, books, newspapers, and TV screens. This is... This is stupid. Yeah, I had, like, I had to censor that word. Yeah, I had to. I, yeah. I... I guess... I'm... Who wants this? Uh, that's... Who... Sad. Who was sad. asking for this? <gasps> I mean, like, I always have the, the 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 fear that when I really, like, bash on something like this, that there's, like, the one guy in chat who's like, I learned Simlish. Wow, my favorite streamer thinks I'm a loser. Sage. A little bit. Like, I don't want to be that. I don't, I don't, I'm, like, I'm worried about that, you know? Like, I'm worried I do. about it. No, I'll be that guy. I'll be it for you. More people want this than wanted the Gollum game. <laughs> okay, that's valid. That That is, that is true. Well, this is cool. Yeah, see, now well, I'm gonna this learn is why. Simlish. Th this Poopy is why newbie. I have sound alerts. This is why I have sound alerts on my stream because my chat knows better when to use my soundboard than Fred, I do. Fred. Well, yeah. this is Kotikalu. Oh, fuck off. Keelfrob. Uh, dang, dang. It, G Li, B Li, Pete Ratgu, my can I? God, you you have done that more than once. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I can hear it. I yeah, can yeah. hear the comfort in your yeah, throat yeah, as the, you say the, it. The familiarity with it, bike. Mm -hmm. Um, effortless. You 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 know how you know how sometimes you see someone who's very skilled with a butterfly knife almost look like they're about to that's drop it. What you just experienced. About to <laughs> drop it, but like they they're not in any danger of dropping it. That was like you, the right. way that those words right. rolled off of your tongue. Right, right. Um, it's unbecoming. Yeah, it's it's shameful. I just. You know what it is? It's, it's not even like I watched it that many times. It's like, it just, it gets, it drills into your fucking medulla oblongata it, it so does. deeply. It, it fucking hurts so much that you just, you, you get scarred from it. It hurts. Right? It is, uh, and the worst part is you can't even write it out because it's just bad pronunciations of already existing words. There's a theory that that guy is Dutch, apparently. I... Makes sense. Would make, make sense, doesn't it? Because because no. Dutch is Uncanny Valley English. That's why. I. It's Uncanny Valley German. It's also Uncanny it, Valley English. Is it? I yeah, there's dude. There's a lot of cognates and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There is. Mm. There is. Yeah, definitely. Because it's um. What's 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 the what's the language family that like influenced English? That's that language family. What like. Ger Germanic? Are you talking? May maybe. I mean, I, I guess it would be just the Germanic family. Yeah, that 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 is, that is. Germa. That did fucking find its way into, into English with with, with who, the the Saxons. Like the Saxons were were, were Germanic. I am, I am so out of my depth here, dude. I I am so shy of this chat's just spamming the word germa awesome never mind germa okay while spoken simlish uh is purely fictitious written simlish is a hodgepodge of grammatical elements taken from real languages however these mostly appear to have been chosen at random don't invest too much time really? into attempting to read or write in simlish 
Uh, well, did, did I mean, like we're already pretty in... we're already pretty deep in here. I, I mean, are you right. sure? Like, it... there's no rhyme or reason to the way Simlish words are represented in text, so you won't make much progress. Yeah, don't waste did your time trying article... to learn Simlish. Did this article just invalidate itself? Yeah, a little bit. Well, they're talking about reading and writing versus speaking it, right? Oh, no, pay attention. Yeah, Want to take four. that? Yeah. Okay. Pay attention to the way characters sound when they talk. The next, like, like doofuses. The next time you make your family of Sims chit-chat with one another, take note of how they say certain things depending on the mood they're in. Do your best to recreate their speech patterns and tone of voice while practicing your simlish. So cringe. So I, fucking cringe. Sorry, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. No, I... I, I'm I'm there too. You can it's, pick it's, up a lot of the style of the language in this way. What? Simlish is all about tone and inflection. Since the majority of the language is gobbledygook, the real meaning lies in conveying emotion. Yeah, just... If you are sad, sound sad. It's... I'm going to save that for my stream. I have a thought. I'm going to save it. You holding out on us? Yeah, I'm holding out. Uh, the reason why English and German are similar was because Britain and Denmark were at war for hundreds of years. So the two cultures blended together a bit. Yeah. That happens. Well, yeah. Isn't that kind of amazing how that yeah, happens? Yeah, yeah. Well, be, well, because Denmark were kept... Was it Denmark at that time? The Danes kept invading... Uh, the, the England, they kept in oh, they like, repeatedly invaded England like again and again and again and yeah. again and again, right? No, it's so funny how like um, Europe invaded the Middle East multiple times, yeah. and like the Middle East in terms of, like culturally was musically was way ahead at the very least, right? Le was yeah. way ahead musically. So people went to the Middle East, came back, and were like, guys. Did you know there are more than five notes? Yeah, right. right. Like, like it was the biggest yeah. fucking revelation. Dude, mm -hmm. I... It's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Holy shit, you guys. Um... I have, uh, Mass they were mathematically, yeah. has a linguist, a linguist buddy they talk to. English and Dutch are both considered West Germanic. Dutch is English's closest living, living relative. Holy yeah. crap, Lois. I just got done invading Sumeria. Did you know that there are more than five notes? <laughs> um, I, uh, listen to popular... I'm not... Listen to popular songs that have been recorded in Simlish. <laughs> Starting with Boobus the Simlish not 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boobus not woofums. Oh, yeah, because because this happened. Listen to this. Listen to this. Some of the artists who have lent their music to the Sims soundtracks over the years include include uh, that Bare Naked Ladies, The Black Eyed Peas, Depeche Mode, Flaming Lips, Lily Allen, Pussycat Dolls, what? My Chemical Romance. You didn't know this? Paramore, no. Katy Perry, and Neon Trees. So there are Sims versions of these songs. So like, there's a, there's a Katy Perry song where it's like. Just all the fucking lyrics are replaced with Simlish. Wow, that sounds stupid. There's a there's like a Sims version of like I don't know, firework or whatever the fuck. Oh, and oh, and it sucks. Oh, it sucks so bad. I dies of cringe. There's a Katy Perry pack where like Katy Perry is an NPC. Yeah, it's oh, it's it's mega cringe. Yeah. Right, they got really aggressive with their DLC. Yeah, well, it was EA. Like, yeah. Right, yeah, EA is just brutal. Scum. <laughs> fucking brutal. Uh, yeah, so it's, 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 it's fucking, it takes these cringe songs and somehow makes them even worse. Uh, practicing your Simlish. Booba snot woofums. Booba snot is just milk. It's just milk? Yeah, Oh, oh my, because it's boo, right. Booba snot woofums. Yeah, that's normal. I mean, if I if I was sitting there like and like my 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 fucking like teenage son was sitting at his at his fucking laptop and he was like, "Booba snot woofums, booba snot woofums, booba snot woofums," I'd be like, "You're disowned. Get out. 
Get out. Get I out of my I house. I raised you better. Get out of my house. You're disowned. You're disowned. Okay? This is the... You, you, you found the one thing that would make me disown you. Get out. You found it. I would have tolerated literally anything, you know, you, you want to come, you want to come in here, you want to, you want to be, you want to be gay or something, you want to come out of the closet, you know, you want to do this, you want to, whatever the fuck, whatever it is, this is where, no, this is where I draw the line, you're done, we're done. This, my brain, my brain is breaking, like, I just, I, I think it's hard to engage with this because I I can not a Sims fan with, with any other article that we have read tonight I can imagine someone looking it up they might be weird they might be deranged but I could they, I could see a circumstance in which someone would look it up this one I have nothing I have nothing I'm I'm drawing a blank I can't like, so oftentimes a lot of my humor comes from, like, imagining a character, imagining a person. This, it's nothing. It's just a void. There's blackness. Hi, okay. Capcom. They said, anybody who chooses to watch Mike has been bullied at one point. So why the <laughs> fuck are we bullying others? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. You know what? I'm gonna own this. We are... We. I, okay. I, I am bullying people who learn Simlish. If you learn Simlish, I'm bullying you loudly and proudly. Okay? <laughs> I'm not... I'm not even gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna walk about... You are a fucking loser. Stop. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. You need to get a life. You fucking suck. Nobody likes you. <laughs> You're a bitch. You're a bitch and a nerd and a loser. Go the fuck outside. I will proudly bully that person. <laughs> proudly. I And I'll do it again. Listen. In most cases, I would intervene. I'm going to let this happen this time. This is it. Like I'm perm I'm permitting this. Okay, that's that. I, I that was understand something. People are like, I'm leaving. My feelings are hurt. Good. If you can't tell that that wasn't a a a, a fucking engine a reaction specifically to that person's comment, then 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 yes, please leave. I don't want you here. <laughs> loser, you're a loser. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? If if you if you again like if you, if you can't tell that wasn't a bit, I, I don't know what the fuck you. I don't. I yeah, leave, please. If you can't tell that's a bit, then yeah, go, please. No, see, I I, I like the idea that like twenty people leave because you were bullying them, and then like five hundred people leave because you then say you were joking. <laughs> Mike made up a guy and got mad about him. That's the American. <laughs> that's the American. Pa that's the current American pastime. Twenty people. Twenty people left. They went. Ah, Greepo, and left. <laughs> Greepo. <laughs> oh, Greep. Greepo. All I. All Greepo. I have to say to them Hoopa is newbie. dag dag. Greep dag dag. Uh, Greepo. Dag dag. This is Heel not Upiga. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm gonna shed a tear for those people leaving. All right, so <laughs> really, really not endearing yourself to the Simlish crowd. It's one guy, the guy it's who wrote this article. <laughs> it's the like odds he made that up he's, a guy, he, but the guy is the, real. The odds that he's here right now to hear the bullying are astronomically low. <laughs> okay, he's not here. Don't worry. The one guy who does this is not here. Devin chat. <laughs> All right, he's not. I'm, I'm joking. Master your pronunciation of common words and phrases. Um, practice repeating key bits of the language that you hear again and again until you sound like your Sims. Dialing in your delivery may require you to mimic things like how fast or slow the word is typically said, 
or the inflection or tone of voice used to say it. The word boobasnot, for instance, is often spoken with a quick, angry emphasis to express a disliking for something or someone. Why don't you just like become an, a, 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 a fucking like voice actor for The Sims at this point? Mike, I, I, have, I have an even better idea. How about instead, instead of learning Simlish, you just play The Sims? And just have fun playing The Sims, yeah. Oh, right, J just play. Like, you're going to get as much out of learning Simlish as you will just playing The Sims. Presumably. Just play it. Like, you just learn it through osmosis, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and you know what? Argument. You, you can do other stuff while you're, while, while you're doing, while you're playing The Sims. Like, while you're learning Simlish, you have to be focused on that shit, right? Like, you're, oh, yeah. you are paying attention. If you, if you're playing The Sims, you can put on an audiobook. You can, you can be learning about interesting things, listening to great works of literature, like audiobooks. Right. Fuck, even like, even a, a Twitch stream, right? That, that's yeah. going to be more enriching. Right, dude. Fred doesn't know. He's like, oh, just play the game, forehead. Fred doesn't know the game costs like fucking damn near two thousand dollars to play. To fucking oh, with all of the content, <laughs> with all the DLC, all the DLC. It's really that much, dude. It's not a joke. All right, uh, make your own unique contributions to the language. I'll start making it up. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just start making it up. You'll sound like a complete psychopath. Make your own contribution. I, I, I love the idea that they were like there. There was a, a, a group of of fucking uh, of of chatters, of like viewers who actually found a way to be like legitimately deeply offended by what's happening right now. Like they, Ayoko, I, Bobosia. like professional fucking offendoids. Offendoids. Make your own unique contributions to the language. Come up with words and phrases from random sounds. Simlish started as an imp improvised language made up on the spot during the production of the games, which means there's no rules about how it has to sound. If the original voice actors could do it, so can you. Yeah, here's the problem with that. Words mean things. Yeah, hey Fred, what's your contribution to German? I mean, like, yo, listen, at, at some point in time, that was just a bunch of guys uh, sitting around, you know, eating rocks, who, uh, you know, came up with the language anyway, so why don't you just go ahead and come up with the language, Fred? No, you know, you know what I'm going to do? Start coming up with German. Yeah, start coming up with words. You know Fuck what? it. Make I'm, them up. I'm, Fuck it. I'm going, I am going to fly to Austria. Stand in the middle of the square between the art museum and the natural history museum. Yeah. Look up to the sky, spread my arms, and shout from the top of my lungs, Come! <laughs> Yes. And every person in the square will look at me. <laughs> Their eyes will light up and they Fuck will yeah. have learned a new word. Fuck yeah. That will spread throughout <laughs> all of the German speaking world. I, well, I bet calm means something in German, though. It probably means like calm. I'm going to guess. I mean, calm is just common. Common? Common. Why do you know how to say come in German? No, 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 that's not semen. Come Although in? it is it is very funny that birth control is anti-baby pillin. No, it's not. It is. No, it's fucking anti -baby not. Pillin. No, it's fucking not. You're fucking with pillin. me. You I'm are fucking, fucking with, with me. Look it up. Look it up. You're fucking with me. I, this, is a, this is a uh, dude. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm not even giving that the dignity of looking it up. You're not winning this gaslight. I, because up. if I fucking if I look that up, you won. Look I'm up. not giving you the satisfaction. Look it up. He's looking it up. It's Norwegian, not German, according to this. I, I think it's also German. It's also German. What is a contraceptive pill called in Germany? Schwangerschaftsverhutungsmittel. There, there are a few different words for but it. But one of them is anti-baby pillin. Anti-baby pillin. Guys, it's real. Anti-baby pillin is real. <laughs> Shit. My favorite gaslights with Mike are the ones where I don't even lie. <laughs> you, I gaslight myself. Yeah. Those are my favorite gaslights. I gaslight anti, you with duck anti shit tea. Baby and I... pillin. <laughs> Holy shit. You just, I, gotta, you just gotta say it really fast. Anti baby pillin. 
Anti-baby pillen. Holy shit. German anti-natalist black pill. All right. Um. Look, he's playing The Sims. Um, use nonverbal cues to. Whoop. You All right. Too low. Listen, I'm yeah. done with this who, but this who newbie bullshit. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling like, oh, I'm getting like a weird headache and shit. I'm, get, I, I got, we got, I got, I, we got to end this. My head. Yeah, we've been going. Oh, we've been going for eight and a half hours. I, I, just, I just had, I just had like a, like, like a fucking dizzy spell. Like I got really dizzy for a minute. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's like okay. Like I don't know what the fuck. Oh, that dude, I like I, when I like I'm, I'm definitely, I, I am definitely feeling it. Like I got to get up and go walk around and shit and like stop looking okay. at stop looking at screens for a minute because yeah. I'm I, so, I got so like should... I had like a moment where I got got dizzy. It was kind of scary actually. You, you, so, you think it's you think it's time for uh, community contributions? Community contributions. Community media share uh united guys is coming up. So so stay community united media share is coming up. Don't touch that fucking mouse, guys. Okay, because I think we go, we're, we're going to have a big, chunky community media segment tonight. Um, so please don't fucking leave. Again, I'm going to put, I'm going to do this again. Check out my buddy Fred on his social media um, channels. Wait, why didn't it work? I'm trying to put links in the chat. Mods, please help. Uh, if you can, if you're here, please. Um, let's get Fred's. Thank you, Wisp. Let's get Fred's, uh, there's his links, his social media stuff, his YouTube channel, all that. Is uh, Follow him on Twitch as well. And please, uh, don't forget, don't forget me too. I'm on Twitter, mm -hmm. of course, YouTube. I'm on YouTube, Patreon. And of course, our beautiful, perfect Discord server. Get in there. Stream notifications and gluck gluck every night, guys. Um, and that's just the way she goes. I want to get rid of that, um, and I guess we'll get rid of that little septic was there the whole night, huh? Yes. That little septic. We're gonna yes. take a look at the. Um, um, let's look at Fred's. Let's look at Fred's first because Fred. I yeah. think. I think if they, some people might have been waiting for that, like for like eight hours. Yeah, sure. Right? Um, so you you can find it. The, there's just a hashtag T Owl Art. It's a hashtag <laughs> T Owl Art. Okay, let's do it. Um, all right, so I see. Excuse me. Um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, I am. Uh, so that that's from another stream that I did. Um, okay, so this, is there just uh, this so one? So go to latest. Go to latest. Uh, latest. Got it. Okay, yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, okay. There, I, yeah, you know, we've got a starry sketch page. Oh, I'm terrified to look. So, um, I, you know about this, but um, starry sketch page, uh, starry starry feathers, very frequently makes sketch pages. Yeah, uh, like almost every time. Mm -hmm. um, really cool. I love that uh, stuff. For like basically taking moments from the stream that were remarkable, and uh, and collates them into one large collage. That's from when I played Dead by Daylight by uh, or Dead by Daylight with uh, Alfie and Lumi and Mary and Nick. Let's shrink ourselves. Yes. Shrink yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably look at this on my stream. Um, like you want to do that? Okay, we'll, yeah, st we'll still yeah. shrink, still shrink yourself. Oh, because maybe. you're gonna block. Yeah, you're gonna block. Boop, 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 yeah, you're gonna block. Boop, boop. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be over here. Well, we'll we'll, we'll look at ones that are relevant to yeah, what what, what happened today. Okay, so this is um, from Othalania. Have you seen this? Yeah, no, th this is so cute. They so people like to share um, the stuff that they knit or crochet while uh -huh. they while they're watching my stream. People frequently use me, uh, like as uh, amuse, if you will. Yeah, I, yes, I amuse them while they while they knit or crochet. You're quite the muse. Uh, the cat's Actually, very uh, cute. One of one of my viewers even made a scarf for me. Well, with well, Lauren's colors. Well, uh, well, well, well. One of my viewers. Zero. One of my viewers made me a camel toe Joe. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you. It keeps me warm at night. No, Chad, I didn't fuck the camel toe, Joe. Okay, yes, I did. But moving on. Um, <laughs> this one's from Chris Yuritzo. It says, uh, Fred and Mike cuddle stream made by Doot Doot Mr. Skeltal from chat. Um, that looks like that's made out of cum, and it kind of looks like you're fucking me in the ass. 
I mean, I'm just, I'm just holding you. Like we're not, Fine. that's, this is not romantic. This is platonic cuddling. It's very, it's funny. Like that's the hair I used to have like yeah. way back in the day. It's a lot longer now, right? Uh, yeah. It's gotten a lot longer. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to let her, I'm, I'm going to try growing it out because I mean, worst case scenario, I don't like how it looks and I cut it. You cut it. You cut it. Why is this all? What is this? What is this? This milk font. It's very strange. Milk font. It looks. It looks very like um, uh, Adult Swim mm. almost, right? Mm -hmm. like we, this looks like an yeah. a, an Adult Swim show. Thank you, Yuritso, uh, for sharing that with us. Very cool. Um, Boobus. We also do have more starry uh, feathers art here. Oh, and this this is, this is, <laughs> this um, is a nightmare. This, I'm excited. This is relevant to what? Um, <laughs> yes. What we've been doing. Okay, so we we want to start. Holy fuck! Yeah. So this one's a a, a chonker, guys. Um, but we're, I'm sorry, I, my throat is finally starting to give out. They are a, splitting it up. They're splitting it up, though. So if we do that, we if we do this first, um, this would be better, <laughs> I think. Um, starry feathers. Drew, um, there's there's uh, there's Joker Fred damaged when you did the Joker voice. <laughs> Sussy Sussy Baca, there's a little a little Fred Mogus. Oh yeah, I I played uh, I played Among Us and Blackout last night with uh, with Whiskey Dingo, and I was the killer more than I was innocent. Oh, you Sussy little Baca. Yeah. Uh, there's some. Um, uh, I has awakened for three days and will not sleep until I got that two hundred dollars. You owl, you awesome. I'm gonna hug. Oh, it's 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 this. You're yeah, it's, ugly. You are yeah. disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. Oh, that's perfect. Um, and here's uh my. Oh, okay, go go back go back to the to the previous one. Mm -hmm. Um, they said I hope Chad is as comfy as I am to you. I mean, comfy. My my chat is actually really comfy. They're really good. Comfy. You're very um, comfy. My opinion on AI doing an artist craft, no matter how perfect it gets. <laughs> um, they did far worse than die. Oh, uh, what was that? They did far worse. Let me. What was that? I have been streaming for almost twelve hours now. Yep. Um. So I'm a little bit out of it. I hope you will forgive me. Um, oh, my brain is a fucking mush. They did, they did far. What, what was that in reference to? It was. Fuck. Oh, what, what happened to the animals uh, with Neuralink? <laughs> yeah, they did far worse than die. Fucking harrowing, dude. Harrowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now they, did you see they approved that for human trials? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Yeah. Have I I've, I've told you about the jello and fine tooth comb uh like uh analogy, right? No. Uh from that Zach Wienersmith, uh Zach and Kelly Wienersmith came up with. So, the problem is, so a, a good analogy for how brain implants work, you need you need the probes hard in order to like penetrate the the brain tissue. Yeah. So, I would like you to imagine you have you make a dome of jello. Now take a fine tooth comb and puncture the jello with it. Leave it in. Okay, right. Probably not that much damage to the jello. It's okay. It's acceptable. But now I want you to take that jello on that plate around with you all day. What's that comb going to do to the jello? Yeah. That's your As brain. As it wiggles around. Fuck. It's going to cause damage. Fuck. That is one of the problems with brain implants. Chugalepsy, penetrate my brain. The, now, there are ways around it. There are techs around it. But, you know, that that is a big problem. Also, I was talking about how I am the, like, in crafting games, I am the mom. Yeah. Like, I, I love making food. When I, mean, I play Valheim with with Vex and Cory and Elise. Um, you still I'm play that? making food. Oh, yeah, we're still playing. Yeah, we play it. We play it. Uh, we try to play it. I kind of missed that. I kind of missed that game. I, I I enjoyed that game. Uh, they just released recently, uh, a little while ago now, the Mistlands. New uh, new new like update, big yeah, update. New, yeah, uh, new biome. Oh, with okay. With new equipment. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, there's probably so much added to that game since the last time I played it. Oh, it's fun, yeah. It was hard. I, I found that game to actually be really difficult. Um, it it's a tricky game. It's also very janky. Um... All right, let's get back to this art because I yeah, feel like yeah, I'm I feel like I'm dying right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, weird. let's go, let's go. <laughs> kind of weird. Uh... Oh, there's us with memes, and that's what those are, memes on the wall. Spl oink, oink, I'm porking across Twitch. Porking. Getting the tea straight from the duck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the corkscrew <laughs> tongue, no. Fuck. Uh, Starry is too dangerous. The owl perched on the toilet. The gift of prophecy. Vagina havers confirm. Trans inclusive shit post. Uh, yeah, Mick confirm. Twink. Mike. Twink test. Hoop. Hot. Hoop. Hoop. Hot. You. There's me getting. There's me getting the the uh, Poseidon's yoop. kiss uh, over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. Dude, Starry Feathers is a goddamn hero. Uh. It, yeah, is, is it people ask if it's possible to blow it up? It, it, it may be, but hold on. Yeah, I could do it like that. Yeah, so that's the real Chad's shit standing up based brown pilled. That, 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 that's Weird. here, right? That's this, that's this one. Yeah, um, that, that's so uh, you can see in the replies there, there are more details. There are more, uh, detailed. Oh, 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 okay, 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 uh, in the replies to it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. uh, it's, it's the next one. So you can see it on the right side of the screen there. You can just click on... Which one, bud? Click on it. Um, the one above it. Um, I'm like sorry. The, the, oh. Just the next one, the second one. There you go. Oh, yeah. There. Real Chad's shit standing up. Based, brown-pilled. Women piss sitting down. Men don't. Don't sit shitting like a fairy. And don't wipe. <laughs> <laughs> That is so like, perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god. Uh, there, there's, oh my god, <laughs> yes. it's us as ponies. It's us as fucking like in our pack. Yeah. Wow, have at you, Jazz Paw. Holy shit. There's the furry the pack. The furry oh. pack. The furry pack. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> There's Omni Gender Fred. Uh, oh, they had to leave early, so they're not seeing us uh, enjoy this, unfortunately. <laughs> this, this Dr. Weird. Gentlemen, behold my <laughs> slit! Yes! Oh, that is pretty cool. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So oh my the crazy God. thing is, Star Starry's from the UK. Yeah. So all, like they had to leave partway through because they have to fucking sleep. Yeah. But, like, God. Well, it's not like it's not two a.m. here right now. Uh, right. Right. Uh, well, all right. I think that's. Yeah, that's gonna do it for Starry. Uh, yeah, uh, Starry's art. Uh yeah, and then there's uh -huh. another one. Oh, this is good. Uh, how to draw oh. an owl. Draw some circles. Draw the rest of the fucking owl. And it's a Lauren. And he's beautiful. Beautiful. Very cool. Thank Bless. you. And then uh, uh, the, the one from Nweni Shift. You think I shit sitting down? I don't, Absolutely. I don't, I don't see that one. Where do you see that? Oh, you don't? No. Are you oh, looking here. at my stream? Uh, I am, but I also am looking at the hashtag. Here, let, let me link it to you. That's weird, because I'm totally looking at the hashtag. Twitter is busted, dude. Yeah, ever since, um... Well, you know. Um... I like how the GIFs don't work anymore. I always used to use GIFs. I, I, I linked it to you. Okay, I got it. I got it. Hold on. There it is. <laughs> um, I now have to reduce... This is why I actually I kind of didn't want to make that bigger before, because now I gotta put it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you, oh, it's you. You think I sit shitting down? Absolutely covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Squats in the void, but forgot to install shit flap. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I am gender. Drank five gallons of steroids and estrogen. Fucking awesome. 
Uh, Testo- who- I have so I have so many of tes- so much testosterone and estrogen. I am both genders at once. Noeni shift. Thank you so much uh, for this awesome, fu- oh uh, awesome art. Um, I'm gonna head. That's that's it. I think. Yeah, let's go to the Boru. We're gonna check out the Boru now at this time. Um, we'll start with this one from Siege Maker. It- <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this guy is a meme from that Atlas I've, I've Earth, seen him. No, I've, I've, seen him. I've seen him. This was, oh, he, was that a meme. Vid- that was oh, the Atlas that Earth video. That was an video. Atlas Earth video. That was the Atlas Earth video. That was the a- that was the, the, the basic advertisement I was telling you about. Oh my god. We have an emote of this fucking guy now. I didn't realize that was the same. That was that, the video you were talking dude, that, about. Dude, that Fuck. video is a fucking roller coaster. That video is fucking wild. I, you know what? Um, my YouTube editor made a highlight video that I could do, like, like a fucking, like a, like a 10 minute highlight video you can watch if you want to be up to speed on that. Okay, okay, gotcha, thank you. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll send it to you so you can be up on the I, meme. I, I did see, I did see the clip of you being like, oh, are you motherfuckers leaving your bad dragons yeah, suction yeah. cup to the ground? Dude, that video was a fucking wild ride. You have no idea, that video was intense. <laughs> Okay, okay. It was like Dar Man or some one of those YouTube channels, you know? Where, okay. But it was but it was a fucking it was an Atlas Earth ad because they paid them to make an Atlas Earth video. Like Atlas Earth is a central fucking plot point of the video. Right. That's fucking nuts. Insane. It was nuts. And oh it's gonna make you so angry. It, 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 it's 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 propaganda basically. It's fucking insane. I'm I'm, I'm excited. Uh I'm so terrified. it says try squatting. Uh oh it's, it's the same that's the same uh, uh, text from the WikiHow article, but it says, yeah, shit yeah. yourself now. <laughs> he's squatting, but he's but his pants are still on. Uh, Siege Maker, thank you so much for this, bud. And we also have... Oh, they posted this uh, yeah, here, we too. That, yeah, we, yeah. We, did, we did see this. And it looks like there's one more thing. Um, video in source uh, from Red Carnation. Let's check this out, guys. Okay, I'm curious. Oh, no. Dude. How to be an alpha, alpha All right. male uh, and shit while standing hold, up. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to make sure this has been uh, safe for a stream. Okay, this has the... Okay, good, good, good. It's been, it's been signed off on by my moderators. So we are ready to, ready to rock here. Oh, yes. You clicked on this video because you want to shit like me. <laughs> I will teach you my secrets on how to be an alpha male and shit while standing up. There is only one step for a pooplet like you to shit poop like what? me. Pooplet? Pooplet? Standing up, because sitting down is for pussies. <laughs> yes. You have a little butthole, don't you? <laughs> spread those cheeks. Make that hole larger to take a shit while standing up. If you don't believe me, you will believe Another alpha male, alpha like male. me. Come on in, Mr. Mighty Poo. Oh, the Mighty Poo! Oh. <coughs> me, 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 From Conquer! <laughs> I am the great Mighty Poo. This is really... I standing up like a cook, like <laughs> I'm not gonna be the male sitting down like a female. <laughs> my animals is safe from the shit mice. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Mike. Holy Pooh. shit, yes! No, is... fuck you for watching. Yeah! And fuck goodbye, you. loser. Fuck Poo you for, for watching. watching. Oh my god, that was too good. Red card. That, that had Thank a huge. You. That had huge, <laughs> like, great. early Eve video energy in the best way. That was fucking outstanding. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. This has been the stream of all time. Jesus. This was definitely the stream of all time, dude. I, Holy I shit. I feel like... Okay, so you've been on oh. my stream a few times since, mm. but this is my, my return to your channel. I can't think of a much better oh. return. Yeah, you haven't, this, this you has haven't been, been here in a, in a couple months, I think. I think the last this, time you were here, we were doing a, uh, a real estate stream, right? Yeah, no, yeah. It, it's been a while. And, like, yeah. FYI, you guys, it, it's 
It's really just because I've been so overwhelmed that I haven't been I haven't been joining. Also, our schedules are not, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was I, doing my streaming, yeah. figuring out like how I wanted to do it, and um, but now I'm I'm fucking back. I have things I want to get to and and stuff like that, and he has things he want he's got to do and shit like that. So I, I think I think that some people were worried that like something had happened in our friendship. Now it it's the same as it's ever been. Um, I I think so, right? <laughs> Fred at one point he um. He didn't pull out when I asked him to pull out, and that was very traumatic for me. That was very upsetting. That was during my alpha phase. I'm sorry. I, w yeah. I was listening to like Andrew Tate. Yeah, he was. He was like, I, I would. Yeah. I, asked I, I would have. I would have didn't, Andrew didn't Tate. I would have Andrew Tate in one ear and like Scientology in the other, like both going like uh, talks from um, talks from David Miscavige, Miscavige, like at the same time, and I, I think it kind of fucked with me. Can you get be become big? Become, Detroit become be, big. Become big. Detro Detroit become big. I become can become. Big. Whoops! I didn't mean to go in front of you. Oh, become fuck. big. Uh, become, right click. Become big. Okay. I am. I'm. I'm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's too. Oh big. no. Oh no. Yeah, this is good. Oh no. This is good. No. My stream now. Goodbye, everyone. You'll see Mike. Never. Bye. Uh. Oh, oh, I, I hear, I hear what's going on now. Oh, yes. All right, I was thinking about ending it like is, that, well, but no, I no, we no, no. Uh, we, oh, how, shit, how do I get my fella back? Uh oh. How do I get him back? Bye. Fred, how do I get my no? Oh, how, we are going to have so much uh, fun. Uh, you motherfucker, get out of here. <laughs> okay. get, this is so Get funny. out. It should have ended like that, but I can't end without saying thank you to everybody who came and, and hung out tonight and supported and watched. Guys, you're fucking awesome. Thank you for being here, and thank you so much for all the subs. <laughs> Guys, I know I said I was going to thank all the subs individually, but I have been live for eight hours, nine hours. I've been, I've, I've been live for almost... 12 hours now. I don't I don't know if I don't know if I can do the thing where I go and thank everybody individually but if you did sub tonight and you did you did resub you did uh, give bits or whatever if you supported this channel in any way or even if you just watched I want you to know I really 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 appreciate it um you guys are awesome Hackers thank you so wilds? much for 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 um oh awesome um maybe, yeah wilds. maybe uh, but guys, thank you so much for for watching and and supporting. You guys are really fucking cool. Thank you so much for being here. Please let me talk. Also, yeah. guys, I want to say thank you to Fred for being here. Fred, thank you so much for 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 coming well, was and, I not and joining us and joining us. No, I'm talking to chat. I, oh, okay. I was actually talking to chat. But <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I, gotta, I, I, I'm, I need to say one thing at a time. Um, thank okay. you for coming and and hanging out with us today, bud. Yeah. No, I, dude, I've I've missed hanging out with you. Yeah, this was a blast today, man. This is awesome. We'll do we'll do scorn maybe next. Yeah, next the time scorn we, we thing. I did not I did not forget about the, the the scorn thing. It's just I tonight is not is not good. So uh, it's no, I'm it's fucking fine. shot. No, no, um, you're, no, you're not doing it now. What the fuck are you talking? No, we're good. We'll yeah. do, we'll see if we can do it in one go. I bet I bet that we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I as if, especially if it's a six hour game. I think that six would be um. Yeah, I think that would be that would be cool. Yeah, I think I could probably get through it in six hours. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I am gonna go offline um, at this time. Um, I'll read hacker. Sure. Guys, have a great night. Thanks again for being here, and I will see you yeah. on Monday. Good night, Goodbye, everybody. Everyone. Good night. Oh. Ow.